And my husband's ex-wife was furious. My stepdaughter called me mom. Wow. Well, this comes from Choice Evidence 1983 who says, okay, so I, 34, male, 34 female, married the man of my dreams last month, 44 female, and he has a 16-year-old daughter from a prior marriage. Go get Dicey. Sir. Congrats. Congratulations man for your new the marriage. Dreams. That's, That's great. Right. I've been in her life and she's been in mine for four years and I've done my best to be there for her as a friend and trustworthy adult and she's a really, really great kid. I felt closer to her than I did to any of my sisters and I could see that she looked up to me and trusted me. One more important thing, she, she's on the autism spectrum. I swear that is relevant. So this is the stepdaughter. This is the stepdaughter. stepdaughter. So we have okay. uh, OP who's recently married has a 16 year, 16 year old stepdaughter. Okay. My husband and I went on our honeymoon for two weeks and then we came back on Friday and my stepdaughter came to me and asked if we could talk. What are they going to say? And she told me no one had ever been as considerate as I was learning how to make foods in the exact way that she liked, liked them or as patient with her quote unquote poor emotional regulation. Her words, I think she's doing great. And she told me I overall was her favorite person in life. So she asked me if it was okay to call me mom. Favorite person in life. Oh, that is, that's top tier. That's better than a best friend. This is, this is so this is adorable. This is so cute so far. This is so adorable. Yeah. This is really cute. I mean, I, I can't see anything going wrong. I, nothing is going to go wrong. Okay. Put an ICU in the comments. Put, we yeah. We see something is going to happen, but I'll be quite honest. Other than the partner being an a hole, which is, I guess, what it is. Yeah. I'm like, what could it be? I don't know. You know what? what? Recording on all the cameras. Oh yes, I am down for that <laughs> as well. Um, now this also really caught me off guard, and I stopped for a moment to process it. And she got embarrassed, and she told me that she was sorry, and it was stupid. But I told her it wasn't stupid. Um, she got super excited and hugged me, and it was lovely. Oh, right in the feels today, this ladies and gentlemen. This is so cute. It's so sweet. Is, what it, could is be this wrong? just going to be one of these like wholesome stories where it's wholesome the whole time? I, I pray. I hope. I pray. I hope. But Amy with $2 donation did make a good point. Everything it always goes, goes wrong. wrong. Amy, Amy, why do you have to be right? I know. I know. But thanks for the donation. Um, I was telling my husband about it later, and it suddenly sunk in that I had become these mom. Surrogate mom. I guess it is kind of different. Like stepmom to mom is kind uh -huh. of like a very different journey. It is. It is because like you kind of have the world against you when you're a stepmom. Like you literally have every evil stepmother that Disney ever created <laughs> saying like you will be hated. That is and true. And you will cause misery and death all around you. That but, is true. But I think it thinks like uh, OP is subverting that. But Sonya is causing happiness with the five dollar donation they just sent in. Hey, yo. Thank you, Sonya. And uh, Lola Lita with the two dollar tip. Hey, y'all, John, as a fellow Floridian, do you miss Publix eating a chicken tender sub? Maybe curious if you miss it. <laughs> Hell freaking yeah. Bro, yeah, I miss Publix. John has talked to me about Publix like a non-zero amount. Yeah, I mean, Publix, every <laughs> every person from Florida knows that Publix is just goaded. Anyways, no more free sponsors. But we got <laughs> JoJo45X, who is our free sponsor, with a $10 donation on the donation link. We appreciate that. Taking a break from homework. It is OKOP time. JoJo. Yes, it is. That is exactly correct. And let's, let's give you what you came here for, all right? More of this story. So, um... I was telling my husband about it later, and it suddenly sunk in that I had become somebody's mom. I stopped, and I told him, I am someone's mom. 
That's oh, really cute. That is adorable. That's really cute. And thank you, Saturn, for the f- adorable $5 donation. We appreciate that. Also, it's like, I feel like anyone can birth a child, but it creates, it's like a special type of individual to actually be mm. a mother. It's like you, almost like you're more of a mom if you're not a mom and someone calls you a mom. That's, you have to put in <laughs> extra work. Yeah. Because you could be a birther. You could be a birther. Or you could be a mom. Or a mommy. Very different connotations wow. in this day and age. Three different. You're Three right. Different. Three different. Are you different. a birther, mom, or mommy? in different respects. Wow. Which are you? Put it in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we want to see it. And we want to see the $10 donation from Auntie Aaron. Hey, Auntie Cons- Aaron. Conspiracy theory. The biological mom is unhappy. Yeah. I imagine the biological mom is going to come out of the woodwork and be like, what you doing? Stealing my little lady from me. That is true. Yeah. That is great conspiracy theory, Auntie mm-hmm. Aaron. I think I'm on board with that. Um, I just stopped and I told him I'm someone's mom. And he asked me if I felt like I was in the delivery room. Ha ha. <laughs> I laughed at that, but I got so emotionally overwhelmed, I started crying. This Aww. morning, this morning, she came downstairs and said, hey, mom, to me. Oh, that it just hits, right? It just hits in the feels. It just hits in the feels. And it's going to take some getting used to. But holy crap, that was a great feeling. I still don't believe I've earned the titles, but I'll be damned if I'm not going to try my dang best. Mom of the Year award, okay? Mom of the year. We went from mom to mom of the year. Yeah. That's what uh, I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for the time cover. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> mom, she's amazing. <laughs> she's mine. Oh my gosh. So it seems like last month I got a husband and a daughter too. Pretty good deal, if you ask me. And we have relevant comments. We have some updates, but so far. So smooth good sailing so far, extremely smooth sailing. Yes. And TLDR, honestly, like an uncharacteristically uh, uh, uncharacteristic amount of smooth sailing for a Reddit story. I'm worried like that. The buildup is just going to bring us so hard and crashing down. But so honestly, painfully. like that's what we live for a little bit. Right. It's like, it's like, I feel like when there is a crash down, that's like the equivalent of a, a Reddit orgasm. Interesting. <laughs> that is true. A Reddit gasm. Oh God! Look at these twists and turns taking me to and fro. But then go back and 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 to it being good again. You know, like a full circle. That's moment. true. We do. We need the hero's journey. How do we learn if we don't have a challenge? How do we, we win we if don't. we don't have an enemy? That's true. That's true. I you feel need, like a you sailor. Need, you know what you need? You need what? some like just like terror and and you, yeah. you, you need challenge. You yes. need challenge in your life. You need to unite the people with the challenges you're overcoming. Yeah. Speaking of challenges, talk to me. You guys want to give them a challenge? To oh spin my the wheel? god! Oh damn! Yeah. Oh, we d- should we tell them about the special device we got got for them? We can. <laughs> I'm not happy about it, but we can. We got one of those period shocking things. We did. And we're going to put it on the wheel that we have to read a story. I, I don't trust it because there is a professional person here that we live with that has periods. Like every every month she goes <laughs> a through that. professional period haver. Yes. And she was like, this isn't the same. This does not feel like what a period feels like. She so, said it just feels like pain. We did do have an alternative. I think a boxing glove on a stick that Sophia swings at our stomachs. <laughs> Would be would be would be kind of fun and kind yeah. of a good you know oh, women women would a boxing glove on a stick that Sophia wallops us in the stomach with is that kind of close to a period we can't get perfect yeah yeah but is would it you kind rather, of close what, what what's closer getting shocked in the stomach with whatever amount of volts this contraption has or Sophia with a stick Bella Conkling says more accurate but that's a more accurate feeling Lola Lita absolutely yes <laughs> I mean. I'm just saying. Hey, th- this is what we do to understand our audience. Exactly. Yes. This yes. is what we do. This is 90% what we do. women, we must feel the woman's experience, okay? We, 90% of it. 90%, 90%, 90%, of 90%. We're we not going to get 100%. 100%. We can't. We can't. We can't grow a uterus yet. I don't know. We'll hey, check you know, in with science. Maybe one day. Sci- yeah, maybe science one day. is catching up. Science, science is a crazy thing. That is true. Lady is science, true. always running with the wolves. Always running with the wolves. Yeah. But we also have some relevant comments all right um so this comes from bookish b wordery <laughs> <laughs> Opie's learning how to make her daughter's food the way she likes 
That line jumped out at me. That she thinks the daughter is the bee's knees, even though the daughter feels insecure about her behavior. Imagine the confidence she will feel and how validated the daughter feels. This brings me joy. I love joy. Brings me joy too. Also, Abandon18 brought me joy with a $5 donation. Another day to fill my ear holes with OKOP. <laughs> yes, long live the worm queen. Who is coming, by the way? She's coming. Um, worms in the chat because she is stick around. She's getting some stories for us and she'll be here after that. And shout out to Bubbles with a $5 donation. Some women say it's like getting punched. Others like myself, like my insards are being ripped apart from the inside. Jeez. Oh my God. So Bubbles, I think that one would be a bit harder to simulate without ah. actual irreparable damage. Ow. That's, that's, the, that's the tough part. Ladies. Yes. Stop it. <laughs> hey, uteruses, uteruses. Hey, get under hey, control. Hey, treat your ladies. Right. There you go. Yeah, treat your women right. Uh, Worm made Naoki. Welcome to the stream with a two seventy nine Canadian dollar donation. One for Fia's gifts. A oh, one of Fia's gifts was delivered today. Yes, we actually have a ton of packages from our PO box. So yeah, we, uh, we got Riley. Riley sent us a uh, Riley sent us a message. We're gonna order uh, open some of them on stream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got tons. We got tons. So it's going to be like Christmas. OKOP OK, Christmas on this stream. We're very excited. It's going to be fun. Oh, 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 Rachel, the axe to hatchet with a $50 donation. I can't stay for the live tonight. I have family game night, but still oh. wanted to pop in and donate to the stream. Love you guys. Rachel, Aww. the axe hatchet. We love you too. Thanks for popping in and supporting. That's right. Can you give us, give us an update on family game night on the yeah, next yeah. stream. Yeah, what game? What game? What I want to, I want to see if you won. Riley, Sophia and I played Monopoly. And rigged. how did that end? So rigged. Who won? Who won? Uh, who do you think? The banker. The guy that is... He had home court advantage. Of course he was going to win. There was no other choice. And he came to me and was like, I have a proposition for you. Dude makes the Bro, most shadiest trades dude, ever. Dude, it was great. I was like, for a mere $2,500 investment, I will give you 15% of all proceeds of this property for the rest of time. I just had to accept because I knew he wouldn't leave me alone. So I just had to like make it happen. <laughs> no, don't don't let him push you down, Riley. Stand, stand up I wanted to, the bully. to take a nap and they wouldn't leave me alone. I love Monopoly. I will make the craziest deals. Like I'll do like percentage deals. I'll do futures. I'll do like like term lengths, like four to eight turns. Yeah. Wow. I go nasty with it. Dude, Fucked. apparently. I go oh, nasty. <laughs> By the way, you know who's not nasty is, uh, <laughs> here we go, Bubbles, $2 donation, Sam, stop it, uterus, okay? Yeah. The uterus is Damn listening straight. to Sam. Damn straight. Uterus is listening to Sam. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and level 72, Matt, with the five Canadian <laughs> donation, my friend is a cyst on her ovaries, and oh. she says that her periods feel like she's getting repeatedly stabbed. Oh my oh, gosh. I have, a, I have a friend with ovarian cysts and so she I. says it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I've heard as that's, well. I've, I've heard. I've Word heard. on the street. Word on the street. Word on the it street. It sucks. Uh, MJ Grow with the $2 donation. Have an Uno stream. Want to see the chaos. Uno. Yeah. We got to figure out some uh, some other fun, maybe game additional streams. like yeah, maybe Levels like a mem of... mem mem members only Uno stream. Yeah, Whoa. Something. Something. that'd be crazy. I'll look into that. I'll look into that. We have to invent more days in the week to stream. I know. We're we're recording so streaming much. Friday. Yeah, we got Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> That's true. Riley, you're crazy. Those are already invented. <laughs> oh, also, we are going to most likely do in the next couple of weeks a pop up event. That's right. Where we're going to be outside and we're going to invite all of you yep. to come to our little outside OKOP live events. Are you Fly ready? Out. In the flesh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Really see us and yeah. we say what's up. Yeah. yeah. We'll get ready. What's up? Yep. It's going to happen. John gonna is happen. way more sexier in person, by the way. It's true. It's true. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, ta I'll take the compliment and leave it at that. Dude. Um, so back to the story. Um, so OP responds to the comment that this whole situation brings uh, brings them a lot of joy. OP, the first time I made food for all of us within the first month or two, uh, I knew her. I made spaghetti and broke the spaghetti in half. And she said that she couldn't eat it broken in half. Like a true Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Italians I like can't that. eat this. this, this it's spaghetti. a broken spaghetti. How can I eat it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> then she told me she was very sorry and would make herself a sandwich, but I told her it was okay. I could make another batch, which I did. 
I found out later down the road she cried after I left because she uh, thought that she insulted me and ruined her dad's relationship with her specific food preferences. Okay, but OP oh. insulted spaghetti. That's true. By breaking in half. We'll get a, a heinous mom, crime. A, a heinous crime. Honestly, get all this like sweet, uh, beautiful stuff out the window. Lock OP away for uh, assaulting spaghetti. Assaulting okay? Italians. Yeah, <laughs> true. Italians everywhere would be pissed. <laughs> hate crime yeah yeah there's this one guy that will go to like italy and he'll just just like piss off italian people by like putting milk in his espresso oh my God. or like get, taking out scissors and cutting the spaghetti that, that he's eating is so genius <laughs> all these italian people are like what are you doing what are you doing my spaghetti my spaghetti oh my god uh well little nightmare thanks for the one dollar tip any updates on anchor cheese and baby cheese are they okay yeah incredible delivery Healthy nine pound baby. Incredible delivery. They Just are doing shot well. that thing straight out. Exactly. Oh, OKOP okay, well, moms, they deliver the best babies. Yeah, it's true. It, there was a C section involved, the emergency C section, but they figured it out. That okay. is true. So not that is, straight through. Okay. Fair enough. The baby broke through. <laughs> yes. Like the oh, oh, like the Kool Aid man. Exactly. <laughs> no, <laughs> no bounds could keep ba yeah. baby cheeses from experiencing the world. <laughs> Dude, and baby cheese it was nine pounds. So baby Dude. cheese it. Baby cheese it has had some force. Basically, baby Hulk. Ba Basically yeah, baby, baby Hulk, Hulk, dude. Shout out to baby cheese it and angry cheese it and the yeah. and the husband. Um, also five dollar donation from Abandon eighteen. Play some cards against humanity. Let true chaos take over. Take over. We could. We could. We could. We could. And Erica, actually, thanks for becoming a member. We appreciate that. If you guys want to become a member, there's a little join button. And right down Amy, there. thanks for the two buck donation. John, making it rain. I forgot what I was making it rain, but panties you know. because you're so sexy when you're doing our. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's me making it rain undergarments on this live stream here, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, <laughs> let's get back to the comments. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay, here we go. Uh, I found out later down the road uh, she cried because uh, I left and she thought she had insulted me and ruined her dad's relationship with her specific food preferences. Sure, it was a little strange at first, but hey, I'm sure we've all asked a waiter or waitress for something very specific at least once in our life. Ladies and gentlemen. Daddy ladies and gentlemen, has arrived. Daddy has entered Daddy. the chat. Daddy Jesse. Daddy Jesse with the 87, 30 cents donation. <laughs> Batman voice has been unlocked with this donation. When the spotlight rises in the night, on a dark night on the clouds, who's called but Daddy Jesse? <laughs> When darkness reigns over the lands, there's only one daddy who can take us back to freedom and justice. Justice! <laughs> that is Daddy Jesse. Daddy okay. Jesse. Thanks. Daddy Justice. Daddy Justice. <laughs> daddy J. Daddy Jesse. Daddy thank Jesse, you. thank you. Always coming and supporting the stream. Always. Always. And Rachel the Ass Hatchet, again with a five buck tip playing dad joke face off, biting your tongue, bad choices, and I know you know. I know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Oh. I don't know, actually. Wait, wait no. What if is playing you, dad jokes? Oh, fuck. If you know, you know. Damn. Biting off tongues. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> I know you know. Who's the millennial now? <laughs> fuck. Yeah! Ah! Put some respect on my name. Dude. The, I'm so gentle. The name respect is huge. Oh. And Brianna Martinez, thanks for the five buck tip. You guys make my job a little better. You know what? You should bring that to your employer. Everyone at your work should watch OKOP. To make sure they can improve her performance. Why has your boss not liked this right yeah. now? Literally, we improve your performance at work. That is so we true. We prefer, like, we improve your performance in the sack. We will per improve okay. performance everywhere. <laughs> That's, you know what? what? I'm here for it, yes. Wait, in the, in the what? The sack. In the sack. The sack. When you're planting grains, you reach into the grain sack while listening to OKOP. You plant it, you're going to have a fertile crop for the next yeah. harvest. Yeah. Ah, the That's what fertile. I thought. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Very, very PG. Very PG. <laughs> Uh, also, oh. shout out to we got a couple donations. Uh, MJ Grow with the uh, Ruma Cub. Use your what is that? Use you, you, I your was math brains. Ruma Cub. I don't know what that is. Ruma Cube. Ruma Cube. Ruma Cub. Ruma I was educated R in Florida. Rummy Cub. Rummy. Rummy Cub. Rummy. That sounds like something. Uh -huh. Anyways, uh -huh. but let us know what that is, MJ Grow. Uh, and uh, Mrs. Workmeister with the five dollar donation. Jeebus caught you all live for once. Shout out to other Kentucky folks dealing with tornadoes tonight. Hashtag Whoa. we got cows. Dang, Kentucky. 
Stay safe out there. Yeah, dude. And I, the cows should stay safe too. They can't like. That's true. Get extra fat so it can't like can't lift spin you, off you the around. Ground. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Get fat cows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm all about those thick cows. Yeah, dude. Uh, thick Kentucky cows. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Bubbles with the 105 US dollar donation. We appreciate you. And then Molly. Is that even gang? Is that who? Oh, it's not even gang. No, no, no. Uh, not, not even, even gang. gang. No, no, no. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, and then Molly with the membership. We appreciate that very much. But ladies and gentlemen, are we going back into the story? We have we have a big old fat juicy update, thick juicy to update. Get ready for it. I'm ready. So, I recently made a post talking about my stepdaughter asking uh, to call me mom, and it made me really happy. My husband has two children from a previous marriage: a 16 year old autistic daughter, who's the one that we've been talking about, and a 26 year old daughter. When they divorced, his ex-wife advocated for custody of the older daughter. Sounds like it was because she was more independent and less work. Wow. And he got the youngest one. Whoa. Dude. They split daughters? They split daughters. Also, I believe the chat disappeared on YouTube. Is that oh, no. true? Is it a kid's? Are we a kid's channel? Does Ooh, that happen? Any. And groovy hippie chick. Groovy hippie chick. With the 4777 tip. Wow. We're getting, we're, we're. Oh, we... oh, no. Can we not change that? Can we not? Are we? What happened? It might have accidentally said it. We're no, kids. No, 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 no. But why are some people being able to comment that we're on YouTube Yeah, we do still? see some people. Caro Casosa, we see you. We see you. Why does it say kids content? We're changing it away from kids' content. This is not for children. Yeah, this is definitely If you are not a child, children. avert Leave. your eyes. Yeah. Look away. Look away, no. children. You can't see. YouTube shut down for me, so I jumped on Twitch. How, how, how are we doing, y'all? Yeah. Are we... Are we uh, YouTube people, let us know in the chat. Are you seeing the chat? Is everything looking okay? Camp for the Wind says, suck it, YouTube. Twitch is better. Wow, beef? Beef? That's between crazy. Between platforms. Platform beef. We fixed it. We, we fixed, fixed, it. It. Oh, we fixed, we fixed it. it. Guys, let us know. Is it it's chat yeah, normal? Yeah, chat. Give us the update. Let us. Yeah. And children, go go to school. Go to sleep. Oh, I guess they move schools out. Dude, yeah. just go back just to go school. Go to sleep. Learn a little more, okay? Yeah. Don't be uneducated like me and not know what an adjective is, okay? okay? Well, yeah. Let, let, <laughs> I dog. don't. I don't know what an adjective oh, is. Daddy Jesse says it's back. All right, we're All back. Right, we're good. We're, we're back. Good. We're Thank good. Goodness. Thank you for Woo. sticking through. There we go. Hey. W's in the chat for coming back. Yeah, W's, w's, in, the w's chat. in the chat for Riley for uh, making sure the kids don't come into the stream. That's You're right. Welcome. Keep the kids out of the stream. Keep the kids out of the stream. For the adult kids here with a uh, a goal for the wheel. Oh. Dude, I don't think we ever we ever gave them one. Oh, yeah. Uh, 500 likes and we'll spin the wheel. Is it possible to do like 323 out of 500 likes uh, so that we don't? No, um, not like, like not. Yeah, yeah oh, later. Later. Okay. later, later. later. It look it look weird if I did it now. Okay. All right. Well, back to the updates. Um, so they split the daughters. They split custody of the daughters, and as a result, his young daughter always felt kind of unloved by her mom and doesn't get too far out of her way to talk to her. That is so tragically sad. Um, so the other daughter finally got a job in her field that she's been fighting for a few years and she wanted to have dinner with the family. She seems like a nice girl from the times I've interacted with her, but her mom seems passive aggressive and unkind. I mean, if you're saying like, I feel like she's actually awful, but OP is just like trying to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cause like OP is a very nice person from what we've already gathered. Exactly. Yeah. So, well, we all got to the restaurant and sat down and it was pretty nice and civil. Put a nice you in the comments if you see what's going to happen. Okay. I was sitting next to my stepdaughter and she was a little overwhelmed because she hadn't been to the restaurant before, and didn't know what to order. So we were looking at the menu and I pointed out a type of pasta that looked similar to the ones that we make at home that she likes. She said, thanks, mom. In front of actual mom, bio mom. Bio mom, more like bi mom. Oh, hey. or correct. I sexual mom. <laughs> Cause because because he has two moms. Because mom. he has two moms. Does he have two moms? True. Stepmom and the mom. But the stepmom is now oh, mom also. Oh, bi is in two. Dang. Bi mom. Dude, Dude, good job, John. 
Wow. We really <laughs> did that. I mean, you took the O out of bio. So what are we left with? Bye, mom. It's just lit. Yes. Just literally bye, mom. mom. That um, is literally what we're left with, ladies. I'm just reading the facts. I'm just spinning the facts, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> so do we got, we got some more donations or am I crazy? Oh, you're not crazy. MJ hey. Grow. Five dollar donation. Uh, Rummy Cube is a tile-based game for two to four players, combining elements of combining elements of the card game Rummy and Mahjong. Very oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've played, I've played that before. I've my played Rummy. I've yeah, I've heard of Rummy before. Uh, Bubbles is a two dollar donation. Technical error. You guys are glitching. I think that was from a few minutes ago. Yeah, I okay. think we are now not glitching yes and we are getting an updated computer so we don't glitch so much we already ordered it guys yeah. it's literally on the way it's like on the packages. way we're gonna be glitching way less That's so right. excited yeah, yeah riley, riley was excited. he was freaking out he was freaking out and lobster lady with a five dollar donation had a dumpster fire of a day at work my hubs is traveling uh, until sunday and we've got a nor'easter on the way that's North like a storm a like storm? a north, north, northeastern storm. Got you. God, y'all are here. God, y'all are here. Okay. Well, Ace, stay safe if it's a storm. Is it a storm or I'm a pretty person? sure it's like, like a big nor'easter on the, nor on the on the mountain. Good I think that's. Know. I think it's like a. I think it's a storm. <laughs> Dang, lobster lady, say guys, to stay safe out here. Yeah. Get some cows to hold you down, because apparently they're safe. They are safe. Yes. Um, Riley, can you help me regain yes. where I was in the story? Groovy Hippie Chick says, so glad and whimsical. Uh, Angie Lobato says, it glitches when the chat spams. Yeah, yeah. When you guys go crazy, YouTube goes crazy. That is true. Stalwark Moon says, there were tornadoes west of us last night. Sheesh. Tornadoes, tornadoes. everywhere. Dude, tornadoes Stay safe. Crazy. Stay safe. I've never seen a tornado in real life. Have you? Neither have Wait, I. Wait, really? I've seen hurricanes. Yeah, I've never seen a tornado. Oh, wow. Wait, you guys don't have tornadoes here, do you? We don't have tornadoes. Don't you so. have tornadoes over where you are? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. You seen one? Yeah, I've, I've seen one approach me, and then I do the, and then I'm good. Oh. Have you, ever, you have you ever uh, uh, held a garbage bag on a Razor scooter in your underwear in a hurricane? <laughs> yeah. That that's a Florida man activity. <laughs> I, I know you have. Oh, yeah. That's, that's where my extremely specific example came from. <laughs> and shout out to the extremely specific, incredible gift from Groovy Hippie Chick of 10 gifted donations. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. The community in. giving back to the community. We love to yeah. see also, it. Also, if you haven't already joined the Discord, the heck? Also, if you're watching the live and are Wait unsubscribed. Oh, my God. That is actually insane because you're in like the deep end. You're in the deep, deep end and you're not subscribed. That's crazy. That's crazy. If you think about it, you're not subscribing to the OKOP way of life. Like, really. Yeah, yeah, which you should be. You're against you our should values. Be. So. You should all right, go look and see if you're subscribed. You might be subscribed, but we get comments every day. We're like, we've watched you every day for three months and then realize that they're not subscribed. So subscribe. Come on. Subscribe. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Helps the channel. Martika Waterman for the $5 donation on the donation tip link. Thanks for that. Sorry that I'm whoop. Oh, could you scroll down a little uh -huh. bit for me? It exploded in my place sorry i'm late for the stream i had to take my daughter who's six to therapy due to adhd and also my son is therapy too due to him being nonverbal with autism so i'm glad to be able to watch the stream while i'm doing this uh for my kids to be done it to be finished yeah go to mom award yes yep sounds good just don't do it again don't be late again yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't be late. Come on. Yeah, we'll give you a pass this time. Yeah. I see you got priorities, but make us one for a change. <laughs> Riley runs a tight ship around here. My goodness. Uh, so, getting back to the story, my husband and I tried to defuse the situation, but she was very agitated by it. Um, oh, so sorry. I think we might have skipped a little bit of it. So, uh, my stepdaughter said, Thanks, mom. To the stepmom. Right. To step the stepmom. Mom. Okay. To the stepmom in front of the biological mom. In front mom. of the bio mom. Crazy. I guess she said it loud enough that her biological mom heard because she literally stopped everything and asked, what did you just say? What did you just say? What? Daughter. What the fuck did you just say? Uh, you were addressing me, weren't you? Yeah. You were talking I to me. I am your mother. You talking to me? You were looking at her, but you were talking to me. Well, my husband and I tried to defuse the situation, but she was very agitated by it and actually asked why she did it, why she called her mom. Their older daughter stepped in and asked if she could tell her mom about her new job that she got her, uh, that got her to move on finally. 
My stepdaughter didn't say much for the rest of the evening, but on the way home, she tried to apologize for quote unquote ruining the evening to which we told her she didn't. Oh, oh. literally just saying mom. Oh, how do you take such a sweet, cute thing and make it so terrible? Why? If you were a terrible person. That you is know, true. You know, terrible people are alchemists in a way. They turn gold into shit. That is literally 100% accurate. 100% accurate. Wow. You, you take a bad person, put them in a good situation, they will make it bad. That's true. Yeah. And it sounds like bio mom is kind of like that. Get out of here, bad Get people. out of here. Get, Get out, out of here. We don't like you. Then, if it wasn't bad enough. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Also, I'm glad that we're finally getting to the deep end where it's shit because... We were waiting for the other we shoe to drop. We were waiting. Now we just got three shoes hit your face. Exactly. It's like George Bush in that one meme where he's like dodging the shoes. One of my favorite memes of Dude, all time. Dude, fuck it. George Bush is a goaded meme president. He's an idiot with incredible fine motor skills. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Have you seen him do it? He's like, we will stop these terrorist <laughs> killers. Now watch, watch this drive. This. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Oh my God! Well, shout out to uh, Martika Waterman for the five dollar tip. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, Riley. I'm sorry I was late for the stream, but I'm a 32 year old single parent with two kids, and I have to take him there first. But I love the stream. You guys are awesome and fun. Ha ha ha! I just like to have fun with you guys. I'm not mad. LOL. Martika, uh, uh, shame Riley any day of the week. Okay, ring him out left, right, and center. We are here for. Oh man, yeah, ring him out. We. Are here for it. Hey, pause. <laughs> Ring Sam out. I've been ringed out, dude. <laughs> right. I had a great date last night. <laughs> you know, we could have we could have skated out unfazed, completely un, you know, uh, whatever. But here we are. Here we are. Like, no. Ladies and gentlemen, Samuel Donner. <laughs> claps in the chat. Um, no, no, no claps. Safe sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> back to the story. Um, here we go. <laughs> Sophia cringing in the uh, corner. Yeah, Sophia is cringing in the background right now. Um, my husband received a four-paragraph-long message talking about how disrespectful and egregious it was that she called another woman mom and how she was very disturbed by it. My husband is just in disbelief and feels horrible for our daughter. He went to talk to her, and she didn't say much, but she clearly thinks that it's all her fault. Oh, uh. uh, why? Oh, my God. Taking something sweet and ruining it. Uh. If anything, it's my fault for not discussing how she should refer to me at dinner with my husband and then discussing it with her beforehand. I just effing hate that this woman is upsetting her so much, and I see why her husband is divorcing her facts dude dude drop well i mean really what this comes from is just insecurity absolutely yeah this is like this is an insecure mom that is probably not taking like it really sounds like it intentionally didn't take care of this her, her daughter because she's like like uh, on the spectrum or something she yeah she chose to take her older daughter because she's like oh that's like less easier work and more independent yeah. less work yeah. splitting your kids yeah, it's kind of whack, dude. Splitting, like, yeah. yeah, choosing one. Do like 50 50 with both, right? Yeah. Then it just yeah. like shows like this gross favoritism. Exactly. Like, yeah, dude, crazy. super favoritism. Yeah. Yeah, your kids aren't Pokemon cards. You don't main one. Yeah. But maybe that could be super favoritism, like the superhero. Yeah, super favoritism. Uh, my, everyone is my favorite. <laughs> but we have, okay, so we have reached the end of that part of the story. There is relevant comments and yet another. Juicy update. Juice. Ladies and gentlemen. Squeeze that juice. Super quick TLDR. Basically, uh, brand new stepmom here. The daughter is awesome. Uh, she's, 16, she's 16 years old. She's uh, on the autism spectrum. And she's like, hey, can I call you mom? OP loved that. But then she said it over dinner with her biological mom there. And mm -hmm. there is now heavy beef. There's chaos. There's chaos. And the wheel goal is 500 likes. 500 Abel likes. Conkling for your information. Get it there. Um, but what should OP do to, should OP confront bio mom? You're not the mom anymore. I am the mom. I, I mean, I feel so. So the reason that it, it shouldn't be like, it shouldn't confront being like, I am the mom step down your momminess. Yeah. Uh, it should be more like, Hey, you made your daughter really upset. 
She yes. she she thinks she did something wrong, and I don't think she did anything wrong. Yes. And I mean, it's like like OP's in her in her life more than her actual mom is. So I I mean I I think. I think having a conversation with the biological mom and saying like, hey, I don't think what you did was okay. Yeah, because if, if the mom says that, maybe the daughter won't have this feeling like she's like ruined the, the, the dinner anymore. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. Yeah, dude. All I, she's doing is being sweet, loving, and amazing. Yeah. Walk me away! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think, I mean, you're just seeing insecurity and immaturity from the biological mom, and that just needs to be addressed. I mean, it just needs to be addressed. All right. No one is doing anything wrong except the bio mom. This is true. This is true. Bio mom is the a-hole? Bio mom is for sure the a-hole. Bio mom is the a-hole. Bio mom, 1,000 a-hole. And Lena Covenant has a good point. Mm. I think it's the dad's place to put the bio mom in her place. Mm. So potentially, potentially, um, potentially maybe like OP's dad or oh, like the dad is a little bit of the a-hole. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. For not saying anything. A hole by omission. I don't know if if we've gotten to a part yet where he has responded, but yeah, I don't, I don't. Or not, should, if he doesn't respond, like get, get get the fuck on it, hop on it, bro, hop on it. What are we talking about? Hop on. Well, it. I'm talking about these relevant comments right here. Remarkable buyer forty six twenty five says info. Does the ex spend time with her autistic daughter at all? If not, I am not sure why she'd be surprised. Op, she sees her on holidays and family gatherings. That's really it. Apparently, her mother is entitled to that respect just for existing. 101010 Trees says, I know it's not the same, but I have called, uh, but I was called mom at work. Lol. I don't have children, but apparently I ex- exude mothership, hopefully not in a bad way. You laughing over there, Riley? Is it? <laughs> is it? Funny? We saw what Bill Conkling said. We were both Riley and oh. I saw it. It was pretty funny. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, we don't have to read it. Oh, no. Yeah, we don't have to read that, Bella. What are you doing? Well, shout out to Christina Manny for the 749 PLN Philip donation. Philippines. Polish? Polish? Yeah. Polish nickels? A PHP is, is Filipino pesos. Uh, Polish I nickels? Pol- I don't know. Let us know what your yeah. currency is, Christina. Yeah. We're curious. We're curious. <laughs> so, um, 10 to 10 trees goes on. The ex-wife is a real piece of work. It's nice that you take care of a special needs child. It is no small feat, and you're deserving of the title of mom. I totally agree. Agreed. Um, OP, definitely. I have, no sympathy, I have no sympathy for a woman who demands to be called mom while putting in no effort to be a mom or a man who demands to call her dad. And shout out to Hamster Girl Brittany for the $10 donation. Hello, I have a cold. Sorry to hear that. Um, and check the Discord from Brittany. Send an emoji back. Love y'all. And I think Sam is a hamster. Both have cute small faces and are adorable. I would, I would agree. Thank you. I think you have a big cute face, though, in a good way. I have a big old head. Like, like the <laughs> amount, of, like the amount of cuteness. There's so much cuteness that there needs to be larger real estate for it to, <laughs> to <laughs> exist upon. John, you know just what I'm saying? saying I have a large <laughs> noggin. <laughs> Bro, I have a large noggin, okay? Yeah, what is our... We, we've, we've worn the same hat, right? I'm, I'm at some point. Bigger I'm head. Sure. Yeah, I feel like we have. I'm sure. Yeah, I feel like we have. I think we have. Like I the had same to be C-sectioned heads. because of my head. <laughs> <laughs> have I not told this story before? Okay, story time. At the end yeah. of this story, we'll get it at the end. So <laughs> stick around. This story. Stick around, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I've really never said that before. No. Oh, dude, wow. That is so good. <laughs> that is oh, hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll, I'll let you guys know. It's gonna be a very fun episode. Oh my god. Shout out to Elaine for the Your five poor euros. Poor mother. Oh yeah, dude. It's not good. It's not good. Um, <laughs> Elaine for the five euros. Uh, ye lads are mad. <laughs> Cracking. Crack. Mad crack. <laughs> Live the stream and keep it up from Ireland. No clap. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia says that I should not try to do the accent. We were actually talking. We had to sign a contract where like the lawyer stuff was based in Ireland. And yeah. so if we get sued, we would have to go to Ireland. So Ireland tour, as soon as we get sued, Ireland tour <laughs> coming up. It's going to be great. We're going to perform at Stonehenge. It's going to be fire. That's, that's in Ireland, right? Uh, we're going to perform at Stonehenge anyways. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Where's Stonehenge, England? 
Oh, okay. Guys, I was educated in Florida. I don't know what an adjective is, okay? What can you really expect of me? You know what? I could have... John just mentioned that earlier, and I could have corrected him, but I forgot to. Yeah, I did mention that earlier. You did. I wow, didn't say you totally anything. Left I, but hanging. honestly, you know what? The reason I didn't say anything is because I'm like, maybe Stonehenge is in Ireland. <laughs> honestly, it should be. Bro, this, it feels Irish. This is... This so is it close? Ireland? To Ireland. That's pretty close. Dude, this gives me the same <laughs> vibes of whenever we told uh, John that Ducks Australia fly. was super oh, close yeah. to Bali. That was another classic moment. <laughs> well, it was actually that you could see, see Australia. Australia. <laughs> we, were, uh, we were in Bali and we were looking at this island. <laughs> and I'm like, it's crazy how you can see Australia. Okay, in my, <laughs> I'm going to lay my defense and then I'm getting back to the relevant comments. But in my defense, okay, I've been to the U.S. Virgin Islands, right? Where you can see a whole other country, the British Virgin Islands, from said island. So in my mind, I'm like, well, here I am on an island looking at another island that I've seen before with my very own eyes in my lifetime. Is Australia considered an island? Is it yes, well, it's as continent. an American, it's it is an island. island to me. But it is an island, right? Well, I mean, everything's an, an island, island if care. you think about it. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you, dude, thank you. Dude, we haven't uh, talked about Pangea on this podcast, but honestly. So, yeah, that's... Jessica T agrees with me. What? What did she say? About everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, John! Yeah. All right, anyway, we you know what I agree with. What? Whatever you're about to say next. There we go. <laughs> Real, quick, there, real quick, Uh, oh my gosh, what is that username? Uh, Kamikalani, Kamikalani, uh, shout out for the $5 donation. I've been in mainly, uh, no contact for eight years. North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina. I've been mainly, wait. Oh, no wait, contact. no, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I know how to read Reddit stuff. Uh, I've been mainly no contact for eight years and, uh, call my mom her name. Uh, she hates it and demands to be called mom because she birthed me. Not all mothers deserve to be mom. Yeah. Whoa. Facts. As we were talking facts. about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Mom is a title to be earned. Let us know in the comments below. What's your mom's name? Just kidding. Don't put that in there. Jeb <laughs> says these guys need a globe. <clears throat> what do you mean a globe? Uh, I think you mean a flat map. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Don't, that's really going to get our stuff taken down. Got to be careful. Oh, anyways. Um, <laughs> Remarkable Buyer 4625 says, oops, uh, says something that I've already read before. Adventures Travel 1 says, that poor girl, if her mom acted like a mom, then it wouldn't have happened. Her actions... Uh, or lack thereof, have consequences. I'm not sure if she's a therapist, but it might help explain things in a way that she gets and from a professional. The biggest thing I would be worried about now, uh, if her mom keeps sending things to her to make her feel guilty about more things. OP responds, she does have a therapist who meets with, meets with her weekly. I'm sure my husband, uh, I'm sure my husband's ex-wife is going to come up in tomorrow's session. And, uh, Imras Mok says, info, how long since the bio mother gave away the 16-year-old's custody? How much time has she spent parenting her? How have they bonded? Yeah, because like, was she, was that custody separated at like five, at 10, at 14? Yeah, it's also such a weird situation to split up the kids. Like, how often does that happen? We've actually, I don't think we've ever seen that. In, like, I don't, yeah, usually it's like, oh, like, read. you know, weekends or like every other week yeah. or whatever. But yeah, Percentage it's really weird. I'm for all the siblings, but oh. yeah, this is crazy. Parent trap. What did the parent trap? Did they split the kids? Yes, you're right. Damn. Why did they do? Why did they do that? Example. Why did they do that? For the movie. For the movie. For the plot line. Guess it, what? I have seen the parent trap. I have. The, I haven't. What? Yo, John saw a movie I didn't see. That's all I'm saying. And okay. I saw the Irish Church with Lindsay Lohan. Oh yeah, we did tell him to watch a movie, and he did it. What was it? The Irish Wish with Lin with the goat Lindsay Lohan. Was it great? It was. A Maybe. movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. It was cute. Yeah. It was a yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, she would have some nerve to be angry that a child, uh, she is not parenting as much as you, calls you mom. You seem to be a very sweet parent to her, so keep it up. Opie says, since elementary school, the custody split has happened. So that's a long time from elementary school to 16 years old. On holidays and family gatherings, by awkwardly asking how they've been doing since the last Thanksgiving. 
Um, and shout out to, could we look at the donations real quick with the full on view? Big Riley. Big Riley. Um, Shelby Jones, $5. You guys are amazing. Glad to be able to tune in to a live stream. Uh, it's hard working in, uh, in South Korea time. Uh, I always seem to miss. Also, Bio Mom is a stinky. Are you in South Korea, Shelby Jones? Shelby, shout out to you in South Korea. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. Um, also, the Bio Mom is a stinky. She's stinky. Um, to uh, Kiani. Yeah. Kiani. She, she put her name uh, Thank you for that. phonetically. Um, love you guys, Riley and Sophia. Aww. We love us too. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the $5 donation from Sarah Jump. Here's five dollars for this gloomy day. It's supposed to snow later in Wisconsin, so good time to watch OKOP. Love you guys. Um, it's always a great time to watch OKOP. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. Every every time, every, every time. time. Make yes. sure to put it in front of your kids, mm -hmm. your wives, your husbands, your, teachers, your family, your, your teachers, people on the street. And have them on like the it. bus stop. Have you know? them like the stream. Have them like know? the stream. Also, <clears throat> potentially subscribe. You know, because if you have not subscribed and you're in the deep end, this is the, the live stream is the deep end of our content. You know, Truly. so if you're here and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? You're going to that's the floaty. You're in the deep end. You're going to you're going to sink. You're going to sink. You if need you don't the subscribe. flotation protection devices of the subscribe button yeah. to keep you float and subscribe and like the stream because we're going to spin a wheel at uh, what? 500, 500 likes. Yep. Exactly. And there are 837 of you and only 425 likes. Whoa. This math ain't math. -ing. Whoa. This math ain't math. -ing. That is incredulous. Incredulous. That is incredulous. Cre I, I am incredulous about what you are doing. Same. I totally know what that word means. Uh, and that's why I'm using it. Shout out to Mile High Maven for the $5 donation on the donation link. I called my, my, my bio mom the incubator. Oh my God. Children are not property. Parents don't own them and kids don't owe them anything. Okay. My dad and Shout I out, always say this quote. It's from Khalil Gibran. Your children are not your own. They are the sons and daughters of tomorrow. They come through you, not from you. You are the bow from which their arrow flies. Mm, that's true. <laughs> that's deep. That's, that's deep. pretty. I like yeah. it. Pretty beautiful. <laughs> Dude, you guys, you guys, you guys are poets. Whatever. I am an arrow. No, I'll no, go no. fuck myself. I'll go fuck myself. Ooh. You don't. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Omar <laughs> for the ten dollar donation. Hey, Rallying Gang, I need some advice. I just posted my story on. OKOP's okay, Reddit. Am I the a hole for telling my dad why should I care um, if there's any time in this live? Oh, Martin, thank you for sending in your story. Um, we'll take a look. Yeah, maybe, yeah. We can, maybe we can put get it, it in. in the queue. We'll put it in the queue. Thank you. If not today, then sometime in the future. But at the very present, we have more relevant comments. More relevant comments. Um, so, do -do -do. Uh, my husband got custody of the young autistic child. <coughs> Excuse me. And learn how to make food exactly the way she wanted it to be. Learn to speak her language, as he calls it, and sit and single-handedly raise a still-developing child. Then his ex-wife got custody of the high schooler at the time, who could be left alone at home, make her own food, so she could work and do her own thing without having to worry about anything or anyone. And ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. We are entering the third and fourth final update the conclusion of the story that was a that was a drum not a bazooka or like a <laughs> ar it kind of did sound like a bazooka yeah or not or a like, bazooka. Oh, i guess a bazooka would be like no like oh a machine gun machine gun there we go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. it did sound more like a machine gun than a drum roll i know i'm not gonna not to rolls. critique your and, well, drum you rolls. are the drum master yeah yeah if you i did if I do, do you did myself. do band for what like Ten years, however long. Yeah, yeah, years. through like middle school. He told me forty. Basically. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right, <laughs> dude. Old jokes never get old. Right. <laughs> <laughs> old jokes never get old. Anyone else never gets old. Mimi donating five bucks on hey. the tip link. I love you guys so much. Long time watcher, but first time not being broken a while. Lol, listening to you guys in the salon with my client. Oh, wow. Yo, that's no crazy. No way. Is your client listening right now? Dude, shout out to your client. Shout out to your client. Yo, we'll totally shout Mimi out Mimi gives the great. best haircuts and or extensions and or dyeing. Whatever whatever Mimi does with hair, or I guess it could, well, a salon could be a lot of stuff. 
It's true. Like whatever, whatever Mimi's whatever doing Mimi in the salon, does, she's the best at she's it. She's the best okay. at it. Yeah. Give her a big old, big, give her a big old tip. Like yeah, she just give gave her us. a big old pa- tip. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass, pass it, on. it on. Yeah. Thanks, Mimi, for the tip. Also, client, oh, Mimi's like a body sp- piercer. I would have never guessed that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Client, come on, let Mimi poke you and yeah. Praja. and Praja. <laughs> In all the right ways. In all the right ways. Okay. Yep. Oh, shout out to Mimi. Shout out to client. Mimi. But we have. That's cool. The final update. John was going to get his ears pierced. I was. I, I still. Mimi, you want to pierce it? my ears? Yeah. Live on stream. I'm, I'm here for it. That Drop would be fun. Yeah. I would probably cry. <laughs> <laughs> so, the final update. Last week, I made a post, um, and I'm pretty sure this is the update. I made a post. I uh, made a post uh, about how my husband and my autistic 16-year-old stepdaughter went to dinner with the ex-wife and their oldest daughter, 26, to celebrate her getting a job and chasing her that she's been chasing her whole adult life. Then my stepdaughter called me mom. At one point, the ex-wife got pissed and stopped the whole table to make a point, and the rest of the evening wasn't great. Then we got home, and both my husband and stepdaughter got a big text message from her talking about how disrespectful that was. So the day after the incident... Um, my stepdaughter came to me and told me her older sister texted her and asked if she could read the text out loud. I just nodded and said, definitely. But on the inside, my eyes rolled to the back of my head like, Jesus Christ, here we go. Uh-oh. This might not be good. However, her sister uh, sent her a very, very lovely and thoughtful message saying how she felt bad about what happened the night before and was sorry that the two of them haven't been able to talk much lately and asked if she wanted to try to be sisters again. That's pretty beautiful. Wait, so the parent trap sisters that were separated at around like what, 13 or whatever? Yeah. Or earlier like, are yeah. now trying to create a relationship together. Probably 10 years ago. 10 years. Probably because she was in high school and now she's 26. Dang. A so, decade of not being together now reunited. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cute. So what's happening with the bio mom, though? Is the bio mom still a butthole? She's still lurking in her corner. She's still lurking in her cavern. Casting hate to and fro. The old hag just crumbling in her folds of sadness. Oh, God. Not the folds. Oh, God, those folds. (laughs) Then she said that she asked her what movie she's seen lately, and movies is a special interest of hers, so that means a lot that she asked. Not going to lie, I was caught off guard by her sincerity and kindness. It was very, very sweet. Then later that day, I got a text. I got a text message directly from her older sister, whom I assume got my number from my younger stepdaughter, and said that she wanted to get to know me better since I legally am her stepmom now, and I am the woman her baby sister is calling mom. Whoa, yeah. that's cool. That's there you cool. Go. Giving her props. Yeah. So she definitely wanted to try to get to uh, know each other better. She also mentioned that she didn't get to celebrate her sister's 16th birthday with her and felt that it was a really big deal and asked if the three of us could go get dinner and see a movie. This is good. This is amazing. This is turning in a positive direction. Yeah. Like uh, a Sokume with a $10 tip. Love listening to y'all while I'm in, while I'm gardening, currently planting a bunch of flowers seeds and listening to y'all makes the time fly by. Hey, that sounds pretty fun. Can you plant a flower in our honor? Yeah, Let yeah, us know yeah. What Can you label it? Uh, can you make one one flower for every member of the OKOP family? Yes. So we have a Sophia flower, Riley flower, John flower, Sam flower. I thought you were talking about the, what, 871 people? Oh, yeah, or that. I mean, yeah. I don't know how many flowers you got. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah. if you could just like like machine gun seeds into the earth for us. Hey, like, we might be able to do that. That would be yeah. There, see, yeah. That, that was way better. That's oh, a yeah, good machine you, gun you, sound. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Respect. That, I was, I was looking for that. that there we that, go. That, that compliment. Oh, and two dollar <laughs> tip for Mimi, John. I would freaking love to pierce your ears. You'd rock them, and my client is totally hooked on you guys now. Mimi. Let's go. Incredible. Wow. So incredible. Not Mimi, Mimi. spreading the word of OKOP. Let's, that yeah, is spread the good word, guys. <laughs> Your clients and the people you work with aren't watching the live stream right now. That's Mimi's crazy. Is. Yeah. And there's only eight minutes left in the live stream. Guys. We, so this could share be over. before it runs out. Come on. Could be over. My goodness. And like the stream. And like the stream. Like the stream. If we hit five. Guys, we're at 467. 487. 487. 13 more <laughs> likes and we spin that wheel. <laughs> I knew it. I knew as I read it, I was like, I bet it's 487. <laughs> 
I can't see, okay? I can't read. Uh, well, <laughs> let's get back to this final update here, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, the three of us went out and saw a movie and got dinner by ourselves. My younger stepdaughter picked the movie and she loved it, but my older stepdaughter and I uh, didn't get it, but all that matters is that she liked it. Then we sat down and had dinner together and had a very, very nice time. Then, on the way out, my younger stepdaughter asked if she could run into the store next to the restaurant to buy something really quick in and out. So he said, all right. She goes into the store and my older stepdaughter told me that she wanted me to know she misjudged me and watching the two of us interact both at dinner and the other night and tonight, uh, me going through the menu with her to find something that she likes, advocating for her when their mother got upset and how clearly she feels comfortable talking around her. And that she completely understands why I'm now mom. Oh! Wow. Oh! Hearts beating with love. <laughs> all in all, a pretty great night. And after I got home, she sent me a text related to something we talked about. So it looks like we're going to be talking from now on. Still got some stuff to work out with her biological mom, but we will take this as a victory. Anyways, yeah, I figured I'd share something positive since there's a lot of negativity on Reddit and with my current situation. So I would figure I would share a positive update. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. Is that where it ends? That is the end of the story. Wow. That is the end of the story right there. Wow. So it kind of like like it, 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 the, 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 uh, the, the sisters kind of like got a stronger relationship because yep. of it uh op feels committed and strong in the relationship with the daughter yes what happened with bio mom bio mom is still sophia what are we allowed to call women that are oh not my great? gosh stinky women a stinky stinky, stinky women, women. Bio mom is a stinky woman and, and a meanie. Yeah, honestly, yeah, both. a stinky meanie. Um, yes. But whimsical worm, I no, we saw your donation. We were waiting for Ooh. this moment. Um, whimsical worm, thanks for the $25 tip. Amazing. Bio is an ableist, rhymes with punt. <laughs> and an ableist that rhymes with pumped. Uh, didn't want the burden of a special needs child mm -hmm. as a SN mom. What so as a special needs mom, am I? I am beyond disgusted. So glad that baby has a great bonus mom and a thoughtful sister. I love you guys so much. I listen to you guys all day at work. Well, whimsical worm, thank you for being part of the worm army. That's right, Pixel Punket. Thank you for the six ninety eight tip. I don't have enough to keep the stream going, but even gang, even gang, which is very important. Slumber Jane, thanks for the ten dollar tip. Thank you for making workday fly by. We will help. Help you fly by anytime. That's right. And John. And John. Sam. There Sam. is someone groovy. Oh, how groovy, Sam. There is someone groovy in the mix. How the groovy. Gro the I would I potentially would say the grooviest because of all time. Groovy hippie chick back at it again with a hundred and six dollar tip, keeping wow. the live stream going. Wow. For another hour. That is another hour. Dorinrin Senpai says one more hour. Groovy's in the chat. That's right. A little peace signs in the chat for everyone. Oh, Get and Tia Rovetti, a hundred dollars. Okay, I need one more hour. Tia and Rovetti, damn. We're about to hit the next one. We're Honestly, about to hit the at next this one. rate, this Tia, is going crazy. Thank you so much. And uh, have we seen Tia in the donation chat? Uh, Tia, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we have Tia. Oh my God, Samantha E. Samantha E, need that hour, lol, and hope you got the cookies. Holy shit. Wow. Everyone's coming. Samantha E. Going crazy over here. Oh, my goodness. We're going we're gonna to hit this next. Guys, look how far we got. Riley just put it up. Like, Oh, my God. We're almost there. Samantha E. Jeez. Oh, wait. wait, wait we, we have some other tips that we need to read. Yes, but, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Tia Rovetti, Groovy Heavy Chick, and Samantha E. Y'all are carrying the stream right Absolutely. now. We appreciate you. Hamster Girl Brittany, thanks for the $1. Love Bubbles? Did we shout out Love Bubbles? Raz Candy. Uh, let's look. I, I don't think we did. But Raz Candy Puppy, thanks for the 5 buck tick. I'm at work right now with a bunch of dogs. I love listening to you guys while I work. Make sure the dogs, make sure like the, the dogs stream. like the stream. Paw. Yeah, paw, paw on the stream. Like the, stream. It, the screen will read it. 
And then Eva Diva, thanks for the fifty dollar tip. Y'all are fucking crushing Going it right crazy now. Crazy today. Love you guys. Hope all is well with you. Hope all is well with you. It's you too. It's, it's great. Um, and then wait, I think we missed something. Uh, we we what got Pixel Punk it. I don't know if we did uh, Love Bubbles. I don't think we did Love Bubbles. Wait, go up a little bit. Yeah, the stickers don't show up for. The stickers don't show up. Uh, I think it was there, but we just didn't. We just didn't read it. Oh, in here. Yeah, it was, it was in there. Just wait, scroll there. up. Yeah. Scroll up. Oh, oh. Yep. Like we can't see it. We can't Sorry, see it. Guys. Scroll up, scroll up. We're almost there. There you go. Love bubbles, $2. Uh, a little bit down. There you go. Oh, there Keep, it is. Keeping Keep it, it even, gang. Yeah. Even gang is in the chat. Even gang. Ladies and gentlemen. Even gang. Even gang is here. And damn, 9191. Thanks for the $3 tip. Damn. We appreciate damn. you. Damn. Absolutely. And we have 543 likes. Which oh, means spin that, that wheel. wheel. Spin the wheel. <laughs> I got some good shit. She is knackle on here right now. Okay, guys? It's going to be good. Let me get the sound effects going. Go. And here we go. What did that say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you wrote this. <laughs> period? Did it say period? Oh, oh, is this the period? Uh, wait, wait. I, did it, wait, did it land on the period or did it land on package? I think... Was I it saw a period of package. I saw blue, but we could do a respin. <clears throat> I'm not sure. What was it, guys? Chat. Chat. Was it blue or green? Blue. Was it blue or green? I'm gonna have to go back and look. I just gotta do period. the period one. Period, yeah, menace. I think it was period. Period. Oh my god. I'm looking back. I'll do I'll do I'll do a period. I'll do a period story. A period story? Oh, it's not a story. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna what I'll do is I'll Oh on a story on reading arm while while reading it, because then Got to be on the, the but you'll you'll, uterus, you'll right? see it you'll see it, it more. It, 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 everyone says blue. It it's period. It it's period, it guys. Has to go in your stomach. Point. Has to go in my stomach. Yeah. Okay. Uter uter uteri. All right. Fine. 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 What level should I put it on? You start slow. Because okay. You did it. All right, Sam, Riley. Give me the period. I heard him talk. I'm not on screen. You can't see me. But I heard him talking about. Oh, hey, I'm here. Hey, <laughs> Sophia. That's the queen. Um, I heard him talking about the period stuff uh, in the other room, and I just wanna—I just wanna say for the record, Sam was like, "Oh, let's try it," and I was like, "Cool, I know what a period feels like. It'll probably be fine." He immediately puts it to a ten. <laughs> I am doubled over in pain. He's full on shocking me, and I'm like, "Turn it off," and he's like, "I, I did turn it off. I did turn it off. Turn That's it off. crazy." Yeah. No, these things are yeah, these things are all weird. Right, all right. You have they to all, start low. It also supposedly helps with muscle spasms. That's the yeah. first time I used I've it. I've actually used it before because yeah. um, I had to use it when I had uh, right. hand pain. Here, here is the, the the thing. All right, so I will read an entire story through period pain. Yeah. <clears throat> Level four. It's gonna be so bad though. We can here. How do we do this? Here. There we go. Put that on. Uh, guys, we are literally torturing um, ourselves. Silver Clover, I don't know if it feels like period cramps because Sam put it on level 10. And that does not feel like period cramps. It feels like feels like your muscles me. shaking <laughs> yeah. and twitching. Uh-oh. Wait, Sam, wait a second. Wait a <laughs> minute. Feast your eyes, guys. Uh -oh. That's a freebie right there. <laughs> I better not. I better not. <laughs> Oh my god! So, it's not even on right now. Guys, we're we're keeping right. it we're keeping it's it G rated. It's on. It's on. It's on. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I just want to uh -oh. show off the abs. Uh oh. Like all right. Oh, hello, Sam. <laughs> okay. Now you're gonna get. So many <laughs> ah, okay, 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 okay. Just, just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thing. All right, all right. Like for every sex joke, you can do it. Also, it's S one. All right, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> it's not. Is it on? High? Yes, it's on. It's on. It's not on high, but it is on. Do you know how to use it? Okay, so here's the thing, right here. Okay, so we can put it on three, maybe. Oh God. Okay, we'll put it. <laughs> okay, we'll yeah. put it on three. <laughs> no, don't don't torture him. I'll put on two if it's not hurting you that bad. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, God. 
Here, I'm giving you two. Whoa. On both sides. On both sides? Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. It's weird. It's, it's more It's more weird than painful. <laughs> it is painful. I don't keep... Okay, I'm putting it on oh, one. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm putting oh, it on okay. one. Okay, which one is it? Which one? 411? It is on level S2, one. S2. Okay, it's on level one. <laughs> what, 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 what is it? Which one? S2. Okay, S, S2, 411? <laughs> All right. Okay, wait. Also, I'm I want to know if this is I'm, actually painful. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one. Hold on. I I need to I need to feel if this is actually okay, as painful. Here, watch, give it. Watch. Give me one. Well, can, give me one. It, this moves my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Here, you know you need to feel my pain. I give don't know one, if I'll be able one. to do this. Yeah. Give me one. Okay, I'm turning it off. We right should now. do give it at one. specific moments. Give me one. What's? I'm trying. I need to. It's for science. Yeah. I need to yeah. know if this is actually hurting you. Every time there's a update or relevant comments, Here, I'll put it on my. I'll put it on my. On my. Sam's a pussy. Who's a <laughs> I don't feel anything. You right. feel something? Ow. <laughs> I don't feel anything. I don't think mine's working. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm <laughs> Sophia's too strong. Ow. Look look at my hand. Mine's look not, at my I hand. I can't be working. It dude. It, it's cause it, you're you're A. I'm B. Ow. God. Okay, now I feel it. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Am I the a-hole for sleeping with my sister's husband? I, 29 female, find myself in a complicated and oh, difficult situation. Real quick, this can't, someone from the Discord plug this. Thank you, Twisted Mango. Oh, oh, I just want to ah, point out for the record that I am doing the same thing that Sam's doing right now. Dude, you, it, it, it is different. It is different. Do not put it up because last time you shocked me. I'm doing the same thing that Sam's doing right now. Ow. Okay. Okay. This is crazy. <laughs> the fact that you don't feel anything. I feel it. It doesn't hurt. You're okay. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> ah, this is cr camp for the wind says Sam is a whim. It, it's completely different experience on your arm. Yeah. Put it on your stomach then. Are you B? Look, that's normal. Okay, I'm turning it off for you so you can put it on your thing. Okay. Is long term, is there long term effects to me just having this on? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that okay. too. Okay. Put it from the top. Am I the a hole for sleeping with my sister's husband? So, oh, does this, uh, ah, dude, how are you? I, 29 <laughs> female, find myself in a complicated and difficult situation that has strained my relationship with my sister, 31 female. I recently slept with her husband and now she refuses to speak to me. However, I genuinely believe that I am not solely to blame for the fallout and I need an impartial judgment on whether I am the asshole in this scenario. Prior to the incident, I noticed some questionable behavior from my brother-in-law, 33 male, towards me. Feeling concerned about my sister's well-being, I decided to address the issue with her. However, she dismissed my concerns, leaving me unsure of how to proceed. My sister works as a flight attendant and is gone more than she is at home. My brother-in-law recently lost his job and was feeling depressed. During one of her frequent absences from home, she asked me to keep her husband company and she trusted me and didn't believe the warnings that I gave her before about his behavior towards me. But I saw this as an opportunity to support their marriage and help them rebuild their connection. Unfortunately, this can't, you can't be serious. It, I took it Bro. off because it wasn't hurting me at all. You are, this is whack. I, this is unbelievable. Dude, you're, you are crazy. You are crazy. That literally didn't hurt at all. It does all. hurt. I, John, you need to be in okay, this. Okay, okay, all right. I need, I need some Wait, sympathy are they, are they on right now? 
Yeah, no, that, on one's not that one's on. That one's on. It hurts. Um, I. Is this it a didn't repeat really story? Feel like oh, cramps, um, I, but it didn't hurt. Like we, I doubled. It just felt kind of like like. A People bit said of a we've shock. heard this before. Ow. I didn't. I don't think. Ah. Uh, I didn't find have, that. Okay. I did. I did. We'll go to the next story. Riley found it. Sorry, gang. Okay, feel it. Good catch. Good catch, everyone. You feel it? I feel something, yeah. Yeah, it's But it doesn't like, hurt that bad at all. It doesn't hurt. It, it hurts me. It just feels like a, like kind of like it's like it has a reflex, but it's not hurting. I hurts me. Okay, yeah, we're we're finding a new story. Where is it at right now? S3. Uh, Here. You're at the same. You're both right. at two. Okay. Let's go to three. Do you feel it? Let's go to three. I do feel okay, it. Okay. Put it at it's three. On. Put it at three. Okay. Yeah, that hurts. Oh yeah. Oh that's bad. Oh, Oh. Uh. <laughs> mm. All right, should I go should I should I go to story 3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. I think it's worse for Sam cuz he's so muscular and his muscles oh. contract. Oh. Oh. Ow. Do yeah. you feel that? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Can, can we, have we done enough for this one? Do I have to do the whole story? It's no. a short one. You're fine. All right, you I'll, do, put it I'll back do a on short. Two. I'll do a short one. I'm doing a short one. All right. Am I the a-hole for refusing to punish my son? So me, 49 male, oh, and my wife, 48 female, have three kids, 20 male, 17 female, 20, 12 female. Now Ooh, our son is a uni more. student, but is currently at home for the Easter holidays. My son is really into something called BL. I didn't really know what it was. He had mentioned it a few times, but never oh. went into detail. <laughs> is it increasing? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I turned oh Sam's God. down. No, turn, keep it up. Keep it I know, up. I'm just keep showing it up. you're a baby. No, no, keep it up. Keep it up. I didn't really know what it was. He had to mention it, it a few times, but never went into detail. Put it at three. Put it at three. Okay, geez. Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, my God. It's so much worse. I still don't really know, but found it a bit more a few weeks ago as I went to visit him, and he went out to a manga store, and I said I would buy him one. The cashier asked for the ID, but he forgot to bring it. She correctly assumed I was his dad and explained that the book was 18 plus. My son looked really embarrassed and quickly on? told her that he's 20. He does look younger than he is often mistaken from anywhere between his actual age and around 14 ish. And I nodded in agreement. I didn't really bring it up and I just left it at that. Fast forward to now he's home and brought a few books. Oh, but do you, you feel the same one, right? John, you feel, you feel, am you, I on the same level? Are you on the same level, right? Yeah, I feel it. I definitely feel oh, it. Like, yeah. All right. I'm sweating, dude. I'll do I didn't the really next bring story it up. on three, two. And Before just left it at that. Fast forward to now, he's home and brought a few book back with. Ow! Some regular books and some in the same vein as one I brought him. His youngest sister loves to read as well. And when she saw the stack of books on his side, she went to grab one. He quickly stopped her and told her she's not allowed to read those. She was confused and asked why. And he told her that she's too young. And I thought that was it. Well, today I came home from work for lunch only to be greeted by my wife yelling at her son. Apparently, while she was out with some friends, his sister had gone up to his room to look for the books. He had put them away after she tried to read them the first time. And my wife <laughs> found her reading a section that definitely earned the book its 18 plus rating. Wait, put it at four. Oh my God, you can't even do three. Yeah, but I want to see how much you I can take. You want four, John? Uh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, well, Kinda today no. I came. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Three, 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 three. She was, no, no, put it at three, put it at three. Okay. I'm a big boy. All right. Sure. And I thought that was it. Well, today I, wait, put John at four and see how he wait. likes it. Okay. You, you, John, do you can set okay, it for four. a second. Wait, just, just, just to feel it. Is it there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a four. Want it back at three? Yeah, let's go back to three. What? How are you not? How is everyone else on your phase? baby? I that have, is, I have, uh, doesn't feel good. More information about the period simulator. Okay. After the story. His youngest sister. Oh, that one hurt. Loves to read as well, and when she saw the stack of books on his side, she went to grab one. Ooh. He quickly stopped her and told her, oh wait, I already read that. She completely blamed her son for even owning books like that and was talking to me about what kind of punishment we should give him. I was taken aback and told her that he did 
nothing wrong. He's an adult, so he can own and read books like that. And he moved the books to a more hidden spot after his sister found them the first time. This has now caused a massive argument as she's adamant that our son needs to be punished. Well, I don't think so. And have said, I will not support any punishment she gives him as it's unfair. And he did nothing wrong. Uh, all right, put it in four for the last sentence. Okay. All right. My wife is now <laughs> saying that I don't care about our daughter and that I'm manipulating her and undermining her authority as his mother. So am I the a-hole? Edit, my words seems to have confused a few people. I'm sorry, the situation concerns my younger 12 daughter and not my 17-year-old. <laughs> Still on. Wow. Okay. I'm turning yours off. Wait, wait, don't you... Can't take it off until I did not time. understand any of that story. Uh, okay. TLDR. Um, oh Opie's my God. son, who is 20 years old, um, uh, I think they either did it together or he on his own got some like raunchy <laughs> magazines and had them hidden in his room, and his younger sister found them. Uh, and then the mom was like, we have to punish our 20 year old son for having these magazines. And the dad was like, no, he's an adult. And then they had a fight about it. There you go. There it is. There wow. you have it. Um, I just got confirmation from another uh, period expert. Um, yep. <laughs> the period expert, uh, similar I heard, doesn't work the same on girls because we have a la layer of fat in front of our uterus. So it doesn't hurt as much for Sophia because of that. And I was like, but Sam doesn't have a uterus. Why does it hurt him? She's like, exactly. It'll hurt more for him because he doesn't have a, that layer of fat. I had a friend who did it with her boyfriend, and she said she couldn't feel it. So that's why Sam Samboni is feeling so the pain. Basically, the less fat you have, the more it hurts. I feel like the less fat and the more muscle you have, which is your, oh your brolic body was just my suffering. My fucking I god! I don't know about that. That was crazy. Also, now mm -hmm. like t the fact that you did it on ten is crazy. Oh, yeah, ten would be. You insane. did it to me on ten. Yeah, I put I put it on ten. That's for what the I'm video. saying. Ten. <laughs> have you like... have you used it before using it now? Uh, I use uh, like yeah. He was playing around with it yesterday. I was playing around with it with the uh, with my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh never mind. man. Uh, friend Everyone's friend saying, name. Give, give Sam chocolate. Pinky to Slayer. Because oh. I'm gonna give Sam. All right. Chocolate. Anyway, wait. I think we had some donations. Yeah, yeah, let's read donations. some donations. Yeah. Oh my god. Alyssa coming. Do y'all want crystal keychains? If so, I need all uh -huh. four of your birthstones. I think my I'm Alexandra? I'm, or I'm, Pearl? I was, I was I'm a, a February nineteenth, so Am I an amethyst? I'm July twenty first. I'm not sure what it is. I found an amethyst. Let us once. know and send it to our P.O. box. Yeah. Um it's your boote. Thanks for the five buck tip. <laughs> Love you guys. Oh. I'm at work watching right now. But that won't stop me from catching this live. That's right. That's what we're talking about. My birthday. Let's go. Pearl, Alexandra, and Moonstone. That's a solid birthstone. Oh. Green Eggs and Hannah. Great name. Uh, my partner and I have been watching your videos every day. Love you guys. Oh. Well, thank you for watching. All right. We love you Thanks back. For the six bucks donation. And I think that was a $6.01 donation for Even Gang. Nice. Um, then Jenny Moulton, thanks for the 10 bucks caught alive one. Usually on the rewatch crew, I will make individual plants when it's time to plant here for all the OKO fam in Buffalo, New York. So still a month away. Let's freaking Jenny, go. thank Woo. you for that. Rockless Ankle Wakes, thanks for the 10 buck tip. And Raz Candy Puppy, I took my headphones out and turned my phone's volume up all the way. And one of the dogs start stopped barking. I think they liked the stream. Aww. There we go. Could Guys, ooh, 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 get ooh. your dogs on the stream. Make it like dogs it on the stream. With cute little paws. And then Nathalie Ban, thanks for the five buck tip. Uh, Victoria Sab, thanks for the five buck tip. Here's a little something for the period pain. Have John buy you some ice cream now. Aww. Dude, if that's what periods feel like. Um... I, I didn't I didn't do I didn't do four so I don't know what four felt like. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, uh, had baby, it's a boy. Thanks for the five buck tips. Uh, the worst. Wait, what does it say? Uh, at the worst. It feels like giving birth to a baby elephant. Men are weak. Correct. I agree. Men yes. are weak, like me. <laughs> uh, FYI, depending on your tolerance, that machine actually stimulates standard periods up to endometrial periods which are akin to childbirth Whoa. dudes compare it to passing kidney stones rip sam's tum tum so they're saying it is it, it actually does hurt 
So thank you. I still want the uh, boxing glove on a stick that so yeah. Sophia hits us with. with. Yeah. Aramay like says Sam fun. is weak, dude. It. it I, yeah. Annan says you only felt level three. I did level four. Period, and it was rough. <laughs> Manolia Atalia Adele says, uh, thanks for the 685. Happy stream, OKOP. Great to see four of you in stream. Nathalie Ban, thanks for the five-buck tip. So glad I haven't experienced period cramps for a while. My five-month pregnant ass is eating some Del Taco. Love y'all. We appreciate you. Martika Waterman, back at it again. Thanks for the five-buck tip. Wow, Sam and John, it's not that bad. I was in labor with my... Well, that's childbirth. That's fucking like the most painful thing ever. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are not comparing this to childbirth. No, not even. <laughs> but we kind of understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not saying that. You can be yeah, on your own island with that one. Well, Sam and John's not that bad. I was in labor with my daughter for 36 hours without any pain meds and also gave birth to my son 16 months later without help due to him having complications. Whoa. But yes, our girls, our pain tolerance. Yes, us girls. Our pain tolerance is another level. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. And scroll up and up. Serenity, thanks for the two buck donation. Anywhere besides Reddit, we can share stories. Calls at 440-508-6567. And then Raz Candy Puppy, thanks for the five buck tip. BL is not raunchy magazines. It's a genre called boys love. Interesting. Okay. What, so what do boys love? What do boys love? That's, the, that's my question. Is it raunchy magazines? Is it not raunchy? Hey, Fiona. Nice to see ya. And then Susan, BL is just a genre called boys love. So romance between two boys. If it's 18 plus, it is more than likely very explicit. Is I that see. not raunchy? That's raunchy. That is, is that raunchy. Not, not by But it could be very, raunchy. like, I guess, like Susan's saying, like, it's very explicit. Do they have 18 plus versions of it that are like, What's the where definition of raunchy? So steamy. Raunchy is like, like a little, little, little sexual. Saucy. Like this show. A little raunchy. A little, little raunchy. Saucy. Except what Sophia is on. Vulgar and often sexually explicit. Yeah. God. And thanks, Susan, for the two buck <laughs> tip. Scroll up, Riley. Did we get. We got that one. Oh, Joanna Almquist. Thanks for the 474. Those are sometimes used during early stages of birth for pain relief. Yeah, I've used it for muscle spasms. Oh, really? In the past. Yeah, that's when I first used it. Dude, my, I, I feel like I just did like a like a workout. A yeah, set, I have a workout. Right? And then Robert Smart. Thanks for the five buck tip. No idea why, but I got booted from chat because the content is labeled for kids. Might yeah, be we something fixed that. to look into. I believe we fixed we it. We fixed it. Yeah. I believe we fixed it. This stream is 18 plus also. Yeah. But not that way. I don't know. Sam showed his tits earlier. Did I show my tits? Yeah, dude. You were all like, ooh. I, I, was, I was putting it on the thing. I was putting it on the thing. <laughs> Could have hid your tits. Did I, I, I don't think I showed tits on stream. Are you, you body did, shaming bro. Sam right now, dude? <laughs> I'm just saying this we could crazy. make this PG-13, but someone <laughs> decided not to. <laughs> Did, uh, I, did I show it? You'll see in the Discord oh, yeah. later. I'm pretty sure. Oh, <laughs> you'll, God. you'll see it later. Yeah, <laughs> there's a little, yeah. I, a little flash. That, that oh is God. definitely going to be clipped in the Discord. Um, it's okay. in the Discord now. It's already oh, in the Discord. God. Of course it is. But uh, you know what else that I want to be in the Discord? What? This next story. <laughs> and also, maybe we should record on the cameras for this one. Done. Is it done? Is it already on? We're recording right now. Oh, shit. Wowzers. Bro, it's going to be such an interesting stream for when that's ended, where <laughs> everyone's just like, why is Sam freaking out? What is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> and Swayze, thanks for the five buck tip. Just want to say thanks for the content, guys. Listening always helps with my anxiety, and I can chill. Love, peace, and tofu grease. Delicious. Oh, that's cute. That's Love, cute. peace, thing. Tofu, tofu grease. Tofu grease? I like that. I like that. Oh, Eva Diva. Hey. Is that like even Divan? Because Eva is making it freaking even on the stream with the 2416 wow. tip. <laughs> My two year old is laughing at your pain, so I feel like I need to give you a little more. <laughs> well, thank you, Eva Diva. Our uh, pain is your pleasure. <laughs> hey, you know what? We need to do a thing where it's like, it, like we, we always wear it, and then anytime someone donates a certain amount or something, like it's automatically unlocked. That's interesting. For a certain Talk amount of like seconds. Honestly, the, t the terror of not knowing is far worse. Than yeah, the dude. And then, like, you know, like, like, all right, this is a completely different thing, but like, there are these like cam girls that have vibrators that if you like, don't, I, I apparently. <laughs> Fuck, Sam. That, <laughs> dude, get off the internet. Sam's been dude. doing some deep research. Bro, they're great streamers. <laughs> they're great streamers. <laughs> <laughs> I have not watched it, to be clear. In a while. Mm. No, but sometimes <laughs> I'll be at like a sketchy movie site and I'll click it and then I'll be like, it'll open up like 
a oh, tab. Yeah, 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 dude, yeah. the other day you clicked on some crazy stuff. I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing right now? No, no, no. Sam and I just... We like to watch free movies. We do like to watch free movies. We like to watch free movies. Hypothetically. The, hypothetically. Get the pop-up blocker. Yeah, no, no, no. He, no. Like, he actively pressed on some chick's... What was it? Some chick's ass no, or something? No, okay. I to, can't to, remember be, what to be clear, to be clear, there were bot accounts on our uh, Oh, yeah, on our she videos, had a big butt. You clicked on I'm it. And I'm like, I hate these bot accounts. What the That's heck? What like, was. what's the deal with them? And I went on the profile page, and then on the profile page, it. they had a link. And I'm like, what's this link? And, and then was, he clicks it again. Because there's like <laughs> another link. I'm like, stop. <laughs> We're gonna get viruses. All right. Anyway, he does. Be- How's your computer doing? It's fine. It's fine. No, it's no, it's. Not. All right. I need a pee. Sophia, read this story. Here we okay. go. Okay. Jeez. And shout out to <laughs> Tina Osrak for the one twenty-seven. We appreciate you. La, 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 la. All right. Alrighty. What do you got for us, Sophia? I've got a story for you. Ooh. Mhm. Mhm. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Am I the a-hole for calling the police on my niece and not telling my sister beforehand? Wait, uh, seven. I am, yeah. yeah. Uh, Riley's trying to call me out for not being prepared, and Uh-oh. I am. Oh, sorry. Okay. Beef? Yeah, beef on stream. Straight stream beef. Let's get and it cooking. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> anyway. Still got this beef. Am I allowed to read, Riley? <laughs> yes. Thank you. I'm going to read the title again. (laughs) Am I the a-hole for calling the police on my niece and not telling my sister beforehand? So this is from Odd Masterpiece 7543, who says, I, 24 female, have a sister, 35 female, who has a 16-year-old daughter. Her daughter has started rebelling and being a teenager. Oh, no. By this, I don't mean stealing. I mean being mouthy or thinking she's invincible and she knows better than everyone. But recently, she's gotten sticky fingers. Oh. She's been banned from the mall in our neighborhood. She was suspended from school for taking a girl's phone. She oh. even tried to pawn her mother's wedding ring. Oh, my God. No, no, no. That's crazy. I don't <laughs> like my niece at my house for this reason. I have worked too hard for my things uh, for them to be stolen. Wait, you know who this niece should get with? Remember the yeah. nephew from yesterday that yeah, stole the ring? Yeah, the five, the nine-year-old. Yeah, yeah, they go great together. I could see them in a world later on in life where they're both of consent age <laughs> being together. Little bandits. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I noticed the patio door was unlocked, and I make sure to lock all my doors before I leave. My fiance suggested we get cameras, so we put cameras in the house. Mm. Last week, Wednesday, my fiance and I went to go look at wedding venues, and we were gone all day. When we got back, I only had to unlock the bottom lock to get in to get in our house. So we checked the cameras, and sure enough, my niece was in our house for hours with two guys. And they took some money from my purse. They took two of my fiance's Rolex watches. They also took my grandmother's wedding ring that she left for me when she passed away last year from cancer. Oh Oh my. my! God. Oh my God. Yo, These thieves. That's crazy. Thieves. I called my sister. Oh, wait, sorry. They were eating snacks and watching TV sh- shoes on our table and couch, just like they lived there. And this is normal. Bro. I called my sister and told her what happened and told her my niece had two days to give me everything back or I'd call the police. And she said she would handle it. Thursday comes around, nothing. Friday comes around, nothing so i called the police showed them the video and filed a report i got a call later from my sister crying and screaming that i should have told her beforehand i told her i gave her two days to come up with the stolen items and i heard nothing back and i told her i was going to call the police she's lucky i gave her grace for two days my mom called me and said that you don't have kids so you don't understand I told her it doesn't matter if I have kids or not. She committed a crime and brought two random people in my house. My safety is in danger. I don't get the whole, you should have warned me. Warned her for what? So she could hide her? I don't think I did anything (laughs) wrong. My sister and her husband said they won't be coming to our wedding. And I told them the invitation was revoked when your daughter stole my things. (laughs) I've been getting threats from her f- husband. I want to block them, but my fiance says, keep all the evidence in case something else happens. And there is a tiny baby of it. Edit. Tiny baby of it. 
we do have security systems now. We changed the locks. We're getting a safer's watches and the more valuable stuff. We were planning on moving by the end of the year and none of my family will know where I live now. We don't feel safe here knowing two random men know where I live. My fiance also says that we're getting a guard dog. Also, by beforehand, my sister meant like the day I called the police. Also, I have not gotten my things back as of yet, hopefully. I am calling around to local pawn shops, checking Facebook, Craigslist, all of it. Wow. Yikes. Stuff is still gone. Stuff's gone. That is. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, this girl. Yeah. As Janelle M says, that girl needs consequences now. Well, she probably needed it years ago. Not the a-hole. 100%. Yeah. She did. Yeah. She warned her. I don't know why the sister's like, you should have warned me. She yeah. did. She gave you two is... days. And like, th- I wonder, like, did the mom even do anything? I don't know. If OP still hasn't gotten any of the stuff back, it seems like maybe she hasn't even done anything. It's so, yeah. so bad. Two Rolexes and her grandmother's wedding ring? Yeah. Grandmother's wedding ro- ring. Grandmother who has passed away. Sentimental value. Ir- yeah. Irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. And like, we're talking like two Rolexes. Let's say they're like 10 grand each. Yeah. Let's say the, I don't know, the wedding ring is like, 15 or 20 grand which is yeah. like decently conservative i would say that is like you're getting close to a half a hundred grand yeah that is crazy yep wow Mm-mm-mm. i hope she gets what she deserves that's true but we, uh, we deserve yes to read these donations that's right <laughs> thank you tina osricock for the 127 and thank you, Insatia, for the 10 buck dip. Thanks for keeping me sane. I just signed divorce paperwork. Lots of feels going on. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry that you're going through that right now. Wishing, wishing you the best. Yeah. Glad you're on the stream with, yes. with our family. Yeah. You, yes. don't, you don't need that, that person. Yeah. And thank you. We had a baby. It's, it's a boy. A boy. <laughs> oh. For real? Is that an announcement or just yeah. the username? Uh, thank you for the 20 bucks. <laughs> Sam, I went to a party that went two days where there was a guy who looked like you, but with natural gray slash silver hair. Pretty sure I tried to hit on him. Looked good. So be excited for the elder days. Hi, Soph. John Riley. Hello. 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 That's so funny. Sam yeah. with all silver hair. Sam he would look good as a hair. silver fox. Yeah. Too bad he's going to go bald. <laughs> yeah, according to his genetics, his genetic thingy that he did. Does that does that also go to you? No. Or is it, it's like male pattern. But why does yeah. that happen? I don't know. Why do men only go uh, bald? Testosterone. Oh, that sounds accurate. You know it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. That's, I'm, that's, I said it sounds accurate. Yeah, it's so, a true fact. Yeah. <laughs> I only people, know fake facts. Okay. Because when people take tea, like uh, if they're transitioning, mm. um, they can sometimes lose hair. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Learn something new every yeah, day. And then gain like, like facial hair. Right. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. Crazy. True facts. The curse of Science. being men. <laughs> um, people are asking <laughs> if it's male time. Oh, so, hard. It's so bad. Or, what'd you say, Riley? Oh, people are asking if it's male time. Male time. Male time. Oh, I want, I want, I want Sammy to be here. Yeah, Sammy's gotta male. be here. I don't but know where he is, but he's somewhere. He's he's returning from. But you the know bathroom. what? I want to hear what this next story. Let's get into it. Do I hear his Woo. footsteps. Oh, I think you do. do I hear his tiny baby footsteps? No, they're huge. He's got a he's got a huge foot. Tiny baby Ladies footsteps. Oh, Speaking ew. of the devil himself. Thank you for Hannah Lee for the ten buck tip. I love watching you. My daughter Abby loves your name, Sophia. Thank you. That Very is sweet. adorable. You went in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, mail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's get into mail. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Before we start, we got you because Sam is back. All yeah. right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go to the mail pile. Mail pile. We're mail opening pile. mail pile. Riley, is, there, is there one I should start with? In uh, specific? You can do a big one. Big one? Okay. Yeah. That's or any of them, actually. After Here the mail. After forward. the mail. We can't Fine. disrupt the mail. Fine. Okay. Mail. Not doxing. It's mail time. Oh, I, I fixed it, John, where you can't oh. dox them. It's mail. mail time. It's mail time. The top one is funny, Riley. We're gonna open <laughs> your mail. Open your mail. Open oh, it up. Open it so wide. 
We're gonna find what you sent us. Look inside. Yeah. Get in there, boy. Yeah. Find your mail. Oh, God. Open it up. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Find your mail. And stick it in our butts. Find, find your, your mail. mail. And open it up. We're, We're gonna find, find your, your mail. mail. And stick it in our butts. I don't know if I agree with that. I'll agree for two. Give me that mail and I will take it. You know Woo! what I will do. <laughs> Sorry. Ba -ba 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 Yo! Yes! Guys, Let's these... Go. Yes! Oh my God. Yes! Hit oh me with God. the Thin Mints! Hit me with Dude. the Samoa. Let's go, Thin Mints! Woo! Bro, I love... I love this thin is mints. Great. This is great, man. You know, wait, they say if again? you eat a oh, box yes. of thin mints, you will stay thin. I'm so sorry. This comes from wait. Yeah, we can say, right? We can so. say, uh, say first, first name. name. First, first name. name. Or their screen name. I don't know if their name's on that actually. Oh, if you if you scribble the top of it. I don't think their name was on it actually. But there we is do a name. know it's. I. We'll scribble the top. Message. Sam. Samantha? Samantha. Samantha. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you so much for all the cookies. There. We appreciate Let's, you, okay, Samantha. Okay, we got we have thin mints. We have thin we mints. Have shortbread. Tree foils. Oh, there she is. Samantha. Samantha. Hey. Thank you for ten bucks. Where's Samantha? You're Samantha the gift e. that keeps on giving. Wow, Samantha double, E. Uh, thank you so much. Peanut mints. butter sandwich. Oh, delicious. What are yeah. these? Peanut butter. I don't know. Ooh, I'm eating lemonade. a Thin Mint literally right oh, now. I've never had these before. Oh, that sounds fire. Sam Hyatt, I do. I wear Ooh, size 13 shoe. This is awesome. Yep. Oh, this is delish. <laughs> so big. Oh, those ones are good. Oh, delish. Boom. I don't know which one I should have first. We'll get to them later after the stream because right now we got to read some stories oh my gosh i didn't know reading stories and in, in included eating a lemon cookie before i started this is so short, delicious amazing oh right, y'all amazing we One missed each. a two dollar donation riley oh humanoid dragon my papa oh wow my papa just passed <laughs> i appreciate the distraction i'm laughing because of sam's enthusiasm and yeah. change i'm sorry about your grandfather oh well, yeah I, I, uh uh humanoid dragon we are so sorry and we hope you uh are enlightened and, and lifted up by these cookies. We're here to provide joy and happiness. Mm -hmm. Hooray. Mm -hmm. Also, shout out to, did we already shout out Samantha E? Oh, yeah. Baby we're Godzilla. Baby Godzilla. Another Baby hour. Godzilla. One more hour, nerds. There's also an update on the Ice Swan Bridezilla boob job story. There wow. is an update. I've been that waiting was a big for that one. one. Can I try one of lemon? Yeah, absolutely. There are. Like Riley, can you pull it up in a bit? Yeah, I can get it. Yeah. Hey. Shield of Apollo, I love peanut butter. I don't think I've ever tried the peanut butter the sandwich. The peanut butter one. ones are good. Peanut butter sandwich? Oh, uh, Discord's not yes. working right now. Why, why, why not? So Discord's be... not working. That is bananas. I know. It, All of Discord? Well, on my computer, Discord sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Oh. But we need a new computer. Well, it is on the way. Baby Godzilla is here. All right. Uh, all right, all right. No more Thin Mints. I can hear you eating. Put them down. One more, one more. No, no, no. Put them. Give me the rest. Give me the rest. Dude. Give, give. Just move. Yeah, yeah. All on. right. Who's ready for a big story? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. These people's here. I'm going to eat. Thank you. Thank you. Sam is angry. Right. I want more Thin Mints. We got to freeze them first. Can you at least put them in the, in the fridge? Yay. 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 Also in the freezer section if it doesn't Samantha get it wet. E. Dude, Samantha, Samantha E. The greatest. Oh. My goodness. So much happiness. Samantha E. You... Oh. I know. Oh. I know. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Um, this might be, I'm on, am I an S5, Riley? Am I the a-hole? I think it's different. Am I the a-hole for making a big deal? Oh, so good. All good. Well, guys, we're getting a, this fresh new story for you. I think you can go ahead. Hot I'll fresh All right. Am I the a-hole for making a big deal about being excluded from my brother's wedding photos? Maybe this comes from the aptly named Visual Tap 5695. Who says? 
So my mom was widowed before she met my dad and they had three brothers from her first marriage. By the time I was born, they were 11, nine and eight. And I think their dad had been gone for three to four years at that point. Oh, damn. Interesting. Okay, he's gone. We, gone. Yeah. We don't know if he's like Milk deceased takes a while. or died. we're not oh, sure. Okay. Oh, fuck. All right. uh, <laughs> it's kind of unclear. Kind of unclear. Um, I always loved and looked up to them, but I can admit now that they were never too into me. Mom would bring us together for movie nights, family game nights, hikes, bowling, museum tours, all kinds of stuff. That sounds adventurous. Um, but the gap between us never closed. I didn't see it when I was younger. I felt so lucky to have three big brothers and people used to say how sweet it was to be a little girl with three much older brothers to look out for her and protect her. So I believed that's how it was. And I would get caught up in whatever they visited that I ignored how much uh, they avoided being around me or how cold they were. Wait, why were they, why were they cold? I think it's was, so it was, she was, a like way younger so there's like a yeah. huge age gap and she came from the second marriage yeah, i think it's a half yeah yeah so half half, half siblings. siblings and yeah she is a widow and no name says if she is a widow he is deceased so yeah the dad is dead yes yes um shout out to mj grow by the way for the five dollar donation when sophia has her own channel can we call it okay worm queen <laughs> That's amazing. What a great idea. I like it. More props to the worm queen. Worms in the chat for the queen. Um, now, they also didn't uh, don't have a close relationship with my dad, but I knew they had a different one and thought it was pretty typical. But I still thought that we were all real siblings, I guess. Mm. Sam's giggling What's over there. What's in your mouth? What's in your mouth? Mm. What do you got in your mouth right now? It's an orange. <laughs> okay, I'll let, I'll let it be. <laughs> It's an right, orange, orange flavor cookie. <laughs> <laughs> um, my oldest brother got married last year. Um, the wedding was the experience that opened my eyes, I guess. <gasps> my brother's wife got a few sibling photos taken in a few different poses and stuff. And my brothers had photos together and my brother and his wife posed with all the siblings. But, but, but. all the siblings did not include me. <gasps> oh. Yep. <sighs> Out of the family photos for the wedding. Um, I was not in any of the sibling photos. My mom even came to get me. And then I watched as the photos were taken without me. My mom oh. told my brother I was waiting. But he said I would only be in the bigger group photo at the end. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is so Aww. rude. L's in the chat for the brother. L's in the chat. L's in the chat. bro. L's in the chat. Not good. When it came to the immediate family photo, it was just my mom and three, bro and three brothers with my brother's wife and her parents and siblings. Dad and I were not included in that. This is a... Okay, so basically it's so like... New dad. Da so it's, yeah, new, new, dad new dad and new child as a result of the da new dad's seed. Exactly. And they're both just being <laughs> discarded. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sad. It is sad, right? <laughs> That what, you good. like that the word good, seed, Riley? <laughs> yes. You like seed? Also, I Love like it. this because I can see directly into Riley's eyes. Oh, yeah, you should say there. Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really get eye contact a lot. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. yeah no. he prefers to see the back of my head. Wait, no. Fuck, fuck. Never mind. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. <laughs> Bro, oh, baby. <laughs> Riley getting sus. Oh, Yeehaw. No. Riley getting fuck, sus. Fucking intrusive thoughts came out. Dude. No. What, what has oh, the stream God. done to Riley, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen? No. We love it. All right. Well, back to the story. <laughs> my, my brother did this really sweet dance with his wife's youngest sister, who is 14 or 15, I think. Uh, I am 16 for reference. That's a so also OP is like way younger. They're all adults. Right. Yeah. How how uh how much older are they? Um, they are uh uh eight, nine, and eleven years older. Okay. Than OP. Okay, so mid twenties. Yeah. You could have taken a picture with her, bro. You could have your solo pictures and then also take a picture with her. Yeah. yeah this like is we have like w with our yeah. family, we have like this tier of cousins. Yeah. So that's there's... like the cool, the cool cousins that are all the same age and just like are yeah. dope as heck. And we yeah. always take photos together. But yeah, we they... also do photos with like you know. Yeah. We have like four cousins, cousins who are all <laughs> the same age. Yeah. Uh, which includes Sam. So they'll take the photo first. 
and then and then sometimes I'll be allowed to come and join. And then no, we you, have you you uh, uh as of like the last couple of years you you, oh, you are I upgraded. Now, you are upgraded, yeah. Okay, well because you upgraded. were the tier below us. I was from the, the kids below. table yeah. to the big table. Yeah, 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 yeah I yeah. was the tier below. You we're, were you no, were. we're still at the kids table. Yeah, we're all still. Yeah, we still like are whenever we have Thanksgiving, tables. we're always relegated to the kids. Kids table, table is fire. Kids like, table is it's fire. Gen, it's generally more fun. But it's weird yeah. being at the kids table yeah. when I'm like 27, and they're like, you know, 10 year olds. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. you're with actual. We're children. with actual children. <laughs> oh, oh I yeah, see. they never have enough room at the <laughs> they adults have, table. At the adults table, bro. Yeah. But at this point, it's like the senior citizens table and like like the 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 human table. Yeah. <laughs> Real question: We have a, bu- a bunch of. Different donations that just came in but real question i'm still don't know like i address like older people as like mr and mrs still yeah mm-hmm. and i'm like when when's the when line do you stop when do you start calling someone by their first name i think it's like i think you it's a generational thing so you call the generation any generation yeah. above you mr and mrs so it's yeah. like if that could be my father or mother you are a mr or mrs damn i'm, I don't, s- I'm sorry mr fry whenever i don't <laughs> I feel like I, I never know what when, when to call adults, you know, Mr. or Mrs. or, you know, whatever or the, uh, their name. So what and if I don't know, I just I just don't say anything. I just don't refer to them. Like I'll talk to them, but I'll make sure that I'm like looking straight at them. And I'm like, oh, hi. You know, I, do, I never I kind actually of avoid say their name. Too. Avoid yeah. what? Like I'll avoid like, saying adults' names if I don't know whether or not to, you know what to refer them to them as. Oh, uh, dude, I just call them champ. Still to this day, <laughs> like my my <laughs> friends' parents, I I I'm like I get nervous about saying their names, so I just don't say their names. That's at all. especially like if yeah. you're grandfathered in. Yeah, it's too much for yeah, me. Yeah, low key, yeah, I'm, like, I'm scared of saying y'all's mom's names because like I don't. Is it? Can I say their name? Or my mom's name? Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know it was Carmel or Carmel or. Cromel, I didn't, I didn't know a little Crum- 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 of it. Cromel, Cromel, she's from croissant. Australia. Like, okay. that's out of yeah. French. Cromel de croissant, yeah, chocolate blue, but chocolate nocturnal blue. Slytherin. Woo! Thanks for the ten buck tip. So glad to have you guys at work. All hail Worm Queen, odd gay. Enter the chat and Daddy Jesse with a ten dollar donation at my brother's wedding. Wow. Oh, sorry. I thought you were at your brother's wedding right now. At my brother's um, wedding. At your brother's wedding at some point in the past. My dad and I were put at a table away from the rest of the fan slash behind a pillar. We're always the outcast. Oh, my God. Daddy Jesse, you are the opposite of an outcast. You yeah. are literally. You're an incast. You, you're an incast. And we hold you upon a throne <laughs> and carry you to amazingness. What's the opposite of an outcast, though? For real. I mean. Cool person. Yeah. In, yeah. No. A group member. Okay. I like incast. That's you're hilarious. You're an incast. Um, and that a $5. Like an did we read from a uh, humanoid? $5 donation from humanoid dragon. What's everyone's comfort food since Sam is clearly thin mints taking suggestions? Um, mac and cheese, bro. Doesn't fail. Yams. Clam mm. chowder. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Insider. I- no. Insider. Insider. Yeah, but I barely know her. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Read that story, John. Ay, caramba. Did we get this one? Okay. Uh, Thank you, Reba, for ooh, five bucks. Uh, it's not Reba. It's Reba. <laughs> <laughs> Been meaning to post my crazy college roommate story. If I post right now, how long would it take to be read slash ready? Put it in the subreddit, and Riley can grab it. Yep, and if we don't read it, all of our... 4.7k people that are in our subreddit will. Yeah. Hey, yo. Boom. We're growing. Also, shout out to Amy for the $5 donations. Uh, how old are your parents? I need to know if uh, you have to be. Wait, what? I need to know if you have to me. As, if you, oh, if you have to you call as miss. her miss. LOL. Yeah. Yes. Uh, my parents are in their early 60s. Same. Mm. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Ditto. <laughs> that's that's weird that John's parents are in his mid sixties. Sorry, I'm sorry. Am I going too hard in the paint with these? <laughs> that's okay. I have something that's on okay. here, uh, something on the will for John. On your chariot, S- especially for me. Ten if we spin the wills as, as like a torture, as torture a good method? thing. No, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Oh. Hold the phone. No, that's no. just renewals. Just, just kidding. Just but thank you, Son Yachari, for the 10 bucks. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate you. But shall right. we get back into the story? story? So, um, two or three months after the wedding, it still bothered me that they went to my brother's house 
and I saw that I wasn't visible in the bigger wedding photo. So even the big wedding photo OP is not in there. Like you would not realize I was there at all. That really upset me. And I told my parents after that I didn't want to go back to the house anymore. Interesting. Well, yeah, obviously you're not going to want to go back somewhere where you're an not welcome. Yeah, you're I not don't know if... In cast. I, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing this is like the brother's house because surely not OP 16, not their parents' house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got kind of upset in the whole wedding uh, with the whole wedding and then the photo in his house overwhelmed me and I started crying. Mm. Oh, poor OP. Yeah. My mom got so angry at my brother and all three of my brothers then told my mom that she was overreacting and interfering. <gasps> She told me how upset it made me, and they said I was making a big deal out of something I shouldn't be because I know they're not close to me and don't see me as their real sister. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know, this reminds me of Survivor when the outcast came back. The outcast and no came one back saw in them season seven Survivor, and Rupert family. fucking gets outcast. Yeah. Oh, Did he become an in-cast? No, no. no he, he was an out. in-cast. He was outcast. So rough, God. dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> they said I was just being an overdramatic baby and making a big deal out of something I should just forget. They were really angry at me. My mom and them are still fighting about it. So am I the a-hole? Guys, let us know what you think in the comments. But is OP the a-hole no no not at all she Why? just wants no. to be included in the family yeah. photo and like yes. that's a totally okay thing to want and to have them like not only not invite op but say like oh you're only gonna be in the large family photo and like we don't want you in the smaller ones is kind of oh. as they say in the home country whack that's what they say that's what they say i have another question yeah is the stepdad so the one that is currently um or, or the dad to the brother's the a hole. Is the dad, the stepdad, the dad to the brother? Uh, why would the stepdad be the a hole? Do you think? Because he is currently married to Opie's mom. But he's also being outcast. He's being he's being outcast too. Stepdad is Opie's dad. Yeah, I thought Opie's bio dad was the one being outcast. No, 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 no. Bi bio dad's dead. No, 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 no. OP's oh, bio right, dad right, is right. the stepdad. You're right. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so definitely not the. Or, well, yeah. Well, the bio dad. So, all right. So, uh, the mom is related to the family, or is it the, the the mom is the mom of all of the children? Yes, that's the one parent they right. all have in common. So the, but, but uh, the extent this extended family is it uh, the mom's family, or was it her late husband's family? Do you guys remember? So the bit, yeah. Let's see the big family photo. Because I'm wondering, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, put, put in chat if you, if you guys remember, but I'm wondering if it is the mom's family or whose family is it? The, the, the late husband's family. Yeah. Because I could see, I could understand more, not, not that it's a good thing, but I could understand more if, um, the, uh, the, 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 the fa uh, so it says, nope, she's 16 and they are older. Should be should yeah they should know better. Mm -hmm. um, the three older siblings' father's deceased. The new husband is OP's yeah. dad. Yes. Yeah. Um, it sounds like the boys from a previous marriage are angry at the mom for remarrying after the death of their dad and taking it out on OP. Yeah. Yeah. But it seems like the the extended family is also against um, OP. So I'm wondering, yeah. like, is the extended family related to? Like did the did the did the it's mother probably the marry mom in or the dad? Yeah, the mom the mom's side of the probably yeah. the mom's side of the family. I would imagine. Yeah, I don't think they're a get. Who said the extended family was? It sounded like oh, like they like put them like all, all like they would. There was a big family photo yeah. that was more than just like the you know core people that they picked. But Op said she couldn't even be seen in the big family photo that they picked. Yeah, Dang. so it doesn't seem like the extended family was necessarily like taken it out on op but the brothers were the brothers specifically. yeah the brothers definitely were uh the one getting married and the the other two yeah, yeah. i mean i think it i think like that just shows a level of immaturity to not yeah i mean like who cares about a photo and like you could i mean if you wanted to do this you could do a photo with the kids and then an, another photo yeah, with, with her and all of you tier you know? photos yeah tier photo like you know like yeah. I, I understand if it's like if like 
our parents remarried or whatever and there was another kid that just popped up who would probably want to have photos just the two of us and then we could include the other kid in, in those photo. photos you know that was me at easter <laughs> <laughs> you were in all the family photos you were in all the family photos what are you yeah. talking about we, we, riley? we took we took riley home for easter it was yeah. lovely dude so uh, i was really not helping the discord uh, <laughs> stuff. Yeah, um, Riley met our family for oh, no reason. Oh, dude, another funny thing Sophia's dad said. Uh, remember on the walk whenever he was like, "Yeah, y'all would be great." Oh, that together. was funny because Riley just out of the blue was like, "I've been thinking about fatherhood lately." I, <laughs> I can't help tell it. Me, I don't know me. why. He was like, "How did you prepare for fatherhood, Frank?" <laughs> or Mr. Donner. That is said. so funny. And then my dad was that. like telling, and he was like, "What are you guys expecting?" <laughs> I said You're, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just bro. like, Haha. I think because I think because he knows about the jokes that the right. disc, yeah. yeah. That's cute, yeah. bro. That's super cute. The Discord is fuel. Yeah. The, the fire is fuel. Absolutely nuclear. Yeah. Nuclear fueled. Yeah. But Riley has a girlfriend. I do. She's cool. And I don't like Riley. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate Riley. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's right. But we got a bunch of new people in the stream. Should we hit this next story? Let's get into it. Hey, Smack that story. What episode are we reading, Riley? Uh, 408. Yeah. 408. Story one? We have an open. All right. Um, and can I r usurp your throne, Sophia, yes. and get back in? All right. Dun, 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 we dun. are reading this next story. 408 S1. Move. Move it. Move it, kid. All right. Shall we get into this? Let's get into it. And welcome, everyone new to the stream. This is OKOP. If you haven't already subscribed, what the heck are you doing, you little chump? Yeah. Freaking subscribe and Do like it. the stream. Like the stream right now, or I will haunt your dreams. I will haunt your dreams. Haunt them. I do, I do. I, so, someone in the Discord was saying they dreamed about me. That's crazy. Yeah. Being oh, and then let's queue up the Ice Swan update. But let's get into this first story. So, am I the asshole for dumping my girlfriend after she expected me to pay for everyone on her birthday? That's insane. Yikes. That's crazy. How dare you? Everyone, that's a big bill. So I, 24 male, and my girlfriend, 24 female, have been dating for four years. On my girlfriend's 24th birthday two weeks ago, I booked a table at a pretty nice restaurant for me, her, and four of her friends. Mm -hmm. I want to clarify beforehand that I earn quite a bit more than my girlfriend. I cover all of the rent the utilities of her apartment while she covers household expenses like groceries and such. Well, while at the restaurant, I noticed how she and all her friends ordered some of the most expensive items on the menu. And John, what the fuck are you doing? I'm not doing anything. What do you got? What's in your mouth? What, yeah, what's nothing. in your hand? What's in your mouth? I have to show me. Bro, Give it look, here. Give look, it here. Look, look, look. Give it here. <laughs> okay. You can, have one. you can have one for being a good boy and listening. If you're reading, you can't have one. I'm sorry. You get one after, Sam. Sam, you have to read. You have to read. People hear you chew. Oh, my goodness. All right. Go ahead, chew. Chew into everyone's ear holes, especially mine. <laughs> There's like chipmunks. Like... You do, look at They're all synchronized. You like the cookies. It's so good. Samantha E., thank you again. Anyway, so at the time, I would only be... <laughs> no. While at the restaurant, I noticed how she and all her friends ordered some of the most expensive items on the menu. The most expensive. At the time, I thought I would only be covering mine and my girlfriend's bill, so I wasn't really concerned. Well, when the bill arrived, the waiter asked if I would like to split the bill. And I said yes. W waiter. That is a clutch move from the waiter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't, don't they always do <laughs> that? No, they don't always do that. They don't always do that. Sometimes they'll just give it, give it to you. Whenever yeah. I'm in a group setting, they'll be like, do you, like more than two people, they'll be like, mm -hmm. do you want to split the bill? I told the waiter that what my girlfriend and I ordered would be on me. Whereas mm -hmm. the rest mm -hmm. should be decided between her friends. Mm -hmm. The bill totaled 1,100 yep. euros. For how many people? For... Uh, four, four friends. So six people. Four, 
six, six people, people. Right? and it totaled a and that's euros dude that's Bro. euros that's oh like 1.6 times the amount so that's like 1800 bucks in america whoa oh i remember the smiles being wiped off their freaking little dirty little faces as soon as i said that I ended up paying for my girlfriend's and my food while her friends paid for theirs. I remember the car ride home being awfully silent. I kept asking my girlfriend if something was wrong, but she kept insisting that she was just tired. And no, she wasn't just tired. There was more beneath the surface. What was beneath the surface? Um, this idea that if you haven't liked the stream and subscribed, what the heck are you doing? What are you doing? Like the stream, like the stream, because when we get to 800 likes, we'll spin the wheel again. Yep. yep. Damn we straight. Will. Damn straight. So subscribe, like the stream, and you know, just just keep tuning in. We love you guys. So, my girlfriend ended up giving me the silent treatment for the next week, a whole week. A whole wow. week. Wow. Yeah, for OP pain for both of them. That's what you get the silent treatment for these days. Inflation. (laughs) I would keep asking her if something was wrong, but she would always refuse to say what the issue was. The thought of me not paying being the culprit kept creeping into my mind. But I would always reassure myself by telling myself that my girlfriend wouldn't be dumb enough, Mm. stupid enough, incompetent, incompetent, enough, enough to expect me to pay for everyone's food. Well, not that. How many that. of those did he actually say? Well, he just said dumb. <laughs> well, well, I just lost it last Monday and demanded an answer from her. And for everyone tuning into the stream, I we're demand asking, a like. I demand a like. <laughs> Fucking like the stream. <laughs> and Opie is asking, am I the a hole for for? Ooh, oh, well, we don't. Well, there's, there's there's new information here, but basically, Opie is asking for advice. Am I the A for dumping my girlfriend after she expected me to pay for everyone on her birthday? Oh, wait, there might be. Um, there might be some dumping. <laughs> there might be some dumping. Some dump might be some dump trucks oh, coming in. No. Some dumpies. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway, so I just lost it last Monday and demanded an answer from her. All right. What was the answer? She ended up telling me. What? Telling me. She ended up telling me. What did she end up telling me? She ended up telling me that I embarrassed her in front of her friends by not paying for everyone. I asked her why it was my responsibility to pay. And she told me that since I organized everything <laughs> and I was the man, uh oh, I was obliged to pay for everyone. Whoa. Whoa. Get your dirty gender stereotypes out, out of, of my, my story. Get out of here. Eat I'm kicking you to the curb. I'm kicking you to the curb. Also, if the the whole idea that like someone who organizes some, th- something should pay That's, for everyone is ridiculous. If anything, stupid. everyone should pay them for organizing yeah, it. Yeah, they 100%. have to do all the work around. Yeah, they do all the work. Exactly. Come on, bro. Ballroom Blitz Kid says, oh, that's kind of sexy, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. Isn't it? <laughs> is that perchance sexist? Is that perchance sexist? Right. Yeah, you would be right perchance. So we ended up getting into a heated argument and I ended up staying at my parents' house for the next couple of days to gather my thoughts. Whoa. I came home last Friday and her attitude towards me didn't change one little oh. bit. It didn't completely turn around. It didn't completely turn fine. around. It didn't oh. completely turn around. They're, 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 and they're, they're, we're, we're getting to stinky woman territory. Uh-oh. Stinky I think we actually we've been squarely woman. in stinky woman territory for a while. Stinky woman. And I think there's about to get some, we're about to smell some more stink. Stinky we're about to, woman. Yeah, we're going to smell some more stink. But before we smell more stink, I just have to thank Ivy Bean. Hey. For the $5 super chat, as much as I absolutely love the OG Little Sellies, may I propose the idea of Worm Army instead? Worm Army coming to a theater near you. Don't you worry. Truly. And Rhea Skizpakniak, thanks for the $10 tip. <laughs> Y'all are my therapy. Love each and every one of you. We're glad we could be your therapists. I Hopefully that's working out for you. <laughs> and then Vinny Grappo, <laughs> thanks for the $10 and 17 tip. I feel bad for Lily, but I love cookie mukbang ASMR. 
I'm glad you can hear us smack a little See, lips. They love it. They, they love, love it. it. Yeah, Riley. they love, love it, Riley. It, Riley. <laughs> and Samantha, thanks for the five buck tip. Sorry for causing trouble, Samantha, Riley. Samantha, it's, Samantha, it's not you. It's them. <laughs> it's literally them. You're totally fine. Yeah. Send as many cookies as you want. <laughs> and Ko Yang, thanks for the two bucks. I love you guys. I'm from Minnesota. Minnesota. Well, yeah. I'm gonna go Minnesota. back to this story because that's where I'm from. Minnesota. I'm from the depths and barrels of Reddit. Well, I confronted her again. And she told me to transfer the money her friends paid for the food. Oh. And only then would she talk to me. So she's kind of given Mafia a little boss. ultimatum. Yeah. Trace oh. for the money. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my lips silent until Wait. I get some payment over here. We can here. have a conversation. Yeah. Trace for some... the money. Why don't you put a Benjamin in my hand and maybe, maybe I got maybe some information for you. Maybe I will put you, you nice for that. So... <laughs> We got into another heated argument, and I broke up with her. Oh! And then and there, telling her to back her things and go skedaddle, skit scap and skedaddle. While leaving, she called me a broke boy. You're, you're a broke boy. And wished me good luck finding another girlfriend with my brokey mentality. Dude, he like paid for her. He yeah, paid for her. Girl. Who's broke here? Bruh. Okay. Well, this is interesting because I don't know if I would feel this. Mm -hmm. I almost immediately regretted dumping her on the spot for something that in the grand scheme of things is really small. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's dude, small. Dude, she wasn't going to talk to you unless you pay her friends. Yeah. yeah, dude. Like literally that is one level away from prostitution. Hmm. <laughs> Um, can we sue her for extortion? Yes. Can we call the police? Yeah. Wait, but yeah. emotional <laughs> prostitution. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 I could see that. Yeah. 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 Can I get a high five? Wait. 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 Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we <go>. So, uh, <laughs> she sent me an apology yesterday for calling me those names, but she insisted. On me paying back her friends if I wanted to make our relationship work. Uh, she's yeah. like, I'm so sorry that I called you those names, but <laughs> you gotta pay my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta pay my friends. I love his friends is thicker than yeah. faster. Yeah. If you want to be my lover, you gotta pay my <laughs> friends. <laughs> nice. Good one. <laughs> Why am I getting pity? Pity comments. Oh, no, that was great. Uh -huh. yeah, no. Good one. No, all right. I liked anyway, it. I liked it. <clears throat> me too. So I have been a mess since. I don't want to throw away four years with someone I consider to be the future mother of my kids. I could have given her friends a heads up that I wouldn't be covering for them, and I know that's completely my fault. Op, I don't think no. so. But her behavior over the past two weeks has also been quite concerning for me. But again. I love her too much for this situation to be the end of our relationship. I just want to swallow my pride and send her friends the money and forget about everything. So the question becomes, am I the a-hole here? Mm -mm. Or actually OP says, am I the, am I the a-hole here? Mm. Did I overreact? Should I apologize slash send her friends the money? So chat to all 1,010 of you, Ooh, which is a big number. That's huge. Big, That's whoa. huge. 1,010 of you in here. I ask you these three questions. I ask you these riddles three. <laughs> and I want you to put your answers in the chat right now. So, riddles three. Am I the a-hole here? Did I overreact? And should I apologize slash send her friends the money? I'll give you a triple no for that. <laughs> so what put your answers in the no. chat right now. Right now. Do it. Do it. And if you haven't done it, what the fuck? Why are you even here? Whoa, um, no, no, I'm kidding. Say, say, say it. I, I'm a strong man. <laughs> You're Who a can't take care of it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, so you said who good. can't take periods? Who can't take periods? Yeah, it's fucking true. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm yeah, not manly enough to have a, a period. That's a for no one. It's true. But, <laughs> nice um, work, Riley. <laughs> Sophia. No one should have to experience that. But I have a question for you. So what? what are your answers to those riddles three? That's a triple no. Triple no. Why? So uh, first, am yeah. I the asshole? Am I the am asshole? Am I the asshole here? Why? Uh, no, I'd say you're not the asshole here. Uh, well, that's because uh, your girlfriend's the asshole. Okay. Well, yeah. Did OP overreact? Yeah. 
No. Why? Why not? Uh, because your girlfriend's the asshole. Oh, go. <laughs> and you should never date an asshole <laughs> because they stink. They <laughs> Stinky mm. woman. And then finally, <laughs> yeah. should I apologize? Oh, no. No, not you apologize? You should never apologize. And to should Lisa? I send her friends the money? You should send your friends a uh, uh, lawsuit. I think, I, you know, yeah, I think that's what, right, that's what the yep. OP should send. Yep. One yep. of those. Express delivered. Yep. Little, little middle Indeed. finger. Um, also, I think if anything, he should he should just send a Venmo request for, yeah. <laughs> for her end of the dinner. <gasps> oh, that'd that's be good. fire. That'd be that's good. fire. I think it's just funny that he broke up with her and she's like, I see your breakup. Uh, however, if you want to get back with me. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not like yeah. she broke up with him. No, 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 he no. broke up with her. And she was like, we can fix this, babe. We can fix this yeah, yeah, if yeah. Just, you pay me. Just pay, yeah. pay. How insane is it that you value your friends so highly yeah. that you're like, no, yeah. we won't break up. You just pay back my friends. Yeah. My and to, like, all right. Like, actually, I mean, terrible situation. Yes. OP is not, uh, uh, does not deserve this kind of stuff from uh, the, the girlfriend. No. But... My friend willing yeah. to throw the relationship in the trash to cover a a, a, a bill for a restaurant. Yeah. I have a conspiracy theory though. Oh, oh we're not put on your freaking hats. Put First on conspiracy your hats. theory of the stream. Um, I believe that this group of friends, OP is trying to like it's it's like the cool girls in high school. Uh, like, like she's Dad, why won't you buy me a Bugatti? Yeah. yeah. And she's like trying to get in with the friend. She's like Listen up, ladies. We're gonna have. <gasps> oh! I'm so hot. Damn. I have to be cooled down. Damn. Right. You can listen to my conspiracy John is theory. Hot yeah, as to him fuck, dude. Theory. So my conspiracy theory is. That Wait, here, come over here. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sorry, we're 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 a little we're a little warm today. We're a little warm today. All right, so my conspiracy theory is that uh, I always look like I'm in Run DMC in the stupid hat. Uh, I think that there's like a group of like cool girls. She's trying to get in with them, and she's like, "Guess what, ladies? We're going to eat on my uh, boyfriend's dime, and it's gonna be so good. And you can order whatever you want and get a three hundred dollar plate." Yeah. yeah. She's trying yeah. to buy her friends, and that's not a recipe for success. No, it's a recipe for what? Disaster! Disaster. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, we look like we have like a little hip hop band right here. My name is Johnny J, and I'm here to say we're going to read Reddit stories all day. We don't play, we ain't whack, and you're here, so better smack that like button right here, right now. If you don't do it, I'll be so down, be so sad, be so mad, but if you do it, I'll be so glad. Ooh. It was really good. There we go. Hit that like button, y'all, and subscribe if you haven't already, because we are about to get into this next story. But before we do, oh. shout out to We Had Baby It's a Boy for the 10 bucks. My name's from an old commercial from the early thousands. Would you be down to come to up to Sacramento? I'm a film photographer and would love to get you guys some 90s style portraits for the OKOP's about page. That would be sick. Would when be we are in fun. Sacramento, we will definitely hit you up. There we go. And love bubbles that's for the $1 tip. I love cupcakes too, but I'm not going to grovel for it knowing it's not good for me. And then Hamster Girl Brittany, thanks for the Bro. two bucks. Level 10 simulator... Are you are you trying to kill us? Level ten simulator jolt needs to be on the wheel. Yeah, no, I will say that was like that would be torturous. It would be, dude. Yeah. It would be considered that, that was like legitimate I, torture. I, I, I yeah. We are doing a photo shoot soon with like someone was like, "Where is Worm Queen and Sir Knight Riley uh, right. on the uh, on the YouTube homepage?" So we are actually going to do a whole photo shoot and like a redesign of the page coming to a theater near you. Ooh, thank you, Baby G, for the five buck tip. It. I twerk to that beat. Yeah, you twerk to that oh, beat. Let's go, thanks. baby G. Baby Godzilla doing Don't those Godzilla you. twerks. Yeah, but you know what? I want to twerk into what? I want to twerk into this next story. Is that me? Is that who that? That's Johnny Boy. I think that's Johnny me. Bahami. And where am I at, Sir Riley? You oh, are in the, the room. Question of the hour with uh, us now. Four oh eight s two. You're in your childhood bedroom. Oh. <laughs> Mama. Surrounded. Mama. By little baby bears. Oh. 
and you have a smell of interesting heidi browning says sophia if you put the pads on your back around kidney area it will feel similar to how the boys felt it really oh and that net, net navi says sophia wearing her ha hair down in the striped shirt and overalls for 90s photo shoot oh yeah, wait i can, oh, i forgot we were still in we're back yeah, to reality. reality yeah we're not we're not b-boys ah, anymore sorry <laughs> i see you reading me this there next story reality. and there we go so Am I the a-hole for telling my ex fiance's parents exactly why we broke up and I called off the wedding? Could be disastrous. <laughs> Responsible Town 866 says, sorry, this ended up being kind of a long, but... Thank you. I, you're welcome. Yeah, we like it long. <laughs> oh. God, sorry. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Straight by the it's, 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 It is true. We do. <laughs> that is true. It's good for the... Story. Story. <laughs> so, <laughs> I met my ex fiance, Amy, when we were both 27. Interesting. Wait, I'm 27. Wait, I'm 27. Wait. <gasps> I'm 22. 23. <laughs> right off the bat, we hit it off <sighs> out of the park. Pretty early in our relationship, Amy let me know that she had a pretty wild past, wild enough to make a long story. Mm. I told her I didn't care, but I did have concerns about whether she was actually wanting to settle down, which I kept to myself. I don't know, maybe communicate. Mm. <laughs> she, had, <laughs> she had told me how her past had caused a lot of strain with her parents, but didn't really go into detail. I pushed all of that aside and dove in and we had an amazing relationship. We nice. just didn't communicate about any of the problems. <laughs> That Perfect. seems like a recipe for disaster. Or a recipe for success until it implodes, baby. That's true. That's true. Yeah. If you don't acknowledge it, it isn't there. That's Next. true. That's what I always say. But I acknowledge Martika Waterman with a $2 donation, 962 watching, and only 775 mm. likes. WTF. Do you even want to spin that wheel? I don't Truly. think they do. you do. want to spin that wheel? Because there's, there's stuff I on that wheel. It's they like do. they want it stationary. It's like they want it stationary. They want it non-spinning. Yeah. That's Unac ridiculous. Unacceptable. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Truly unacceptable. Yeah, you're like potential energy to Whoa. the possible kinetic <laughs> energy that we could have. Yeah, yeah. We could have so much kinetic energy. That's science for you, That's baby. That's science, baby. The laws of physics are disgusted with you. Yeah, okay. exactly. Dude, Newton is fucking rolling, rolling in, in his, his grave. grave. And that's kinetic energy, baby. And that's kinetic energy, bro. <laughs> now that's science. That's yeah. freaking science. So... <laughs> <laughs> Great banter. Over the years, I grew pretty <laughs> close to her parents. I spent a lot of time at their house helping her dad with projects. We'd all often three go out to lunch together. They are wonderful people. How close? Oh, is that an ICU <laughs> in the comments? Wait, 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 wait. G give me, g give me a TLDR. <laughs> yes. So, so far, um, OP uh, has an ex. We now know it's ex fiance, but we're in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, they are diving into the relationship, and things are picking up. Yep. The parents like them, but they're not talking about things that might be arising over the past. Right. And there might be things rising. It is looming in the background okay. just now, I ominously. Um, shout out to still Reba for the $5 tip story is posted. Thank you, Sam, for reading my name correctly. Y'all are so funny. We try. Um, you're hilarious for having you awesome might name. be funny. That's true. <laughs> Rachel the Axe Hatchet's $5 donation. I want more packages opened. Well, Rachel the Axe Hatchet, you got to hack away at these people not liking the stream. That yeah. is, How many likes did we say? That is 800. 800. We're, we're, five, we're, five, away. we're five away. We're five away. We're five away. away. And there's An angry cheese it. Five buck super chat just wanted to let you guys know baby cheese it was born a healthy nine pound, 21 inches. I ended up having an emergency C-section and texted Riley the full update. We did get the full Angry update. Angry Cheese It. We've been talking about you nonstop yeah, in the yeah. stream, just so you know. And so has everyone in the chat. Yeah, every, everyone has been very curious about what's happened. So yeah. Uh, we, we, yeah, we, we were talking about you early. Yeah. That's right. Man. The people love you. And Kim Quant, thanks for the two bucks. What do you not like about the hats, John? I can fix that. No, no, no. We I, like the hats. I absolutely love the hats. They are fan. I was making a joke at myself, I think. It was like, we look like Run DMC, which is a good thing to look yes, like. Yes, absolutely. I yeah. literally love the hats. Yeah. They are so perfect. I mean, there's a reason we're wearing them. Yeah. Yes. Because we love them. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, true. tell me who's in the chat for If the I said for anything to d dismiss the hats, that is incorrect. Yeah. Past John in the stream. And that's an actual John. That's right. 
Oh, and Kristen Kepler, thanks for the 10 bucks. I love you guys. You guys are the only people I've ever watched it alive. Anybody else bores me. Ah. That's damn straight. They're all boring. boring. So you guys save my brain from itself. Oh, well, Kristen Kepler, nice. we're glad we could do that. Oh, wow. Save your brain. Yeah. Shout out to you. But I want to know what happens next in this story. Well, um, so. Um, ba -ba -bum. <laughs> what? What now? The thing just keep going. I'm no. gonna keep going. So, um, I pushed everything uh, aside and dove into the relationship. We had an amazing relationship, and over the year, I grew pretty close to her parents. Spent lots of time at their house, helping a dad with projects, and we'd often go out to lunch together. They're wonderful people, and after dating for about three years, I proposed. <gasps> oh, ah, uh, yes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You know, you should always propose to the person that you've never talked about any of the issues that you have with. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Amy was ecstatic, but her parents were even more excited. Mm -hmm. We had what seemed like a fairy tale engagement. Oh. Allie was a coworker of Amy's, and they became really close. Allie is one of the kindest, most sincere people that I have ever met. And one weekend, Amy's friend Sarah invited her on a weekend trip to Vegas, baby. Okay. Now Sarah was someone. Now Sarah was not someone. <gasps> That I liked. Mm, okay, friend wait, Sarah. I hate Sarah. We hate Sarah. We she's, hate Sarah. She's not it. Mm -mm. Um, she was a friend from that time in Amy's Amy's life. Who oh, was a from very like bad the crazy time. From the crazy times that they right. don't talk about. So we're, we're 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 talking some some shenanigans happening. Some True shenanigans, man, like wow, Rachel Hatchett donating twenty dollars. One dumb millennial has one hell of a story. She posted in the subreddit. Uh, everyone go find it and read it. Also, this dono is for her. Aww. Also, Rachel the Axe Hatchet, thanks Rachel. for being so... Yeah. Uh, Literally such a legend. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. 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 It's, it's really, really cool to see, like, like especially in the subreddit, we're, we all lurk. Yeah. And it's just, like, really cool to see how active everyone is. And uh, yes. uh, and the Discord also. Yes. Yes. Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, you're missing out. It's That's awesome right. in there. Community supporting out. community. Yeah, we have like we're we're gonna do way more stuff also for the community. It's so coming. it's coming. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Um, so this friend Sarah would pressure her to drink, do drugs, hook up, etc. Peer pressure. Yikes! That's bad. It's peer pressure. I heard her calling me boring multiple <gasps> times on the phone with Amy, and even told her that she should break up with me a couple of times. Kidding, of course. Quote unquote. Yeah. I wasn't thrilled about the idea, but Sarah invited Amy's friend Allie, which made me feel a lot better. Allie was a coworker of Amy's, and we all became really good friends over the years. Allie is one of the most kind and sincere people that I've ever met. Uh, they went to a club one night, and some guys were all over them. They invited the girls to their suite slash penthouse upstairs, where they were throwing an after party. Whoa. Amy and Allie declined, but Sarah guilt-tripped them into going. Oh, Whoa. no. During the party, um, during the party, Allie was alone and wanted to go back to their room and sleep. She went looking for Sarah and Amy to see if they wanted to leave or let them know that she was leaving. Um, she found them in a room and Sarah was hooking up with one guy and Amy was having a threesome with two guys. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. The next morning, Amy begged Allie to not say anything to me and Sarah said it was her fault. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Wait, so wait, I need a refresh yep, yep, on yep, yep, everyone yep. because we just got into the craziest territory. Okay, so are you ready? We're gonna yeah. we're gonna run that back oh one more time, God. ladies and gentlemen. What just happened? Uh, so during the party, um, and refresh all the characters. So yeah, I, I was gonna say their names. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's yeah, good yeah. friend, uh, good friend Allie, bad friend Sarah. And fiance Amy, right? Right. So good friend Allie was uh, alone and wanted to go back to their room and sleep. She went looking for the bad friend Sarah and the fiance Amy to see if they wanted to leave or let them know she was leaving. Oh, my God. Well, good friend Allie, being the good friend she was, found them in a room. Mm. Bad friend Sarah was hooking up with one guy and fiance Amy was having a threesome with Two guys. So in the o same room? Yeah. So yes. So oh, OP's I don't know. So OP's fiance. Yes. The person that he's about to get married to. Yes. Mm -hmm. He just realized was having a threesome yes. at a party. He's describing these like past events yes. that have all this is all in the past. We're working our way up to oh, the boy. present day where we know they are not. But but together. but but this 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 was this was happening yes. while they were together. Correct. 
Yes. Yes. About pre 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 marriage. After they were engaged. Yeah. Pre wedding, post engagement. Oh my god. Yes. Stinky. The quite stinky. stinky. By the way, they were in separate rooms. They were in Just separate rooms. Yes. Does it make it better? Yeah, I know. Well, Honestly, that was my question. Okay, actually, it makes it worse. Because I was thinking, oh, like maybe they were both having threesomes and then one of the guys just like switched to the other threesome person. pile. Yeah, yeah, the other threesome pile. And so it was like, oh, it wasn't like she went with the intention of having a threesome. She just cheated once. Yeah. Um, but now it's Does, it's it's I way worse. It's way worse. That makes In sense. Sam's golden rules, if you have a threesome, <laughs> is that cheating twice? <laughs> yes, it is, yes, it is cheating twice. It's but it's one instance. Cheating. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. It is true. It is one instance. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. On we'll that get one. back to the golden rule, but we'll get to Latina Barbie 17's five dollar donation via the tip link. Thank you so much for that, Riley. If you could scroll down a little bit for me, um, I found myself saying one hundred percent at work a lot lately, <laughs> and it hit me that I got them that from you guys. Can you tell I watch you guys a lot? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can. It's actually been really funny seeing some of the comments of people like being like, "Oh, that's whack," because we all say like, "That's whack" a lot, <laughs> and so now everyone says it we in the comments. We are infiltrating your brains. You will say what we say, yeah. and you will like it. No, I do find that I do that when I watch certain shows or like certain YouTubers who have like you know phrases that they use a lot. I'll. Yeah. I'll incorporate them right. unconsciously. John, John will say a hundred percent. Then he went up to a thousand percent, and then a million yeah. percent. And 1, I catch myself doing that. A I lot do say a lot of percents. Yeah, and percentages. like, and then John will also be like, "Oh, like when I'm like playing with my hooping stick on the sidewalk and throwing the jacks on the floor." Yeah, I'm saying that. All <laughs> the time. You just catch me just saying me. <laughs> Dude, sometimes oh, Riley's laughs God. are so painful Dude, because he gets so much enjoyment out oh, of my pain. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, I didn't know where you were going with that. And I was like, oh, God, yeah, that's boy. so good. It took me a second. It's an old joke, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. It took me a second. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're proud of yourselves. <laughs> my favorite thing is oh, man. John, John and I are the same age. Dude. <laughs> That's that is what in in truth that is what makes the joke so great uh, yeah. is that we are literally <laughs> the same age. John is six months old. We are twenty seven years at this very point in time in history. We are both twenty seven, counted twenty seven years old. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Not a year more. There's early. one way he can fix this is if he shaves his beard and cuts his hair. I would legit look like a child if yeah. I did that. Yeah, baby. That's true. Baby. I like your style. But we're getting back <laughs> to the story. So oh, yeah, there's one more tip um, oh. above. Oh, there is? Scroll yes. up, Gotta baby cakes. Shout that out. Shout that out. Hey, humanoid dragon for the two bucks. Not the fiance getting stuffed like a turkey. But that's right. <laughs> humanoid dragon. <laughs> I mean, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Both of those Close were enough. great, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we're on our feet. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're doing live. God. Oh, anyways. <laughs> so, when they got back. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. The next morning, uh, fiance Amy begged good friend Allie not to say anything to me uh, and, and to Sarah. And Sarah said it was her fault. It's all it's all in Sarah. Oh my gosh, it's all my fault. My fault. Yeah. By the I way, I had o the threesome. Opie was worried about this trip. He of had as he, had he had should be. Yeah. As he should be, because Sarah is a bad be. influence. That's yeah. right. But uh Joanna Lynn is a great influence with a ten dollar donation link tip. Woo. Just got back from practicing my disc golf tournament this weekend. That's lit. Let's freaking go. Glad to watch y'all on live to make my day that much better. Please wish me good luck for this weekend. Joanna, can you win this for the OK fam? Yeah. For the yeah. worm yeah. army. Yeah. And I, then yeah. tell everyone who witnesses your glory to like the stream there we go. and yeah. subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, do Please so. Do it. Please do it. Or Worm Queen will vanquish you to yes. the depths of hell. Good luck, Joanna. <laughs> So when they got back, <laughs> um, good friend Allie told me everything right away. Living up to her good, good friend, friend Allie. Name. To her credit, my fiance Amy did not deny any of it. She said she freaked out about getting married and effed up. Bro, double, all double right, time. okay, okay. She did f up. That's true. She yeah. did f up, but also like. If you're and freaked down. out about getting married, like maybe talk to your counselor. partner. Don't like, don't like go, go to a confessional. Yeah, yeah. Like, like literally, like open your holes up by talking to your partner with your, your mouth, mouth 
Open don't, your ear holes. Yeah, don't open be your, your ear holes, holes and listen and holes. talk. You yeah, know, don't. That's right. Don't just be inserting dogs every which way. You know. Why are you doing? Or that? giving dogs. Why are you doing that? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Don't be stinky. Don't be giving dogs. Fuck. <laughs> Opie says, probably those laughing reactions. <laughs> Opie says, I was crushed, but obviously called off the wedding and broke up on the spot. Good. Real Good. quick, right move or not? Nah? Yes. Right. Chat. 100%. Right move? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, put, put W's in the chat if you think OP was... Yeah. Uh, W's. Was good. Come on. W's. Yeah. Let us know. W. W's in the chat. But yeah, I think, I think OP... I, I, I would do the same. Yes. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Same here. I had not told many people about what happened except my immediate family. Mm. This all happened six months ago. Now, I saw my ex fiancés Amy's parents, at a hardware store a week ago. They expressed how sad they were that we broke up. Her mom, who I was close with, close with. I have an okay close? story time that is very relevant. Uh-oh. Is it the one with the mom touching you? No. <laughs> okay. Good. Just... I had to make sure. I've already <laughs> told that one. Oh, it's your favorite one to tell. It's not my favorite one. Okay. Dude, you've told it like five times. I've told it like three. Well, my you've favorite seen thing every is story. this story. <laughs> All right. Okay, story time. My favorite thing is... Ex-girlfriend's parents. <laughs> my favorite thing is Twisted Usagio 8. I uh, post a story on the subreddit. I hope you guys find it. P.S. Love listening to y'all. Thank you for sending that in. We will check it out. Yeah. We'll look into it. Um, her love mom... Say again. Love listening to us too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, uh, her mom, who I was close with m me, asked me what happened. Uh oh, uh -oh. what do you do? Do you say, do you, do you do tell you, the truth? Yeah, A, yeah, do you tell the truth? B, do you say nothing? C, <laughs> do you kill everyone? Hey, what? what happens if you roll a nat 20? Uh, <laughs> nat 20 charisma check. <laughs> uh, I would, I would not say anything. I don't think. Yeah? Yeah. I would just say, oh, it just didn't work out. Parents don't need to know. She didn't think I was a cold feet type and could just cut Amy out of my life. I was so confused, but then kind of awkwardly clarified that when she was partying with Sarah, who they all knew about, she decided to cheat on me with two guys. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Was that <laughs> too much? Honestly, all right. If to if, the parents, I, if if they're like, well, why do you break up? Like you guys were so good together. I would be like, oh, I just didn't work out. But if they were like, I can't believe you did that you to her. Did, yeah. yeah. Then I would be like, wait, what are you talking about? She, yeah, cheated, she cheated on, on me. me. Yes. I don't with think two he, guys. I don't think he needed to be like. They were like, yeah, what happened? I don't think Op needed to be like. Yeah, she she had a threesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two yeah. men. She had a dirty, <laughs> filthy threesome. Yeah, I don't think he needed to do that. I don't know. I feel like it might just come out. I, th I mean, OP's obviously was hurt, so. Yeah. I think OP may be low-key enjoying a little bit of petty revenge. Yeah, but like, it, to be fair, I think if the parents just came up with like, why do you break up? I don't think you need to say anything, but if it was like, I can't believe you did that to her, and he was like, what are you talking, talking about? She had a threesome with two guys. Like, I think, I think well, that I might slip out. Well, I don't think it was necessarily wrong to like, tell the truth. No. I just think you shouldn't have specified. Yeah. Well, I think that we should tell the truth of Martika Waterman donating 25 bucks on the donation Martika, link. you've been active, girl. Going, going crazy. So my birthday is on May 29th. It's on a Wednesday. Are you guys doing a stream during that today? If so, can I have a birthday song, please? If not, that's okay. I can be happy to just see you guys on my birthday. Martika, if your birthday falls on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday... We Which will be live. It. We will be live yeah. streaming. It falls on a Wednesday. Well, maybe uh, it's Australia. Oh birthday. no! It, you're right. Yeah, Australia birthday though. Are you in Australia? Are you We're in Australia? Australia. We could do it the next day. Which there you go. Would be my, maybe okay. But you know what? I want to do right now. What? Get into the rest of this story. Well, let's do it. But Martika, happy birthday! Happy birthday! We have a thousand people in the chat and eight hundred forty-three likes. What the frick frack is going on? Holy moly! Guacamole! Oh wait, does that mean we get to spin the wheel? Yeah. yeah, but oh. we have to finish. I feel like we should finish this story. Yeah, we're going to yes. finish this story. It's taking then, us so long. It is. At a thousand likes, we'll spin the wheel yeah. again. Bingo. All right. Let's get back into it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, uh, do, 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 do,
She was pissed that I told them and saw it as a way for me to get back at her by turning her parents on her. Mm. She said she gave me everything I wanted in the breakup and apologized a million times. It was true. She moved out immediately, worked out canceling wedding plans, etc. It was a clean break. No drama. That said, her parents were super pissed about throwing away our relationship. They told her sister, who Amy always competed with and hated for sleut shaming her constantly. Yoinks. Her parents are pretty well off and gave her sister and my brother-in-law a huge amount of money to get their lives started. They promised the same for Amy, but told her they are going to just donate it since they don't want to finance her lifestyle. Mm. Which, I mean, like, if you cheat on your fiance, have a threesome, do you deserve a giant bag of cash? No, I do not think so. Yeah, that should, not. yeah, yeah. Janae Brown says, "Play stupid games and then dot 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 win stupid you prizes." Win exactly. The stupid prize. Yes. You won the prize of losing all the money. You win the yeah. stupid Kimberly prize. Yeah. Kimberly Torres says, Psst. "Woman, you did that to yourself. Shaking my head or so much hate. Play stupid so games. Get stupid prizes." Yes. Yeah. Right. This That's is right. a common phrase. And Ballroom Blitzkid says, what's that? Is that the consequences to your actions? I, I think, think so. so. Oh, That's right. I like how yeah, you said that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I, could, I could hear your voice in it. You, know? you can feel it. I could feel it in my and, bones. And, uh, but Amy with the $2 donation does approve of OP's pettiness. Yeah. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Um, <gasps> it uh, <laughs> what? Are you good? <laughs> is the fiance named Amy? Uh, Amy, yeah. Yeah. Two Amy's. There's two Amy's. Oh, the good Amy and a bad Amy. Yeah, the Amy. On. Yeah, we love the good Amy's. Yeah. Yes, the good Amy's are great. Um, they are very amiable. <gasps> oh, oh, nice. All right, let me finish the story, guys. We're almost done. I kind of knew it might happen, but didn't really care. Um, with with that money being taken away. Um, I would have been fine keeping it to myself until I found out that she told them that I basically got cold feet and <gasps> abandoned her. So she did lie. She did lie. Amy says she always thought I was kind, but it turns out I was a vindictive asshole. <gasps> so am I the a-hole? That is the question. Is, is o, was OP petty? Yes. Was OP petty? I don't. Okay. So do I think OP, should OP have said uh his ex-wife had a threesome probably not yeah 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 but like i can i can imagine being in this situation and being like oh like like just like it kind of like word vomiting out like oh wait i can't believe she said all of that this is what actually happened mm -hmm. so like i could i could see see accidentally saying that so slightly maybe a hole for giving so much context but i think something that has happened before and i think is actually relevant to this is we've done all those divorce stories where uh the good partner will be like not say anything about the partner that cheated yep. and then the partner that cheated will go and spread lies saying the good partner cheated right and basically by being this person that was trying to protect their partner uh, they actually get shat on for it. Mm. And so I think this is a similar situation where OP was like, I'm not saying anything. And Amy kind of said poor things to her parents about OP. Mm -hmm. So I think in that way, like not the a-hole. Oh, wow. We have a hundred percent votes for not the a-hole. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Agreed. Yeah. So I think not the a-hole, but there's like, like accidentally the a-hole for maybe giving a little bit too, too much info. TMI, if you will. Yeah, TMI, TMI. But yeah, it's like, it's like that might have been TMI, but if you do the deed and it comes back to you, that is simply karma, yeah. baby. Yeah, That's simply just karma. karma That's how the cookie crumbles. You're that the is, show. Yeah, it feels like we have a completely, uh, uh, we have a deluge of not the a-holes. And shout out to Riley for... The Ryland. the polls working. Killed the poll. Killing yeah. it. Yep. Riley is not the a-hole. Yeah. Cherish High that. Vibes says not the a-hole. Amy should know when to shut the fuck up. Ooh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love uh, Riley has this air laugh that I love oh. to hear. Where he goes, <laughs> Oh, 
Gutter Dweller says he didn't specify it was a threesome, though. Just that she cheated with two guys. That doesn't default to at the same time. <laughs> That's true. That is, that is. All right, we got him on a technicality. <laughs> if someone says, oh, I guess, yeah, she cheated with two guys. Yeah, maybe I would. Maybe, maybe because I we knew think, the yeah. context of the threesome, yeah. our brains yeah. immediately went there. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe I wouldn't think. What's worse? What? Your partner cheating with two people in a threesome or your partner cheating with two individual people? Two oh. individuals. Two, two, times. two times. Two times. I think I would feel worse about a threesome. Yeah. I disagree. I think two times. They're ganging up on her, man. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't take that. <laughs> I feel I, terrible. I think also it's like the image of that is far worse in my head. Yeah. Oh, well, right. I'm thinking just multiple instances, though, is worse for me. It is multiple. It's like multiple. It is multiple instances. It's just instances happening at the same time. No, mm -hmm. I'm talking about days. Multiple days. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so you would rather your partner. I would rather my partner did neither. Well, yeah. No, you got to put one. This is hypothetical. This is hypothetical. Are Don't be on the fence. Pick I already one. said. I already said. Well, I think it would be worse for uh, to be two, uh, two different people on two different days. Yeah. I. Which would you? All right. Which would you rather choose? Would you rather your partner cheat on you twice with one individual or once with two individuals? Let's get a poll going. <laughs> get, yeah, yeah. Twice or threesome. Yeah. 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 Twice, twice or threesome. threesome. Put your answers in the chat. Let what would you know. want? Um, I do have an okay story time though. Uh -huh. And I, I, I think I told most of the people here, but uh, I was in the car and I uh, the the car's like voice commands are not great, and so I said. Call Carmel McFadden, <laughs> and uh, which is my mom, and it did not call her, and instead called my ex's dad. <gasps> oh dear! And I'm like, no, 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 and I'm like, and I'm like, no, no, call Carmel McFadden, and then it again mm -hmm. called my ex's dad. Oh, and no. so I hung up again, and then two seconds later, who calls but my ex's dad? Of oh course. man! Now my ex's dad and I got along so ridiculously well like we were best buds like it, 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 it was ridiculous um and like we would like talk all the, like he's like an entrepreneur we would like talk all the time about that like thinks very deeply also just like really goofy and like loves to hang out and like throw these like crazy cool parties and stuff he's just a cool dude is this future you <laughs> honestly i wouldn't mind being being him yeah. when i grow up um and and like we were talking, we we like I, I like I'm like, hey, sorry, I butt dialed you, but like, and he's like, oh, no worries. And then I'm like, but how's it going? <laughs> and so we started talking about like this car that he's uh um like 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 putting together and 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 uh re refer like furnishing or refurbishing, um, and we talked about that for a little bit, and then like, and then we talked about like I don't know, he's he's investing in some like AI companies, and then 15 minutes later, um, wow. We were we, still we, talking. Yeah, we're still talking, and then he says like, "Hey, like, uh, there's like a lull in the conversation. He's like, hey, like, I don't want to hang up." And I'm like, <laughs> "Let's keep talking." Neither do I. Let's All keep talking. <laughs> and so oh we keep God. talking for yeah. a little bit, and then we're talking about like I don't know, like uh, like just like we're talking about comic books. Or, oh, we're talking about vinyl records. Um, just like all, just like really engaging stuff, and then we're laughing. We're having this like amazing time talking to him, and then. At, as like conversations winding down, I'm like, hey, like I, I have to jump. And he's like, hey, you know, maybe if the stars align in some way, we'll be able to talk more often. Aww. It was great chatting and catching up. And the then the best part about this, though, is that yesterday was his ex's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, baby. Yeah. I gave her I gave her a little uh, a present because um, nice. she gave me one for my birthday uh, a couple months ago. Oh, wow. Um, True. But yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome talking to him. It was great. It was great. Yeah, and that's the end of the story. Wow, yeah. Fun story. dude, that's, that's my like, okay story time about being on the the good side of of ex girlfriend's parents. There we go. Yeah, the good, the good, the break good of side, the good, the good. Bad, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, but you know what? I want to get on. The wheel. The wheel. Of justice. Wait, but before we do that, Martika Waterman, thank you for the five bucks. No, I'm in Navarre, Florida. Where is that? In the Panhandle. In the Panhandle. Well, <laughs> but my daughter will be turning seven next week on Friday, so you can sing Happy Birthday to her. She loves the Worm Queen uh, and can't wait to see her gaming channel. Someday. I can't wait to see my gaming channel. Me either. too, because I'm a huge gamer. <laughs> and then we're working. Did, on did it. we read Amy's already? No. We did. I approve oh, yeah. of OP's pettiness. We did. 
And then Kirsten Kepler, thanks for the five Kristen. bucks. Get oh, Kristen Kepler, thanks for the five bucks. Get Sophia Throne. She deserves her own chair. We're working, yes. also working on that. And Rachel, the Axe Hatchet. Ba -ba -ba. Thanks for the five bucks. Just came in to say, I'm sorry, John. Your gift is the only one that has not arrived soon, though. That is more than okay. That is yeah. beyond fine. Beyond fine. Beyond. Just like John. Uh, a present and spin the wheel. All right, let's spin yeah. that wheel. Let's go. And we have a bunch of new people in the chat. We have like, this is the biggest live stream. 1,100 Welcome. people here. Welcome. Welcome. If you haven't already liked the live or subscribe, the fuck are you doing? You, don't be an asshole. Come on. Don't be an asshole. You're no, here. You might as well. Like the stream. You like the stream. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. And what? Kelly G3. That's a, what? Wow. You were G like a G3. Like a G3. Three. Yeah, thank you for the $100 tip, Kelly G3. Just got to the gym and getting in my daily dose of you. You'll help me with this workout go quicker. Hopefully, we'll get another hour. Love to the OKOP crew, Lil Sillies, and the whole OKOP yeah. fam. Don't stop working out until we stop yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to work out for eight hours. <laughs> yeah. And Debbie Lovecraft, thanks for the five-buck tip. Dated someone who I found out through my friend group cheated on me in an orgy in the middle of a public park. Uh oh, Debbie, that sounds that like a story. Sounds you need to, yeah, we need to hear. You need, that. you need to put that in the subreddit I don't know right too much now. About lies, but that's that sounds crazy. Illegal. My previous ex beat their ass and never seen them since. That's crazy. Yes. I want to hear that story. That's insane. That's absolutely or, or insane. You, but uh, for everyone who's just tuning in, for everyone new here, guess what? We're about to spin that wheel because we got to how many likes, Riley? We got to 800 likes. If we get to 1,000, I'll We're going to spin again. that wheel again. Come on. Yeah, and there are 1,135 of you guys. So like the stream. Done. Like the It can get done stream. right now. We have two right. wheels. But you know what I want to see? What? Spin, spin that, that wheel. wheel. Very spinny. Treats. Treats. We have. I don't think we have treats. Oh, yes, wait, we, we do. We, we have, have cookies. We have cookies. Hey, okay. you guys are gonna have some. I want a treat. treat. I want a treat. Treat. Um, who's Actually, reading the next one? I'm okay one? right now. Wait, Thank I want you. a thin mint though. I'm in the fridge. I want a thin mint. Give me a treat. Thin mint. Ah. How was I supposed to catch that? Here it comes. Here it comes. No, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have to go get that one though. All right, Sophia, do you want to read the next one? Yeah. <laughs> We don't want ants, Riley. They're fun. Want ants? But you have to get rid of them. Yep. Aye, aye. They'll come in my room and I'll have an ant farm. Oh, dude, that'd be so fun. I need something to take care of. I think that's why I want to be a father. You we have a dog. Riley's feeling paternal. Yeah. All right. What? What am I reading? <laughs> feeling paternal. Um. We're in my reading. Are, and also, are we opening up a present? Are we opening up a present? Are we opening up a package? Can we open one up package. a package? One package right now. Yeah. Package. Go. Do the top one. Okay. Also, for everyone ah! here, um, <laughs> Tell me about the PO box. Thank you, Curvy Girl Lala Flame, for the 20 bucks. Thank you for reading re uh, my story yesterday. Your story was great. You did a great story. You guys missed out. Oh, it was no. really good. Yeah. Also, Curvy, I'm sorry. For everyone in the stream who's new here, we have a PO box, and people we have, have been sending box. us stuff. So we have a little segment we like to call. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. No one's ever come up with that before. That's us. That's just, just exactly. us. They said right. that. The, the, the OK peepers said that. Where we sing a That's little rhyme and we, we open up we our don't mail. Know. It, everything's good. You can you can unopen un it on stream. We I I swore I wouldn't dox anyone anymore. I'm making sure it wouldn't happen. Molly Ramsra, thank you for saying yesterday's stream was awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah. you see what we can accomplish when there's no distractions. Yeah. <laughs> what uh -oh. is it? What is it? Oh, I love it. Oh my god, this is from this is from Hasbin Hotel. It's amazing. Oh my god. Who sent this book? I don't know who sent this. I don't know. Maybe Aoki. Perhaps? Tell me. Oh my god, I love it. Chat. Do we know what was it? What was it again? From. Uh, from what? what? Something hotel? Has been hotel. Has been hotel. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry sent this to us. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. Thank you. Oh, thank you I Jerry. love it. We have, oh, that's so cute. Maybe we put it's it next to the gnome. Dust. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show it. Show Bro, it. That thing can yeah. go in front of the gnome. I literally love gnome it. Gnome is overstayed as well. Oh I have to show my friend this because she also watches. Um, there we go. Uh, she also watches Has been hotel. Please don't. Is this kill angel the gnome. dust? 
And I love it. All right. Hey. I love them. We are going to get a shelf to put everything you guys give us. Yes. Jerry. Where are oh, you wait. at? Wait, bro, it was me. Worm made in Aoki. So it was it was Aoki. Hey, Aoki, thank there you. we go. I love it. It's amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. We appreciate you. you. Also, so if you send us something, uh, include a, like a little little letter so we, we can we can read it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Aoki, we appreciate you. Aoki also sent us some. Also, if thick. you send something, put John or Riley's name on it, because the UPS guy yelled at me. He was like if you guys put OKOP, you're going to have to pay more. I'm like, come on, dude, we have a YouTube channel. Work with us. He That's whack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So just put John's name on it. Yeah. And shout out to Produce Not Pills for the two and a half dollar tip. Can we get another Sam butt shot? Hey, okay, there's a hoodie. Oh, Sorry, a hoodie just being coming. inappropriate. Yep. I'll put that on the wheel. Thanks. Eh? Thank you, uh, Produce Not Pills. And then the Reba. Thanks for the $25 tip. Hopefully this helps get you closer to another hour. Love listening to y'all in the background of my life. We love being in the background of your it. life. Honestly, yeah. it's the best place to be. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Reba, are you adding more ease? It feels like every time. Reba. 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 But we're going to get into this next story. What do we do? Yeah. Also, the Discord link is in the description of this YouTube video. So if you want to join the Discord, that's where everyone hangs out and pokes each other come hang with us and guys mm. i got a special story for you why whoa why this is from the okop subreddit oh r slash okop show if you haven't already gone on the subreddit get on get, there get, do it get yourself out there or I'll get on you. there all right get, yeah we will with... we will attack you with love but let me yeah. attack you with this story thank okay. you <laughs> i reacted emotionally to my husband making a mess and now i feel Terrible. Oh. <laughs> so, Ooh. character C9184 says, and if you're in the chat, make it known. Uh, a little backstory on my husband before I get into the story. I, 25 female, met my husband, 27 male, six years ago when I was starting college. He went to a pretty good engineering school and I went to a neighboring college. My husband is quite literally the smartest person that I know. He's literally a rocket scientist. I don't know if that's actually what he is, but all he told me is that he works on rockets at LM. Doesn't say anything else about his job. He's also very good with his hands and renovated our entire house himself and is currently working to restore a 1985, uh, 1985 GMC 2500 pickup. Yeehaw. He is also a dang good cook and can make pretty much everything anything dream man alert <laughs> yeah yeah he, uh, he, he sounds, sounds dreamy great. as fuck a yeah. man good with his hands smart and is uh, yeah. it's a mean however oh. Oh. one quirk about him oh, is okay. that he remembers ev exactly where everything is but only if he puts it there <laughs> need a paper clip he says there's one next to the back left leg of his desk a pen well there's one in the top drawer of the bathroom med uh, medicine cabinet and things like that he has so many good qualities. They're like, he just remembers where things are. No, but That's only if crazy. He puts it away. That's oh, crazy. He yeah. puts it away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it's like, why, why would a pen be good in the top of the cabinet? Like, that's not where pens go. No, it's, yeah. But his mind, yeah. his mind, a beautiful mind. Oh, uh, the downfall is that if he puts anything down in any other place and I move it, then he will search the entire house before asking me. I was going to say, kickstart that. Yeah, that's an ADHD trait. Yeah. Now on to the story. Last week, I woke up at 6.30 a.m. to a missed call from my mom at 1 a.m. Not super unusual for me. My husband looked at his phone and noticed that he too had a missed call from my mom at 1.20 a.m. He told me to sit down and to call her at that moment. I typically call her at around 8 a.m. on my way to work, but I did what he said. Turns out my grandfather passed away at 12.15 a.m. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I was devastated when I heard the news. I wailed while my husband rubbed me and consoled me. Oh. He took the phone, got a few details from my mom, and then told her that I'd call her later. My husband then called my bosses. I work at a pretty small shop, and my husband knew the bosses well and even redid their bathroom for them and told them I wouldn't be going in. They understood and gave me, uh, told me to take as much time as I needed. This now, is yeah. an extremely sad story. Yeah. But Janelle M just donated a hundred dollars. 
I'm sorry, OP. <laughs> yeah, OP, we are very sorry, but we just have to shout out Janelle. Yes. Thank you for uh, helping us go for another hour. Janelle says, another hour, let's go. I need a distraction while I work out. Well, we are a lot of work that. glad that we can. A lot of working out, buff dude. people. Yeah. Buff babies. And Darlene, thanks for gifting five memberships to the little sillies. Darlene, thanks. Darlene. And Caitlin Marie, thanks for the five buck tip. Hey. I have a story. My boyfriend matched with my sister who lives out of state uh. oh. on Tinder, which led me to finding out he had a double life. Please put that in our subreddit, our Sasha yes. OK OP show. Yeah. Right now. Do it. Yeah, right. Do it. But do it. let's get back to the story. Okay. Let's do it. Um, after some time, my husband got up to take care of the dogs. After a while, I heard. Oh, wait, did I? I'm sorry. I didn't. Sorry. Going back. I skipped some stuff. Go back. Um, now some insight on my grandfather's and my relationship. He was my favorite. And I hate saying that as I love all my grandparents, even my husband's grandparents. But my grandfather had a special place in my heart. He taught me to fish, skip rocks, ride a bike, cook, etc. He constantly made an effort to come to my events. Sometimes he would be the only one who would show up. He never talked bad about my dad when my parents went through a divorce and instead took me, took me places and listened to me. He pushed my parents to get me into therapy and was my number one supporter and advocate. So I was completely devastated. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. After some time, my husband got up to take the care of the dogs. After a while, I heard a ruckus in the kitchen and I went downstairs to find out that in a matter of 15 minutes of him getting up, he had managed to make a mess of a previously cleaned kitchen. One thing about me is that I absolutely hate a messy kitchen. My husband and I agreed that he'll cook and do the big dishes like the pot, big pots and pans and baking sheets, and I take care of the smaller plates, bowls, cups, utensils, and disinfecting of the counter. When he saw me, all he asked was, where is his holy grail? My husband's holy grail is a book that he has had since he was about four or five. It's a thick, small notebook that had almost 100 handwritten recipes in it. A good majority of the recent ones are from his family and are staples in his family. Not only are ingredients and quantities in there, but also notes on texture, color, and feel of the foods during the various cooking stages. Wow, man is like is really detailed. That's a chef. Also, Tia Ravetti, thanks for the 20 bucks. Yay, one more hour. That's right. Let's go. Getting one us over the hump. hump. And Chrislin71, $2 tip. And thank you for tipping on the tip link. Keep it going. And we we're going to keep it going. We Here we are. One more hour yeah. just for y'all. Um, to my knowledge, he can recreate almost any of his famous, uh, his family's famous dishes with this book. And let me tell you that he comes from a long line of phenomenal cooks. Lucky. This guy does it all. He really does, though. This guy's amazing. When I found out that that was why he trashed the kitchen, since he says he put the book on the second shelf of the left-hand side of the island next to the walk, I absolutely flipped out on him. I called him inconsiderate of what I was feeling and going through. Yes, it was harsh, and I fully admit I was an a-hole, and in my defense, I just found out I lost one of the most important people in my life and walked in on a messy kitchen that was previously clean, and he knows a clean kitchen helps my anxiety. I walked over to the bookshelf, grabbed the book, slammed it on the counter, and told my husband I was going to my mom's and that I'd be back later this afternoon and that the kitchen better be clean. Mm. My husband tried to talk to me, but I ignored him and left. I know it was awful to do, but I was a wreck and in an emotional state. I already planned on going to my mom's that morning. I didn't just leave because of the messy kitchen. After about, a five minute, uh, after about five minutes into my drive to my mom's house, about a 45 minute drive away, I called my husband and apologized for yelling at him. Mm. I really did feel bad and he assured me that it was okay and he understood. He admits he shouldn't have made a mess and should have just asked me where I moved his holy grail, but he didn't want to bug me. I told him I loved him and that I'd be back in a few hours. Oh, okay. So things and there, are... there's more to this story, but that's really But cute. things are going well. I think things are yeah. good right now. And Angie says a frank, a uh, fragrant fellow. Fragrant mm. fellow. A fragrant yes. fellow. Yeah, he is a fragrant fellow. Yeah, it seems like Opie just lashed out because she was in kind of a... She's stressed. Tough, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Which totally. very, you know, very excusable I think it's under the circumstances. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, OP continues. When I got home from my mom's, I opened the door and was instantly hit with a smell that stopped me in my tracks. 
The entire Poop. house smelt. What do we think? Poopy. Of a fragrant fellow? Like my grandfather's famous ham pot pie soup. Oh. oh. So sweet. Oh, Pete, you have such a good husband. That's good. great. I walked into the kitchen to find a semi-clean kitchen, minus used dishes, and my husband stirring a pot of soup. I asked him where he got that and if it was my grandfather's soup. <laughs> he said that it was and that he made it. I asked him how that's possible since I just came from my mom's. And one of the things we cried about was that no one knew how to make some of his signature recipes. This soup included. He pointed to his holy grail and said that my grandfather taught him. Oh. 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 I started to tear up and walked over to the counter to look through his book. The first bit of the book was filled with his family recipes. But the second bit was filled with my family recipes. And I have oh. a big family. Dude, this is like that scene in Up where he's like looking through the My Adventure book. And you know, you know in Up where he's like looking through the My Adventure book and he like can't flip to the last page because he's like, oh, we never went on any of the adventures. But then he finds the My Adventure book again and he flips and it's like all their milestones and like them oh, getting cute. married yeah. and like <laughs> them growing old together. It's like that. I'm tearing up. This is <laughs> so cute. <laughs> if you guys have seen Up, you know what I'm talking about. This is really cute. Uh, each recipe was... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, and I have a big family, eight grandparents in total due to divorce, and each set with amazing and unique recipes that I grew up loving. Each recipe was detailed with how to make it and different tricks slash inside knowledge that only my grandparents knew. I asked when he did this, and he said that this is why he always helped in the kitchen at my family's houses. Wow. I used to think that my <laughs> husband was trying to win brownie points while we were dating, but he was actually learning the recipes for me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so sweet. Wow. I just started to cry again. I mean, ugly cry. Through my tears, I asked my husband for a bowl. No. Oh. <laughs> And he got me one, and when I tried it, I cried even harder <laughs> as it tasted exactly as my grandfather made it. Oh. I FaceTimed my mom, and even though I couldn't talk through my tears, and she asked what was wrong, I just showed her the bowl of soup. <laughs> oh. Somebody, she's like, she's like <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh. She then asked if she could come over, and my husband said that he made a huge pot for the family, as that's how my grandfather always made it. Oh. I'm just thinking of that scene in Princess and the Frog when um, uh, Tiana's dad makes that huge pot of gumbo, and he invites the whole neighborhood around. So freaking cute. Yeah. Bro's oh. from the south. has to be from the south. This is so cute. And although not all... Oh, wait. Hold on. Um, when my mom got to my house, we had some of the soup and cried together. We then asked to look through the Holy Grail to see what my husband was able to record. And although not all of my grandfather's recipes were recorded, as my husband could only record what he was there for, there were quite a few of his signature dishes written down in that book. My mom and I called my grandma and gave her the news, and I bet you can guess it, she cried too, as she never took the time to write down the recipes. She said she always figured he'd be around to cook, as that is how they did it for 55 years together. Oh. She asked if we can save some, and my husband piped up that he pulled a mic, my grandfather's name, and already put single portions into bags oh. and put them into the freezer just like my grandfather did so they can be reheated at any point in the next couple months. When my mom left, I apologized to my husband for the millionth time that day and asked my husband if there's anything I can do for him as he already cleaned the kitchen. He simply <sighs> replied, stop moving my things, and we laughed. <laughs> Frick. Well, dang diggity darn if our hearts aren't just <laughs> overflowing with <laughs> love. <laughs> that is so freaking cute. Oh, boy. That's so cute. That is the cutest. That's the freaking cutest. Wow, I'm... You have an amazing husband. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of cuteness and family, shout out to Dinky the Stinky. I'm in your Discord, brother. That is that, that is my sister. Oh, oh. Yes. dude, let's go. <laughs> Bro, you're looking angelic right now, yeah, by the way, dude. Bro. That golden hour lighting, dude. Yeah, Sheesh. it comes through that little that little slit. Yeah, I wanted to say that, but it felt weird. <laughs> Slither of the Slither. light, yeah. crack. Yep, oh, crack. a little. Cr yeah, it came from the crack. Yep. Oh yeah. Ravish. And Susan Martin, thanks for the 
two bucks. Hey. Thank you, the stinky. Thank What's you up? Stinky. She's in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. W's, W's for my sister in the chat. Yeah. W's. Let's go. Yeah. W's. W's. She does W's. make John funnier. I will tell you that. Like That's after true. calls with John with the sister, he is funnier. So thank you. Iron sharpens iron. She uh, is. She is the funniest of the two oh, of us. Hey mom. She's an amazing comedian. Dude, family's in the chat. Let's go. Mom's here. Big family. Let's go. Hello, mother. Where's our Be mom? Uh, dad did just call. Yeah, dad just called. Wow. Let's get the whole family in Dude, the Dude, the whole fam's thinking yeah. about us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so really cute. cute. Wow. But you know what else is cute? What? This Ew. next story? Oh, oh my God. Or maybe a call in? Oh, oh. After the story? You can do a call in after. Yeah, 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 yeah. let's do a call in after. Also, I need to take out my contacts. My eyes are dying. Because you cried. Because I'm crying. All right. What story should uh, I read? S4, S4. S4, S4, do you want more in 408? That's the right place, I hope. Okie dokie. Are we ready, sir? Ready? Let us do it. Am I the a-hole for not allowing my boyfriend to see his childhood friend? So he ended up finding out that she died through her friends. Wow. Oh, why did I'm her gonna, friends kill I'm gonna her? Say, I'm going to say a-hole straight off the bat. Yeah. I'm going to say a hole straight off the bat. Well, let's see what Aromatic Ad 6950 has to say. My boyfriend and I have been dating for two years. Excuse me, two years now. He had this childhood friend that he was extremely close with. They were attached at the hip, vac vacation together, and had holidays together. When I met them, I originally thought they were together, like as in a couple. Hmm. But he assured me they were incompatible. So, no, they're just friends. So we started dating, but he kept prioritizing her over me. He would tell her everything, text her every day, and kept mentioning her. Perhaps. I'm thinking that sounds just like a friend. Perhaps. It could be. It yeah, could be. So far, I don't think that's out of the realm of friendship. Indeed. Um, I told him it made me feel lesser than and insecure. I just didn't like how close he is to her. After some arguing and pleading, he agreed that he was putting me second. He said he'd talk to her uh, and tell her he wants to focus on us. After that, their interactions stopped. Interesting. Mm. So it didn't decrease, but... It just stopped seemed altogether. seemed to stop. Mm. A week ago, one of their friends texted him to let, uh, let him know that she had uh, uterine cancer, I believe <gasps> cancer of the uterus, uterus yes, um, and uh, passed away a few oh. hours ago. My God. My boyfriend became a completely different person after that. He became kind of manic. He ran to meet with their friends, demanded to know who was handling her funeral and apartment and possessions. She had no family left, so they were thinking of splitting the responsibility. Oh. Mm. He strong-armed them into letting him help. They relented, and next thing I know, he's spending every day in her apartment. He took time off work and just spends hours there. I got worried, so I asked his friends for her address and went to check up on him. Um, as of right now, so quick TLDR, yeah. so... Uh, OP's boyfriend uh, had this other female friend. Childhood friend. Childhood friend. Easy. Lady friend, lady friend. Lady friend. No, I was just saying this is specifically a childhood friend. It is specifically. So this is like a long friendship. A childhood friend. Yeah. Um, and OP was like uncomfortable with how close they were and felt that uh, the boyfriend was prioritizing the friend over her. So she was like, hey, can you like not you know, prioritize me over her, kind of have that, that conversation. Yeah. And they ended up stopping talking altogether pretty much. And then OP just learned that she passed away. Yeah. And is now like deep in her like funeral planning and like everything else. And probably seems like very distraught. Yes. Right now. I think a little a-hole on both OP and the boyfriend. Mm. Why the boyfriend? Uh, the boyfriend, because he cut contact with his childhood friend, um, mm. when I think he should have just, unless she was actively flirting with him or something, like, unless there was something going on, I feel like that's really disrespectful to a friend to cut contact. Yeah. I, 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 I I'm, that's a good point. I yeah. didn't even think about that. I was, 
I wonder how it's it's hard to tell because OP was like, I do feel insecure about it. Yeah. So I don't know if this is like OP's insecurities talking or if there really was, was something going on. More yeah. like prioritization of the friend. Yeah. Hard to say. Um, I, I, I think it's not necessarily an issue for her to be like, hey, I'm feeling not prioritized yeah, here. Yeah. I just think that I don't I don't like how it was handled. Yeah, like I feel like OP should let him continue the friendship as long as there's no signs of foul yeah. play or yeah. anything of that nature. Yeah, no, I think it's fair for her to say like, hey, I don't feel prioritized here. Yes. Yeah. Well, there is more. Um, uh, Celia531 in our chat says, OP's boyfriend's childhood friend who he's prioritizing over her so she asked them uh, to work on their relationship, which I think is a fair boundary. I think it's fair boundary to say, yeah, let's work on the relationship. I just think on the boyfriend's part, I think it's not cool. A hundred percent. So Opie goes on to say, I thought he was packing up her stuff and throwing things out, cleaning, but he wasn't. Instead, he was going through her things, reading her journals. Hmm. Apparently, she's been journaling since she was small. He even began trashing her apartment to find her laptop's password mm. my goodness that's mm. kind of a lot mm. uh he claimed that she had trouble remembering stuff like that so she would write them down and stash them around the apartment in little hiding places and he knows that password is around somewhere why do you need access to her laptop yeah, what she her got laptop? in there that seems like an invasion of well i guess <gasps> wait 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 what it is an invasion but conspiracy theory yeah. uh -oh. Bitcoin, <laughs> crypto, <laughs> money, money. Hmm. That is very interesting. Like, yeah. she she has a password to a crypto wallet. Come on, it's a yeah. It is a little bit suspicious. Suspicious. Yeah, Elizabeth says OP didn't ask him to stop talking to the friend. She asked him to give him more something. Riley, can you scroll up for me? Oh yeah. To give him more, uh, give more of his attention to her instead of the friend. Yeah, no, I agree. I don't think that was um a, the wrong thing to ask. I just think maybe a little a, a shoulderie on the boyfriend's part. Yeah, for cutting contact with the friend yes. specifically. Unless something, but like we Unless don't know. There was yeah, evidence. Unless of something else was going play. on between them, or you know, we don't know exactly. But if it was just friendship, and he was like done, that yeah, this is true. But. Back to not just reality, but the $5 tip from Joy Scott on the donation link. Hi guys, love you so much, we love you back. I listen every day, my mom has a popcorn business. Uh, I should be sending some soon. What flavors do you like? Let's freaking popcorn. go. What flavors are there? Uh, uh, anything like, spicy. Is it kettle corn? Uh, dude, candy, uh, pop, uh, candy, C caramel. Caramel. Popcorn. I'm more of a kettle corn person. Ooh. What is, did I not say kettle corn? What no, did no, I say? no. Caramel corn and kettle corn are different. I meant to say kettle caramel corn. Um, salted <laughs> ranch and buffalo. No, I need to know my <laughs> options. Those are, yes. those are the Let options. us know, Joy, in the comments. But I also what... need to know the rest of the story. Oh, that is true. Um, well, I'll finish the rest of the comment real quick. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Also, Riley, who are you dating? I keep hearing you say my girlfriend, lol. By the way, John, you look young. Don't worry. Uh, Joy, we're not we're not doxing. I was like, why are you reading this comment? That was oh, funny. oh, who am I dating? Um, I'm dating and we've been going on for and it's been super great. That's true. Well, there you have it. There Thank you, you for it. sharing, Riley. Yep. We yep. appreciate you. But I appreciate this next part of the story. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I had it when he started asking me if I can call Best Buy and see if their geek squad will unlock the laptop for him. He's asking the girlfriend to help him break into the laptop over here. I wonder laptop. Dude, because she doesn't have any other family, so maybe, I don't know. There's something. I, I, this is just very fishy. Money. It could it's be money. It's money. Cash money. However, however... There is a world, there's a world where he's doing something sneaky, but there's also a world where sometimes you have to get on, like when someone dies, you have to get on their computer to get like business, like, you know, bank stuff, that is information true. like that. And if she doesn't have any other family, he may be attempting to do that, but also he's being a little bit suspicious, quite frankly. Like explain. 
Yeah. Maybe. Explain why. Ask. 50K is on the line and it's on a computer. Yeah. yeah. Would you be, be looking for a password? If I told you, hey, John, I invested in crypto. I yeah. have passwords all over my room and then I die tomorrow and I have no family and you were the only closest one to family. What, what would you be doing? Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. He'd Probably be, be good looking. looking. Probably be looking. I don't know if I'd be as like, OP seems like he's going bananas. Uh, just yeah, ripping everything up. a little crazy. But, um, Opie says, I tried telling him how crazy he was acting. He blew up on me. Started yelling at me, screaming about how this was all my fault. Oh. How none of this would have happened if I just let them uh, keep hanging out. How he read her journals and how he knows the reason why she stopped talking to him was because he told her I was feeling insecure. So she oh, stopped talking to him. So it seems like maybe... He came to her and was like, I have to kind of lessen the contact that we're doing. Yes. I think, I th yeah, it's like, yeah. I think he went and said like, hey, my girlfriend is feeling insecure, so we can't be, I, I don't know, yeah. regulated some, but we don't know the exact details. Yeah. But um, it looks like from this sentence here, he at least actually said that she was feeling insecure. Yeah. Her girlfriend was. Um, and how she tried reaching out when she got diagnosed and called to see if we, if he wanted to go to dinner. He cornered me and asked me if I remember throwing a bish fit at her invitation and begged him not to go. So he declined by telling her that I wasn't comfortable. Uh, so he declined by telling her that I wasn't com uncomfortable with them, comfortable with them hanging out anymore. And then she just disappeared after that. Apparently, took that to me. Sorry, excuse me, guys. Sorry. Apparently, she took that to mean no contact ever and just kept her cancer diagnosis uh, hidden from him. So that's what happened. She mm, kind of read as like, okay, you said we can't, you know, maybe hang out as much. And then you're saying we can't go can't to the dinner. I'm going to read into you're like politely trying to go no contact without being rude. Yeah. I think is, I probably would have read into that the same way. Yeah, that's... If, yeah, if I was getting... Sorry, I can't hang out. Or, like, uh, we have to lessen our contact. And then I'm like, okay, sure. And then yeah. I'm like, hey, can we hang out tonight? Actually, I, I can't do that either. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, well, then what's the point of our friendship? Probably just stop reaching out at that yeah. point. Or which, is, which is exactly what yeah. happened. Yeah. Um, she asked even their friends to not tell him. Wow. And they respected Ooh. her wishes. And because... He was respecting my selfish wishes. He wasn't there for her and she died alone. So this is a great time to give a TLDR for yeah. Sam who just re-entered the building. Here. Um, so Sam, basically OP uh, is dating this guy. Uh, he had a very close uh, childhood friend and OP was like, hey, you and uh, this chick who's your childhood friend, you're a little too close. So... Okay ask for some distance don't don't hang out as much in communicating that the other friend was like okay he's like very politely trying to go no contact with me so she just like stopped reaching out but then got a cancer diagnosis and told all her friends not to tell the boyfriend uh, so she passes away and then the boyfriend is now just finding all of this out Humanoid Dragon says OP's leaving something out. It doesn't add up. I feel like there's something else. I feel like there's something else. I feel like, like we're missing information. With the boyfriend or with On either OP. end. Yeah. Because I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like that. So OP's a guy. Fishy. OP is a guy, has a girl childhood no. friend. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. OP is, is, is a, a woman. Uh, her has boyfriend a boy has and a girl a childhood friend. That's and the boyfriend. And like potentially what we're thinking happened is the boyfriend got jealous that she has a boy no girl no, so the, the op was the jealous one yes and she was oh. like hey yeah. stop hanging with your female childhood, childhood friend, friend. Yeah. Oh. because like i'm insecure you guys yeah. are like too tight it's too much and then Tell the childhood cool friend said hey like i know you said like less contact but can we like hang out one night i like invited her and him to hang out and the op threw a fit and so the boyfriend said, no, I can't do that either. And then the, she went no contact. The friend. Whoa. Yeah. And so now the boyfriend's like kind of going crazy and being like, look, this is your fault. Like you, yeah. you like destroyed our friendship. And now I didn't even get to know that she was diagnosed. 
Wow. So it was a pretty sticky yeah. situation. Katie Bear Rar says, I think she's cutting out part of the story she so she doesn't look bad. Mm. I'm I'm feeling like it could be a little bit of this, both of them, both the boyfriend and OP are a little bit the a-hole. Yeah. Just because of the way that OP included, do you, the boyfriend saying, do you remember when you had a fit and wouldn't let me go to that dinner? Yeah. Like, I feel like there's more to this story. Something's off because I feel, I feel like maybe they're both the a-hole here. Yeah. I feel like yeah, there could be something missing from both of yeah. their sides. He's also going crazy and ripping up her room to try to get a password for her laptop. The deceased childhood friend. I, okay. So okay. It's like. This might be a bad take, and I think I need more information. Oh, Sam's bad take. I think bad the takes. boyfriend. I think the boyfriend <laughs> is a little bit the a hole on how he ha is the a hole on how he handled the situation with his childhood friend. But I think that maybe, maybe it's not cheating from him. Like maybe there wasn't something going on. Maybe it's just the fact that he lost his childhood friend. Like his childhood friend just died, yeah, and he wasn't there, and maybe he feels guilt over that. I think he, he feels he cut a ton of the, guilt. Yeah, he, he cut off. Yeah, he cut, he off, cut off for contact, this girl, which he should feel guilty for for cutting off contact. Well, yeah. in fairness, uh, the, I think this is making him see like how wrong that actually yeah. was. It seems like the the friend thought that it was he was trying to. To cut off contact. Well, he should well, have, he he should have reached. Well, I mean, every all of his actions were showing that he did not want to maintain that connection. For yeah. sure. But it was like yeah. the girlfriend like being like, okay, go talk to him and say this. Oh, like she had a bad reaction. So he's like, I'd rather not. I think do they the both did this girlfriend or this female friend dirty. Yes. Personally. Yes, this is true. But yeah. also Kendall uh, Llewellyn uh, with a $5 donation link tip. You all are amazing. I've been listening to your show for years. Listening to help me focus on my writing. Love you guys. I love how you're writing while we're reading written stories. That is beautifully meta. Creativity flowing. We love that. And Shani, for the $5 donation, we appreciate you as well. Yeah. Well, guys, let's uh, get some more context on this on this story here. So <clears throat> next thing I knew, he was throwing me out of her apartment, telling me to never go there again. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want me in her space. He needs time and he won't be going home for a while. Is he mm. staying at her apartment? I guess so. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I am so confused and hurt. I don't know what to do. Was this really all my fault? And quick edit. Stop telling me my relationship is over. My boyfriend only asks for time and he has never mentioned breaking up. We are together in every sense of the word. We live together. Both our names are on the lease. We pay bills together. We have a life together. We are yeah. not breaking but, up. But I mean, this, this is breakup territory yeah for yeah. sure like for sure. i mean i mean he blames her he like was yeah. blaming her for yeah, right. so losing like, his childhood friend to be clear like it is his fault for letting a girl he's dating to get in the way of a meaningful of friendship. friendship yes yeah. like that is totally on him yeah but sometimes as we've talked about in stories in the past you don't know like the reality distortion field that you're in with like a relationship until either you exit it or something crazy happens. And this is kind of something crazy happens where this friend dies and he's like, holy shit, I was such an idiot. I can't believe I let someone basically distance myself yeah. from a good friend just because of her insecurity. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, he's the a-hole, but she's all I feel like he's this is a little bit of a toxic relationship. I think it is a toxic where relationship. where she is basically gatekeeping friends that really mean a lot to him. Yeah. And I understand him going a little bit crazy yeah. because he just had a friend that died. And on top of that, he wasn't there. I personally hate when um, people use relationships to like. Or like someone in the relationship tries to get in the way of uh, like an opposite sex friend right mm -hmm. like if it is a meaningful and I'm, I'm not talking about the friendships where like there's clearly flirting going on or something's yeah. up and you're like hey i'm clearly not like i'm very uncomfortable yeah. with everything that's going i'm talking about like just solid the fact friendship. that you yeah. have an opposite yes. sex friend yeah. that means because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that you're not allowed to be close with them yeah because i no. think there's like other, you can put you can put boundaries in you place where it's, like, put boundaries. where it's like hey like like i i had a situation i always talk about this <laughs> but i had a situation where i i was jealous of uh an opposite sex partners or uh, my 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 girlfriend's uh opposite, opposite sex. sex friend yeah 
And the I didn't have an issue with her being friends with this guy. Yeah. What I had an issue with is how she interacted with him, right? And so I'm just like, hey, like, can you not do this, this, and this yeah. when you're with that person, right? That's totally different. And that's yeah. that's different. That's saying like, hey, these are like the these are the boundaries that make me feel comfortable. Yeah. Um. And then if you can't respect that, but those boundaries, that's a different thing. So, yeah. like, what uh, yeah. we know that they did is that they texted a lot. But you text. I text Christian. I text my friends yeah. every day. Christian. Yeah. yeah. I text my friends every day. Text Christian a lot. Yeah. Christian's yeah. guy. Always go to. Yeah. What about like girls? Do I text any girls. Yeah. I text Riley every day. I text a girl that <laughs> I've been. Don't tell the chat, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You do text Riley every day. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, part of that is business related, but yeah. <laughs> it's all business. It's all business. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, friendship yeah. There. business yeah. related. Yeah. 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 Business stop related stop and move your car, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Deirdre St- Statham says, "I had an ex say I couldn't hang out with the opposite gender friend. We broke up, and the friend asked me out. I was single. Once I was single. Okay, so in those cases, that's different. That is different. Yeah." Yeah, I'm not talking about those cases. Also, all right, something I I, I feel I was we were talking I was talking with Riley about this. It's like you also like the people that are in the relationship know the relationship best. I, I think it's like it's really it's really hard to give relationship advice yeah. to other people because you only see like the tip of the iceberg of what that relationship is and mm-hmm. what it means to people and all the like micro rules that yeah. uh, that people have. So like really the people that are going to know the relationship are op and op's Agreed. partner and so um yeah, yeah but we can speculate i was gonna say uh also sophia caitlin says okay op the journal she wrote in it to vent and wrote that op was asking to break off contact can we look at that part again we can. I, I don't think i fully understood that yeah i was confused yeah, yeah. um do 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 should we do Janae yeah. Brown, communication is so vital. So Super vital, yeah. No, I was gonna say to that point while you're looking what? for that, that I like I had a uh, I had a friend and uh, their boyfriend who, like I remember I was like with I was friends with both of them and I was like walking with them and they were talking about how now that they were in a relationship they didn't want to have like opposite sex or uh, opposite um, gender friends. That's and I was crazy. Like, I was like, okay, I guess I'm not your friend anymore. <laughs> All right. That's wild. Yeah, they were like, That's I wouldn't, wild. yeah, no, I wouldn't be comfortable with having a close, well, you know. I think that shows. I mean, there's there's, there's a little a bit of, of insecurity, insecurity there, yeah. and there's there's a little bit of insecurity, and there's a lack of trust, and like. Yes, that happens and people can agree on it and yeah. if they agree on it, hey, that's that's their relationship Whatever they if they want to prioritize that and make that yeah. relationship strong That's up to you, but it's, it's disrespectful to, you, to your friends But I I do th- I, I do think like if you were as mature and secure as possible It uh, you would trust your partner enough. Yeah. Yeah, and I and don't come crying to that friend You know after the relationship is over or if it ends uh, and be like, oh, I want your friendship back. Like, yeah, it's because it's like you, you, there's, already, there's, a, there's, a, there's a friendship b- uh, uh, bridge that is burned. Yeah. yeah, there's a cost. There's a cost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so when you're in relationships, don't neglect your friends. Yeah, this is true. Don't do it. Yeah, Samantha Cusera says still your SO should be their priority. Yeah, for sure. I'm just saying like, don't, you know, trash your friends. Honey Bunny 8 says or our only rule yeah. was no talking to exes. That's a fair rule. <laughs> Um, the, uh, real quick on the yes, journal. Thank so, you. Uh, apparently, she's been journaling since she was small. Uh, he even began trashing apartment to uh, find a laptop's password. He claims that she had trouble remembering stuff, so she would write them down and stash them around the apartment, little hiding places. I, I don't know that we got a whole ton from the journals. E- exactly what she was. Well, okay. Well, I mean, he was talking about, uh, or they. It, it did show that. Uh, she thought he was trying to go no contact after he denied the dinner. Really quick, J- Jaden Renee, is that true? I'm about to get OKOP tattooed on me. For real? Is that true? Wait. And if it is true, do whatever you want to do, but we are redesigning things. Yes. Yeah. Like right now. Yeah. <laughs> right now, we're redesigning things. So, like, it- It'll be like OG. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it'll be OG. Okay, OP. there's a change coming. There's a change coming. It's going to be sick, but I guess it shows like 
OG. That is, yeah. it, it, give, it will give you super OG status, yeah. but it, it might not match certain things that will come to fruition. Yeah, yeah there, 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 there are changes coming. There, there are, changes are coming. plans in the work. Yeah. Indeed. We're so excited. We just, we got a designer. We've been working with them and it, yeah. it's, it's pretty dope. Jaden so, said yeah. yes. I'm guessing. Um, what? About, about to get it. Play it safe and get like a worm. And all right, when you do, when you do it, freaking put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Oh, put truly. It, yeah, put it, put it in, the in the Discord. We desperately want to see. Yeah. That's so sick. Yes. I think you might be the first person that has gotten an OKOP related yeah. tattoo. It would literally be history. It would be history. That history, would be history in the making. Yeah, yeah we, we have keep... Baby Cheese it with the first baby on stream. Yep. First baby and Jaden with the first uh, tattoo. This is going to just crazy. tattoo wow. all their faces on your body. <laughs> the Mount Rushmore of story yeah. readers. Yeah. <laughs> Do we look uh, regal enough? I call what body part do I want? Thigh, maybe? <laughs> thigh tat? <laughs> I'd be okay on a thigh. Yeah. <laughs> I love how Briley's trying to call a different what if what, no, why can't left we shoulder, all be left like, shoulder, left shoulder. Why can't we all be in the same place on a Mount Rushmore together? Yeah. I mean if you yeah, want, I'm just Riley. saying that's where you, I feel you want you the want best. them to get our faces tattooed in different body places. <laughs> I want oh, left Sam. ass cheek. Oh, there's there's Sophia. Oh, there's John. <laughs> left booty cheek. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Nice. <laughs> that is right. a jiggly place to be. Where are we with this story? Are we done? Is it that is it? over. It is over. Oh. So I guess maybe this is the real question that we can ask to everyone in the chat and to everyone here. Do we think stay together or not? Nah? Or break up or not? Sorry, break up or not? I think they are going to break yeah, up. Yeah, it feels yeah. a little toxic. So like I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm a little pro yeah. distance. A little pro yeah. distance. Yeah. I would guess so too. And OP needs like, time to heal. Like, this is yeah. mad. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. OP's, uh, OP's boyfriend. boyfriend needs time to heal. 100%. Boyfriend. And OP's like, it's not going to happen. Like, we're fine. What like, you, you don't get it. It's perfect. Guys. Like, I'm like, yo, he never, oh, sure, he dude. never said we're going to break up. Like, yeah. Yeah. he just said he needed a break. <laughs> yeah. Blue Alky says, break up. Shy Little Rider says, break up. Sleepless. Orlando Night Spa, says, thank break you for up. the two bucks. Hey. Thank you. Appreciate you. Do we already read the other no. tips? Uh oh. We Joy, read Scott. Joy Scott. Thanks for the five buck tip. My mom's website is almost done. I'll send it over so you guys can pick a flavor again. Oh, is this the popcorn? Yeah, this is oh. popcorn. Yes, Love yes, you yes. so much. I'm so glad you're all getting the views you deserve. You guys Aww. have helped me a lot. Joy, oh. you helped us a lot by existing and being freaking awesome. So yeah. true. So there you go. So true. Right. And thank you, Auntie Aaron, for the five buck tip. Communication sucks in this story so bad. It's Very not good, much Auntie. Agree. And I, yeah, well, we already read that one. Wow. Um, okay. Also, everyone's been asking. We've got multiple requests for this. Ice Swan boob Ice job. Yes. Yeah. Ice Swan. Yeah, let me pull that up. Let me pull Let's that give up. the people what give they the want. Give the people what they want. Bum, Show bum, me bum, bum, what bum, you bum. got. Yeah, Riley, uh, where, where should I read this one? Uh, let me put it in there. Yeah. We're going to read the Ice Swan update. So wait, can, can, can we get like a little recap on this? Remember it, Sophie, do you remember? Uh, so I saw an update. I believe what happened is there was a um, there was a bridal. Uh, sorry, what's it called? Um, pre when you have like a, a bachelorette party. Bachelorette party. There was a bachelorette party uh, that happened on like an island or something, and I think the bride was like, "Hey, everyone has to pay for this crazy bachelorette mm -hmm. party," uh, and so they went. All the uh, bachelorette party people, uh, and or like the maid, uh, the um, the bridal party, brought their partners. I think on this trip, mm -hmm. uh, because they were like, we're not paying for this super expensive thing if we can't bring our partners. And so they all bought brought their partners, and the bride was like, what the heck? And she had all these expensive like out you know outfit parties planned, uh, or something like that, uh, and. Uh, something about I think I think I got she you. left for some time. They took the uh, the big the first big stink was she said, "Oh, we're using the money pooled together for an ice swan in the wedding." Yes, that was like seven grand or whatever. Yes, and then it and then they were like, "Oh, that's crazy." They all still ended up going, but they're yeah. like, "Oh, we're gonna kind of go and just like because we already paid for the Airbnb." Yeah, and oh oh, you got it. Yeah, I, yeah. And then so okay, originally she had said that she needed all of them to chip in to pay for it. And then at the thing, or like right before the thing, they find out or something that the dad already paid for the trip. That's right. And then they were like, hey, what the heck? Like, 
you know, why, why didn't you tell us that it was already paid for? Why or what are we paying for? And the bride was like, you're paying for a nice one. Riley, where do I find this? And then, yeah. And then they found out on the trip that, yeah. Okay. And then they found out on the trip that uh, they were not in fact paying for a nice one. And the reason that they had this, you know, expensive bachelorette, you know, trip is because the bride wanted to get her boobs done at this specific place. Yep. So yeah. we are going to read the update, and this is four one. Uh, if uh, someone has a, a better TLTR, put in the chat. March 29th. Okay, so we got a couple updates in this Ice Swan saga, but Thank skulls you, and skulls. unicorns, thanks for the 10 buckaroonies. All right, so let's get in. So, Feb, uh, March 29th, 2024. Yes. Hi, friends. Thanks for being so patient for my update. I wanted to let everyone know I have the update of all updates Woo! coming for you. It turns out. The drama just won't quit for this wedding. It is wow. so juicy that for legal reasons, oh. I cannot share it just yet, but we'll be able to do so in a day or so. So check back soon. I see you in the comments. I see something. I see you in the comments. Anyway, the next day. All right, y'all. Get your comfy socks and your popcorn, courtesy of one of our OKOP fam's moms. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Because I've been holding on to this update for so long, and I have to get it all out there. So, I feel like at this point, we've all become good friends. Literally, when I do these updates, I like imagine we're all together eating snacks and gossiping. I'm on desktop right now, so you know I mean business. We're getting a flurry of <laughs> fingers tip-tapping on screens. Anyway, let me start with this. The wedding is officially off. Oh, I know a lot of you out there were teen cancel the wedding. So this should warm your soul. And for me personally, I wanted it to work out for my brother, despite her insanity. I was kind of hoping this would somehow all blow over like a bad dream and he could find normalcy again. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Yorks. Here is what happened. When I last updated you, sister-in-law had pulled up to the bachelorette with a set of new melons that shocked us all. <laughs> we were left wondering what the F, and I told you I needed to stop the updates to protect my brother's privacy, right? But now we don't have to protect now his privacy. Hey. Now we don't. Now we can go out in the open. Yeah. So, well, that all has changed, and I've been given permission by my brother to <gasps> Spill the effing tea. Let's yes. freaking go. So you, brother. Spill that tea. Oh, my brother was aware that sister-in-law had planned on a breast augmentation at some point this year. He actually knew it would be during the bachelorette trip. Despite thinking it was very weird, he really wanted to support her. So he kept her surprise a secret. And curvy girl with all the flame. Thanks for the five bucks. TLDR update to the bridezilla who tricked her wedding party into paying for her boob job yeah. and recovery by telling them it's for a nice one. Oh, great TLDR. That curvy. is yeah. a great Thank TLDR. You. Curvy girl with all the flame. We got some other uh, donations too from Reba. I just wanted to more add more ease, so don't mind me. We love it, Reba. Uh. And Gabby B, it's all I can send as I'm poor, but I love you guys. And I'm very happy to make it for a live stream. Finally, Gabby, just show up and we're happy. Yeah. yeah we love we love just when, like, like I, again, I think we have one of the coolest communities here yes. on YouTube. I think, no, the coolest community the here coolest on YouTube. Community. No and other communities cool uh, with us. just everyone showing up, commenting, liking the stream, sharing it with friends, like that I think is what makes a strong community. Yeah. That's right. And I mean, everyone donating, we love you too, but like, the, like, it, I think it's a. It's really about the community and like your donations help us grow this thing to be bigger and stronger because we got right. big plans all, all the time. All one thousand and twenty of you. Yeah, hey. one. Th yeah, one thousand twenty. That's a lot. That's, a, that, lot that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. So, well, that changed now, and I'm gonna spill the tea. So, my brother was aware that sister-in-law planned on getting a breast augmentations. Uh, so he kept her surprise a secret. But what he did not know was that she may have used the bridesmaid's money or even her dad's to finance those fresh new boobies. But it turns out that she did not in fact use our money or her dad's money to pay for those new titties. Oh. That is because the procedure was on the house. Oh. So where is the money going? 
Where is the money? I'm and sorry. It's not going to the swan. It's nope. not going to the boobies. Nope. And also, how did she get said boobies for free? Yeah, that's my boobies question. Boobies are expensive. There's no free boobies in life. That's correct. And no such thing as a free booby. No right. such thing as a free booby. So, uh, okay. Because she has been having an affair with the surgeon mm. for over a year. No. No. She got paid. An aff- Dude, she's been playing the long <laughs> she's been, game. Bro. That is a freaking Little John from Survivor Season 7, if that I've is, ever seen it. Yeah, that yeah. is so Little John from Survivor <laughs> Season so 7. So Little John. Oh my God. Oh my God. Girl, wow. been putting in the work. For real. Wow. Putting this in is the work. This is freaking Moriarty level. Absolutely terrible. Yeah. Horrible. But... Schemer, you know, schemer of the century. This is, this mm-hmm. is a like a world renowned surgeon. So oh, wow. that is true, Doctor Miami. Doctor Miami. That is. I did. I, I did not see that coming. But I, she did see that guy coming for over a year. Oh dear. So uh, yes, you read read that correctly. She's been diddling her married uh, plastic yeah, yeah. surgeon no. for more than fourteenth. 14 months. Yep. Oh. Yep. And he is a very well known plastic surgeon, and his legal team has been on me like white on rice. Oh, there are boy. limits oh. to what I can disclose at this current moment. I've been advised not to discuss the state he practices in, his name, or any personally identifying details. If anyone in the chat has any ideas, who of this man is, who this man is. Put it in the chat. Put Dr. In the chat. Miami. That's yeah. my Dr. Guess. Miami. Yeah. D- does that anyone sounds... know? Does anyone know like what the deal is? Uh, who tell, tell us some boob job doctors. Put the Let boob job know. doctors in the chat. Put the most famous ones you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did a link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So back to the story. Because guess what, y'all? What? There's more. There's more. Oh, God. Ah! Wait, there's more. Oh. So he wanted to fly her out for a complimentary titty upgrade did she also get like the he did he pay for the flight i think yeah he flew Fly her out. out he flew her out and gave her Damn. free biddies we found out because his wife found her sad little influencer ig page tracked her down and showed up to the family home whoa which would be her father's house because she still lives there there's so much more to say that I think I'm going to have to split this into two updates because my fingers are legit going numb. I really wanted to get that off my chest. I know you might be wanting to know the specifics like, so where did the money go? How did the wife find out and what happened when she showed up? How is the brother handling this? Besides, of course, leaving her dusty, big boobed ass. And what did sister-in-law have to say for herself? Unfortunately, that's where it ends. Whoa, but there's... If I was lying... Which I was, oh, because there well, is a thick, juicy update oh with my God. six points. This is the story that keeps on giving. It really is. Though. And you know who keeps on giving? Gina Teen for the Woo. one buck. Is the story about my? Oh, is is the story about my aunt? Sounds identical. I, you have an Gina, identical you, story about you, your aunt. You tell us, please. For real? Oh my goodness! Please let us know. But there is. Is this story about your aunt? I have no idea. And who is the doctor? Let us know. But there is one final update <gasps> coming on 4 1 2024. Don't let the April Fools fool you. So, yesterday. Few, yesterday. Whoa. All my troubles seem so far away. <gasps> but now it seems as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe <laughs> in yesterday. <laughs> so, Beautiful, right? a few housekeeping items before I share the next update. Housekeeping. I thought you all should know that I have to submit all of my updates to an attorney for legal oh. review before I can post them here. I'm sorry. Imagine going to an attorney while this is all going on and being like, hey, I'm Real kind talk. of creating a Reddit story right now. And yeah. I have a lot of followers who Get are kind of relying yeah. on this. Just take a can look. You just, can you just, People you need just take to a, know. They're like, I'm OP's actively like, doing law stuff. Like $100 like, at least. Yeah. For to review the, the Reddit to story. Review this Reddit to give story. the juice to yeah. the people. But that's, hey, the you eternity, know what? Is there, is there an editor? <laughs> is you know, there a beta reader? <laughs> I, I just, uh, you know, sometimes to give the people what you want, you got to go through legal. That's yeah. true. So, number one. Number. I thought you all should know that 
Yep, have to do it. Anyway, this is primarily because of the high-profile surgeon who is aware of the thread lurking in the corner <gasps> and his legal team. The wife is also in the mix and wants to minimize the fallout, so I'm dealing with her people as well. Oh. They can't stop me from telling the story, but they can come after me <laughs> if I disclose specific things. Ooh. Basically, everyone knows about this post now, sister-in-law included, but I promise you I'm coming back to finish spilling that tea for all of you. So get ready with your kettles. But yeah. number two, the support interest fan club vibes this post generated has been amazing. Thank you guys for sticking with me on this crazy ride. Three, with the support has also come some negativity. I am being impersonated online <gasps> in a few places. Some people are trying to profit from this story by claiming it as your own. How Boss. dare they? To so combat Boss. this, I've listed my own information at the top of this post. Anyone else who is impersonating me, if you spot this story circulating That's online weird. without directly tagging my IG or Reddit, that is You'll not You'll have authentic. to speak to my attorney. That's right. <laughs> Also, Lieutenant Terrible said that I was wearing the same thing last time we read the story. Don't worry, Sophia. I wear the same thing every time. No, no. In, in like, a, <laughs> like that's crazy. Oh. You're wearing the exact same cardigan when you read this story. Yeah, you're wearing the cardigan Whoa. again. Yeah. Double hey. agains. And Shani, thanks for the five bucks. Sam, you have a great voice. Consider voice acting. Well, I kind of speak for a living, so yeah, hopefully I'm in the right place. But maybe I do some voice he's acting. He's voice reeling. Okay. I would love to do voice acting. Uh, yeah, thanks, Janae Brown. Riley said he has a voice and a face for radio. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> thanks, Damn. Riley. Funny. Damn. All, all ah, he's fun. funny. All Damn. Um, anyway, so four. Due to the above, I've decided to copyright this content and will continue to amend it as I make Whoa. updates. Who knows? Maybe her sister-in-law will star in a TV series or a book about this nightmare one day or an OKOP story. Huh? And five, I had some requests to timestamp my previous updates so new readers can get a better timeline. I backdated all of my updates. Please go easy on me as I can't remember the exact dates I came back to edit this post. So most dates are approximate. And six... Shout out Jim. to the podcasts and the other channels who have picked this up for a live reading. Let's freaking go. The ones That's I'm aware us. of include Thread Talk and Charlotte Dubray. Oh, wait, us too. Hey. And OKOP. That's right. Did you say I, us? No. Oh. I love listening to these. It's a cool perspective. So feel free to DM me if you come across any other channels. Someone DM her. DM her. So, DM her guys, about us. Be back soon. And that is where for now. The update's end. I want more. And Jessica Chavez, thanks for the five bucks. Yee. We appreciate you. But yeah, wow, what a saga. That is what absolutely saga. crazy. Yeah. And I love it, and I want more. I don't want it to stop. I want it to keep going directly yeah. into my ear holes. Yeah. Oh, yes. You Dude, know what I want? To get her on the podcast? What, what? Charlotte? No, this no. chick. She put her Instagram in the link. Maybe I can reach Whoa. out. Who? The, the person that the, the, is on the, the story. Yeah, can we call oh. her? Yeah. OP. Ooh, she That'd should be cool if we could call her. And yeah. She should call us. Call yeah. us. Yeah. Call That's us. Right. Please call what, us. How many likes are we at, Riley? Yeah. Uh, we are at 1,001. No what does that mean? Damn. We need to spend that wheel. wheel. And Amy, thank you for the two bucks. You guys need to drink tea for stories like this. That's true. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh. Think. What do we got? Nice. Okay, this says soap, five dollars sex. So every sex joke we make, <laughs> we have to send Sophia <laughs> five bucks. Yes. Good thing there was yes! only seventeen minutes left in the stream. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna get so much money. <laughs> We're gonna be so clean. That is you great. This right. works in my favor either way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, we yeah, will yeah. do our best. Should we also open another mail item real quick? Do it. Ooh, okay, OP mail time. It's Let's open it up. Mail time. Yes, have you opened up a mail? No, I've opened a mail. I haven't opened, opened up, up a mail. mail. Sophia's never opened up mail. If you I mean, want I to have, send us I mail, send it to mail. our PO box. What's our PO box? Um, it's it's somewhere. Go to our Discord. Join our Discord. Also, put our names on it, please. Yeah. Ah! John, John or Riley. Don't John put Sam or Sophia. Where yeah. does this come yeah. from? Um, 
Who is this from? I'm okay. And Daddy Jesse with a 967 hey, tip. Hey, even gang in a boat. Even boat. gang. I checked. And this comes from Fernando? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where does this come from? Oh, wow. That's Big protein Oh, my shirt. gosh. Right? No way. Let's go. This is great. Always remember the, the golden, golden rules. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my yeah. god. Big protein. All right, boys. Oh god, Put them on. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Put them on, amazing. boys. All right, Riley. Y'all are protein. making more merch than we are. Ow. I, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I did know. No, I know. I was saying, um, y'all like they're making more Who's merch. Who's this from? Who is this from? Who are you? Who are you? It says it's from Got Prince. But that's not really no, who it's that's from. No, that's not. No responses. Ten percent. Who is who is behind these shenanigans? Who is the big protein in Golden Rules shirt? Right. Because we thank you. This does feel like Christmas Barbie RT. I like it. Does. It. I like it a lot. I love it. The smell of it. The smell of it reminds me of my grandpa grandma's house. Like, I don't know why, but it has like. A, well, it's like that vinegar new... kind of smell, and it reminds me yeah. of whenever she would like make pickles from our cucumbers in her garden. But yeah, big protein. Shout out to pickles. Beakers. And your grandma. Yep, yep, yep. Oop. Riley has so much power right now. Uh-oh. Did he just give you a You just boot? did. I did not. Did you just did. There, was, there is a little I something. I would never. Big protein. Big, pro big protein. Big protein. Big protein. Big protein. Big protein. Whoa. Ow! Oh, sorry. That was a whole lot of protein. Oh, also, good. for everyone new to the stream, we just got shirts from one of our lovely OKOP family members. Right. And for anyone new to the stream, like it. Yeah, and always remember the golden oh, rules. The golden rules. Wow. Remember the rain. All right. Sophia. That's me. Hit, or, wait, or is it John? Who, it. Who's going to, ow, ow. Oh, God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's probably me, right? Uh, or, or, or Colin. Oh, let's do a call him. That was because Sam hit me, by the way. We have 13 more minutes left in the stream. 13 so let's more freaking, minutes. Okay, let's Colin. Um, ba, 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 Dude, I, ba, you know, I, last Here night we go. at like one, I was walking uh, my friend out and <laughs> literally rolled my ankle. <gasps> As I was Ouch. stepping down the steps. Is that what happened to your toe? No, that was from running the other. Like, also, it's a heart. Like, Reba! Your toe thanks bruise. for the yeah, 10 buck kind of tip. I don't have it, but who wants to throw down $400 for another hour? That's L -O -L. crazy. Well, um, um, okay. Reba! Am I the Paper Crane says, oh my, OMG, you guys stop hating on Charlotte. Who's hating on Charlotte? Who's hating on Charlotte? Who's hating on Charlotte? No, Charlotte's no, no, no hate to Charlotte. No hate to Charlotte. No hate to Charlotte. We no. want. We would love Charlotte. We would love to work with you. Let's collab. Charlotte. Charlotte. We love Let's you. Let's collab. Frederick, we summon you. Indy. Hey, you don't need. You <laughs> either need one Frederick or four like uh, Frederick Knights or yeah. uh, forty Frederick Knight Juniors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or four hundred Frederick Knight Jumer Little. Wait, we produce not pills says those? we missed their or uh, produce not pills super chat. We did. Uh oh no! Where? What? Did we? I didn't show up. I'm sorry. Shout did out we? to you, Produce Not Pills. Wait, was, wait, it wait, a, wait. was it a sticker? The stickers don't show up, by the way. Oh wait, what the well, heck? Thank you for your wow! Oh! oh my God! Speak of the King, and he appears. Frederick, and he appears. Frederick, wow! Chat. Oh my wow. goodness! Put some wow. crowns in the chat. Crowns oh my in the chat. God. Yeah, oh my crowns God. in the chat, in the chat for, for Frederick Narwaknik. And Ellie Salazar, thanks for the five bucks. Not 400, but I've got five on it. And don't worry, Fred, don't Ellie. Worry. King Fred has got it. He's on it. He's on King it. Fred. Oh, my Wowie. God. Wowie. Boy, oh, boy. I love how it just pops up just like, yeah. tick, no oh, comment, just boop. Yeah, here wow. I am. It's Frederick. It's Locked. Frederick. It's Frederick. Frederick's here. Locked King it. Frederick in your life. Yes. yes. Coming to wow. steal your wife. Frederick Lucknick is known for his uh, generous his generosity. That is crazy. Across the room. King Frederick carrying these streams. Shout um, out to you. More crowns. More crowns. Than the more crowns. Please. Yeah. Crowns. We don't have enough crowns for, King, for Frederick. King. King Frederick. King Frederick needs a King billion Frederick. crowns. That's right. Um, but John, John, do you want to? 
crown me, be bequeath upon me Ouch. this next story. Well, Riley can maybe bequeath the call. Oh, call in. Sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Riley, bequeath this call. And right. also, Frederick. Thank you. Wait, no, I want the pillow. But I want the pillow. Basketball. All right, all right. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, am I the a-hole for storming out uh, on my partner's apartment after he went into a jewelry shop with a friend, female 30-ish, to buy identical rings for the both of them? Wait, what? Am I the a-hole for storming out on my partner of my partner's apartment after he went to a jewelry shop with a friend to buy identical rings for the both of them? So I'm guessing he... But he got rings, rings for himself and his friend. Yeah. And another lady. And potentially his female friend. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Um, Let's see. Um, right. We're going to get some. You got some. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't uh, call them because they have a foreign number and I did not d set up the Discord. Crap. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Anyways, let me go. Let's sleep with yeah. us. Thanks for the one buck tip. I'm planning to send something after my move. I got a lot of work to do today, so not res responding as much. No worries. No, Sleep as nice. You, you do you. You do you. You are still a queen. You are still a of queen. Of the people. Wow, we have one more hour. Thanks to Frederick. Dude, Let's go. I know. One more hour. One uh, more King hour. King Frederick. King Frederick. Whoa, Always it's 7 5 p.m.? Yeah. See? Time flies when we're with the OK fam. Time flies. Chatting, flies. <laughs> Do we spin notice. the wheel because we hit the chat goal? Did we? We did? Oh, I think yeah, we did. For sure, for sure. Um, wait, wait did, I thought we did just a second ago. We did a second ago. Did, was there another guys, one? Oh. oh, wait. Was that for the chat goal? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, chat What was the chat goal? I don't know. 7,500 or something? I don't know. What was it 4,000? <laughs> I don't know. I don't did know. the chat invent a goal and is gaslighting us into thinking we hit one? Because <laughs> if so, that's hilarious and I love it. Yeah, the chat's messed up. All right, we probably might need to read a story as I find. I didn't have one prepared. Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad, guys. That John, is okay. Read a story. Read a story to the people. Where am I at, Riley? My yeah, boy. We, yeah, we spun for the likes, not for the uh, chat. That's right. Um, 408S5 or 6? Um, 409, I got you. I got you, my boy. 409, I'm feeling so fine. And here's the story. I got you. Yeah, so we spun for like, so I think we need to spin for chat goal. We got, yeah. Well, we, we reset it. Oh, wait, no, the chat goal is, oh, okay, I see what you said. You're saying the chat goal is not working. It is? What, how many chats are we at? 75,000. Oh, okay, so we hit, yeah, so we hit our chat goal. So does that mean we need to we we need to um spin the wheel? Spin. <laughs> All right, spin that wheel. Let's do it, baby. Oh my God, Frederick Locknick, should I donate another two thousand to keep it going all all night? <laughs> Frederick. 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 <laughs> Frederick. 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 Chill. Oh, <laughs> Frederick. Chill. Okay, <gasps> Alright, yes, go ahead, Riley. Right Frederick, wheel. chill! Go. Oh, sorry, guys, sorry. What's this? Oh, man! Okay. <laughs> I'm a little. Wait a second. Oh, no. It's glitchy. What? Wait a second. I gotta. It's remaxing. I gotta stop it. One sec. Um, alright. John, $5. Every old. Dang it. We have an uh -huh. hour. Every so, old comment we make about John, he gets five bucks. So I get five bucks every sex joke you make, and John gets five bucks every old joke. Yes. There we go. Yep. Uh -oh. Our two favorite things. Okay. <laughs> Boom! Oh. What do I get? You get nothing. Less money. <laughs> Wait. Pending, pending. It's not responding right now. Oh, uh -huh. oh. We're still live. We're still Can alive. you hear still us? Live. Can, Can you hear us? us? Can you We're here. We're us? on me. Apparently, this is the John stream <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, because, <laughs> hey, get out of my my exclusive stream. Well, do you want to just, just start reading a Why story? Why don't I just start reading the story? Because I was going to read a story anyways. We're going to figure out OBS, ladies and gentlemen, um, but I'm going to entertain you all in the meantime. So, uh, I just got an email on my husband's iPad that the Hot Waters apartment building was going to shut down temporarily for repairs. We own our own house and we have not rented for a decade. What is the secret apartment? We're going to find oh. out. Cheating. 
from Throw R A uh, K I Man, who says, My husband is on a trip with one of our sons and his brother uh, to go visit their mother, my son's grandmother. I was cleaning up the den when an email notification popped up on his iPad. It was an email from an apartment complex that they were going to be temporarily closing down the hot water for repairs sent from one of those automatic senders that you can't reply to. It was addressed to my husband with his first and last name. The thing is, we own our own house. This is not an apartment, mm. ladies and gentlemen. Um, beep, beep, beep. When my husband is, uh, where my husband is in upstate New York, there is no service. I tried to send a picture of the email, but it won't come through. Can you hear us? Hey, uh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're catching up. Okay, cool. Let us know in the comments if it's, uh, is it choppy, choppy or not, or is it working, I guess? Yeah, let us know if it's working, it's working. working. Or not. Also, okay. really quick. We have a thousand people in here. If you have not subscribed, oh my do goodness. it. Oh, holy. I'm you beside know who myself. doesn't subscribe? Who? Mean Stinkies? Mean stinkies. Yeah, Stinkies. If you are, if, you, if you're, stop being stinky. Don't be stinky. Stop How about smelling being nice? Stinky. Stinky. Thinky. About subscribing. That's Subscribe. right. Thank you, baby G, for five bucks. Hey. Woo. Sam gets five bucks for every thirsty comment in the chat. Was that no. you oh my God, giving I would be five bucks? Did you just make a thirsty comment <laughs> and you're giving rich. five bucks? That'd be yeah, sick. you guys have to send five bucks in for every thirsty chat. Yeah, for every thirst trap. That's funny. Yeah. That's so funny. Wow. Dude, the wheel, the wheel is wheeling. Yeah. Good job, I mean, Riley. Were you about to say something? Oh, I was, I, I was, I was about to say like. What were you gonna oh, say? Oh, Daniel Paper Crane. We're not meaning memberships. We're just meaning subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is free. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Free. Subscribe. It's like people are not subscribed yeah. to our yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. That's that is crazy. A free thing. We don't. It is okay if you cannot uh, get a membership. No, 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 no. We're talking about subscribing, subscribing to the YouTube to channel the YouTube so you can see our videos. Free. Yeah. free content. Free Come content. Come on. For the masses. For you the can masses. Like, we are nothing if not for the people. That Wait, Frederick Law says, put up a goal. If my soldiers can raise it to 1,200 likes, I will donate 2,000 to keep it going. We've never reached Look, 1,200 hey, likes before. Hey, We've never guys, reached 1,200 likes guys, before. Okay, you guys, you guys don't have to do 1,200. Well, we, it's yeah, okay. It's we, fine. We stream other days of the week, we by stream, the way. We stream so. Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday. There's yeah. 1,100. There, there is now 1,100 people in the stream. Y'all just jumped. If everyone oh. liked... Frederick, I guess will Frederick committed to donating two thousand. You do not have to do this. Yeah, yeah. Do not, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not expecting you, Frederick. It. You don't have to donate. Everyone, you don't have to like the you stream. Don't have to like you don't it. Have to. I, I'm okay with that. You know, you're, you're, okay. you're totally fine with that. If but, you don't, we'll go get dinner. Everything will be fine. Yeah. But if you do. Oh my we'll god. Stay. Please, like, you're, Here we are. you're good. You don't yeah, no, no. But King yeah. Frederick, if you are crazy enough, just use the donation link. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Use the tip yes, link. Yes, yes, please yeah. actually. Please do. Oh, that would be cool. My goodness. Oh my god. Wow. All right. All right. All right. Well, how many likes story? are we at right now? Uh, yeah. A thousand sixty-one. Okay, okay, we're far okay. away. All right. We're good. All right. we're good. I what? don't think it's possible yeah, for us yeah. to get there. You guys there. couldn't get to twelve hundred no likes. No way you could ever no get way to twelve hundred likes. Oh my god, do not do twelve hundred likes. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, dude. I uh, if this happened, we would be here all night. I would have to stretch. We would be here so long. There would be oh stretches. What, I'm what, already what, having what PTSD. What would that put us at? That would. How many hours would that be? It would be about. Nine, it would be nine o'clock. Over four thousand. Oh yeah. my god. And people have plans. Two more hours. I don't have plans. I never make. Plans Shut up, Sophia. People that plans. I remember someone telling Sophia, you made plans on a Tuesday. Yeah, you can't make plans <laughs> on a Tuesday. I have literally only once made plans on a Tuesday and everyone bullied me, so I canceled I them. Was gonna invite and then from then on, the masses have made plans on Tuesdays and I've been sat here giving you guys content, yep. sacrificing my evenings. <laughs> uh oh. Well, these folks go on and do whatever they want, <laughs> visiting their girlfriends. <laughs> I don't have a partner because I have you guys. <laughs> She doesn't need one. I don't need anyone. Army. Except the worm army. The worm. I don't need a relationship. I have 
1,119 <laughs> relationships. Oh my God, not the unhinged worm queen. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Worms in the chat. <laughs> this is this will this will be. Oh my God, and they have an hour to my do this. Hurts. Wow. Oh, From carrying we're this train, fucked. <laughs> we're oh, wow. fucked. Wow. Humble, Humble worm. worm. Thanks for the five bucks. I can't do much, but my son is chilling with me. So ah. if you could say hi to Tyron. Uh, Tyrion? 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 Is it Tyrion? Tyr if it's Tyrion, Tyrion, hi to Tyrion. It would make his night. Ty 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 Tyrion? I think Tyrion. it might be Tyrion. Tyrion. Night that we're getting it wrong. Let us, yeah, yeah. Let us, let us know, buddy. We want to say your name correct. Oh my god! And LV twenty seven Matt Worm Queen only needs. Wait, scroll up, right? Yes. Oh no, sorry, Bella. Bella and Conkling, Bella Conkling, we, we see you. Uh, oh yeah, where did what we, we go? Skip? We skipped. We Bella, skipped. It's, oh, no. it's in the it's in the donation. It's thing. in the donation. Uh, Aram says confirmation. Sophia is Polly to the max. Uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> um. Oh, I saw. Oh, there. Oh well, Bell Conkling. Conkling. Yes. For the, yes, five, yes. For the five bucks. Bell Conkling. Le Do we, I don't think we read that. I don't think we read it. I don't it. know where it is. It, in the, it's in no, the it's donation. Whoa. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Oh, there is, there is. Open my vacuum sealed cookies, a large flat box. Oh, shit. Yes. That. Yes. Uh, thank you, LV27 Matt. Worm Queen only needs her subjects. 147. Dude, 147. Oh, Chat's going crazy. Yeah. Is that it? Is that the one? Uh, Wait, let, let, let's read it after the story because we just opened one. My stomach hurts. Uh, okay. We'll read out the story. We'll do it next. It is Thank you, Ellie Salazar, for the five bucks. Hey. Ellie Salazar, the, worm queen, the, five the worm queen has spoken. We shall sacrifice for its cut off. I can't see it. All right, wait, scroll up, scroll up. We, we, we missed some donations. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, wait, thank we you, Jojo, 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 We just read hers. Thank you. We just over it out. I read that one. I read that one. I read that one. Thank you, Signal Imagination, for the five bucks. Tell me, Sophia. Get it, girl. And LMFAO. JoJo45X, thanks for the five, oh, two bucks for the Wham Queen. There we go. I, mean, I, guess some of the, oh. I don't know why some of the tips aren't going Unhinged. through. Oh, thank you. Peter Grafo <gasps> for Grafo. the 1017 Unhinged Worm Queen glorious moment. Yeah, That's there was right. another tip one. Oh, are we... Uh, sleep was nice. Just tipped one dollar. If Frederick puts down two thousand, can you read my Reddit story about the lovely breakup that happened two weeks ago? About to update because shit hit the fan. No. Oh no. Who dare the other queen disrespects the other queen? Sleep yeah. nights. We will not. No. Oh my god. We will not stand for this. All right. And uh, Rachel. Rachel, the oh. axe hatchet. Thanks for the five bucks. Sam, stand up. We want to see what you're wearing. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Wait what? <laughs> It's the Sam's Golden Rules. Always remember the Golden Rules. Always remember. Simba. Was Simba. that from you, Rachel? We didn't. It, we didn't see something. Oh yeah, that. Rachel. Is that from you? Let, it, let me know. Call mommy. <laughs> Who's mommy? Sleepless nights, mommy. Sleepless nights, yeah. Sleepless nights, mommy. Sleepless nights. All right. All right. Cool. Let's get after it. Let's All right. Get after it. We're gonna give you what you came for, which is these beautiful stories. So, um, ba 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 ba. So. I tried to send my husband a picture of the email. Again, this is the email saying, hey, your apartment's flooded when well, they don't have an apartment, uh, but it wouldn't go through. He's in upstate New York with no service. I called him and spoke to him for a bit. Service was choppy, but I managed to explain to him about the email. And basically all he said was that it must be a mistake and they have the wrong email. We weren't able to say, very interesting, right? We weren't able to say much before the call dropped, but if it was a wrong email, how would they have his first and last name all spelled correctly? That's pretty interesting. That is suspicious. Mm. For context, his first name is somewhat common, but our last name isn't common, especially in this area. Mm. These weren't any other, uh, there weren't any other emails from the sender or about this apartment complex in my husband's emails, but he is also the kind who clears his inbox as he gets messages. I sent a message to the apartment complex telling them I think my husband was on their email list by mistake, but that I just got an automatic, uh, but I just got an automatic email sent back. They were uh, out of the office until 1020 and then general rent for information. One bedroom at 1600, two bedroom at 1900, and that there were no open units available. Well, that's not very helpful, Mr. Apartment Building bot emailer yeah uh susan is very helpful with a two dollar tip oh, oh my gosh a group of worms is called a clue so we're a clue of worms to the worm queen we're a poly clue a, a poly clue, clue. Wait, there's more that are down there more uh more donations yeah more uh, uh, up, uh up oh wait one. we saw we that, that we saw one. that curvy girl la la flame thanks for the five bucks i don't have worms so here's a snake basically the same i'll take it <laughs> i'll take funny. it and 
Doc V723 with the $100 donation on oh the tippling God. of all places. I have a stressful job and you will make me uh and you all make me laugh along with the commenter. Doc V, yeah. you fill our hearts with happiness joy. and joy. Yeah. Because you're awesome. We appreciate you so much. And we're glad we can make you laugh. That's and right. Thanks for the tip. And thank you for using the tip link. Yes. Tip yeah. link, very important. All amazing things that we're yeah, happy so about. So YouTube doesn't take 30%. That's right. And shout out to uh, Star Falls Up for the $2 tip as well. Woo. We appreciate oh you. Oh my God. We're at 101. 19 likes oh my god oh. hamster girl Brittany, thanks for the five bucks greetings queen sophia of the wham kingdom thank you <laughs> greetings desire queen Brittany of the hamster kingdom <laughs> love that <laughs> we acknowledge your your province yes. um but there's more to the story ladies and gentlemen there is no unit number on this email but the complex is about 15 minutes away from my house so i went to drive by investigation which i guess might be a little crazy i know i didn't see anything not like i knew what to expect it's a group of buildings less than 100 apartments and all i don't have any reasons to mistrust my husband other than this weed email which gives me a strange feeling in the pit of my stomach as well as a general feeling of paranoia that he's just been bored with me oh no oh I've been feeling this way for a little while, but he insists I'm imagining it and that he's happy. I only brought it up to him once when I was feeling particularly insecure last year. We still do things together. He still tells me he loves me, etc. I just feel like he doesn't have as much fun with me as he used to. And like he looks for reasons to be out of the house or doing things specifically with the boys instead of doing things with the whole family, uh -oh. which I guess they might have kids together. Dude. Uh -oh. But the boys need me. But, the but boys. your sons, your sons need you. <laughs> no, yes. but the boys. Not those boys, like oh, the something boys. Suspicious. 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 But shout out to Burning Heart Dragon for the dollar tip. I like that we can uh, pay you to not leave us. <laughs> Unlike our boyfriends, uh, stinky, stinky boyfriends. Yeah. Get them out of here. Yeah. I would Get never leave you. Yes, you have us. Yes. Bernie I'll be all community. 981 of yours his girlfriend. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. The poly clue of worms. <laughs> Decreed. Um, it's not like it's something that bothers me every day. Just something that I think about when I'm feeling insecure or paranoid. Like in a situation like this where he gets an email from a random apartment complex. LOL. Anyways, I don't know exactly what advice I'm looking for. I know the advice uh, I would have mm. uh, for one of my friends would be just to talk to him, but I can't really do that until he comes home on Saturday because of the choppy service, which is a really long time for me to sit with my intrusive. Wait, wait, wait. So to be clear. Yes. What? He got an email for yes. from an apartment complex. Yep. And she's like, why do you have this email from this apartment complex? He has choppy service. And can't really talk for a couple days. And also, she's already been previously suspicious that something's not going on. And he's been spending a lot of time with the boys. What are you trying to say, Sam? I think my cheating senses are tingling. Ooh. I think, uh, I think he might be cheating. I think he might be cheating. I think you could be exactly right and sam's cheating senses are 50 percent accurate that is that is true 50 percent um <laughs> on the dot and rachel hatchet thanks for the 10 buck tip and thanks for using that tip link hey. yes it's from me Woo. so this is from rachel hey, hey. there we go there's something that for riley riley's wearing his big protein yeah but we didn't see big sophia protein. i think yeah, we, the, the, I, the, the is it in queen. another package? It might the be. The Worm Queen, right? Oh, well, you know, no, yeah, we know. You got it. You got it already. The Worm oh, Queen necklace. Yeah, the Worm Queen necklace. Yeah, the necklace. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah, the yeah. necklace. Yeah, we will open it up last stream. Yeah, I loved it. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And Lady Lucifer, thanks for the five bucks. Thank you for being my motivation to work out while listening to you. Uh, How are we motivating everyone to work out right now? There's like a ton of working out people. I'm like going to motivate first, you to work I don't, out. I don't remember ever seeing a working out I've one. I've never and seen there's that. There's like 10 what today. What are you doing? Right, uh oh! I'm steal uh oh! Chair. Big proteins throne being taken by the queen. How many push-ups can you do? Can we make an uh, AI movie of this? Two, Get two? ready for this. Wait, wait, we can't. Get no. ready. No, you have to go. In front of go, go like yeah, behind the plant more. Yeah, yeah, that they can see you there. Because, uh, and close uh, to the curtain. Close right, to the curtain. Right, right, right here, right here. There yeah. we go. A dash of stardust says a fair apartment for sure. All right, here we All go, right, ladies go, and gentlemen. Go. Get ready for these.
Yeah, yeah, you got this. You got this. iPod Bella, thanks for the two bucks. The Poly Clue is official. We now need merch. One, <laughs> two. We got it. Three. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Push ups should definitely be on the wheel. And Connie Le Hirondel, OMG, my first live ever. Uh, <laughs> hey, welcome. Welcome, everyone. To the live. Welcome, welcome to the live. Also, for everyone who's just joined the live, Jessica Sheva says, what did I miss? King Frederick said, if we get to 1,200 likes, he will donate to keep the stream going for hours and hours. Yes. He made the most royal of decrees. Royal of decrees. So um, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. But uh, we are going to keep reading this story. Sophie, Sophie, what are you doing? No, she's, she's doing stretches. <laughs> I'm stretching, stretching. I'm stretching. <laughs> and to the left and to the right. right. The OKOP workout for all you, for all you people pumping yeah, iron out there. Yeah, the new jazzercise tape. Four. Crunch it while you read your stories. Oh my God. All right. And Rachel Hatchett, thanks for the 10 bucks. I'm so sad I missed y'all opening them. Hopefully I will get to see John open his. Yes, we'll, we'll, no. we'll try to... Uh, Put put the axe hatchet as your sender name. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and we'll we'll try to watch out to Sign see if you're in the stream. Yeah, yeah. Jan Digital Sophia getting ready for four more hours. Exactly. Honestly, that's that is what is happening. All right. Well, people, let's give you what you came here for, which is more of the story. Um. Okay. So we got a series of edits here. So edit one. He never lived there in the past. He lived with his parents until college, and then he lived in a dorm. And then every place he rented was with me. We've been dating since we were 19 years old. Wow. Mm. Edit number two. The email wasn't a phishing stamp scam. It was a legitimate email from the email address on the apartment complex's website. All of the information included in the email letterhead matched the information on the apartment complex's website. And if it was a phishing scam. I assume they would have been looking for information. This email wasn't looking for anything. It was just an informational email about the water. And then there is a juicy little update. A juicy little Whoa. update. My best friend called the emergency maintenance number and said that she was a delivery driver who had $100 worth of food for and said my husband's name. Whoa. This is some real detective work. Wait, what? So her friend called and was like, Burp. hey, um, I got $100 of food for Opie's husband's name. Uh, where should I drop it off? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Opie's husband is not good at hiding things. Oh, so basically tracking down if there is an actual mm -hmm. apartment under Opie's husband's name. That's correct. There, That's wicked smart. Genius. Wicked smart. Genius. Mega Bion, are you subscribed? Subscribe Make if you're not subscribed. What up, what up? Uh, also, a Signal Imagination 16. Thanks for the two bucks. Conspiracy Theory, he co-signed for his buddy. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's like a financial thing. He's like, oh, I don't like he was, which is still bad, but he's like, oh, like the, the, the old ball and chain's going get to on, get on my case for yeah. co-signing for a buddy, which she should. Yeah. <laughs> you should tell your partner about those things, but let's see. Um, so she called saying she had $100 of food for her husband's name but said uh, that he had forgotten to fill in his apartment number. Now, the guy didn't speak English very well, but she repeated herself a few times, and he did eventually say his name and then told us an apartment number. We have located. So we have the deets. We have the deets. We, have the deets. we got the deets. We have the deets. Um, but first, we have a few quick relevant comments a uh, d-dog 1304 call the apartment complex to see if they're shutting down the water to see if it's real and then do some more digging op i called them and got answering service so it didn't connect d-dog responds i know you trust your husband but don't let that blind trust stop you from seeing if he is in fact hiding from something from you mm -hmm. op the email is real it all matches the actual information on the apartment complex website cherry love 420 says dude has another family yeah, this, but yeah, giving second that's family. What that's what it's feeling. Yeah, it's giving. It's giving. Second family. It is. The cage fifty five says, uh, "Realize apartment manager is out until ten twenty, but still doesn't the voicemail include another number for overnight emergencies?" Op, yes, gave the private cell number for the maintenance person. So call, uh, call Bob, the maintenance manager, and be like, Bobby, 
I need some help here. I need some Parker. help. Give us the tea. That's right. And then DeCage responds, call them, explain you have a delivery from Mr. OP, but the unit number is missing and you're under a deadline for the driver, which seems like uh, what they did. OP, thank you. That's a good idea. And it worked. The maintenance oh, guy- it worked. Yes, that was what we that was what we did. Okay, yes. hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, the maintenance guy didn't speak English well, so I think he was somewhat confused. But eventually, gave us an apartment number. A, an additional comment from OP: He's never lived there before. Again, the email had good specific personal last name. He has my company finances. He owns his own company. I don't have access to it. Um, or sorry, he has company finances. There were no other emails, but this one and his email had been emptied out a few days, so nothing is older than a week is mm. that a red flag or is he just on top of his email game that mm. is the question i mean he, he could just be like inbox zero kind of guy you know that's what i like that's could, what i was thinking like, his own company initially it's, it's initially when i heard that like like I, like when someone deletes their text like oh okay yes. well, that's weird but when someone's inbox zero i'm like freaking you go respect respect yeah. i mean i got like ten thousand unread emails so i'm a little that is shit. unread emails I hate having unread emails. Well, dude, dude get your game up, Sam. yeah, I know. I need to. Why don't to, you be I like know. the worm queen I, and get through all your emails? Honestly, I or need to be better. Why don't you be like Rachel the Axe Hatchet? Oh, hey, yo, donating fifty bucks. This is on behalf of all of you who want to donate but cannot. Shout out to all of you. Oh, wow. Rachel, Rachel the Axe Hatchet. Rachel, you're such a sweetheart. You know, I, I think I think to myself sometimes Rachel the Axe Hatchet can't get more awesome yeah. and more amazing as a but human being. But then she does. and then she just comes in and becomes more awesome and amazing. Yeah. We're Truly a hero you. for the people. Facts. My God. Axes in the chat. Axes in the house. I want to see axes in the chat. I want to see them. In honor of Rachel. And you know, mm -hmm. I want to see, how many likes are we at? Ooh, we Riley. are at, dude, stop. We're at 11, ah, 1,166. Whoa. Yeah, oh you, I my mean, God. Honestly, I think you guys are good on liking. There's there's not even that yeah, many people. Yeah, we don't even, we, I don't, there, people, there's not right? even that many people. Are we like. that likable? <laughs> that likable uh, come on and samantha uh, e five dollar tip have to go to bed but do you guys want more cookies yeah duh, does a pope shit in the woods i guess so now i guess so he's a camper and eva diva yeah, giving pope. us those even steven tips 1142 lots of love to you guys and sending good vibes to get you through the next few hours what are you talking about right now it's just 43 minutes yeah, yeah. it's, it's 43 minutes nothing crazy He's gonna happen. Please stop liking! God, stop! <laughs> it literally just went on. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 I don't want to be in here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let, me Let me go Let me out! Let me Riley and I are doing a back-to-back -back long stream. <sighs> two days in a row. Oh, my God. And Paolo <laughs> loves flies. Thanks for... Or Paolo loves flies. Thanks for the five bucks. I listen to you guys every day while getting ready. So happy I finally got to catch a stream. Lots of love If from we do Toronto. end up doing more hours, I want to put... Sophia gets a massage <laughs> on the wheel. It's on the wheel. Yeah. Riley, take a deep breath. You'll be I'm breathing. Sick. <laughs> what if we all Bring. got massages? Like, like all train. right next to each other. And we brought them into the stream. And we brought them into the stream. <laughs> oh, like oh my gosh. Yeah, masseuses. Uh -huh. That'd be so funny. Uh, I think there was another donation in the uh, comment stream, Riley, yeah. that might have... Did I miss it? Uh, not the activity feed. No, the, the, the comment stream. Yes. Oh, the comment stream? Yes. Yeah, let's There's see. There's a lot happening here. There is a this lot. Is oh, I'm going to have to make a call later. I'm going to be honest. Not. This is I feel like crazy. Read... What so... the fuck? Stop liking! Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> that only makes them want to like it more, Riley. Oh, oh, Riley, Riley needs a haircut. No, you no, need a haircut. I already said Paula. <laughs> yeah. It was oh, Paul as far as my Riley head. and I are going to get haircuts together soon. Yeah. Can we bring him Riley out the stream? Riley said he didn't want a haircut. All right. If we miss something, like, please do. Level 27, Matt. I thanks for the 368. If it makes you feel any better, uh, Riley, it's 10.30 p.m. here, and I'll stay until the stream is done. Thanks. And baby Godzilla, thanks for the five bucks. Posting the stream on Twitter. Have fun, Riley. Studio Dungeon is your home now. <laughs> Um, I haven't hung out with my friends in weeks. <laughs> That's literally not true. You really, Riley, I think you've been me. hanging out with a thousand. Yeah, because you friends. live here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what do you mean? We're others. all friends here. No, because yeah, we care. get off at the same. You know what? You know what? <laughs> so Riley just said, "Oh, he only hangs out with me because I live here." This morning, Christian said, "I don't count as his friend." <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. He's. I, I'm like Christian. You need more female oh. friends, and he's. And then. And, and then I said he has me.
And everyone I, said, you don't count. Because you, you were inherited. He didn't go and make you as a friend. He had me as a friend and then inherited you as a friend because Whatever. of me. Whatever. It's different. It's different. He needs to go out. Is this a disrespect to the wham clean? Are we at 1,200 likes? Shut up. No, we're not. No, we're not. Frederick, not. it is okay. No, no. Frederick, yeah. it is okay. It is truly okay. okay. You can Frederick, chill. Frederick, it, like, Frederick, you don't have to. We'll you don't. Have, you really don't. We'll truly, we'll truly, we'll truly. Yeah, we'll like, like, it is okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe Frederick left. Yeah, yeah, Frederick. Frederick also could be totally gone. Yeah. Frederick, Frederick could be gone. Could be gone. Yeah. Or Frederick, Frederick could be gone. Or Frederick could be listening audio wise, and we are nowhere close near twelve hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frederick, Fre Frederick could be gone. Frederick could be gone. Okay. For all we know. For all we know. Let's just not talk about it. Let's just keep. Let's just pretend like nothing happened. We're gonna keep reading. We'll spin the wheel and. A little bit. We'll spin the wheel. And, and, be fun. and we'll open a package. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. be chill. Yeah, we'll be chill. And we'll, we'll finish, be chill. you know, in 40 minutes. Yeah, exactly. we'll finish in 40 minutes. It'll okay. be really nice, guys. Awesome. Okay. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read you guys the story. Let's keep it. Okay. Let's keep it. Maybe if we don't talk about it, it won't happen. Maybe. So, um uh, uh, if this had been a phishing scam, I would assume they'd be looking for information. The email wasn't looking for anything, it was just a informational email about the water. But we have this little update. My best friend just called <gasps> the what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude! <laughs> Frederick. Frederick. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Frederick. Frederick, Frederick. Frederick, Frederick. Guys, Riley's taking a well-deserved pee break. We are just sitting here in absolute awe. Is that, is that two more hours? Uh, right? I don't even know. I uh, believe, because 3,000 would be one, one more hour. 4,000 is, is two. two more hours. So that's two hours and 40 minutes. Oh, my yeah. God. We're going to be here until 9.30. There and go. also, that gives them two and a half more hours to... <laughs> And they're gonna donate. Hit. We're fucked, dude. <laughs> We're fucked. We're so fucked. Oh man. We're gonna be here I, for so I'm long. I'm not doing any work tomorrow. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those streams. This is gonna, yeah, gonna be yeah. one of those. All right. Uh, uh -oh. uh, John, do you want a truly? Yeah, I'll take a truly. Right. Uh, and some some I would love water. some water. I'm gonna yeah. get all right. Home, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some alcohol for John yes. and I. Can you give me a massage? <laughs> My back really hurts, guys. We need the the oh, massage right. gun. Yeah. Give me a massage gun. Uh oh. You, you broke my mic. I broke my mic. I can't, I can't oh. even talk right now. Oh Riley broke Wait. his mic. Um, actually? Thank you, oh Alana, for the five buck tip for the Worm Queen's massage fund. All right. Thank you, Frederick Lognit, for the $2,000. <laughs> thank you, Reba, for the five <laughs> tips. Love that Sophia knew it was happening so long ago. Maybe now there's enough time for my story. Thank you, yeah. Amy, for the two bucks. What that. does Frederick do for a living? A be a king? We don't... Uh, you want to play for a... You, you want to fucking play? You wanna... We don't ask questions. He's oh, chugging. no. Riley is chugging. I'll fucking play, buddy. <laughs> Riley is chugging. I'll be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you... Frederick broke Riley. Frederick broke Riley, guys. Frederick, Ugh. you're an icon. Oh Just my god! Just in case you didn't know, you're an Frederick, icon. I like truly. We have mixed feelings. Lost for words. I, yeah. I brought wine. Did you okay. bring the, the? I brought Red Bulls. Did you bring the? Where's my water? I'm gonna get water too. No and water. And a massage gun, please. My. Um, our roommates are us. <laughs> yeah, we are the roommates. We are the roommates. True. Christian is the only. Christian's not even here. Yes. Is Frederick? Is Frederick single? Humble, no. humble worm. Great question. Thanks for the two bucks. I have a third. I now regret eating so many cookies. <laughs> I, I ate so I many ate cookies. I maybe two cookies. Oh my gosh. Actually, no, I ate four. Oh, well, fuck, dude. Yes, please. I'll and the massage gun. My, take a big, my back uh, hurts. Okay, water right I would like my water. I don't want none of this, this stupid Do we have water. a giant pitcher or something? Let's open a package. Something like that. Yeah, let's open a package. Wait, we're still in the middle of a story. You're right. We are in the middle of a story. Well, I God, I'm just, a, I'm just a puppy that needs. Okay, guys, let's 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 close this story out we're here. We're a story. Let's close the story out. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, this is actually a pretty fat story. 
pretty juicy. Um, let's bring it up to um, where we're at. Can we stop in, at the update right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 reach a stopping point. That Thank is you, Reba, perfect. Thank you, Reba, for the five bucks tip. Addition to let one of the others be producer for a bit, so Riley can call his girlfriend. Yes, or something. we're gonna. Yeah. I'll, I'll give her a call. She's probably watching right now. <laughs> hey, by the way, can't make it tonight. Um, just text me. <laughs> Great. Okay. Cool. Oh, bummer. got it. <laughs> Riley, why did you make plans? I was dumb. I forgot not to make plans. On Tuesday. She understands. She understands. It's okay. All good. That's. Yeah. W's in the chat for Riley's, Riley's lovely lady yep. friend. Give me W's in the chat for Miss Protein. I think that's, that's right. her name now. Miss Protein. W's in the chat for Miss Protein. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That open yeah, door feels that. amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Got another one. Riley Where's is other broken. One? Where's it at? Riley is All broken. Right. I'm done. I'm getting... There we go. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So. I'm going to get into this update. Are we ready, Riley? Beautiful. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry about the last update. My post got locked. Um, I'm currently writing this in on the ride upstate. Yesterday, I posted an email. I had gotten uh, my husband's email from an apartment <laughs> complex talking about fixing the water. Um, right now, if you can't hear, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Uh... My husband, who is upstate visiting his mother until Saturday, has no cell, ver cell service, so I haven't been able to talk to him about any of this, saying the email must have been a mix-up. My friend called and got the apartment number for the maintenance man. Uh, both went over to the apartment, and my friend knocked. A girl answered, uh, but didn't answer the door, just rang the bell camera. My friend said uh, she was there looking for Adam. The girl said that Adam wasn't there, but wouldn't give her much information Oh, other than that, which my friend... Oh, hold on. Let me move my hair. <laughs> You're about to rip my hair out. There we go. Uh, there we go. Um, which my friend was a total stranger knocking at her door. When we left, I could see her looking at the apartment window out at us. So, uh, a woman answered the door to this apartment, and they asked for Adam. They asked for Adam. Okay. Right. Mm. So, I tried to call my husband a thousand times yesterday and nothing went, f went, nothing went through. The few times the call did pick up, the service was so bad you could barely hear anything. So I'm headed upstate to confront him in person. I have a copy of the email as well as a photo of the apartment, as well as a recording of the girl saying that Adam wasn't there, which is a confirmation to me that she knows him. Yeah. Which Yes. I'm cued in. Yep, she's totally cued in. <laughs> if this uh, is somehow all a big misunderstanding, I'm going to have my husband have to explain it to me in person instead of waiting until he comes home. So super quick TLDR for everyone. Uh, basically, uh, OP's husband <laughs> uh, got this. Uh, they got an email that the husband has a apartment that's being flooded. Um, there's no apartment. According to the husband, no. now, they, they don't have, they, uh, OP doesn't know about it. This is OP's the wife, and uh, OP did some sleuthing and found a woman to answer. Found the apartment number, got this woman to answer, and th there is an answer there. So that's where we're at right now. Fred King Frederick did say, "How about I set another goal?" Um, we lost the chat, Frederick. Riley's gonna help me get we back. Can't to find it. It. We don't. I, we're gonna we find can't find it. Guys, <laughs> um, uh, how would y'all like that for uh, another two thousand dollar donation? Frederick, 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 Frederick. We we do stream every uh, other Papa days. Chill. Yes. Papa, 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 Papa. We can extend Papa. another another stream on any of the other four yeah. days of the week that think we stream. about. Think about Thursday. Mm. Think about, think about Friday. Friday's great. Friday's so good. You for know what us? else is cool? Mondays. Mondays. Mondays are cool. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesdays. These are all fantastic options. These are all great days. These are all great yeah, days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But honestly, Frederick, you know what? I'll play your game. I'll play your freaking game. Really, don't you know play what? the game. You said it. You said it. You tell the people what you want. And I'm going to be here. I'll be here all night, Freddy. I'm going to be here doing whatever I got to do <laughs> to make this show happen. This is five nights at Freddy's. Literally. I'm literally a genius, guys. <laughs> um, what, if, what if we, like, you know, I feel like at some point we should, we should get to, like, play a game or something, you know? Fuck, no! <laughs> no, he's gonna beat me at this game! 
fuck. I have a 15 hour shift and I'm only a quarter of way through it. <laughs> 15 hours? King Frederick, are you, what are you, are you a surgeon? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, watch. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like a shift that also allows you to make $2,000 donations. 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 <laughs> We're just at a loss. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh my God. I I Cheers to you. Oh, Cheers. Wow. My water tastes wow. weird. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you purchase. give her weird water, Sam? It's not my fa it's, it's it is not my fault, really. Oh well, I'm here till seven a.m. Not allowed to leave. I asked my lady to come going. to the live stream. What? Who? My lady. Wait, what? Oh interesting. my, <laughs> interesting. That would be. Um, I'm quite strong. A yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Riley versus Frederick. Yeah, Make it my go. own. Riley versus Frederick. Oh <laughs> God, go. here we go. This is this. We truly need a movie for that matchup. <laughs> my God. Okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm I'm carrying us through this. Let's all right. go. Let's go. So, okay, I'm dying too. Um, I haven't got a chance to read through all the comments, but I will go through them now and try to respond to what I can. I haven't slept. Oh my god! So I hope this makes sense. Op's just like this has been like an ongoing, ongoing thing. Chris Tinfoil Hat, ten dollar donation. Absolute shout out to King Frederick, the absolute goat. Um, slightly terrorizing our kingdom over here. But we love it. Edit to anyone telling me that I should just wait not to confront him. Talk to her first. He's my husband. He is the father of my children. If I'm going to find out he's cheating on me, it is going to be from him, which low key kind of fair, kind of fair. I'm going to say this for the last time. Please stop advising me not to go talk to my husband about this very serious situation that we are in. I will go talk to a lawyer if need be. However, we have been married for over a decade. We have a family and a life together. I am going to talk to him about it. I understand what the situation probably is. I understand he's probably going to try to lie to me. I am not a moron. And we do have some relevant comments here. Uh, Corfus 74, wouldn't it be better to get her story first and confront him with all the facts? Now he's just going to lie and deflect off of his ass and make you look like a crazy bad guy. He will come up with a doozy of a story by now. Did you at least use his photo with the maintenance guy so you have a visual confirmation it's him? OP, how can I get her story when she was barely willing to say anything to my friend? The reason why we didn't push her is because she wasn't giving us any information and we were worried that she was going to call the police because it's two strangers knocking at the door. My friend tried to ask her more questions. She wasn't giving more information any more information and now ladies and gentlemen we have a final update on this particular story i'm gonna stop right here sam sophia yes, yes. and good people watching the good people welcome to be good people watching us a loyal world hello, subjects. hello. <laughs> so op has done all of the detective work and it seems very likely the husband is not only cheating, but has an apartment with this woman that her friend found. This woman. As in her friend. Okay. And what's her the friend. question? Okay. Uh, so OP, OP found the apartment. Yes. Uh, uh, via her amazing friend who did the, the dirty detective work, knocked on the door. Right. This woman answered and it was like, oh, Adam's not here. Right. We know there is an apartment. He has his name on it. Um, what would you do? If you were OP and I found this secret apartment that he, that that's been hidden from me. Yes. You, you can go to the woman because she's there. The husband's service is allegedly not. Oh, not oh good. cause there's, there is a woman living there right now. Who oh, said, dude. Oh, Adam's not here. H OP's husband's name is not here right now. Dude, that is so sus. I would, I would go to the woman and not be like, Oh, you stole my man. But I would be like, Hey, uh, I'm like married to this guy. Like I'm what's up? This guy. Like, like, not what's up, Square like, up. I'm going to fight you, but, like, I'm yeah. like I'm legitimately trying to find what is up. What is up? What yeah. is up? Yeah. Tell me. Please. And Allie Graham, I love unhinged OKOP. Yeah. yeah. This is it. This is OKOP right after dark. You're getting the okay. most yeah. unhinged yeah. version of us. How long have we been here for? Hours. Hours. Many hours. Yeah. Hours and hours. I couldn't even tell you. Couldn't even oh, tell my you. goodness. I lost track of time. Yeah, dude. Oh. Time Time does not exist here. I woke up and it was dark, and now it's dark now. Mm. Is a concept. Always dark. Signal <laughs> Imagination 16. Conspiracy theory. She has an, a, a secret affair baby. Oh. Or she is a secret wow. affair baby. So the girl answering the door is, is maybe the, not a child. An, it, or is a child. Is a child. Maybe a long. I don't know. Yeah, that's. That would be a little bit hard because if she's old enough, 
assumed because how she's... old is how old is op uh op is they've been married for 10 years um i, I mean maybe i don't know if a, we there, have an there age there is a potential but probably I, i'm thinking it's more likely a lover than anything else yeah because they so they've been married for 10 years have kids i would say probably 40s so yes. maybe he has like a 20 year old kid but like that would be before they were together yeah it's, yeah the I mean, love almost says teen babies are super common like for sure but yeah. i'm 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 thinking more that would I'm be a lover. That would be a, a secret child, not an uh, not an affair child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So minus the affair, that yeah. could, it could be. A also, dash of Stardust you. says it's a girlfriend. I'm that's what I'm thinking too. We already said thank you to Wonder Woman for the two bucks. Wait, did uh, Savannah? Did no, <laughs> stop! Don't stop! You now it's your fault. That was your fault. What she commented? She said I could say her name. And you also added. What, her. Why do I get in trouble for saying your name? You literally then? just uh, added her. But you just added her. No, I didn't. Oh shoot. <laughs> She we responded. Did. There was nothing. What did she say? She said, uh, "I have beef with Riley." Oh, and yeah. I said, "I was sorry. I'm sorry." <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Savannah. Welcome. It's a pleasure having you. It's here. a pleasure. To it have is. You. It yeah. truly is. Yeah, you're great. Um, what was I just about to say? You're about oh, to... sleepless nights left a tip. Oh yeah, wait, 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 so wait, 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 what were you guys doing? Okay, wait, okay, wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I read this? that one. I read that. Okay, yeah, right. Boom. Amy's? I read that. No, maybe not. A- yeah, we, Amy, we haven't read any of this. Frederick okay. Single. Thanks for that. the yeah. two bucks. Frederick, what do you do for a living? We don't know. We have no idea. Frederick we is a know. mystery. Is Frederick single? Humble worm. Thank you for Frederick, if you want us to put a, a dating application yeah, for you, for you. Up, we yeah. would be. Well, we do know that Frederick has kids. Yeah. That's true. Has a child. That sorry, if you are big disclaimer. If you are not in a relationship and are looking for one, yes. No, but, no, no. Savannah's yes. not Miss Protein. No, no, no. No. Yes. Miss Protein <laughs> is... Okay. Unnamed. Yes. Unnamed. Thank you, Reba. You know, Savannah is not Miss Protein. Petition to let one of the others be producer. A dash of Stardust. Who is Savannah? So Savannah, you can introduce yourself if you want. Or something. Yeah. Reading yeah. tips, Sam. Okay, sorry. I, I, I read oh, that. You read that. Okay. Read that. okay. Yeah. Thanks for the five buck tip, Reniba. Reniba. Elite Technician, thanks for the five bucks. Keep that money coming in. It, it, it's still, it's still yep, coming. It is. It Video is. Video Graffo, I'm so sorry, Riley. Do y'all have comfort requests for the P.O. Box? I'm starting to get some concern about y'all's mental health on these long stream. What would give you that idea? A therapist. Thank you for the 10 bucks 17. We love you. Um, uh, thank you, Bell Conkling, for the two bucks. White flight, flat rate box. First name in text, Riley. Oh, I guess Bell, Bell sent a, a package. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's there. All right, uh, we're, 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 we're going to open that story. one next after yeah. we finish the story. Yes. Thank you, iPod you Bella, for the two bucks. Riley is the vibe of everyone overworked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he loves it. I'm going to read those ones. And Rachel the Axe Hatchet. Thanks for the five bucks. I don't think King is enough for Frederick now. Yeah. I know, like, Emperor? God? <laughs> em- yeah, God, God Frederick. Frederick. God, Our Frederick. Our Lord and Savior, Frederick. That is a great point, Rachel. Oh, my God. And then Debbie Lovecraft, thanks for the one buck tip. When I get paid, I'm going to send a snack box. Is there any British snacks you guys would want to try? <laughs> I will include... Oh, oh, uh... Biscuits and beans. <laughs> <laughs> Berries and cream. Oh my God. Um, I, I, I mean, whatever you would recommend. Whatever. Yeah. Do you know any British? Someone's sending me Old Mount, I think, and I'm really excited. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Blondest Brunette, for the 10 books. Thank you, Rachel the Axe Hatchet. Thank you for the two bucks, Zeus, Frederick, or Odin, Frederick. That's pretty good. Oh, That's those fun. are good. What do you want to be called? Fred? Yeah, uh, Frederick, yeah, let Frederick, us know. What do you want to be called? Let and Chris, chat. Tinfoil Hat, thanks for the 10 buck. All hail Sir Frederick. Uh, Rachel the Axe Hatchet, thanks for the 20 bucks. God, Frederick. Yep. It's probably around that time. Shadow Pumpkin, thanks for the five bucks. All hail, Frederick. Wonder Woman, <laughs> thanks for the two bucks. Go, Daddy Frederick. Let's fucking go. <laughs> and I think we've read uh, Signal Imagination, Sleepless. I will hand the Sleepless Army to you, King Frederick. And Blondinat, again, thanks for the 10 bucks. You know wow. what's scary? What? What? We're only five hundred dollars away from another hour. Stop talking. Okay, we're gonna get. We're gonna be. This is gonna be a long stream. <laughs> yeah. And we have. And we have two hours and twenty minutes left. Buckle up. Buckle up. At I, some point, I I will have to leave. Let's, I'm getting. I'm just gonna get drunk. 
Yeah, I'm also <laughs> going to do that. I'm just going to um, get jacked up on caffeine. Let's do, go. At some point, I will leave, but not now. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Oh my God. I think you can leave. You can't. <laughs> Riley, you can't leave. Riley, Riley, stop. Riley's going Riley, insane. Riley, Sophia, you can go to sleep if you want. Riley told me before the stream that I could take as many breaks as I wanted because I had read for five hours straight. Could yesterday. we do? Okay. Could we do? Could we do a a rotation where Sophia d flexes her amazing producer skills? Oh yeah. Gives Riley a break and <laughs> then. Oh my God. Ah, uh, Two hundred tip. I love this fam. This is just for y'all. You're loved. You're all amazing. Sam, Sophia, Riley, and John sending something in the PO box soon. Oh my God, Auntie, Auntie, Aaron. Auntie. Oh, we're gonna stay forever. We're gonna stay forever. We will never leave. Okay, Auntie. I'll stop. I'll chill out a little. Well, actually, I can't. I'm here now. Uh, yeah. This is. I think this is the most unhinged stream that we've had in a while. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm gonna. Get, oh, dude, I'm. I'm not waking up tomorrow. Let's do this. Okay, are you ready? I just need something to eat, and I'm so, back in the so, seat. So, Sophia, um, slide in. And yeah, help slide in. Slide produce. Riley, uh, order something for you to eat. Oh. That we will pay for. How about uh, order for my phone? There we go. Order for everyone. Okay. Yes. I do have food, so. And then, and Sophia, then. you produce for a bit, sure. and then you oh. can swap out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does that feel, everyone? Yep. Yes. Okay, all right. Sophia, swap out. Riley, here's Uber Eats. Get whatever you want. Get what you want, buddy. Cassandra said Sophia gets also, an eight-hour break to sleep. Get me double for... Yeah, yeah. Whatever you get, I'll get. Maybe maybe pop your I'm head in and just give produce. me some suggestive options. You know, suggestive as options. As in suggestions. You, you know, know what sex. I like, right? You know what you like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's so, you, you know, know what, what I food like. I like, bro. We've been, we've been going, grabbing dinner and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've been hanging. Yeah, we hang out. All right. We're getting ready for this final update, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! Baby Godzilla, stop! Baby Godzilla, stop! Baby Godzilla! Does that mean enough? That's another hour! Baby Godzilla! The chaos is real! Oh my god! Baby! Baby G! What? What the fuck? Get out of here. What, what where did that even come from? What the Baby, fuck? Do you want to update it? Baby G? <laughs> That's three hours! Baby, That's three hours. That's three hours. Baby Godzilla. We're not gonna go to sleep. Baby G. And the thing is, the thing, what? the thing What's that's crazy. Thing? The thing is, what? The the longer they keep us, the more they want to the keep more, us. The more time they have to put in donations. We're gonna be here so I think. Oh my god. What happened? This is not the biggest. Oh, we can't tell them that. We can't no. tell them. We can't tell them that. We can't tell them that because then they're gonna beat it. Gonna and then we're gonna be here until. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We don't. We, we break be all night. Let's just break one record at a time. Okay? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, I think oh. we also broke our record for likes in the stream. Oh yeah, Honestly. definitely likes. Yeah, yeah. We ah, uh, Sophia. I thought we had it yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> they, didn't, they broke it. But that's good. You were here for it. Oh my god. Remember, like in the beginning of the stream, where we had like. 13 minutes left on like the 500 goal. Yeah. We're like, oh, maybe we're it's like, going oh, like to be a short stream today. It's going to be a short stream. What like a chill freaking day. And then the the worm army just worm absolutely army. declared nuclear war on the goal bar. Absolute nuclear war upon the goal yeah, I bar. I think we missed some donations. Oh, we did. This okay. is. Okay. So we got that one. Did we get this one? We got on TV. Nocturnal Slytherin. I can be here all night. I. Uh, the three dollar tip. And then we, we appreciate got you. This one. Oh my God! Wait, J Karun, Sean, can you read those? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm okay. Processing. All right, Jess. Okay, how did that two x speed till I caught up? First live. Thank you, Jess, for two dollar donation. Level twenty seven, Matt, with one forty seven. Uh, okay. I might pass out before the stream ends. LMAO. I we will not. Uh, and then Rachel, of course, of course, ladies and gentlemen, Rachel, the mother. Freaking axe hatchet, sixty dollar donation again for those who cannot donate. Absolutely incredible. This is for you. Um, oh wait, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Also, oh, you're good, you're good. Rachel, shout out to you. We've been seeing you donate. 
Dude. Donate through the tip link. Oh, yes. My tip, link, the tip is great. link Because then YouTube takes what the fuck? 30%. Who is donating? I don't, bro, Someone everybody. Else just donated. Yes. Oh, here we go. Let me, let me read Rachel's sorry, real sorry. quick. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh, oh Rachel's on. Yeah, yes. Um, do do do. Uh, going for those who can't. Every one of you, crap. guys, you keep donating. Stop! Oh my God, every one of you Stop! can't donate. Don't worry, you are seen, heard, and loved. Absolutely, Rachel the Axe Hatchet. Uh, we love you. Be our OKLP fam. Thank you, Rachel the Axe Hatchet, for always being a hero and an amazing human being. Rachel the Axe Hatchet. Okay, there was just a bunch more. It's just there was a bunch going. more. It just keeps okay. going. Wait, is it scroll up? Yeah, scroll up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You crushed it. All right, blondest brunette, nine dollar ninety nine. Oh my! I'm God. loving the unhinged. By the way, Frederick commented uh, above uh, Auntie's donation. Go back and read it. Oh, Frederick commented above. Too far back. Commented with a uh, with a oh. donation or, guys, get get if you could find his. It might be a little hard for us to find. Find his message. You could spam the comments with it so we don't miss it. That would be awesome. What, Shout do you, what uh, it says, what do you guys want to do for another 2000? Oh my God, Frederick. You set the price. I, Frederick, you, you set the price. Yeah. You, uh, I don't even know. Frederick, what do you do? We, 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 we don't need to know. <laughs> he is, it is a, Frederick will remain a mystery. <laughs> yeah, don't tell us, actually. Don't tell us. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Uh, these... Yeah, Shadow Pumpkin, thank you. Shadow Pumpkin, $5. We love you. Shadow Pumpkin, we love you back. Drunken Moths, is that on the donation? Like 120 and 96 cents. Uh, this, are, are, are you a first, first time donator? My God, thank you for the very generous, massively generous donation. Drunken no comments. Moths. Just, just to, just oh. fucking Drunken just Moths. I don't know. And then uh, Buck99 from Sweetleaf, thanks for using the donation link. Uh, thank you guys for being amazing. Hopefully one day I can send you guys one of my novels when I'm not frightened of talking to you. Sweetleaf, please send, send one. whatever you want. And also, Sweetleaf, we've seen you before. That's right. <coughs> we have freaking seen you, Sweetleaf. You, and see you're you. awesome. And we would love to <coughs> get whatever you send in and, and chat with yeah, you because you're yeah. awesome. Uh, guys, we keep book. getting donations in. Uh, f uh, could you start on a little bit for yeah. Slithy Tobes? Uh, uh, Slithy Wait, Tobes. we got a nan. We oh, got oh, a oh. nan. Riley, we got a nan. We got a nan. We have a nan. Oh, What's a nan? You broke it. it. What happened? We, we got a nan. Oh. Uh, bummer. All right. Riley's Barnacles. fixing it. Um, I don't know. Guys, chill, chill, chill. We have two hours. We have two hours left. Oh chill, my God. chill. Pace we, yourself. We literally can't even read the donations fast enough. Um, chill. Slowly tell that is for the fifty bucks. Um, oh, you're good. Yeah, thank you. I want to play too. Gothworms in the chat. Gothworms unite. Let's let's freaking Slowly go. Slowly tell that's fifty. That's fifty dollars right there. Yeah. Slowly tell us. Thank you so much. That's crazy, Slowly. That's crazy. Uh, Marcia von Wormer, all hail the Worm Queen, of course. With literally, that's that's Marcia's name, by the way. It's incredible. Groovy chick with twenty five dollars on a donation tip. My uh, donation. Groovy like, hippie chick. Yeah, yeah I, am I am for sure passing out before this is over. Lol. <laughs> Love you all. We're gonna pass everyone, out at this. Rate. Everyone is literally gonna like have their YouTube open and will be asleep. <laughs> straight, straight up, straight up. Uh, Four twenty tip from yes. Amazing. Rachel the Axe has another $10. Uh, I can only donate a couple times on the donor report. Flags uh, my card. Oh, otherwise I would always donate. No, no worries, Rachel. Yeah, good, good to know. Good to know. Um, Blondest Brunette with the $5. Frederick said he works at the grocery. The grocery store? The grocery. Oh my God. I hope you own that grocery store. Yes. <laughs> yes, Frederick. Um, and yes. Uh, Jocelyn, uh, $5 to the donation. Just to fuel the camera, of course. Uh, Rossio uh, Montejo, $2 to the donation link. Thank you for that. Uh, next up, we have Kristen Foyle Hat with $50 on the donation link. Kristen Foyle Hat, thank you, my God. I guess I'm just waiting uh, to be exhausted here in the morning in New York, three hours later than we're at, when I got to go uh, to nursing sim lab in the very early AM. At least they're all plastic dummies, to be honest. 
And at least I can't kill any of them, to be honest. <laughs> God, Kristen Fohat, please don't stay up late on streams when you're working on people. I'm sure you're an amazing nurse, though. Shout out to you. $5 from Burchlet on the donation link. Thanks for using the donation link, by the way. I love, love seeing these uh, all come through. Hostage situation, question mark? Uh, maybe so. Uh, blink three times uh, if this keeps trending. There you go. Um... Oh we're, my wait, god! We keep, we keep coming in, a blamified five dollars on donation link. We're about to, uh, we're about to get another hour if this keeps trending. I know. Next one up, a uh, super chat from Pixie Cakes, seven bucks. I'm letting my kids stay up past his bedtime watching a movie while I hang out with you. <laughs> For sure, I'm gonna fall asleep before this ends. Pixie, I don't even know. Fiona. Uh, uh, Fiona <laughs> for the uh, seven bucks Canadian Sam I was peacefully asleep and Sam's screams woke me oh I'm gonna have to be really sorry ah! I think it's mine oh my god I'm just gonna read this first really quick <laughs> Samantha oh my god Samantha 100 through the donation link no freaking less my god wow thank you I love the streams when y'all are all together well Samantha we're all here for you today and then super chat from oh sorry I didn't read iPod you're, Bella you're, right you're, below you're, that iPod Bella um, uh, the thing's lagging yeah it keeps yeah <laughs> oh my god iPod Bella for the two dollars uh, slumber party that's... we're gonna be here all night with you yeah can I borrow someone's pajamas we're gonna be uh, here all night alright we'll, we'll borrow Riley's I'll borrow oh them. dude you know what would be sick what we should use Aoki's roller rolls her pre <laughs> Aoki, wait, I'm gonna it show you. It depends on what what you got. I I got some. I got oh, some. Will the stream old... get taken down? Huh? Will the stream get taken down Ooh. though? If we, <laughs> we, we we would have to go. No. Uh, I mean, for super safety, just just super safe. Remember, we were talking to someone lately that was Elon. Like, Elon Musk smoked in a stream with Joe Rogan. This fucking Elon Musk. Stream that was on uh, uh, Joe Rogan podcast. That wasn't a stream, was it? Well, yeah, but it was a, it was it was on Joe Rogan. It, it, I, I think you could smoke smoke a a close Clove, cigarette uh it's a yeah. closed cigarette yes uh, oregano oregano it's a vape a natural herbs and spices anyway let's, let's keep reading these donations we're, we're gonna fall behind um okay yes thank you riley human and dragon two bucks fix a donation bar in the countdown clock we are working on it we're trying to read all the donations christian campbell uh with one dollars uh hey love you all and sending some goodies soon from my bakery sweet sensations oh soon. that sounds delicious. that please. is so sick yes, please shout do. out to you uh five dollars from serena campa thank you um new member drunken something to the little sillies thank you for that uh oh Asina, Vic for the five dollars i'm loving the chaos love you guys oh my god what would it take for you guys to throw a meet and greet in california i would love to be there Asina, we are trying to throw a live event in the next okay few weeks. yeah and literally in two weeks we're gonna do this stream on the street um probably in venice or santa monica and we would absolutely love to and see we would you, love Asina. to see all of you absolutely there absolutely love to meet meet and see you and all of that fun stuff have a blast Brittany with the fifty dollars. Brittany, Brittany, hamster girl. I have a cold. Oh no. Um, I know sleep because stuffed nose make me no breathe. I'm sorry. I hope your sinuses treat you better. Oh you deserve it. Oh my god. Um, what else we got, Riley? Uh, baby Godzilla, another five bucks. Baby G. Uh, why read Reddit stories when you can read donations for an hour? Baby G. That's where we're at. Next two dollars from Final Execution PS3. Uh, I'll be broke for a bit. Uh, all but all I got left in joy. Final Execution. You're. You're good. You can just we, subscribe. You can just Honestly, subscribe. Just, just subscribe, and we're we're so we're thrown almost at that. caught up. Chris David's five bucks. Update your timer. We're working on it. Love you guys. We love you back. Um, right after that, uh, Chris Sorry, David's. You're good. You're good. Um, uh, Whitnar's two bucks. Uh, watch the channel that smokes. Please smoke. Okay, so maybe that's okay. Rachel is actually gifting the community, being the absolute. We should maybe go to Saint Rachel. Because my God, that is so incredible of you! Five gifted uh, uh, memberships and five dollars from Anna, Olivia. I love the chaos! Ha ha ha! We have finally fucking got up. <laughs> Fuck! From just insane back to back, and then ten dollars from Shani. I don't know if he was being serious, but Frederick said that he stocks stock shelves and that people are mean to him. Do not be mean to King Do not Frederick. Not be mean, and like, yes, yes, and we are. Happy to King stay Frederick. Where we, we're at. we will literally stay. Let we will stay for as long as you guys want. Yes. But holy shit! Oops. Oh, what was that? Holy shit! Uh, y'all are fucking holy fuck insane. Wait, did this is more? Um, Kendall, Kendall, take care of yourselves. Love you all. Also.
Sorry, Riley. Yeah, no, we, nothing but crowns in the chat for King Frederick. And Frederick, you said you had a story. Uh, put oh, yeah. it Put it in our subreddit, and we'll call you. We yes. would love to. We, we would love to hear you it. You deserve that, my God. <laughs> oh, and sleepless G nights. Thank you for this is back. Oh my God, gifted <laughs> membership. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Volo two one two zero says. Can we read a story? We're trying. <laughs> We're trying. We are freaking trying. All right, I'm about to fix the chat for. Please don't. Please don't. Like second. Donate. Don't. Oh my God, Marcia von Wormer. Thanks for the two buck tip. You guys are the best. Don't donate for a little bit. Just, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. See the donation bar. Just wait. Oh gosh, I might have missed one. Did right, you let me add that. Is it fixed? I think so. I missed. Oh my god! Texting my girlfriend, y'all. <laughs> and did we? Is, oh yeah, is we're good. Is the is the time right? Yeah, we're good. Uh, the time is right because we got because so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're no, we're at, we're at, we should we should be. We should be streaming for a total of eight hours yeah, as of right now. Okay, so at we're five at five hours right now. We have two. Yeah, we we we're missing another hour. Add an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Time is wrong. Yeah, yeah. We're adding another hour right now. We're missing. Yes, we know. Thanks for we're thanks missing for checking me. Sorry, that got hectic for a second there, guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Casey Kramer, thanks for the two bucks. Holy shit. We're here for another three hours. Wowzers, please. yowzers. John, don't forget about the update. Thank you, Beth Ann. <laughs> I did forget about the update. I'll tell you that. I was couldn't. I could barely breathe with reading all these donations coming oh in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cena Parker says, "Can we finish the story already?" Okay. okay. We're, we're gonna we're... give you guys what you came here for. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. All right. We're Absolutely. here. Absolutely. We're here. We're back. I'm getting my emo hair back. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Did you order something for me, Riley? Yeah, where'd Sophia go? Okay. I'm good. Cool. I'm good. You're you good? ordered for yeah, yourself, yeah. though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There I'll we go. It. I'm just going to, John, do you want the same as Riley? Uh, what is he getting? Chicken and rice. Right. Rice from Pete House? Kava. 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 Oh. Sure. Is there a bunch of pickles and uh, acidic oh, things yeah, in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might hear, could I we can, blast we go, through this? Uh, this is almost done, and oh, then yeah, I'll do my own. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so I'm writing this from my hotel room. I went to confront my husband. Guys, it's happening. Um, he knew the minute my car pulled up what was going on. He came outside to meet me, and the first thing he said was, did you go to the apartment? Ooh. Boom, boom. Super quick TLDR. Uh, OP found that her husband has a secret apartment. Wow. And she's confronting him about it. It looks like he's cheating. There was a woman that answered the door. It's messy. Uh, so, and I told him, yeah. So he then said, so I guess we have to have a talk. And again, I said, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into the exact details of it. It was a long talk and involved a lot of emotions. She is his girlfriend. Okay. Oh. Girlfriend. So now we figure out the other shoe is dropped. It is his girlfriend. They have been together for four months and already have an apartment under his name. My God. That's insane. She is under the impression that we are separated and going through the divorce process. Ooh. His family wasn't aware of this. His brother, mother, who were there, were horrified. Oh, wow. So his brother and mother were there in upstate New York and found out as well that he was cheating. And didn't say anything? Because, no, 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 they just found out just now because OP went to him oh. in upstate New York where he was with his family and everything to confront him. Sounds like they Dude, that's crazy they that heard. he got a whole apartment for it. Dude, that is bananas. Bonkers. Uh, the family was horrified. I'm sorry I don't have more to say. I've already contacted a divorce lawyer, a therapist, and a financial advisor. Thank you to everyone for your support. I feel like the three horsemen of what 
you need to call like call when exactly, <laughs> and you need to watch OKOP exactly <laughs> when shit hits the fan. OKOP financial advisor, your man. therapist, and OKOP. That's the, that's the combo. So real quick, some relevant comments closing us out here. Married Life Seven. I'm so sorry. I'm guessing the girlfriend messaged him, which is why he knew you were there. Be sure to log into your bank accounts, and if you feel necessary, take a screenshot and withdraw half of it into a new account just under your name. Wow, that's some pro level stuff right there. OP. She did not message him. He gets no service up there. Uh, he just saw the car pulling up and just put two and two together. Don't give up. 86 says, uh, how did he pay for this? Probably well over four months without noticing. OP says his company funds. He was using the company mm. account to pay for the apartment, which OP does not have access to. Right. Oh, my God. She doesn't have his account. Oh, so to hide it, to hide, to hide it. it. Exactly. Um, Mooney Sandcat says, my dear, that sounds like embezzlement. I was actually just about to say that. And that is a whole. No, that, that is embezzlement. That's, and that is that is illegal. It's a personal expense. And that is the end of the story. <laughs> he said that's a personal Ladies and expense. gentlemen, um, is there a where's the ordering phone? E, I'm going to order some food. Um, wait, 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 here's the, uh, oh, sorry, here's the ordering phone. Hassan, you get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Rest, Riley, rest. Okay. I'm going to find some food, ladies and gentlemen, so we're not famished. Absolutely famished by uh, everything that's going on here. Oh, Sophia, we literally read donations back to back for, I yeah. want to say, 20 minutes straight. Oh, my God. Here, I added left. mine. I know. Like, I, I had to go to the bathroom. Yes. And Rachel, the axe hatchet, I will personally come after anyone who is mean to our God, Frederick. Yeah. Only this crowns in that chat for Frederick. Frederick. Jessica Chavez, thanks for the seven buck tip. And Reba, going to stop tipping for now to save money, <laughs> but this is the best stream yet. I will be here till the end of the stream. This is the best stream night. yet. Worms. <laughs> Unite. There we go. Uh, worms, this yeah. this is probably the craziest stream. Sophia, can you scroll oh, down yeah. so we can yeah, see sure. the uh uh the, I, I can't see this. We can't see all the comments. Other way, other way. Scroll. No, no, the comments. The comments. You gotta scroll all the way down. You gotta scroll all the way to the bottom. Is Sophia okay? I. You gotta am. scroll all the, all the way to the I'm bottom. I'm literally scrolling as fast as I can. You gotta. You gotta. There. Okay. And then I'll go all the way to the uh, go. Oh my God! Drunken moths go what? all the way to the top. <laughs> Drunken moths ah, just dr donated oh another hundred dollars. Too, clo too close for comfort to the six thousand. Videographer, I don't know if we saw your tip, but if you did, thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, wait. There we go. Oh my God! Yes, I do have Justin Bieber hair. Can we? Just, Bernie Hart Ooh. Dragon says, "Can we just like." You know, talk, talk like, like girlies. girlies. What do you want to know? We what do you want to know? We can, we can dish some teas. Ooh. It's okay to cry if you need it. <laughs> it's okay to cry. I hate my mom. <laughs> Madeline May says, I want Sam's advice. Seeing a guy and he is only going on dates with me, but is sleeping with someone else. <gasps> he was honest and told me we aren't exclusive. Can he really like me if he still has a hookup? Is he keeping her in case we don't work out? That actually, actually is a great question. Um, thank you for the fifteen dollar tip, Madeline. Is he? Um, okay, I, 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 I have, I have some. So I have a friend that is kind of in like a similar, um, uh, situation where he really likes this guy, and they're having like, a, like they have a really great relationship. But mm. the guy and like they like text each other all the time, and it's super romantic. Ooh. Um, and they'll like go on hikes and stuff. But the guy doesn't really want to be exclusive and right. potentially is like hooking up with other people. Um, but uh, my friend like does want it to be exclusive. But what his kind of like thing is, is they're not exclusive. So he's not doing anything wrong. Are you doing the same hair as me? I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm, listening, I'm listening to your 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 story. But yeah, Bernie Hart Dragon says this sounds like a situation ship. So, yeah, I, I mean, like, I think it. It potentially is it usually it can be either that they're not into you or they're afraid of commitment and they need more time to warm up the idea of like being really close to someone um so i think he can really like you uh if he still has a hookup but he's probably not ready to commit i and think it, you just have to set a timeline for yourself yeah. of how long you want to wait and yeah. i think it's cool also to be like hey like this is what i want you know this is this is what i would want like how are you feeling do you maybe asking is this something that you need? I think it's good to have a conversation. Yeah. About. yeah. And is it something that you think we can trend towards? You know? Yeah. 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 Like, cause it's, cause I Great. think like, I think it's like, uh, it's, it's different if someone says I never want to get to that place, but if they, 
can if they're if they're hurt like hamster girl britney says if they're hurt and maybe like can't commit right now but maybe eventually can get to that place like maybe it's something that you can wait for but yeah madeline may it, it is a uh I, I feel like it's a it's a tricky sitch that's it's true tri- it's, it's definitely a tricky sitch but do what you feel is best for you sam i feel i want to confirm that i'm putting this order in yeah and we're gonna go well does <laughs> sophia want to sophia do you want anything do you want from, anything from, from kava 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 um, I do have food. What, do they have any fun like appetizers? Yeah, go go check. Take a look. Uh, also, thank you, Blondis Brunette, for the ten box. Read Frederick's story next. <laughs> I think he deserves it. Yeah, that. he definitely deserves it um, for sure. Yeah. Sleepless nights. Thanks for the ten bucks. I get off at four thirty a.m. So if you guys want to call about the breakup, I'm setting fires right now. Setting fires in terms of concerning fires where, where are you setting a fire don't set fires you'll end up like me if anyone knows that story oh yeah yeah john got burned baby. that's a good uh, okay story time okay story time yeah would you like to tell it <laughs> why not yeah all right so any of you any of you real okop heads out there freaking big fans will probably remember the story but basically when i was uh 16 years old i did grow up in florida so uh that means we had florida activities which means I was at my friend's house who had a barn and we had a giant bonfire, probably like up to nine feet tall, maybe at points. Mm-hmm. And um, we were just, you know, lighting ping pong balls on fire, throwing them in the fire and just doing acting like a bunch of stuff. hooligans. You can. Um, yeah, just go for order. Yeah, just yes. order. Um, and that, but I can pass the phone back to Sam. All right, um, here, 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 here. And there he goes. And so I, uh, I found a, a pickaxe. Right. And I was just, I was just hitting stuff. You know, this again, Florida man activities. This is just what we do. Uh, Stone Colt's over, by the way. Wait, Sophia, are you not getting anything? No, I have food. Oh, there we go. And uh, I accidentally hit a can of industrial spray paint, which then ignited by the flames of the fire, exploded in my face. And I was thankfully a wearing glasses. Otherwise, I would be blind. And B, I was wearing a robe. So I was instantly completely set on fire. Whole robe was on fire. I take the robe off, which once again, miracle of God, I took the robe off and it like uh, went out because it was like against the cold dirt. If you have ever seen like someone like, you know, stomping out a flame or whatever, it's kind of like that. But then my, uh, I was wearing dress clothes. So I had like polyester, like, handcuffs and feet like my ankles and stuff so uh and i had burns all over my face so i had these like burns all over my face and for three weeks i had to take out of school i'd have rub rub, like silver cream all over myself so you wouldn't get uh any scars uh basic yeah yeah and they they didn't have it was just at the point where just under the point where i had to get a skin graft for the wow. skin that was burned. So if it was like literally like worse. like 3% worse, I might have had to have skin graft surgery. Yeah, to like Wonder Woman says skin. LMAO, John is the Florida man. I basically am Facts, the Florida man. dude. Yeah. And then Rachel the Axe Hatchet, thanks for the five bucks. Uh, can y'all tell a little OKOP fam, Eris and Athena, good night. Eris and Athena. Good, good night. night. Good night, Eris and night, Athena. Good night, and Athena. You have the coolest names ever. Yeah. Yeah. You and I, also, I love that story because it just like it's just like so Florida man. <laughs> it is very. I didn't realize how Florida man I was until it's I moved so to Florida California. Man. It's great. Yeah. It is. It is. And we, sweetly, we thanks for the two bucks. I will send you a small one. I will write a whole one and get it printed for you guys in this month. You gave me a new goal, and I'll sign it for you guys. We appreciate you. Hell yeah. And awesome. then Bernie Hart Dragon, thanks for the one buck. Best advice I ever heard today. Everyone does not have your heart. Not everyone loves like you. That's true. Not everyone That's loves like you. Quote. And also, make sure you love yourself. There we go. You know, Number to, one. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize right. yourself because if you don't fill your cup, you cannot fill others' cups. There you go. And soon your cup, there's no, there's no cups. There's no like cups empty to cups. fill. You know what like. cup I want to phil what, what? Uh, the package is oh the oh. package is also wait did we read all that yeah have we, we caught up on donations have we got up on donations we have indeed wait and go scroll down i just want to make sure i didn't miss anyone also marble link thanks for joining our little sillies our private community here on youtube it was nice and yeah blondest we already drunken moths we talked we about mm-hmm. blondest brunette thanks for the 10 bucks we, we're gonna read frederick's story in a little bit yep and uh wait nick nick's woods nick's 
Nick, 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 Nick D's, Nid, Nids, Nids K Wood. <laughs> Nidsky Wood. Happy 420 <laughs> from your Kiwis. We appreciate huh. you. Oh, yeah. 420. No, Frederick. Yeah. Call Frederick, Frederick back. We will call Frederick. Right, Riley's yes. not here, and I don't know how to do yeah, it. When, when Riley comes back, we yes. will call Frederick. So remind us, because Riley knows how to work that. Sophia yes. is going to... Uh, um, don't know how to do it. She doesn't know how to do it. She doesn't know how to do it. This is as much as I can do. Well, no, you can also switch to to just John and I, right? Yep. You're good. No, you're okay. We're... Okay. Shoo. Shoo. Nothing happened. Shoo. Yeah. Shoo. Get out of here. Shoo. Enjoy rest. Watch TikToks. All right. But shall we maybe open a package? Yeah. Let's do it! Mail time! Open we love mail time. Mail. I think you're due for one, Sam. Open some Big mail. package or pink package? Ooh, pink. pink. Up, up, open some mail. All right, we got a pink package. Uh-huh. Uh, Helen to Tina. Riley Wilson. To specifically Riley Wilson. Yeah, address them to me and Riley so UPS doesn't and spank our little bottles. we don't know who it's from, but... It does have some Chinese characters on it. Uh, also, thank you, Helen Tina, for the 10 bucks. Am I tripping or did Sam totally skip the title story? Am I the ale for sleeping with my sister's husband because he was distracted by the pain of the period pain simulator? But potentially, potentially. Yeah, yeah. I was very distracted. Yeah. Ugh. I was too. Thank you, Kristen Foyle, half for the five gifts of yeah. uh, memberships. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Blamified, for the two buck tip. Bernie Ray, Bernie, and raised Floridian, literally listening to you next to my solo bonfire. Let's freaking Ooh. go, Blamified! Whoa, what is Bro. that? What is that? Um, what is that? <laughs> is that my? Is that my sweater? Is that my? Ah! I think it might be uh -oh. your sweater. Uh -oh. wait, 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 wait! Read the donations. Read the donations. Okay. Oh my God! Uh, these are all the new members. Thank you. Uh, Q of S for the five buck tip. Hey, appreciate you. Appreciate wait, you. Do we, wait, do we read the other ones? Yeah. I, uh, I, read, I just read do these. Do we say Chris tinfoil hat? I just read these. Do we do Helena? Yep. We did? Yep. Okay, we no. did all of them? Yep. Cool. All right. Yeah, He's it my is sweater. Sophia's sweater. He's my sweater. Hey. So wait, what is this show? Has been hotel. It's the one I was singing like, Oh, this is cool. You're been loser, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Sophia was showing me. I was not. This, I was singing another song, but um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Um, to get screen printed too. Yeah. Ooh, that kind of feels. Ooh, a bit of nice. All right, Zavita, you want it? I want it. I All right, here we go. Here we go. It. Ready? Three, two, one. Catch! Hey. Whoa, look at that expert transition. Catch and also, transitions wait, who is this for the catch. From? Who is um, this from? Aoki, right? Is it from Aoki? I started watching Hell of a Boss. Kelly G3 said, oh, uh, we're made in Aoki. So, yes, I, I th okay. we think it is Aoki. It this is Aoki. So it is Aoki. Aoki, we appreciate you. All my you. friends here. Hi. We're made in Aoki. Are you in right now? Lisa, are you in? Someone bought you a sweater. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Lisa? My sweater. How's hey, it going? Hey, hey. Hello. Oh, my God. I could sleep now and watch the stream later at 2x3, <laughs> or you could watch it now and never leave. Exactly. Stay on with Stay us. Stay on the stream so forever. Cool. Oh, speaking okay, of which, what, what shall we do next? Uh, do we have story? We have more stories, we have right? More stories. We have more stories. All right. We will read another story. Hey. And Latina Barbie, uh, 17. Frederick, I heart you. I know the rest of her OKOP fam does, too. That's right. That is damn true yep this is damn true. damn straight damn straight all right let's get into this next story let's do it do you want wine yes sir i also want water so i'm gonna go you want some i can get two additional glasses and some water do you want some water too yeah oh my water is i think it's right there if you could fill that up yeah yes yeah. Thanks. Let's, let's let's get some i also need to charge thanks my phone, my phone is so annoying story all right Wait, how, on. how do i why is the Bear with me, y'all. Bear with to... Sam. Sorry, let me get just Bear. Sam. Yeah, entertain them. I'll entertain you. I'm going to put the sweater on when I'm a little bit not overheated. Give me like five minutes. All right. Um, ooh, uh, a dash of stardust says, at shy little writer. I saw the word fan fiction. You do AO3? Yeah, who does, who does some AO3 here? Who's some AO3 fans in the chat? Uh, and what are your favorite fan fictions? All right, Sophia, I just finished 408. I'm going to read 409. Okay. 
Let me get there. Oh, wait, no, we already read that one. We already read that one. Did we read this one? Vexatious small claims court money? I don't know. Okay. All right. We're going to read another nine. story. This is about some scams and some trickery. Wait, are we still on 409? Oh, wait. So, uh, we are on, yeah, we're on 409 uh, story yes. two. Cool. How could it possibly get more unhinged with more wine? Where's the mead? I'm in the need for mead. Also, how many people would come to a live show if we did one if we did in one, LA in two weeks and ah, it shoots. was free and you just could crowd around us? Sin in Wonderland, right. do the emo hair again. Moo the toot, do the emo hair again. Tonight will be the night that I will fall oh, for you. you. Over again, don't make me change my mind. All right, Sophia, are you ready? Yeah, you got ready. You got the notion? Yeah. Set up? Yeah. All right. We're doing it, y'all. So. Boom. Ready? Yeah. And Bernie Hard Dragon, you can submit on the Discord stories, but the best place to do it is our subreddit, r slash OKOP show. So, let's get into it. Vexatious small claims court money claim? What does that mean? We're going to find out. <laughs> and this comes from London Socialites. This is in England. So this is this this is in England. It's an English English accent. This is in England. This is I dated the ex for about two months. When we separated, he owed me money, and I made a money claim via the small claims court to try to get the money back. It was judged in my favor, but default and the ex-partner had to pay me back through gritted teeth and after threatening me with being reported to the police. Fast forward to this week. I received an email from the small claims court where the ex-partner made a claim against me for almost 10,000 quid. In the claim, the ex-partner wrote that the reason for the claim was identity theft, which is not a joke. <laughs> The 10,000 quid amount makes no sense as I, as my, as I <laughs> never owed the ex-partner that money and believe that this latest claim is only the ex looking for a payday under a ridiculous pretense. The ex-partner is serially unemployed, lazy, and is used to trying to extort his partners for money slash living off the parents' income. And there is nothing in the claim to justify that amount except for their vague claim of identity theft, which I found ridiculous. 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 I responded to the claim by denying any money is due to that person and should mediation come. I'm not going to do it, but I'm insistent about not owing the ex a single penny. So basically, they're saying, oh, you owe 10,000 bucks. And Opie is like, no way in hell I'm paying that. This person has been harassing me using the police and court systems as none of the claims they've made led to any kind of financial compensation. This looks like yet another attempt from the ex to try to get some money out of me. In the response, they have wrote that since they had met me, they have been trying to be unaliving, implying I caused their depression and their dark thoughts. The breakup was more than five years ago, and I have long since moved on. Is there anything that can be done to avoid these vexatious claims such as this one? Is there anything I could do? I already reported to the police that I didn't want to receive any more contact from that person, but was told that since the correspondence is from the small claims court service, this isn't direct contact. Thanks in advice in advance for your help. And there are some top comments and an update. But basically, it feels like OP is just in this crazy situation where uh, their ex is asking for money and they're like, hey, I don't need to pay you any money. It never made sense. There's no identity theft. They're claiming 10K for identity theft. How does that fucking make sense? How does it make sense, Sophia? It doesn't. It doesn't. It purely doesn't. You know what does make sense? Uh, bubbles donating two bucks. Yeah. I would pay for a meet and greet. 
we'll i don't know we'll see we'll see we're, i think we want to do a couple pop-up events that are just freezies and amw thanks for the five bucks do any of you like gundam kits gundam? I, I don't know what, what is that, that? Is. you may have a package coming your way uh, also going on strike until big protein <laughs> returns. JK, love you all from North Carolina. <laughs> from no contact. From no contact. We're going no contact with you. And right, Rachel Hatchett, right. story time. Would I be the asshole for putting my ex sister in law and new mother in law in her place after what she did to my nephews on Easter? Call me. We got we got we got a cue for calls. Yeah. We got a cue for calls, which will happen when King Frederick returns. Make sure to submit your story to our slash OKOP show so we can read it. Um, and call you back. And then Blondest Brunette, we've been seeing you like hella in the stream. Thanks hella. for the two bucks. Highest likes. Yeah. Uh, I think this is the most liked stream ever. Ever for ever. sure. But we do have some top comments and an update. But it, it feels like uh, OP's ex is just totally being ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Tell me more, Sophia. What? Tell me more. Why do you think it's ridiculous? Oh, uh, I think it's. Oh, thank you. Are they ridiculous? I think it's proper ridiculous. Proper ridiculous. Uh, he's even considering. I love that you're doing Cockney and I'm like doing like push. <laughs> yeah, we come. <laughs> we come from different sides different of the same sides tracks. Of the tracks. Yeah. Anyway, P. Flurk says first you apply to have the claim struck out for disclosing no cause of. Action. Then if it happens, you count a claim for harassment. But see a solicitor for that. It is possible for non-molestation orders and the like to prohibit the vexation institution of proceedings. Anyway, there is more stuff in this. So we're going to get into it. So, update on the vexations of small court claims. This is an update and this is in England. <laughs> <laughs> I went through mediation where the mediator explained that the ex-partner came up with the 9,000 quid number by claiming 5,000 quid in compensation for distress and 4,000 quid for damaged items. No idea what this is in relation to and I've never damaged any of his items or property. Is that not of abuse of process? Can you actually use the small claims court to claim compensation for distress and just come up with a random number? Thank you for your help. I don't think you can. That's crazy. That shouldn't be allowed. I don't... Oh, <laughs> there's no one there. <laughs> what? I accidentally went to oh. John. <laughs> what do you think, John? Yeah, John, what do you think? <laughs> oh, what do you think over here? Oh, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> oh, my God. Alright, we're mini Yoki says the voice. Is distraction. I'll go back to my regular voice. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, uh, for everyone who's just coming to the stream, basically, OP is in Britain, which means uh, uh, John's not here, so he doesn't get the five bucks. John's not here. John's not here. Um, <laughs> but I appreciate you guys looking out for John. Pay John. He's not here. He can't hear it, so he doesn't know. Um, <laughs> But basically, Opie's in England. Their ex is like, you owe me $10,000 for freaking being a uh, uh, identity thief. And Opie's like, I was an identity thief. And then the ex was like, you owe me money for emotional damage. And so we're here trying to figure out what the heck is going on. We do have another update from OP. And we have some donations. Yeah. Jody Woodruff. Yeah. <laughs> says five bucks <laughs> how do i text a story about my roommate who did stuff in bed with my my joke condom what's a joke condom what does that even mean i don't know what that means jody woodruff uh you can submit it on our slash okop show our subreddit go to reddit.com slash okop show <laughs> and then pixel punk at 82 we see you being on the 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 twitch I see you uh, 442 tip. Would y'all be interested in trying a GM res? Grum I'm assuming they're gamers. Gamers on stream. They sell some at the commissionary. Oh, trying where I MRS. Work. Oh, never mind. What's MRS? Mrez? 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 I don't know what that is. And I need to get some for my family anyway. Lol, even game. Yeah, thanks for making it even. 
I mean, we're down. Let's yeah. We just don't know what that is. We don't know what that is, but that sounds cool. Yeah. Uh, Worm Maniacu says, "OMG, that's so cool, Jaden. Beautiful art all over. Heck yeah. Where is the Discord link?" says Madeline May. If you freaking, if you freaking go in I the bet description, I can find it. hold on. I maybe bet you'll I can find, find it. it. I bet I can find it. Go guys. in the freaking description, yo. And Bell Conkling, thanks for uh, linking the Reddit r slash OKOP show. Then. Uh, in don't says OMG. This is the first time I caught you live. Woo! In don't thanks for joining our live. We appreciate you. Thanks for the two bucks. And orange mo cha frappuccino. Mocha frappuccino. Or oh yeah, <laughs> orange mocha frappuccino. Thanks for the five buck tip. Nah, I love it when you guys do accents. I feel like when we do accents, it's fifty fifty. You know, it's like. Like our our highest viewed video ever on TikTok got like 10 million views and half the comments are saying fuck this guy for his accent. And then the other comments are probably not positive either. So um, (laughs) there's there's some comments. But yeah, our most our most viewed video is uh, is because of that. And Signal Imagination, thanks for the five bucks. Uh, Can I get a hot take on the situation? Been married for seven years. And X contacted me, ending the conversation with sending me the song, let her, wait, wait, go, go, wait, let, let her go. Been married for seven years and your ex contacted you with a song, let her go. Basically like, let your wife go? Bro, that's whack. That's whack. You should, you should probably not, if you love your wife. Maybe maybe don't talk to your ex, uh, who's saying let her go. I feel like your ex wants you back, um, and I feel like this is a little whack. So, I mean, tell your wife what happened. No secrets. I think good relationships have no secrets. And Rachel the Axe Hatcher, thanks for the twenty bucks. I hate writing, but I do want advice on a few things. But mainly, if I would be a hole for calling out my ex sister in law new mother-in-law for what she did on Easter uh, for what she did to my nephews because I'm totally about to find and message her. Rachel is in the act <laughs> of dealing some justice and then baby Godzilla. So yeah, Rachel, when Riley comes back, we'll, we'll do some calls. baby Godzilla. We hit over 1000 members on discord. Holy shit. Whoa. Also baby Godzilla. I want to shout you out for being such an awesome mod on the Yay. discord. Um, uh, a thousand members in the Discord. That's crazy. That's crazy. The Discord is one of our, I think, our favorite places to lurk recently yeah. because y'all are like, just like, you're just guys, you guys are about it. It's just, just fun. Doing stuff. It's just doing stuff and it's fun. It's cool, like, yeah. seeing y'all just like interact with each other and grow like a, a stronger community. Um, and the Discord feels like one of the, the deepest relationships that we have between all of you and I think also between us. Also, um, thank you, Brie Alex. 1126 for saying that my Scottish woman accent was surprising and welcome and legit incredible. Yeah, dude. Sophia, Sophia's Scottish that. accent fucking slaps. It sometimes becomes Irish, but who's, who's you, know, you know, who knows? Who knows? Except <laughs> the people in Irish land. Uh, and Rocchio Monteo, thanks for the two-book tip. First time catching you live, and I love it. I'm glad Frederick and the other sillies are keeping you up. On stage. Yeah. Frederick. Shout out to King Frederick again. Yeah. Like Frederick deserves every freaking morsel of love that he gets. I'll try to keep studying as you keep going. It's already 1140 here later than us. It's 840 here. But I won't let you suffer alone <laughs> since I want to see your reactions. Well, thank you for that. We appreciate you. And blonde is brunette. I've donated in the past, but I'm a Susan. And I realize there's many of us. So change my name on here. <gasps> Susan. Oh, Susan. I can remember you. Thank you for coming through. Who is the next person to break the OKOP OKOP team? They break in $200. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I mean, like, it's almost almost certain that we're fucked. It's almost certain. We're just fucked. We're going to get... The thing is, we've never... Because this is going live regardless. It's just, like, how long are we going to stay? Yeah. Last time when we got up here... We were like, oh, the next tier will just go lot, we'll go public, but this is already going to go public. So it's like, we're kind of just fucking, we're just like locked in. We're just locked in with y'all. Can I get the OKOP Discord? Um, if you go to the description of this video, you should see it. All right. 
Um, I'm gonna stop reading the donations for a little bit. Oh, jo Jody Woodruff says you missed my comment. Lol. I'm sorry. Where is it? <laughs> Where? Where is it? Where is it? Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. Yeah. Uh, wait. Can you scroll down, Sophia, so we make uh, sure we're we're gonna where? go back into a story. Down where? Uh, on the donation thing. Yeah. No, we didn't. These are all the new ones. Oh, wait. Go down. Go down. I, we oh, we did. Yeah, we read that. We read that. Um, Jody Woodruff, we're sorry we missed you, but shout out Jody. Thank you for supporting the stream. Shout out. All right. So we, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine. Wait, Rachel the Axe Hatchet. Thank you for the two bucks. We, we are all you. family, not just community. So true. That's true. Yeah, it does feel like a family. Welcome, Jade and Renee. And That's then Susan, member. blondest brunette. I appreciate you taking one for the stream. Oh, yeah. is that a different Susan, the blondest brunette? That's so funny. Maybe. Also, um, thank you, Asian Persuasion, for the two bucks. I drew reading Riley and we're queen in the Discord. I want to check that out. Oh, did you actually? Wait, wait. Who is the person that drew us before? Uh. I, I have that somewhere, but that was an amazing um, picture. Yeah, that was awesome. We what showed our that? parents that picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also, we've got a thousand people in the chat. That's amazing. You guys helped me write my dissertation. Olivia Grace, how? I don't understand how we did that, but I'm glad we could be your writing partner. And I'm going to pour myself. Someone asked, who asked me? Oh, Kelly G3. What's the wine choice of tonight? Tonight is a Sauvignon Blanc. Is Sauvignon Blanc? From Where did you post that? 2019. Um, that Drawing. All right. I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine and then we're going to keep going. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Someone posted a picture of your stomach with the. <laughs> oh Where? My in my chat? Yeah. Or in, in no. With... no. No. What? No. No. What? No. 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 I guys, I don't know how to change the timer. Riley's not here. I don't know how to change the timer. Okay. Tia Rovetti. Tia Rovetti. Tia Rovetti. Two hundred dollar chat. Super chat donation. You're welcome for King Frederick. <laughs> oh my God! Another hour. Three hours and 30 minutes. How do I change this? Holy shit, dude. Okay, We're everyone... going to be here. I think this could, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly thinking like this potentially could be a 24 hour stream. <laughs> <laughs> John, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> We're Mediocre says, Sam, roll um, one up. It's going to be a long night. Yeah, didn't it? Yoki I haven't smoked something. in like ages though. Like I, it's been, it's been sec. Tia Rovetti, thank you. That is insane. That is insane. That's insane. It's, it's honestly crazy. Fia, how are you? <laughs> you know, I had a great date last <laughs> night. That's nice. Yeah. I feel like I'm liking her more and more. Is she here? I, I don't so. think she's, no, I don't think she's here okay. anymore. I told um, you you would. Yeah, I know. I think I was just like judging maybe too much. You were initially. judging that 10%. Yeah. Everyone knows, don't leave the 90 for the 10. Yeah. Thank you, I, Rachel the Axe Hatchet for no sleep. At all in yeah, I feel like, I feel like maybe I was just like, oh, like I, I want to make sure. I don't know. But it's like, you can't really tell who people are like immediately, you know? Like, I could, like, you couldn't tell, like, when I meet someone, you don't know who I am. So it's, like, I feel like it's unfair to say, like, oh, this couldn't be the person that I would actually enjoy spending time with, you know? What do you think, John? <laughs> yeah. I know. I really like her. It was, it, it, I felt really comfortable with her yesterday. It was, like, we were just, like, giggling. It was, like, like, the, like, the, like being able to be, like, goofy with her was really cool, you know? Yeah. All they right. want a story. Carissa Lynn said, read a <laughs> new story. They don't want to hear about story. your dating life. Yeah, sorry, sorry. All right, we're getting back into it. We're getting um, back into it. Do we want to roll the, spin the, spin the wheel, though? I think we should wait for Riley okay. to spin the wheel. Riley's back. Riley said uh, We need to increase the timer. Yeah. <laughs> can you show Riley how to do that? Yeah. He means, can you, Sophie? Mm. Okay, dokie. Okay. 
Blamified, two dollars. Is this the longest stream? Um, it's getting there. I think our longest stream ever is eight hours. Kim Sawant says we love Sam's dating sagas. Yeah, thank you. It's, it, I mean, it's 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 cool to tell you guys. Honestly, I probably tell you guys too much. I kind of got in trouble because we accidentally let a, uh, we accidentally, what? Uh, it's one more hour. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah. A dash of stardust. Yeah, it's fun hanging out with y'all too. Um, I feel like I don't know. It's just literally. Something we're, we're talking about is like we're no wait hey they, we are not falling off we're coming back don't you worry don't you worry we're coming back we're just waiting for John we're just chilling for a sec and don't worry we're gonna be back but yeah we uh can we get Riley to read a crazy story that no one else there has read I want shocked faces from everyone we could do that yeah we could we could have Riley reading a crazy story that'll be fun um. Right now, with all the time added up, it's going to be a nine-hour stream. Brown Eyed Chick, yeah, we are getting there. We're waiting for John. We're waiting for John to come back. You need me to uh, no, I can I can read your story, but you want if you want to sit in the host. chair. Yeah, come host with me. Come host with me. We actually we we have a update from oh, the last know. story. So basically, so what happened? Okay, so basically, this guy's in England and he's going. He had to go to small claims court. Because his ex was suing him, and his ex was basically like, "Okay, not only do you, did you cause emotional damage, which uh, you gotta you gotta pay me five or four k for." Okay, what is that? Yeah, you gotta pay me how much? You gotta pay me five k for for okay. distress, and then four k for damaged items. So he's so racking up nine, racking up nine, close to ten. So basically, is like, what the heck, like. Is this even legal? And so we're going into the update of this story. Okay. So I was a defendant in a money claim made against me, which I consider frivolous. This was the preliminary hearing this morning at 10. I showed up early, like advised on the sub, got told which courtroom this would be held in by the usher. The claimant didn't show up. This was a claim for $9,000. Mm. The judge allowed for 15 more minutes to give the claimant the opportunity to be there and he never showed up and didn't tell the court he was running late or had a reason for not being there. As I set out in my response, I was asked to set out my defense, which I did. The judge reached a verdict. He struck out the claim entirely for abuse of process. He said there was no evidence presented to support the claim and its monetary value, and there was no chance it would be successful. He highlighted that it was my defense and the particular of the claims which made him reach the conclusion and not just the no-show. So like OP had to defend themselves. Gotcha. In addition, thank you to everyone who answered my questions and who advised me on this. I went into this process slightly worried as I had never been to court before. And obviously, even though the claim had no merit, I was still extremely concerned. The thought of having to pay anything to that person made me kind of sick. I had to miss half a day of work because of this. Would it be possible to claim missed earnings? That is crazy. So it seems like OP kind of got back. Like they, like everything kind of worked out. I would say so. Honestly, yeah. I, I'm really well informed on everything that's happening right here. And I think I would, I would completely agree with what you just said. I'm glad you would agree, <laughs> but you know who else would agree? What? Bubbles. Thanks for the two bucks. Woo! This is the most adult Riley has ever looked. He we is an adult man. Oh yeah. We got a couple. Wait, wait, go, 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 uh, scroll down. Um, okay. Uh, uh, wait, wait, go. Uh, yeah. The blondish brunette says, call Frederick now. We will call Frederick. Riley is getting on the stream. So it's happening. Shani, thanks for the five buck tip. I have a feeling we're going to see showtime limits in the future. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. We'll be here forever. Jaden Renee says, look at my tattoo on Discord. Show it. No oh, way. Oh, no. No way. Oh, no. Where, wait, J Jaden, did we... where did you? Can we show it? What oh yeah, Jaden, let us know if we can share it with the OK. The yeah, OK where where fam. where is it? Where is it? Um, search Jaden maybe. Let us know where it's at. What yeah, Jaden, let us let us know where it's at. Uh, is it in Sam? Why are there baguettes in here? <laughs> Why is? <laughs> what are all these baguettes? 
I feel like that's that's some sort of. But they're making inside jokes that we're not even on the even inside know. of. Yeah, what are what are the baguettes? Guys, okay. explain the baguettes. Wait, wait, Jaden. J- wait, uh, Sophia, can you scroll down so I can see wh- where Jaden put it? So apparently, someone got a freaking tattoo. Uh, no, go down in the the c- comment chat. Oh. Uh, keep going down. Keep going down. God. God. Keep going down. Oh wait, I can just. Oh, there we go. Uh, please. All right, yeah, yeah. Share the Discord link. Oh, the Discord link is in the um, it's in the description. In the description. Riley, can you can you show the Discord link? Um, in there. Uh, oh, it's in tattoos. No way. There's a tattoo chat. Oh, Pier- piercings and tattoos. Oh, <gasps> oh my goodness. That is a real tattoo. Did they, just, did they just get it? <gasps> oh my goodness. Wow. Can wow. I show this, Jaden? Let us know in the chat, Jaden. Uh, oh my. Oh yeah, my well, goodness. if you want to see, if you want to see the OKOP tat, go into the Discord. It's in tattoos and piercings. Oh my God. Wait, wait, oh, did you guys... Okay, it's fine. She said it's fine. I see you guys... The, here, is, if you, also, you should join the Discord. Wait, can you see this? Or maybe it's John's. Oh, you switched... What the heck? Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no fucking... Wait, they just did that? They just got they that. Just wait, got what that. the fuck? That's crazy. Remember what we were talking about at the beginning? What? No, I didn't know they were, like, actively about to get it. Bro. Oh, my um, God. Fiona was... also, like, <gasps> a while ago messaged me and said uh, That's so she donated cool. and we didn't see it, but uh, oh, thank no. you. That is so cool. OG. OG. OKOP. I'm seeing all of the comments pouring in saying that they owe me money for making 10 <laughs> bucks for making an old man joke. How, who did it? <laughs> Who was it? When John wasn't here, every oh. time we would we would go we would go to his um we would go to we would go to his chair and like John, what would you think? And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. I'll give you that. Wait, did we miss all these ones? Did you read these all? No. Uh, Dan, 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 Dan. <laughs> Can we please do a creepy pasta again later? I love you guys so much. My day is never complete without watching y'all's videos. A much love from the Philippines. Thanks, Dan, Dan, Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan. Asian Persuasion. The drawings are in art and each of your channels. Asian Persuasion. All check it out. John, do you want to read some of those? And yes. I'll look up Asian Persuasion. Um, Maya212. Uh, thanks for the six euros. Y'all, please give me the strength to not quit my job today. Maya, do do what you want for you. That's what I'm going to say there. Um, but maybe stay in it if you want financial stability. There you go. Uh, two bucks from Bella Conkling. Uh, we waited for you to do the wheel, Riley. Did we hit a goal? We did. Okay, we, we will get like to that right after we read the, read the donations. Next up from Bubbles for the thanks for the two bucks. Um, this is the most adult Riley has ever looked, 100%. Um, and we got... Uh, 131 from Shell Craze Fairy Readings. Uh, Sam, did you did see, you see your, your love, love reading? reading? Link in Discord, your love reading. Interesting. Wait, I got a love reading? What's my love reading? Shout out to Rachel the X Hatch for the 20 bucks. Oh my God, I'm absolutely in love with seeing uh, these guys in my shirts. So freaking happy. Rachel, you made the greatest shirts ever. What, what can we say? Wait, where's the love reading? Yeah. Where's the love reading? You said it's in a it's a link in a Discord. Link. This is from Shell Crazy Fair. Yeah, wait, can readings. wait, uh, can, can uh could you please put the love reading in my channel? Cuz then I can I can go check it out. I want to know. I want to know what my love looks like. Thank you Adeline Gutierrez for the 2 bucks. OMG, hi Sam. Also hi Big Protein. Big Protein's not here. Big he, Protein. He maybe here. was. I want to know me. I want to know my love. I want to know my love reading. Comment it again. Um, shout out to Rachel Valerie for the five bucks. Uh, ah, I've made, uh, I've made it. Hope you all have an amazing night uh, from Boston. Love. Appreciate that. 
Shout out to Ali Graham for the new membership and Chris Tinfoil Hat for the two bucks. Look at how refreshed Riley and John look now. Guys, we're so refreshed. They've been fed and watered. Exactly. Um, I've been watered. We're also, okay, for everyone that's considering getting OKOP tattoos, we're about to do a redesign. Yes. That is, like, OKOP will, it's it's always, it's going to be, like, OG, yes. OG, like, the designs and stuff, but we're getting a redesign that's going to be so sick. And we're, like, Thank making you. all, like, we're making all, uh, or there's, like, all these characters and stuff, so. Oh, uh, Caro says it's in the shameless self pro promos. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. And Rachel the Axe hashed it again. Thanks for the 10 bucks. Still waiting on your official design for the OKOP tattoo, like we just said. And I'll be getting it in August when I go to my artist. Yeah, August, we will definitely have the full new design and all of the things, all of the things uh, for you there. Uh, is that it? Are we caught up on mm -hmm. donations? Heck, freaking oh, love yeah. Reading. Love reading. <laughs> Bless you, John. Bless you, Caro. Cass Sosa. Bless you. Okay, it's twenty-seven minutes, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna need to look at the love. Oh there, wow! This is a twenty-seven minute video. Love reading for Sam Donner. Oh my God! They. Yeah. Okay, wait. Wow. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? Oh my god. Okay. I, I, I am going to have to watch this later. Yes. This is incredible. What's 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 the first name or the, the channel name again? Shell Crazy Fairy Readings. Shell Crazy Fairy Readings. Comment again uh so people can go check out your channel. Oh my god. That is so funny. I'm sending this. That is awesome. Thank you for sending that. I'm sending this to uh my lady. Oh my god. Asian Persuasion, thanks for the two bucks. Someone should get uh Tassel Riley tattooed. Ta uh, oh my god, Tassel Riley. <laughs> What's Tassel Riley? Oh god, that's like you the You know Tassel Riley? Have you seen that? Somewhere in the chat. You haven't seen Tassel Riley? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Come on. Yes, I remember now. Come on. It took me a second to reboot. Come um, on. Should we I should we get Riley back in Bernie here? Bernie Heart the... Dragon says the mushrooms are kicking in. I love you guys. Hey, we appreciate you. I'm completely sober. <laughs> You're completely sober. Wait, also wait. Um I'm gonna watch uh your video later, but could you tell could you give me the breakdown of my love stuff? Shell, shell crazy fairy readings. Please let give me us the know. breakdown because I wanna, I wanna know like the whole thing. Um, please let me know. I, I wanna know what's new in my love life. And shout out real quick to was it Brittany? Uh, Brittany, I see you, Lynn. <laughs> uh, time for some sleep now. Thanks for a ten dollar tip. But huge shout out to all of the donos tonight. Um, y'all are amazing, and we. You see all Rachel love. the axe hatchet. One more dono for oh. all those who can't love y'all. You are amazing. Rachel the Axe Hatchet, Rachel. you've You're been amazing. freaking on this stream. Sh truly. You have been on this stream. My God. Oh, my goodness. Brittany, I see you. Do you already read Brittany, I see you, Lynn? Uh, we scrolled down a little bit. We didn't get the end of her message. Um, uh, Y'all are amazing, and we love you guys. Glad to be a part of the Unhinged Chaos Worm Army. Yeah, this, we're is, glad this is Unhinged Chaos. Truly. truly, we're, truly. We're, dude, the thing, like, we're, there's no way we don't get another hour. That's we have true. We have three hours left. That is. There's like, there's like, uh, there's like no way that it, like a. We're gonna be, dude. We're gonna be here until like two, or three a.m. Wow. Wow, it's another one of those. It's another one dude. of those. We haven't had one of those in a while. That's true. You know, we were we were about to get out with like five hundred bucks. We were about like we were we were literally we were we, <laughs> like like we weren't gonna hit that the, the initial five hundred donation goal. We were about to only do one hour. Those are great. those are always the streams though where you're like oh are we gonna get out in like an hour too it's gonna yeah, be like gonna so out, short we, we thought we were gonna and get out and then an those hour. always go the longest oh man that's fucking, when the people rally fucking crazy oh my gosh uh, what are we doing now what's, uh, up, what's up next where's Riley we needed one we wanted to do a call in but uh, we can do it I just read, finished reading a story if you want to read the next one yeah Sirioni. um let's see what we got let's see what we got. 
Uh, um, it was S three uh four oh nine. S three four nine. Okay, dokie. S three four nine. Did we finish this one? Yeah, we did. Oh, we got a nice little short one. Perfect. All right, are you guys ready for a showity? Another freaking story. A shorty. Oh, Let's get into did it. Read Let's all go. this stuff. Um, it's not the should I contact lawyers? We haven't read that yet. Uh, uh I think we just read S. We two. said S two. We're gonna read S three. Beautiful. That. All right, and this one is so special because it uh, because it comes from um, our side star KLP show. Hey, Ooh. baby, duty yes, thanks baby for the fifty bucks. So oh, hey, me, the worm queen. Who's baby duty yes? <laughs> I think baby duty is new. Thanks baby duty is my best bucks. friend. New in the chat. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the fifty buck donation. Um, we already say hi to Adeline Gutierrez, worm queen. You and Riley were amazing yesterday. They crushed Thank it. They, they crushed it. They, they absolutely crush it. obliterated it. They're uh, obliterators. Uh, but yes, if you guys want to submit your story to r slash OKOP show, send it in there or 440 508 for the call line. Also, if you haven't liked the stream already, do so. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, if, like, if I find out any of you all Whoa. are not subscribed Same to the stream that. right now, guys, I will be pissed. This is serious. This is real big boy business. Oh my God! Look into my eyes. Tell me that you're subscribed. Look, look. The light of these eyes. Don't lie. All right. Now that we've now that you've got your setting down talking, we're gonna read this story. So, should I contact my lawyers? My new boss fired me for being disabled. That is that, a bad reason to fire someone. That is ridiculous. This comes from Wrong Taste 1513. Again, okay, fan member. And Auntie Aaron, thanks for the ten bucks. I submitted your story on the subreddit. If you need another story, we are going to do. Subreddit stories very soon. Yes, very soon. I, female 25, have struggled my whole life with joint pain and was diagnosed with hypermobility at the age of seven years uh, after uh, trying to find out why I felt so much pain and was exhausted. Ooh, excuse me. I finally, <laughs> I finally, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm, I'm driven in. I finally got diagnosed with Elhers Danlos syndrome this year. EDO syndrome rundown, uh, EDS summarized, is a problem with connective tissue in the body. Hyperflexive joints that are unstable and prone to sprain, dislocation, sublux, uh, subluxation, and hypertension. Uh, deformities of the spine, muscle pain, which may be severe or de debilitating, fragile, pale, stretchy skin, um, heart murmurs and abnormalities, weak bladder and severe IBS, chronic headaches, lack of coordination, manifesting in trip slips and falls. These are just some of the symptoms. So these Yo. are the things that OP is going through with uh with eds and their diagnosis which is clearly a lot yeah, my god sucks, dude um shout out to kill steel for the donation i have one about my dad and one uh cheating on my mom yikes goodness gracious we'll send it in we'll check it send out Send it in. and blondest brunette says frederick wants to send four thousand with a new goal oh uh, frederick I, fucking chill I don't know if we can take that. Frederick. I, I would feel bad. Yeah. Frederick, let's <laughs> chill. Save it for another stream. Yes. Yeah. Save it for another stream. Split pace 4, yourself, Frederick. Yeah, pace yes. it. Pace it. Pace, pace, it, pace yourself. It. Yes. Pace yourself. Thank you. But thank, thank you, you Frederick. <laughs> yes. So um, it was finally a relief to find out I wasn't being pathetic, lazy, and injuring myself all the time on purpose, as some people said. F those people. I have worked in an alternative metal bar for almost three years after the owners who looked after me like their own child asked me uh, to work there. The owners, male and female, 60-ish, helped me with the deposit when I was sofa serving, uh, let me stay on their floor when I had nowhere to go, and asked me to help at their bar for one day. I cleaned up the place so well they hired me on staff. That's great. I would do uh, the role of a manager, hired a fantastic staff. Uh, they were like family. They, I did all the beer ordering, moved kegs, tables with cast iron bases, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, a lot of heavy lifting. I've been doing this role since July of 2022, and I've been always very aware of my joint problems. And I've been very careful about lifting things, asking for help when needed, and arranging uh, cover for my shift when I need to. The old owner sold the bar to a friend of theirs who told me she wanted to run it. And after sending over all the events I'd planned and a cleaning checklist I'd, I'd written in a cocktail menu I'd written in my spare time, the new owner told me that I was not going to be the new manager and she needed someone older than me to do it. 
That is not good. I'm already smelling some some very stinky, stinky owner behavior. Okay, give me a TLDR for everyone who's new to the the stream right now. TLDR, uh, OP uh, was diagnosed with EDS, which is a long list of symptoms, joint pain, um, pain kind of all over. It's a chronic issue. Um, They, uh, when they were kind of like down bad, surf hopping, uh, sofa hopping um this couple that owned a bar gave op a job uh they became a manager absolutely crushed it is going super well new owner comes in and is saying you can't be the manager anymore we need someone older mm. we smell cap we smell someone cap older? even if you if you said we want someone older that's kind of like ageist right Yes, There's ageism in there. That's ageism that's already. Ageism. That's like ageism. Off, off rip. You're off already. Rip, yeah. You're fucked. Already fucked. That's off rip. You're fucked, dude. That would be like saying, like John, you can't host the show anymore. Because why? Because you're too young. Ageism. Yeah, ageism. <laughs> ageism. Uh, you avoided the penalty. <laughs> I avoided. The you avoided <laughs> the penalty. All right. I, I almost got like, you. Can someone tell me if any sex jokes were made? Because I feel like I'm owed money. I don't think any. I don't think any sex jokes. Were guys, made. you guys have been here. Comment below. Mm-hmm. Comment below. Let them know. Ballroom Blitz Kid says ageist and ableist. Boom. Indeed. Little Indeed. double. Literal double. Whammy. And Adeline Gutierrez says, Sam, is your date application still available? And donated two bucks. Just so you know. I kind I, I don't know if I I, don't, I I wouldn't say I have a girlfriend, but I am seeing someone that I am in, con, in with. I am increasingly Cahoots. liking. I don't think she's here in the stream anymore. She was here in the stream earlier, but I'm increasingly liking her. So I don't I mean, know. It's cute. It's kind of cute, ladies and gentlemen. We have fun. We, it, right. It's cute. I, she's she makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Um, and Kristen tinfoil hat. Thanks for the ten bucks. I love how you'll just be wrapping up the stream if you're lucky. When I'm getting up for my rotation in the morning, to be honest, I hope you wake up more well rested than I probably will. Also, I'm subscribed, so don't yell at me, LMAO. We won't subscribe if you haven't already. That was for the other people. Yes. Yeah, Asian you. Persuasion. Thanks for the five bucks. Just got done with my six day work week. Here's some of the overtime money. Thank you, Asian Let's Persuasion. Go. Appreciate you. And Mondo, thanks for the five bucks. Much love and been listening for months. Please wish me luck. <laughs> Please wish me luck. <laughs> okay, fam, and Worm Queen, grant me confidence to take this new job opportunity. You got this. Mondo, take that job opportunity take it. and fucking Don't kill it. crank it, girl. Go make it happen oh, and boy. be the awesome and person that you know you are. Person. Yeah. Come on. And uh, $2 yeah. from... We already read that one. Oh, I already I read that. Hey. Um. Well. I want to know about this story. I want to know about this story. So do I. Obviously, I was very upset and I asked for a week off so I could process that, which she approved. Uh, I was then sent uh, not a rota on coming back. Um, I was then sent something on not coming back and uh, and brought and was brought into a meeting where the new owner said I was incompetent because of my disability and was unable to do the job that OP has been doing since July of 2022 with increasing success as time goes on. Bro, you are about to get a lawsuit. Lawsuit. Gotta lawsuit. get Lawsuit. Lawsuit. Um, oh, Mondo just got gifted membership. Let's fucking go. A from Rachel the Axe Hatchet, I believe. Is that Rachel the Axe Hatchet? Was that Rachel the Axe was Hatchet? That, uh, was that Axe's in the chat? Uh, no, was it was Mondo. Wait, no, no, no. Who, who, who's, it was Mondo. Wait, Mondo gifted yep. memberships? Mm-hmm. We cannot see. Show me, show me. Oh, no, that was Rachel the Axe I'm Hatchet. <laughs> nice hiding. fucking try. Rachel the Axe Hatchet. I'm sorry. Donating some memberships because right. our community loves our community. But now Mondu's a member. So that's and now Mondu's a member. And now so Mondu's a member. Yeah. Also, w's if you want job. to have membership, you just got to comment in the stream and then it'll fucking happen. That's, dude. It's just what, it's just how it goes. It just like, happen, bro. You but give, I want this story to happen. And the universe <laughs> says you must receive. That is right. It is the cycle of life. It is a cycle of life. So, uh, she said uh, that she's right up on Elhurst Danos EDS, the, the condition that OP has, and couldn't trust me to do work. A job that I've been doing for two years and eight months. She smiled while I hyperventilated crying oh, and asked for my keys back. Oh. I poured my soul into that bar and got it making money again. All of the staff, customers, and DJs are horrified. In clarity, uh, I was uh, there late one day and gave her notice 
as I dislocated my hip, oh my God, still came in and worked the bar shift on a crutch. Dislocated her hip and still, still working on a crutch. I didn't attend a staff meeting on my booked week off. These are things I actually did wrong. I'm considering taking it to court. Do it. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm so heartbroken about this and I feel humiliated. All I wanted was to make the bar a home for alternative people. And I did it for a while. I didn't do anything wrong. I had my diagnosis used against me. I kind of just want to get out of this and hear what the little sillies Oh, this is a R slash okay, OKOP show. show. So we're going to really dive is, deep into is this. Is this an R slash OKOP show? This is a R slash OKOP show. Directly Fucking asking go. for little sillies. We are going to dive very deep into this. Was it my fault? Would I be wrong to take this to court? Okay. So wrong taste, 1513. We're about to Okay. So let, let's break this down. So you probably... All right. First of all... Yes. This is not legal advice. We are not lawyers. No. We are just people that read things on the internet. But... We have read a lot of things on the we internet. We have, yes. And that gives us a certain level of competence. Yes. So in this case, um, what we kind of said before, if they're saying, hey, we need an older person for this job, that is a form of ageism. First. First. Second, they said, you have EDS, therefore, I cannot hire you for this job. Yeah. And it's that not, is direct ableism. That's direct ableism because it's... there. there it, uh, uh, it's different if you can't do your job, right? Exactly. Right. If it's if if they said, "Hey, you are pissing on the floor," that, that not related to your thing, but like like and a it's whole different a, imaginary, imaginary there's, there's person. A whole, there's a whole imaginary person. But if you're pissing on the floor and the customers are slipping on the piss and it's driving away business, that would be a reason to fire you because it's like you are directly not doing your job and causing harm to the business. But in your case, it literally sounds like you are doing everything to help the business gain like a certain kind of like clientele yes. and are making it profitable. So you are, your your disability or or your, your, um, your uh, chronic, EDS. yeah, yep. your, your EDS is not causing you to not be able to do your job. Exactly. So saying that it is because of your disability and not because of the task you cannot do is ableism and ageism and they are fucked. So get some of that shit in writing and then take it to a lawyer. Yeah, you could probably find, you could probably start, like, you could get a, a, a pro bono lawyer if, if if you need to do that. Yeah, because or, a lot of pro bono lawyers will be like, oh, shit, I sniff a big law lawsuit. And they can take, see in the yeah. case. Yeah. Yeah. So I would a thousand percent do that. Um, I definitely think you have a case. You literally worked there for two years, eight months. Every It sounds like everyone, like, you turn around making money. Everyone in the bar knows that you were executing well. You have literally everything you need in my Opinion, not yeah. Again, really we're not lawyers. Them. We're not lawyers, but it it feels like yeah, yeah. Uh, Madison Marquez says protected class fucker. The boss is screwed. Yep. I think I think potentially. So um, thanks for yeah yeah. iPod Bella says lawsuit chant lawsuit 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 lawsuit. lawsuit, lawsuit. And we got some gifted memberships over here. So Adeline Gutierrez just thought I'd shoot my shot. Sam, glad you're good. Yeah, it's. It's been nice. It's been fun. I had a fun time yesterday. She the boy was, is good. Yeah, it was fun. No. I had I had a good time. She was she's really cool. Uh, there's all right. One comment on that. Yes. The ability to switch between goofy and sexy is a as a very nuanced ability, and she has it, and it's very cool. There you go. Anyway, Kelly G. Th, thank you for the five gifted memberships, giving stuff to the little sillies or letting OKOP fam be little sillies. That's right. And then Asian Persuasion, if we keep going long enough, the Aussies can join. <laughs> and when That's we have true. the Aussies, we'll have all the power. Imagine they start organizing in shifts. So like, all right, all, <laughs> all the people in like America, Canada, you go here and then we bring them to the Aussies oh that God. carries and then pass it back yeah, off. Yeah, dude, if I we think do we... a 24 hour stream, we'll literally have everyone from every yeah. time zone. That's true. I think we should open that last gift though. No? Oh. We have one more gift? Yeah. We could. Wait, wait, wait. I think we, did we miss anyone? Any, any gifts? Uh, no, we did not. Wait, can we double check? We got Avenge Persuasion. Go, go up. Oh, Kelly G3. Can I gift to memberships? Racial Ash Tasha, we already did. Okay. Yeah, we, we shouted out Asian Persuasion. We did. We did. We did. Indeed. We did. Oh, wait, and then someone gifted one membership. Maybe I'm fucking tripping, bro. Are we tripping, bro? I'm thinking I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. 
I'm dripping. Dribble but uh, it seems like it's time for OKOP Mail Time. Woo! Shout out Connie Lehrondel. And it's I feel my like we, we need to give them a wheel spin. Happy birthday, Connie. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. We won't happy. be here tomorrow because we'll be dead. But um, happy birthday. Tomorrow is a recording day. No, it's not. It is. It's Wednesday. No. <laughs> What's that? That's a big. That's a big uh, package. Big box. Who's it from? Okay, well, female time. Happy birthday, Connie. You're so tired. You're hallucinating, Sam. Arame. I am. Oh wait. Yep. Sizzies. I don't sizzies. see sizzies. I see sizzies. Happy birthday, Connie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mrs. President. Happy birthday, Mrs. President. Happy birthday, Mrs. President. Happy birthday to you and many more on Channel 4 and Scooby-Doo on Channel 2 and Rachel the Axe Hatchet with a $5 donation. What did she say? I can't see. <laughs> Sophia, let me see. I would love oh, to see the necklace yes. I got for I'll grab it. Sophia. I will grab it. I love it. Yeah. Just so you know. Go grab um, it, yeah. Riley. Okay, I can grab it now. Grab it now. Wake up. I go to John. Yeah, go, keep it there. Keep it there. Guys, this is so heavily taped. Whoa. There's another layer of tape I wasn't ready another for. I've been wearing the headphones, and it's so weird hearing you guys. Fairy tales can You're becoming come producer, true. Sophia. They In can happen to, to you when you're young at heart. When you're young at heart. And if you do survive to 105, think of all you'll derive out of being alive. And this is the best part. You have a head start. <gasps> If you are among the very young at heart, it's another tape box. and there's another tape box inside the box, like afraid. There's another tape box inside the box, and John is gonna get inside that box. He's gonna Here. munch on that box. Oh, John knows how. To munch on the box. Yeah. Oh. That's a sex joke. You owe Sophia, Sophia some money. Fuck! Ah, you owe me five bucks! No! So I'm wearing the necklace. Thank you, Very Rachel. I, I love it. Queen. I truly love it. Dang, I got fucked. <laughs> uh -huh. That's another sex joke. <laughs> no. Five bucks. No. no. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't, that doesn't count. count. All right. That's used in many contexts. Uh, okay. you, you gotta request me. We're finally getting to... We are getting into the box. We are getting into the box. Sorry for the anticlimacticness of slow opening of boxes. You guys very much secured these, and I don't who want to break this, it. Who is this? I... From? Uh, thank you, Ava, for the... Ava, did we already say that one? Proof your chat stills up through the tip link. Stop paying YouTube 30%. Oh, yeah. Eva, damn straight. Don't let the YouTube win. Uh, YouTube actually, YouTube is really nice to us, but go go to go to the tip link. Tip link is is a little nicer. Tip link is nicer to us. Um. Okay. This is. Oh, and uh, Chris Pentua got a gifted membership. Let's fucking go. Rachel, the actually thanks for the two bucks. It's so much better than I imagined. Cookies. <gasps> Cookies. Cookies. Oh, we got. One. Do we get hella cookies? Oh, there's like. Four or five layers of these tinfoil wraps here. Oh my here. god. Oh my god. More cookies. Let's see. I want to see. Show me. A lot of cookies. Dude, we got hella cookies. Who's Is this, this from? uh I saw something about uh fun cookies? Uh yeah, are the yeah, yeah, the shits and gigs cookies. Yeah, make sure you let us know. Yeah, please uh Are these shits and gigs cookies? I'm trying to see who this is from. And how like <laughs> What is the Angie Lobato says small bites? Okay, I'm definitely afraid then. Yeah, what? I would love to know the exact components. Yeah, of yeah. These. What are in these cookies? Are you trying to drug us? 
what are in these cookies? Was that person last time who was like, don't eat cookies, right? What? Think. They're not fun cookies? Oh, they're from Belle. Oh, okay. I oh, Belle. Belle. Conkling? Belle Conkling? Belle Conkling. Belle Conkling. Is it you? They're normal. Oh, there are they're normal cookies. Yay! They're normal cookies. Or when, is that what someone wants when, us to believe? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a small bite. Yeah, let us know. I'm gonna take a small bite. And then I'll take a. Small yeah, and then we'll check in an hour and see if they're lying. Bonbons is suddenly so concerned about the food. Well, because oh wait, how do I even open? Like, you want to give me this? Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you for air. Bell Conkling, thank you so much. Bell Conkling, the DM me. I'm, I'm looking at it. Um, what, what kind of cookies are these? Kind of look. I'm in your oh, yeah. DMs. There we go. All right, I am opening this. Opening. All right, John and They're I are Oreo cheesecake, strawberry milkshake, and chocolate chunk. Oh that my. sounds delicious. Whoa. God, <laughs> that is Oreo strawberry milk. Shake cheesecake all in the same they're oreo cheesecake strawberry milkshake that, and chocolate chunk in that one cookie that is a crazy mix I, oh, oh that so might excited. be all throughout the oh, yeah because oh, okay, there's okay. like five or six layers of like like those ah! like that rachel um, the axe hatchet by the way necklace is still in silver so i would still wear it and clean it with care thank you i appreciate it I will, I will do that what Dude, does it rachel, taste like this taste one tastes like strawberry oh my god great Bell Conkley, we'll we take small bites in the case it is drugged. We trust you, though. Yeah, we, we trust that you didn't put, like, mushrooms or... Um, it tastes nice. Yeah, this one tastes like, like strawberry shortcake. Yeah, I feel right? like that would be... Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. I take a... It smells like strawberries. Yeah. Give me a bite. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. But, like... Also... That's really good. Mm. Thank you, Bella Kongling. If that was you indeed, did we? I don't know if we got 100%. I, we, I like that. I think we did. Thank you, Bella. Ah, here we go. It's a felony to send drugs in North Carolina. Yes, yeah. I, I, I think that's a felony to, yeah. to do that in any of the United States. It's but also thank a you. felony to poison podcast hosts. So that's true. That's please, a big felony. Please I've don't do that. that. There's also a point. There, there is a point we probably will have to stop eating things on stream that's true because there because is we'll a be point where people will be like well we're gonna get like the, the okop fam is gonna get too big and yes. we might have people that try to kill us yes this is the right now it's the good fam right now it's a sweet spot it's right now it's a sweet spot where where people hopefully aren't trying to kill us yet we're like we're like your little secret you we're know like your little I mean? secret like shh, yeah, don't shh, tell us anyone about shh. us don't yeah. tell. But tell everyone, actually. But, but tell, tell everyone. everyone. Yeah, yeah. Sweet Potato Mama says, holy cow, y'all are still alive. Uh, Damn. We're still alive, but are we straight. still alive? Oh, we wait, are, alive. <laughs> we are dying. Slowly, but surely. But surely. And we have, what, three fucking hours more left yep. in the stream? Uh, two hours and 51 minutes, sir. And That's 10 true. seconds. That's true. Uh, we are saving cookies for Riley. That's right. Oh, big time. Big time. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> what, do, what, do, what do we got next? Some stories? I need to pee really quick. Go pee. Um, we should go pee. But we should do another story. We should do another story. Well, let's do it. Hey, yo. So, what, what is that? Bup, 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 bup. Um, let's see. I just did 409S3. So, let's do 409S4, producer Sophia. My gosh. You're cr guys, can we get W's in the chat for producer w's. Sophia? S4? S4. Producer Sophia literally obliterating the game right now. Freaking. Um, is this? Oh, this is a I short one. I asked Riley to come in like eight years ago. So I wanted to eat dinner and he never came. Oh, no. Well, I did get a message from him. Um, Ooh, wait, no. Oh, oh no. This is a... Um, we're going to have to do this later. Uh, this is all on. You are correct. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. Get there. We're going to have to... Uh, entertain them entertain uh, what's up everyone comment below and i will respond to you uh latina barbie 17 uh would your in-person day be on a weekend day hopefully uh it would probably be on maybe like more in the afternoon but probably on one of these streaming days possibly with um the weekend ones but as far as like regular rec like recurring ones those would probably be on one of the weekdays or streaming days. Did we, do you know if we've read relationships? 
Um, you know what? Let's let's f around and find the oh. freak out. What what uh, episode is that? Four hundred one. Four hundred one. Four hundred one. We've read four twelve. I th- I know we just read four hundred nine. Give us one moment, everyone. We got it. I'm We're just doing some looking uh, at it now. Stuff. Uh, thank you, Asian persuasion. Two bucks. Never trust a doe. I think this is pretty. <laughs> Never trust a doe. That's funny. I think this is. I think this is a new story. Let's one, dive into it, and if it's you know what, if it's uh, if it's not new, then we'll just we'll just find a new story though. We're with the OK Gang right now. All nine hundred seventy-two of you. Pop that. We're popping it in, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it's ready. All righty, let's do this thing, Sophia. Let's read this mm. story. Read it. Let's do it. I? So, am I wrong for ultimately wanting a divorce even after my wife showed much more effort in our relationship well we'll find out from limp crazy 1824 who says for context coming into the new year i had no idea my wife had been at the bare minimum of having an emotional affair with a coworker. yikes on new year's eve i found out about this and she came home and acted extremely cold towards me and our kids she was angry Earlier on that evening, she asked if she could go out to have one drink with a female coworker who I knew and trusted. I told her that was cool, but the kids were staying up for the ball drop. So as long as she could be back to celebrate with them, I was fine with that. So this is like going out for a drink on New Year's Eve with the kids, which is that's that's a whole different scenario. Well, she ended up getting off work at 1130 and barely had enough time to get home. After the ball drop, she cried and cried. I asked her what was wrong, and she said she got invited to her friend's house to have drinks with them. All three of them women, all married. I had no issue. I said, look, I'm not sure what's wrong and why you're crying about this. That's fine. You deserve a girl's night out every once in a while. I don't mind watching the kids. Just go. I put the kids to bed, and then she left about three hours later. So 3 a.m., I tried to contact her. No answer. I wait about 15 minutes, call her again. No answer. I call her friend who's supposed to, who she's supposed to be with. No answer. She then texts me back five minutes later and says, yeah, I'm still coming home tonight. We're drinking. We're still drinking. Never in our six years of marriage had I felt a gut feeling that something else was wrong, uh, going on that was wrong. But that night, It all hit me. I went through our phone records and I found another number I was unfamiliar with that she had been in contact with all night. Hmm. Sophia, I'm I'm sensing a I see you in the comments. I don't know how to do that. (laughs) (laughs) I know this one does something. Guys, hey, there you go. Wait, press some more, press some more. Hey, do one more, do one more. Hey, oh, oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> now I really want to get it. No, that didn't do anything. That's okay. Nope. nope. Oh! Hey! I see you. Let's Woo! freaking go. Put the ICUs. Number eight. Yes. Uh, evil potato eater. Yeah, she's cheating. Oh, 100%. Hundo P. Thank you! Rachel the Axe. Rachel the Axe Hatchet. I love you all so much, but I have to go ahead. Rachel the Axe Hatchet, please get some rest um, and all that. Could you, could you look at the... Uh, uh, activity feed for a second so i can read yes the rest of it um i love you all so much but i'm gonna go to bed this dono is for all of you night owls and opposite sides of the world fam heart ladies and gentlemen that is rachel the axe hatchet rachel please get some rest for all of us over here at okop headquarters uh because we will not be doing much sleeping today but we will be doing much reading thank you all axes in the chat absolutely um yes so let's get back into the story, ladies and gentlemen. Um, ah. 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 You got it. No, it's not working. Uh, click on OBS again. I am. It's on OBS. Uh, where is OBS? OBS um, is the little, if you go in the, uh, the little bottom bar, it's the uh, red dot. There's like a little red dot with a little spherical thing uh-huh, in the middle. Yes. Okay. And then try clitting, hitting the no. numbers again. You know what? I might have... Aha! Aha! I, I See? locked the numbers when I was trying to figure out. Ah, okay, there we go. Riley. Sorry, Riley's going to take over. Riley. 
Shoot, Dude. I messed it up. Sorry, guys. Dude, we were just we were just missing you so desperately, and now you're gracing us with your presence. Uh, that is a great question. Um, is there any more in the fridge there? If not, I can go run downstairs and grab some from the fridge. No, 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 no. Uh, for, dude, Rachel the Axe Hatchet. There we go. Guys, the Red Bulls are literally falling out of the fridge as we speak. Uh, Rachel the Axe Hatchet came in for one last time to donate for everyone Let's go. who didn't donate uh, and is going to bed and getting sleep as she deserves. Good. Look good. Sleep well, sleep well. Um, so I'm going to check this real quick. So okay. we're in this story, right? All right. It's pretty long. However... I think we could take a pause here and go to a different one. And uh, the people uh, would love to hear from the king, the god himself, King Frederick. Oh, shoot. Yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah, so yeah. maybe we could shoot him uh, a ring. A ring and a, find him. and a message or a ring. Yeah. So we're going to, guys, Riley is literally on the job as we speak. I see all of your call Frederick comments. We're gonna get it. The big protein is back in the producer seat, um, and so we're 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 getting it right now. We just gotta get get that contact info locked in. Um, um but yeah, I'll keep reading your comments. Yes, from uh, Shen Valley Mama, uh, Bernie Bernie Ha. Finally, yes, we got you. Uh, Jaden Riley, call Frederick. I want to hear it before I go to bed. Yes, we are we are on the case, ladies and gentlemen. I'm to find them. No sleep for me. I need to pay respects to the king. Kelly G3 says, absolutely. Absolutely. Frederick, where are you? Um, <laughs> Sam is intoxicated, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ooh, I need to catch up to you, actually. No fucking sh Are you serious? You let him get like this? Bro, I, I didn't even... <laughs> I was out for a minute. Naima came over and we were... <laughs> We were chatting, going oh, over some stuff. Um, oh, she did. Oh, good at her. She's awesome, dude. Where is Frederick? I'm trying to. I'm trying to find him. We're trying to find him. Um, King Frederick, if you could, uh, please text me right back. Text four four zero five zero eight six five six seven, guys. We want to get King Frederick. Oh, here we go. Don't worry, I'm not going to sleep. Like I said, uh, King Frederick, could you? What's the best way? Texting, right? I am. Um, he said, I am. Um, I don't get off until 7 a.m. He doesn't. He goes. He gets off at 7 a.m. So we might have to get him on a different one. Oh goodness. Yeah. I don't get okay, off King until Frederick. Then. Um, maybe, maybe still shoot. Uh, shoot Frederick. Blah, blah, blah. Shoot us a message. Four four zero five zero eight six five six seven on text. Yeah. Just so we can coordinate with you. Maybe find a good day. Yeah. Can we do a call. Can we do a couple call-ins? Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys want to call in? Right yeah. I, I, I have one that's like really funny. Okay, okay. Yeah, here it is. I was call in. Uh, I moved in with a roommate who went crazy while I was away for Thanksgiving. She had sex in bed with a random hookup with joke condoms. What does that mean? Joke condoms. What's a joke condom? Wait, no sound. What is it? What, what do you mean no sound? What, no sound? Uh-oh. Can you guys hear us? Test, test, test. One, one two, two, three. What is this? Hello, one, two, the three. Three. Yes. The sound should be coming through. Yes, 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 yes. Riley's eat a, eat a cookie. I'll Can eat a cookie. Me? Don't you worry. Call yeah, we got king. some cookies for you. Blah, 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 blah. Can you, I, think, I think no sound. I no, think yeah. Turn yours up. Yeah. Turn yours up. Okay. I, hear so I can hear you. Frederick uh, left a voicemail. You. Oh, uh, okay. Turn it up because there is sound, Eva. Just turn it up. I hear sound so there. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you. That's thank how you. we got sound. Okay. Thank you for confirming. Cool. Love you guys. Let's call this person up. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so they used a joke condom. Ah, sorry, sorry. The roommate. Hello, this is Jody. Jody, this is John, Sam, and Riley from OKOP Show. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. We heard you had a story where your roommate uh, had a hookup at Thanksgiving with a joke condom. Uh, could you please kind of break down what is going on here? Because yeah, we are flabbergasted. What is a joke condom yeah. and how did this all unfold? We're, we're confused and intrigued simultaneously. Yes. Yeah. Um, so um, when I had just moved up to the state I live in now, um, I was living with my aunt, and I met these two girls, and we moved in really quick because we all three needed a place to live, and <laughs> I thought we were really good friends at the time, but 
um, I started dating my now husband, and I was, I was spending a lot of time there. And one of my roommates um, stopped paying rent, and we kicked her out, and we moved um, one of the other girl's friends in. And have you ever seen those condoms, like, with um, random jokes on it? I have seen, okay, I have seen, like, um, uh, like merch condoms before, yeah, where they, like, print something on it. So, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Okay. So, it's not like it doesn't work. It just has, like, a joke printed on it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, thought, um, that's what, right? I thought it was a fake condom. Yeah, yeah. So, it's real. No, it just has a joke printed on it. No. Yeah, so she had, the funny thing is, so she had bought me these as a joke because, um, me and my now husband, my husband didn't even kiss me before we got married. Your husband didn't oh, kiss wow. you before you got married? Is he really religious? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes got sense. You. That makes sense. I have, I have friends back home that do not kiss until marriage. Really? Yeah. yeah. Respect. I mean, I kiss all my frogs. <laughs> but Don't he, kiss before uh, marriage? Wow. Yeah, I did. He did. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Um, and crazy. so she had bought me all of these condoms that said, um, like, there's no, or save room for Jesus in the room. Or <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Okay. And so I had, um, I had thrown them in a drawer in my room, and she'd helped me unpack them. So she'd seen them in there. And um, she had one, she went off the deep end. Like, she started having random guys at our house and all this stuff. And so I had started to kind of stay at my now husband's house more often. Mm -hmm. And um, I, we got in this really big fight one day and I had locked my room door and had gone to stay with my um, boyfriend at the time to, uh, get away for a while and I came home my bedroom door was unlocked and all the condoms were missing and my other roommate oh. came up and said um our room your the other roommate had sex in your bed multiple times with some homeless people multiple homeless with homeless no. people yeah. no yeah oh my god like and, why and your roommate wasn't like yo stop that I think this no, was I guess she was participating too. I don't know. Oh um, my god! I hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't realized that she'd used them all, so I locked my room again, and I went and um, asked my boyfriend and his family to help me move, and his family is super religious too. Mm. And so my brother-in-law goes to go through the drawer, and I thought there was still condoms in there at that point. And so like, I'm like, running to go <laughs> make sure he doesn't get into that drawer kind of realize there's no more condoms anyway <laughs> but yeah that's my story oh my god wow. well uh uh produce not pill say hey at least she's using protection <laughs> that is the sil the, the the uh the rubber lining is the silver lining in this story so at least there is protection used wow oh my goodness yeah well and i was i was broke um, student at the time, and so yeah, um, I had to keep that mattress for quite a while. <laughs> oh no, I'm oh. so sorry. Yeah. That is awful. So, was, so where is the where is the roommate at now? If you know, um, I don't know. I moved out really quickly, and I <clears throat> at that time I was pretty much the only person paying rent. Yeah. Um, she oh, wow. was working part time at Taco Time and yeah. wasn't getting hours, and so I kind of left them in a lurch. But um, I um, was able to get out of there and move into a different Good. apartment with the same company. Good. And I just got my shit out of there and didn't look back. You wow. just got your what? Sorry. I got my, my shit out of there. My, all my stuff. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Hey, perfect, right, well, we're, we're glad you're in a much better place now. Yes. And we appreciate you sharing your crazy story. Um, thank you for calling in. Yeah, thank you.
Of course. Have a great night. You rock. See you. Bye. Thanks again. Bye. Peace. Oh my god! Wow. wow. Yeah. Someone imagine? was saying, "How do you go from being super religious to having like a uh, an unhoused orgy?" That yeah, that is <laughs> the, the juxtaposition is wild. Yeah, the juxtaposition is crazy. And Silva Crow, thanks for the five buck tip. I just submitted my ex fiance story. It's Pyro Wolf X thirty username. Mm. It gets more insane. And Bell Conkling. Thanks for the two bucks, Riley Oreo cheesecake cookie. Wait, are they here? They are here. They we just had, are we here. just had uh, uh, a nibble. Dude, if you could give me one of them, cookies. I'm not sure which one is. All right, wait, wait. Valo says two one two zero. Go back to the story. I'm getting anxious, not finishing. Yes. It. So what happened was uh, we were waiting to chat with King Frederick. We needed Sir Riley to come in, but then King Frederick let us know, oh, my shift doesn't get off till seven. Yeah. So now we're coordinating, but we uh well, was there a story beforehand? We were we were in the uh, we were in the middle of a story when Riley came back. We're like, oh, let's call King Frederick. The people were what's the were what's chanting the story? for it. We could get back to it right now. Yeah. Finish yeah, that yeah. out and then yeah, go back let's, to let, some let, calls. Let's let's finish that out and then let's go to King Frederick. Yes. Yeah, but King Frederick said he was um oh he's waiting on your call? He said, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, King Frederick, just text me. Just be like, this is King Frederick, and then I will give you a call. Sorry about that. We got you. Yep. We got you. We got you, my dude. Give Riley a, give Riley a cookie here. Guys, put a, put a cookie in the chat for Riley, if you could, for me real He's quick. He's free right now? Because... He said go ahead. Huh. Free right now? What? Where is he at? Guys, we're, we're possibly getting some... Wants a call. He said go ahead. What's Blondest his number? Brunette. If I get his number, thanks for the two bucks. Frederick wants a call. We're going. We're going. We're doing what, it. What, what's what's the title of his story? Is it? <laughs> yeah. What is what is the title? Because if you tell me the title or what you texted me. Oh, he said he left a message. So maybe oh, we listen to the I message. Do I gotta listen to the messages? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, what the? I don't know what they are. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Oh 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 oh! Found him! Found him! Found him! Found him! Found him. All right, let's give him a call. Straight up call. Wait, wait, let's listen to, wait, 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 for, before we call, let's listen to the, um, voicemail? Let, let's listen to the, the, I the hear voicemail, voice. or, or we could make it, maybe, maybe I read the, the voicemail, and okay. then we can have a surprise when we actually oh, call we have it in the notion? to hear his yeah, actual yeah, yeah, yeah. voice. I can put it into the notion. All right, here we go. Sweet. Ooh. All right. Frederick here. Just thought I'd call you and let you know about my cheating wife for many years who left me alone with three children and didn't find out until I had already given her a car and the life that most people would dream of having. Wow. Find out that she was cheating with my best friend while I was at work every night taking care of the house and everything only to come home one night to find her in bed with my best friend. Oh. So, King Frederick, we're about to call you right now. Oh, my gosh. And find out the details of what happened to the wow. fallout of this situation. Here we go. King Frederick, don't trap your crown. That's right. I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? W's in the chat. W's in, Crown's in the chat. Frederick. Hello, this is Frederick. Frederick! King Frederick! How are you? Yes, it is me. I am doing good. Heck yeah. So we were just reading a little bit of the transcript of the voicemail that you left. Also, thanks for being the king of the stream, Dude, by the way. God. You're a freaking legend. Uh, You're an not OKOP. a problem. <laughs> OKOP legend. So tell me how you uh, discovered what was happening with your wife. Well, what had happened was I came home late at night because my son said he wasn't feeling well. And when I pulled up, I noticed my best friend's car was sitting in the driveway. Yeah. And as it happened, I had walked in the house trying to figure out why his car was there. I heard noises upstairs, so I went upstairs and opened the door. Okay. The sad thing is my, my youngest son was in the room while they were doing that. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Because he wasn't feeling well. She left him on the floor while they were doing what they were doing in the bed. God. Oh my God. What did you do? 
Well, I picked up my son because he wasn't feeling well. I told her that this was the end of it, and I didn't want to see her anymore. I went outside after putting my youngest back in his bed, and I slashed my uh, best friend's tires in his car. Oh, my God. I mean, it kind of deserved yeah, that. You know, the, the, the friend doesn't need tires after That's what he insane. did. insane. So you took your, you, 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 you took your child left. Um, how did everything shake out with your wife and your ex-best friend? I'm sorry. I, I, I assume it's ex-best friend. Also, everyone in the chat is saying Frederick sounds wrong, young. So I guess you have a young sounding, a young youthful sounding voice. voice. Well, thank you for that. I am <laughs> a lot of youth and spirit in you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So, so how did it fall out? Well, after they got all situated and everything, I took my three kids and I left. Yeah. And we stayed at a hotel for a while. She tried calling, apologizing and everything, wanting back. And I told her, no, it wasn't happening. No. Yeah, I know. And good, then, good for staying firm. I had contacted a friend that I had worked for. She was a lawyer, and she handled everything to the point where she, my my ex wife did not get the damn thing. Good, and my good. Try he he called me one day while I was at work, and he sat there and said, "I don't know how to tell you this, Dad, but I've known for a couple of months of what was going on, and I didn't know how to tell you." I mean, but also, like, how do you say anything as a kid? You know? Yeah. It's like it's so tough. It's so tough. Yeah, because I, I go to work at six at night and I come back at seven in the morning. Oh wow. Okay, so you're working the night. So shift. I basically yeah. paid. Oh, I paid for everything for her. I gave her a car, a house, and that's how she repaid me. Terrible. Wow. Terrible. Well, good on you for staying firm and also mm -hmm. shout out to the lawyers for making sure that she doesn't take anything that you deserve. So yes. How, how are things? How are things now? How 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 is everything shaking out? Like, how, how are you doing? Um, I'm hanging in there. I mean, it's hard being a single dad with three children to take care of. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I imagine. For I two imagine. years. So. Well, King Despite Frederick. Here's the gap. My sons are doing great. It's just the youngest doesn't know what happened because he doesn't understand why his mom can't come visit him anymore. Yeah. He lost everything. I have all rights to all three of them. Yeah, I, I feel like you should with like you know everything that that she did. Oh it yeah. It sounds like she she wasn't really putting the care in. Um, but Frederick, thank you for you know being a king to us to your children. Um, and, and hanging in there through just the absolute shit show that you have to endure. Um, not many people can make it out stronger on the other end. And it, and it, and it seems like, uh, you're holding your head up and, and, and doing your best. So thank you so much for calling in and dude fucking sucks. But oh, thank you for reaching out. Yeah. Of you're, course. You're, I have you're more stories to give you guys too. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're making it through and, uh, we really appreciate you dude. And, um, yeah, th thanks for calling in and telling your story. And shout out to your kids. Yes. They got a great dad. Yeah, shout out to sure. all you guys. <laughs> yeah, they have a great dad. Yes, thanks for sir. calling in, Frederick. You're the best. Crowns Thank you. in the chat for Frederick. Crowns. <laughs> the king. <laughs> all right, bye. Thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. <laughs> of course, bye. man. Be well. Be well. Be well. We'll bye. chat with you soon. Right. Be oh well. my goodness! Man. That was the king. Himself. That was the king, Frederick. You know, I I think something that's really uh special about calls like that is like you know people go through their worst, their worst day in their life, mm -hmm. and still have to show up for the people that they're caring for. Yes, and I feel like it seems like Frederick really really did show up for his kids. Yeah, um, which is what a good dad should do. So. Uh, Harem A says, so he is single. Guys. Daddy Frederick. Listen. Send in your application. Can, <laughs> can we truly, let's get a queen for Frederick. Yeah. Let us get a queen for Frederick. Reach out to Frederick in the Discord. In the Discord. I believe Discord. Frederick's in Guys, the Discord. Dis uh, you can let us know, but yeah. Hit up <laughs> Frederick in the Discord and let's, let's make some, let's find a king for this queen. This, this queen, uh, queen for, for this, this king. king. Sorry. Yeah. Truly, King Frederick the Legend. The we get legend. An application going. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my God! What a goat. Um. 
But John. Yes, sir. There, Ballroom Blitzkid says there was another story that we were reading. Yes. What is that story? And can we return to it? Oh, we absolutely can. Because we're going to get back into the story that we were reading before. I want to know what the... Oh, someone says, okay, OP Cupid. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's amazing. <laughs> um, I feel like uh, Frederick said he was like 30 something. I think th- I saw 30. I saw 30. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. But yes, I have the story for you all. Let me give you all the TLDR for everyone give new. Give me the TLDR, our, Johnny boy. Our good boy, Sam here. Yeah. So here's what happened, right? Um, I got to get myself a TL- TLDR. Okay, so... Um, OP's wife uh, was like on New Year's like, hey, um, it's New Year's Eve, but I want to go hang out with some friends and get some drinks. He was like, okay, just be back for 1130 so we can like see the ball draft with all the kids. Then the uh, then the kid then she gets back and he's like, she's like, oh, we want to uh, go out a little later. Right. And now she's out until 3 a.m. and texts back and she's like, oh, we're still out drinking at 3 a.m. And OP has just got this like thinking suspicion feeling that uh, he is being cheated upon, that there is disastrous cheating happening. And how do we how do you feel about this? I will keep one of. Oh, sorry. And I I mean, I feel like I. Oh, this is for the one. Yeah. Uh, I I am suspicious too. I am suspicious too. Unless it makes it easier for you, then I'll then I'll keep it. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. No, I am. All the whole chat was ICUing. The whole shot was ICUing. So we are now picking back up. Um, I believe still on New Year's Eve at this like three three a.m. time marker roughly. Okay. Let's hit it. So. She had also been, oh, and then um, he did some snooping. He found this number that she's been calling and texting all day through their, through their like phone services call log. Mm. Right? Okay. He, oh, doesn't, shit. He, doesn't, he doesn't know who it is. She has been texting his number for three month period daily. Daily. I never suspected that she would be texting another dude while right beside me watching family movies either. As times have, as the timestamps have now shown. How I didn't see this, I have no idea. Maybe she had this individual listed as mom in her phone. I don't know. I had never gotten the vibe or feeling our entire marriage. I was blindsided by it. Anyway, I confront her about it uh, through text with the proof like an idiot. Um, She speeds home, deletes everything on her phone. No way of getting the backups restored. No way of ever knowing that she did not meet up with this guy or not. So basically... But the fact that she deleted everything is hella sus. It is, but does he even have... I, I guess he could say, hey, here's a timestamp of a message and she doesn't have that. Yeah. So that is, yeah, that is... I feel proof. like that's enough to be like, I'm not dealing with this. Yeah, you know? 100%. Um, upon finding this out, I immediately told her, I want a divorce! Divorce, 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 divorce. There we go. Um, it was at the point she began getting violent with me, talking shit about everything I had been doing to keeping uh, to keep us financially stable. The 18 hour work days that kept a roof over our heads. She told me that I needed to leave, even though I pay rent and both our kids are asleep. I refused. Good job, OP. We slept Good in, job, OP. We slept yeah. in separate rooms that night. And the next day she tried to act like nothing even happened. Claiming that she remembered we fought, but couldn't remember what it was about. Uh, I'm kind of drawing a little blank there. Like, yeah, and all my text messages are blank, too. Yeah, hmm. it's so weird. Like, everything's just blank. Should we just go back to normal? No. Let's forget if this ever happened. Well, I show her the phone records, even though I'm positive she was trying to pull some crap. She confesses who the individual was and say they flirted a lot, but never met up. Have truths. Have half truths. truths. Half truths. She's not gonna confront you with the whole truth because she already, she's too... yeah, she already deleted all of the all of the stuff. Um, so why would she she's clearly not giving you the full kitten caboodle no, she's not. on what's going on here right now. I told her that she'd have no issues restoring the text messages she deleted 
at which point it was confirmed she deleted everything and deleted her last backup. Is there a wrap in there? Thank you, sir. I would love to grab the wrap for when I'm ready. There's a wrap. Boom. And that's a wrap. Uh, she also saved a backup um, after they were deleted the night everything went to shit. Okay, wait. So she also saved a backup after they were deleted the night that she went to shit. Okay, so maybe there is some backups we can look Why would she save at. a backup? I, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. Why would she just delete it all? You think it would... Or maybe she was looking for a, a like alibi. There's maybe something in there, yeah, that would help her. Uh, since then, she's tried hard to convince me they never did anything and never saw each other outside of work. I keep finding bits and pieces of things that don't make sense. Chunks of text deleted from her friends, messages around that time, pictures on her Google Drive from that night uh, where she was with who she said she was, deleted from her phone for some reason. The most damaging evidence I have is that for a two-hour period on New Year's Eve, they stopped texting each other and randomly started texting again around 3 a.m. Dude, that is so infuriating. He can see the log of like a text was sent but can't see the actual messages dude that like, is infuriating he knows i like he knows he knows and i'm almost like do you even i mean i guess it's good to like figure everything out but it's i feel like it would be torturous to like see that the messages were sent but not see what was said i don't know i mean yeah you know what I, I mean but it's like at a certain point, you have enough evidence. Oh, a hundred percent. Where it's just like, may, she could be not cheating, but she's lying to you. Yeah, no, like, like I definitely you know? think she's cheating, but it's almost just the satisfaction of like fully yeah, seeing like, it. You know I what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, something. I don't know. Um, uh, my gut tells me that she left her friend's place, went to his place, and then went back, or she went straight to his place from our our house then went to her friends when she found out I was calling them. So again, kind of getting an alibi of like, she did go to the friend's house part of the time, but then was also at this guy's house. So that way she had some sort of cover. Yeah. She's sophisticated. She, I mean, she, she, she has a plan. Sophisticated. She's a woman with a plan. Exactly. Damn straight. Exactly. Um, Cassandra says the trust is gone, even if she didn't te cheat, because I think uh, she didn't mm -hmm. uh, have the messages. And I and think that's why. Everything. Like, I, I don't even know if you torture yourself with the details. That's you know? true. That's true. Like, hey, I have enough. I, I have enough. Yeah, that's, that's a great point. That's a great May point. May not be cheating, but the trust is gone. The trust is gone. Um, there are revealing pictures of herself. She never sent me also on her Google Drive taken on Snapchat. So, guys, the evidence just keeps getting more and more damning. Would you break up at this point, chat? Break up or not? Let us know. The, let us break know the up or Break up or not? Break up or not? Put your answers in the chat right now. Send it in. Let us know what you think. I'm breakup. What are you? I'm breakup. Yep. There we go. But let us know what you guys think. She has since given me all her attention. She initiates intimacy tenfold. The texting stopped. She shows me everything on her Snapchat and even downloads her data to show me that she's not hitting other people up. This is just her trying to cover up her tracks and, you know, she probably wants, you know, the stability or whatever she gets out of this relationship bullshit mm. i'm seeing the side of her i haven't seen since we were married all those years ago um but i can't help but trust my gut in demanding a divorce i feel like she's keeping things from me not knowing for sure is killing me inside my parents know all of this wow that's crazy and keep pressuring me to work it out and not dwell oh wow wow parents are saying not divorce not divorce my brothers are saying uh, fuck that. Get a divorce. Am I wrong in getting a divorce? Um, keeping in mind the dates, it's now been over four months since this occurred. Those four months, still no divorce. I'm positive she cut out the individual completely, but I still can't get over the not 100% knowing, and my gut tells me she's lying, which, reading between the lines, she hasn't confessed either. Um... And then we get into some edits, but I mean, I mean, everyone is saying break up. Everyone is saying break up. Yeah. And McChicken, thanks for the 20 bucks. First time here on the live. Hey, y'all get me through the night shift on patrol. Side note, where y'all eating? 
We can uh, cover. Bowls. Bowl, sorry, I mean bowls. Bro, guys, I am th I am the, the no sponsorship police over here. I don't yeah. know. Oops, oops. Whenever he's not around, I name drop like crazy. That's true. But I all right, so I feel like for this situation right here, it feels like OP knows that something is up. The probability of them cheating is extremely high. OP just doesn't know the direct details. And like Like it's like almost like OP's st like like knows that they cheated, but is staying with them because like OP doesn't know exactly what happened, and it it almost feels like OP wants to look past it. Yeah, there's probably maybe he's just having such a hard time like letting go of the relationship, even though like logically he knows in his head like this is fucked. She's cheating. Like I have all the evidence I need. He's like grasping at straws of like, can we? Well, he's even saying like. Oh, like the person that she was talking to, she cut out. Yeah, that's good. So it's like, yep. So it's like, oh, you know, yeah, she might have been cheating, but it's fine now. You stop. She's giving me all her Snapchat data and like really showing me that she's not doing anything wrong. The thing though, really, is like, you can, you can. There, there are couples that get past cheating, right? Yes. Jay Z and Beyonce, but. <laughs> You have to, example. you have to come clean. There has to be trust. You yeah. have to reestablish trust. You can't just cheat and then pretend it didn't happen. Yes. You have to say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to reestablish trust with you. It's going to be a long, hard process. We're going to reestablish trust. That's like, that's like, okay, so you uh, break someone's leg, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, you didn't actually admit to it, but like, hey, I am going to get you like the best chair. I'm going to make sure you're fed water. Yeah. Like I'm going to take care of you, but you literally don't even address the broken leg. And the thing is like, if, if someone comes, if a friend comes in and breaks my leg and then just treats me good after it, I'm going to be like, fuck dude, what's this guy going to break my leg again? Exactly. You like know, they I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be friends with you. Literally. You're break my leg. Who Me knows? Who knows what will happen? Meanwhile, your leg is still like deteriorating and like not getting fixed. Like, yeah, I'm fed. I got water, whatever. But I'm like, bro, my leg's still broken. Let's fix the actual problem here. Yeah. My goodness. Well, we got some edits, ladies and gentlemen. So um, if some of this is confusing, uh, ask and I'll clarify. I will also give some context where needed. Um, Edit number two, uh, I also forgot to add that this individual in question is an employee she manages. She is the boss of this person, as in she is a direct supervisor. I've heard there are greater legal consequences for this, but I have no idea. For a clarification, the individual in question is actually morbidly obese. I am by no means fit, but I'm not fat either. I went back and looked at the timestamps for pictures that were deleted of her and her friends that night on Google Drive. Before that two-hour period of no texting, during and after, there were several pictures taken with verified timestamps, as in uh, they cannot be changed on Google Drive, whether or not she has a friend that's tech savvy and was able to do that within 10 minutes. Uh, it took her to get home for upon confronting. I don't know. Is this possible? So again, OP's still kind of like, really sifting through the evidence when it's like so the person is morbidly obese that the yes their wife was and, o, and op's like hey i'm not like super fit but like i'm definitely not morbidly obese hey there, i mean there's a whole subcategory of people that are very into that that are thing. very into that and maybe that but <laughs> just, just because like, someone's morbidly obese does not mean they can't have someone stick it in them dude morbidly obese getting crazy in the sheets yep that's yeah. that's what i always or say. can't sit on top of it you know, there you go. You never know. You really never know. What? <laughs> Five. That I was part of the story. That's not. That's not a sex joke. It was a sex. It was. It was. It was a sex. Oh, did you guys pay John yet? No. No, it's okay. What do you no, mean? We that, we what? We it's a principle. We're, we're, we're tallying. Okay. We're tallying. We're tallying. Right, so we're you owe Sophia five. Yeah. And you know, John Making Tim. my own, I'm morbidly a beast. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Why am Dude. I the only one that has to pay anyone? Well, I haven't got in here yet. I took a break whenever <laughs> it happens. Things got crazy. Yeah, that's true. Oh, don't you, you gotta... worry, John. Oh, there's some for me? There, I got a lot. I was, I've been cooking. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, it's also worth 
adding that I come from a family that has uh, thoroughly convinced me one of my co- uh, thoroughly convinced one of my cousins that she needs to stay in her marriage, even when her husband became solely reliant on her, got addicted to Coke, not Pepsi, uh, is still addicted to Coke and abused her all because by golly, no one in this family has ever gotten a divorce. Who fucking cares? Get a divorce. I get miss me with all of this bullshit. Get out of my fucking face. So divorce, 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 divorce. get a divorce. So eventually doing so, I would get disowned by my parents, my sister, all my cousins, my aunt, uh, my aunts and all my uncles, but would still have the support of my two brothers. So fuck your family. Um, the two brothers have been riding for OP to get divorced from day one. So rock with the bros. Bro down and throw down. And, and get those hoes down. Get out get out of here. Okay. Um and we have the first update. It is Ooh. it is short and quick. Oh, short and quick. Update number one. Currently working, uh currently on morning break at work. Been reading through the comments. Uh I have off tomorrow all day, so I'll be heavily weighing my options when I get some time to myself tomorrow. I might not update tomorrow, but I will update y'all when I can. Thank you for all the input, positive and negative. The best thing I can do right now is just get through the work week, get my kids from daycare and be mentally present for them. I've been ignoring her since last night and she's been snapping and calling me all morning to see what's wrong. You know, honestly, I'm getting some guys. If you if you uh, were here for this, we did call the God, the King himself, King Frederick, mm-hmm. and he shared with us his story of literally walking in with uh, his, his wife, doing it with another guy, with their poor sick kid right there, took the sick kid, and obviously he's, he's uh, King Frederick, and he's an amazing father. Goated. Goated father to his three beautiful, incredible children. But um, I'm getting... These vibes here where OP needs to take the kids and leave. And leave. Mm-hmm. Am I wrong, chat? Am I wrong? I don't think you're wrong, but I think it's hard. You know? But it is hard. It is very hard. And, you know, OP probably gets a lot out of this relationship and is like, hey, I don't want to lose the, you know, maybe like emotional connection, support, whatever he gets. And there's out a of lot of familial pressure, too. Ton of, he literally will lose his like cousins, aunts, uncles, and parents. Um, if he divorces, according to Sam's golden theory, how many passes does this person have? Have we calculated that yet? Uh, you know, I think it's been four years, right? Four years. How many do they have kids? Uh, I think there is, there's one, there's a child. Um, okay, so two, and how many instances has this happened? We don't know, that's the thing. And our kids, oh, kids, okay, so we got a multiple, there's at least two. Mm. At least, but two she's kids. been talking to this person for months, so it's probably like most likely more than one instance of cheating. So oh yeah, even oh, okay. Sam's the, the, the Sam's golden rules as a prediction tool. Uh, I would predict that they would still break up because it's been more. Yeah, it's been it's been a affair rather. He than had a instance. log of not the actual like messages, but like hey, a text was like sent in the timestamps and it was daily for like four months basically. Oh, yeah. shit. What yeah. what does emotional cheating look like in your golden rules? Oh um we create some new rules for that. Some new for theory for your theory. You need to mint a new rules. golden rule. <laughs> <laughs> you cook on it. Yeah I need to, I need to cook. Need what cook. if we created gold coins? Gold coins. Or Sam's golden rules. <laughs> and we minted them. <laughs> Minted gold coins. Minted gold Bury coins. them in your background. Yeah, we're eating bowls, as John says. Bowls. Mitchy Moon says, Sam, how are you feeling about those, uh, those cookies? Alive, which is good. Same here. Yeah, no effects, I think. They were so good. Oh, my gosh. They were good. Riley, well, how many did you have, Riley? You gave me three. You Perfect. ate all three? Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Dude, good. Eat yeah. it. Is that okay? So if Riley, yeah, they, Bella Conkling said there was no, there was no funny business going on. Yeah. But if there is, then we will for sure. We know. will find out. Uh, we will find you. But we, we, we ate our bits like well over an hour ago. So yeah, I think you're good. Yeah, you're good. Um, oh, cool. Let us. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yet. Yes, you're good. You're good. We got you. 
Let's get into some relevant comments and then we'll read some donations. So, relevant comments. OP on his wife lying to him and the family telling him to reconsider divorcing. OP, I'll be honest with you. Um, this is from OP. Uh, the two main reasons I've tried to tough it out are number one, the kids, even though she pretty much said, fuck all of us on New Year's Eve. And number two, for some reason, my parents have been really pressuring me to stay. Excuse me, sorry. Been pressuring me to stay. It's effing with me and I don't know why. They keep reminding me that no one in the family has ever gotten a divorce. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Get a divorce. Uh, they said it's most likely never. Uh, I'll most likely never end up seeing my children again. Even though in my state, if a spouse is found to have cheated, this essentially gives up their rights to children if a divorce is really. Filed. So the grandparents are not talking facts and OP. It looks like has probably done his homework. Um, I really don't understand how my parents can sit there and feed me bull crap stories about people they know that went through it and came out a better couple. Really feels like they're taking her side in everything that happened while ignoring the truth. That is what it sounds like. Um, Inevitable True 7223 says, does she come home acting extremely cold or did she work until 11? Opie says, silence. Our daughter ran up to her for a hug and she started crying. He then got really irritated when our daughter asked her for a drink, something that still doesn't sit right with me. She started yelling at her, saying, Mommy needs some fucking space. I'm sorry. Whoa. You cannot say that to your child. Whoa. That is unacceptable. I have an okay story time about Mommy. Uh-oh. Mommy? Yeah. Mommy. When I tell y'all there was literally no <laughs> sign of all this crap until that, she hid everything extremely well. Also, for everyone saying uh, that... Uh, for everyone saying what they are about the two-hour period, yes, that was my thought. Um, so I guess being a cheater for that two-hour yeah. period of being gone. I went back through the Google Drive at everything that was removed from her phone. There were pictures and selfies taken with her friends at the place she was supposed to be during that time, before and after. I doubt she's text savvy enough to edit the timestamps on Google Drive once everything is backed up. This isn't to say that they never met up. Uh, this isn't to say she still doesn't know how to do that, and it still doesn't make a difference with everything she did. Like I said, weighing options tomorrow, reaching out to a lawyer tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a update coming up. This saga is crazy. This is pretty crazy. Yeah, She's really I mean, putting him through the ringer. Yeah, I, I hope he just leaves. We can only pray. I really, really hope. I we really do hope. have this update, and he is planning on calling a lawyer also right before this. Which is this. good. I feel like at this point, it is worth a lawyer. I think he's... It's open. And hopefully, hopefully talking to the lawyer, too, will kind of like kind of solidify... Oh, yeah, knock some sense into this whole sense. situation. I'm sure yeah. I'm sure talking to the lawyer, they're like, oh, yeah, this is like... You're going to get... Yeah, because a lawyer could like take him out of this like reality distortion field exactly. and be like, yo, this is crazy. Yes. Stop that shit, though. Yes. But we're not going to stop... Reading the donations you guys have sent in since we started reading. Let's let's scroll down. Let's see. Is there we got we oh, did McChicken. McChicken. We read McChicken. <laughs> and bingo, right above McChicken is where we uh, start. Wait, I don't know if we read Pixel Punket. Oh. Pixel Punket 82. Thanks for the 350. 350 for a king. Frederick. That is freaking right. I don't know if we read Curvy Girl of Lala Flame. Oh, uh, let's um, read that. We love you, King, and sorry for the BS you have to deal with. Thanks for the five bucks. Yes. Curvy girl, Lala Flame. Thanks for the two bucks. OMG is King Frederick. Was. Blondish brunette. Thanks for the two bucks. Frederick wants a call. And I believe we read everything else. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, Shanzi Mac uh, for the three bucks. Uh, hi from Tasmania. Uh, been binging the pod. Love y'all. Yo, share the pod in Tasmania. Yeah. Let's, let's get the Tasmanian community up on okay Tasmanian let's community let's freaking go <laughs> um zahari adams uh two pounds thanks for that just posted a story uh now time to go back to sleep are people like going to sleep and checking back in are you are you sleeping to us right now also we hit hit 1400 likes which i think means uh another Wheel spin. Another wheel spin. But we'll My do that goodness. after the story finishes. That's right. Um, I made the IRS for the five bucks. Thank you. Holy shit. I was just scrolling YouTube for background noise to sleep to. And so you guys are live streaming for like seven hours. I made the IRS. You know us. We know you. This is what we do. Yeah. We are <laughs> out here. We are on hour seven. We're like yes. the 10 hours of rain noise. That you <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, but like Sam's like the random like lightning and yeah. thunder yeah. that's like waking yeah. you up. 
Blondest brunette. Thanks for the five bucks. Good night. 1 10 a.m. here officially Wednesday and my daughter's sixth birthday. Can shout out to your daughter. Um, catch the rest of the stream later. Thank you, Blondest Brunette. Uh, we look forward to you seeing our past selves in the future. Mm. And Whoa. you hearing the shout Back out. to the future, dude. Dude, just absolutely. Oh, I need to catch up to you, by the way. I'm stone cold sober right now, and that is Blameify, thanks to the two buck tip. I've been drawing for my tattoo appointments. Thought I'd make it till the end, but it's 1 a.m. here. I might set an alarm and come back in an hour. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, do you guys do that? Do you see the end of the stream? <gasps> that is crazy. <laughs> they wake up from their sleep <laughs> to go back to see the stream. <laughs> guys, you're amazing. Also, get some sleep and some rest and some water. But yeah. that's so crazy. Do, do it for us. Are yeah, they still so going? I mean, honestly, if you think about it, we started at three, and we still got two hours left. Why wouldn't you want to check in and see? Are these guys really going? I guess what? so. Yeah, yeah. That is what kind else of crazy? crazy yeah, I kind of. I guess. I guess for like the the craziness of it. Are you, you looking for the wine? No. Yeah, I got you. I got you, dude. Ask that. Right, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll move there we for Jana. We Gucci, baby guys. I'm I'm trying to get on Sam's level, which is a pretty apparently the level is. Uh oh. What's happening? John's getting saucy. We're gonna get saucy, ladies and gentlemen. All right. There we go. Pajama time. We're getting a little bit more Sophia before she wraps up. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to throw some. All right. Uh, hit me. Hit the camera on me. I'm going to make a toast to everyone. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this. <laughs> Sam is crawling out from the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a toast to everyone, including Sam, Riley, Sophia, and all of the OK fam that is so beautiful. Thank you for all you do to support us. We are going for more, but I love all of you in this room. I love all of Aww. you in this chat. Aww. Cheers to you guys. Let's go Dude. for however much longer we got. Cheers. Aww. Let's go forever. Let's Let's go. Go. I'm back. Forever. I'm in my pajamas. She's in her pajamas. Yep. I'm comfy. Yeah, I'm fed. I'm surprised you're up this long, John. Eva, check. Oh, really? Why? Why, Riley? Why, Riley? Because you're fucking old! Bam! Yes! All right, give me some money. I will. Yeah. That was good. I'm wow. Charging. Was wow. it worth it? Was I it worth it? Honestly, it. yeah, because I haven't gotten one in yet. It was kind of lame. Uh, I could have been more clever with it. Be more clever Ooh. with it. Ooh, uh, uh, Blamified. Also, Riley's looking very handsome tonight. You know, I got so that. Sexy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. go up, go up. Go up? Hold on, go up on the chat. On the chat, damn, the Riley, chat. LOL. Okay. I like, wait. Uh, Nava, uh, Nava says, uh, or Nava, uh, I started my hair when you guys started your stream and I just finished. I was going to say seven hours of twisting my hair listening to you guys. That takes a long time. Yes. That's a good, yeah, we're, I think we're a good stream to do that too mm, because that's a long, percent. yeah, that's a long thing to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout and out we're to you. a long stream. Riley's a Proud fucking sex finishing. symbol. Thank you. I've been. I'm trying out the beard. I was doing. The, I was rocking the mustache. I'm bringing back the beard. Gonna see what that looks like with the long hair. Right. Yeah. I told Riley. I told Riley of Bali. Just grow out, grow out the uh, the edges. That's true. The and edges. dude, it looks so beautiful. Ah. Um, blondest brunette. Thank you for five awesome. bucks. One last dono. My partner complains. I watch all the lives, <laughs> but this is my life now. This is my life now. This so. is our life. Everyone that's here right now. This is what you're going to do for the rest of your lives. Yeah. We're just going to hang out. We're Literally. just going to hang out in this stream until you get sick of us. One eternal stream of all the streams. Yeah. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're getting back into this. I'm going to give a TLDR for everyone and, uh, and me. Sophia. Okay, Sophia. Mm -hmm. So here's what's happening. Wait on me. Opie's wife um, on New Year's was like, hey, can I go drink with my friends? Year. Opie was like, yeah, just come back before ball drop um she does and then she's like let me go out again she's out till 3 a.m op was like i'm suspicious i do not know Sir what's happening um yeah. then he got like all of this evidence that like it's not like super he doesn't have it like oh she sent a nude to to this like this guy and i don't know who this number is mm -hmm. but he has like pretty much everything like okay yeah she's like she's cheating mm -hmm, um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she's never admitted it it's four months later and he's still with her. And he's like, hey, should I divorce? No one in my family's ever been divorced. He's like trying to figure out 
what should I do? Ooh, yeah. If you got all that evidence. Yeah, four months of texting this number Ooh. that she was like calling and texting all throughout that night. Ooh. Daily, daily texts for four months. Yeah. Of a number he doesn't recognize. That's a little suspicious. And uh, uh, nude pictures and other things. Ooh. But he hasn't, he literally has everything except like Ooh. that exactly being, yeah, like like the, the smoke and gun. Yeah. But it's like everything is pointing towards she's cheating on this Has guy. Has he brought it up to her? Oh, yeah. He's like, I think you're cheating on me. I have all these things. And she's yeah. like, no, like she started, um, uh, like downloading her like Snapchat and like all this stuff and be like, hey, here's Ew, all my stuff. Like, yeah. look, like just like basically putting everything out there. But now, I mean, like if she was if she was caught and and he yeah. texted her, so she was able to like delete. She has deleted text. Oh uh, yeah, something's oh. up. Something's suspicious. Yes, but we're getting into an update. Last suspicious. we looked, OP was getting a lawyer. Um, shout out to oh Zahir. Uh. Did I, did I pronounce it right? Like the country. I like the country. The country but now. Yeah, we don't. We. I don't even. I'm so uneducated. I don't even know the country. So Riley, if you could pull that up, and we will get the freaking. Just yeah, Google the the country. Maybe it has like a little speech to text. Or if you could. Democratic Republic of. Oh wait, no. What? What are you talking about? The hair. Zare. Here we go. There. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Actually, we got Republic it. Oh, uh, here's a YouTube video. Here we go. Let's freaking get it. We gotta put some respect on his name. Wait, oh. <laughs> Zaria. Is that Arabic? Zaria. 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 Give us some coaching. I want to make Zahia. sure we pronounce it right. We need to put some respect. Z Zahia. Right. There. But there's a little, Zahia. there's a little I with the dots. Zahir. Zahir. Yeah. Zahir. 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 Is it Z like in like basic Zahia. English? Is it Zahir? <laughs> with, and then yeah. Got you. Form a name of combo. Zahir. Zahir. Like, Zahir like as in Zahir. Korra? Legend of Korra. Zahir? Mm. Ooh. Let us know. Confirm with us. We got to put respect on the name, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for letting us know. Um, an elite technician with the five bucks. Glad uh, y'all are still up. I got a stomach ache. Let's keep the stream going. <laughs> but you're being we're really gonna... brave and you're we're proud so of you. Brave. We are proud of you. Well, let's elitely technician the story. Okay. <laughs> on to the big update. I sit here typing this out on my morning break while listening to Tuesday's Gone by Leonard Skinner. What a fucking mood. <laughs> what a mood. My God. After a long day of considering my options on Friday, I sat my wife down Friday evening when she got off work and I had all the kids out to bed. As soon as I brought up my trust in her is completely gone, she immediately became argumentative and essentially stated, I thought we left this in the past. You never trusted me, did you? Mm. I responded with, even if you didn't do anything physical or meet up with him outside of work, you'll never let me see those text messages. You'll never pull the Snapchat data. She responded with, uh, you're right. Marriage is based off of trust. And if you don't trust me, then maybe we ought to call it quits. I mean, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not you're uh, a stinky you're woman. Wrong. But yes. <laughs> um, LaFerry, uh, two New Zealand dollars. You guys are still going. How are you holding up? Pretty good. Yeah, how you doing? Um, gonna get some sleep soon, which is yeah, good. Yeah, I'm waiting until Sam gets back here. Then and then she's gonna uh, Riley. No. Talk uh, to caffeine. Me. I'm doing great, bro. Yeah. Riley absolutely chugged a Red Bull. I'm on three right now. I could I could probably do the fourth one. I'd Dude, be okay. That's bananas. <laughs> They're only eighty. I'm ba -da -da -da. used to like having like four hundred. Yeah, two there. is like a cup of coffee, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you got like, a cup and half of coffee. Okay, yeah. that's not like the craziest thing in the world. Uh, I always thought it was like a billion. No, no. I was just assumed that. Um, so the irony is that I worked 18 to 19 hour days for the past few years, barely be being able to do anything I wanted to do in life because I was supporting our children, getting them to bed, cleaning the house all the time, doing all the cooking, barely Whoa. even getting enough sleep, uh, probably took years off of my life just for the stress. That is icon behavior. absolutely insane. Yeah, absolutely insane. She's on uh, New Year's Eve 
uh, oh, she's on New Year's Eve. Oh, on New Year's Eve, she said, fuck the kids, fuck you, and essentially went out to party with her friends, all while ignoring calls from me and our daughter, asking um, where she'll be, uh, also responding to her bare minimum emotional affair partner. Not getting into all the details as to not repeat myself uh, between this and the update. Long story short, in my state, we have to be separated for a year before divorce can be finalized. Wow. That's kind of nuts. Although OP said earlier, if there's cheating, then uh, the uh, person who didn't cheat can automatically. Okay. Um, when I agreed with her that we should start separating and that I had already been in contact with a lawyer, she freaked the F out on me. She begged me not to go through with it, but alas. Can you make up your mind? Pick it. Pick like, aside. Like, oh, wow, it's not working. Maybe we should divorce. Yeah. Oh, no, don't talk to a lawyer. What are we talking about? You're flip-flopping all over the place. You are not my feet in Florida, so stop <laughs> flip-flopping, all right? <laughs> flip-flopping No chocolates. Than a John in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sophia. He's with the back up there. <laughs> Next Friday, I will be Shoot. dropping her off at her parents' house a few hours away. The kids will be staying with me for now with the help of one of my brothers. I told her there was only one way I would pull this off for now. That was pull the data, pull the texts, and prove your case. Um, she looked down at the ground one more time and told me that's a violation of her privacy. <laughs> I mean, mm. I guess if you're going through a legal divorce proceeding, it's like, hey, show the evidence, then they could probably legally get the evidence. Yeah, legally, you might not have that right yeah. to privacy. Um, we haven't spoken since. For now, for my kids, I got to keep on going. Got to keep going. And we have some... Uh, we're almost at the end here. Um, oh, geez. But I lost not my place. of the stream. But not of the stream. Just of the story. <laughs> Just of the story, yes. Thank you for that clarification, Sophia. That is, that is quite important <laughs> for the people in the shot. Um, beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Where was I? Long story beep, short. Oh, I got you. Beep, need, beep, need a head. Dude, I... Totally. Got completely lost. Thank you. Update. Trickle truth. First, it was a guy in a different state. Wow. Okay. Okay. I think we're getting some, some big updates here. Second, it was a coworker. Third, it was someone underneath her that she supervises. Literally? That she supervises. How else would she be doing it? Fourth. Five dollars. <laughs> Boom. Fourth, and just now, randomly got a text from her stating that uh, she may have told him he loves him but instantly regretted it, and that's it. Right. right. Dr. Evil voice. Also, let me reiterate, the process of separation starts this incoming Friday. In my state, you cannot divorce immediately. It takes a full year. I say this because of all the people stating, just divorce and be done with it. And those stating, stop giving her second. Yeah. Yeah, just divorce. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the story right there. $5. Hey, I just got five dollars from Riley. Yeah, Riley sent me five bucks with Thanks. a old man emoji. <laughs> that was you. literally That's the end of the story. <laughs> That's it. So wait, so he was like, Yeah, I don't know. I can't find all any of this information. I don't know if I should divorce. And then the next update was she cheated with this guy. Yep. She cheated with this guy. I think she probably because in the whole like 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 ninety percent of the story, she was not admitting to it. Yeah. And then he had that thing where he was like, "Oh, she said that she told she him she loved him, but then instantly regretted it." So now it seems like she finally admitted and maybe yeah. told him what it was. Wow. Wow! 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 Well. Wow! Wow! wow. It seems like Opie was in the midst of of getting the divorce. So that is good. Yeah, I'm glad. Get out of here with the divorce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave. All of that good stuff. All of that good stuff. But you know what else is good stuff? What? Zaheer, $250. Hey. Yes, like Korra. He's the best Korra villain. Thanks. I agree. He's a great Korra villain. Thank you, Zaheer. This is fire. Yeah. Um, and LaFerry? Did we read LaFerry? Yeah. LaFerry. We're holding up pretty good. LaFerry. $2 LaFerry. New Zealand. How are you guys doing? How are you holding up? How are you holding up? How are you doing? LaFerry. <laughs> we just did this, John. She's broken. Yes. LaFerry. You're right. That's that's how I'm broken. Yep. It's getting to him. Uh, name we get that there. Pokemon. <laughs> B 
Pikachu. Pika Pika. We're fairy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that is it's a Pokemon now. We've, Have you we've seen decreed that meme? it. <laughs> the one a I meme did. is where the I said <laughs> which meme denoting that I understand it um, Meow Morales $5 donation thank you I live in a city projects and just heard really loud gunshots oh my goodness oh. using oh. your stream to keep myself from having a panic attack oh I'm sorry Meows I hope you're hope you're doing good guys hearts in the chat for Meows yeah send some, them some whenever... love and safety and everything right now apparently whenever you hear gunshots it's a it's a warning thing because back home whenever you hear gunshots it's like ah you know they're out there hunting at night but you're around here well, yeah, we... I mean you never know you never know yeah. what the person is freaking doing. Um, oh, I'll make it my own comment. Thank you, Mega Mayon. Thank you, Mega Mayon. Yes, it. yes. Name that meme. Gotta love it. All right, what are we doing next? Um, we do doing? we have any packages left? I don't know. Oh, I think we. Let me see. Let me see. I, I still got my shirt on. Big protein shirt. Yes. Nice. Um. Yeah. We we are out of packages. We have opened all of them. Oh, wow. But. I think we hit a goal for likes. Oh, shoot. Katie that's Kate right. says, I was just telling my friend you're a nerd and you started talking about Korra and Pokemon. I'm a nerd. Sam, what is We're going nerds. on? I oh, always seek to Sam. prove my points. Sam looks strange. No sex. We can't, no we can't say any sex Damn. things at all. But, Even reading stories? But if stories? you do, you have to... Do we, do, do, we do, do we just like kind of like do every... Like uh, work words around it so that we way... Can't we can't say any sexual innuendos whatsoever. And if you do, you have to pay me five dollars. No, we just... Nope. We can't even say them. Now, now you literally can't earn any more money. Yeah. Because we literally can't even oh say the word sex at all. Well... You don't know that for a fact. You're about to leave. You're you about only to go know to sleep. that for a maybe. Guys, I'm about to go to sleep, but keep track and then DM me every time they make a sex <laughs> Oh my gosh. The problem is they will. Do, do a time marker because she'll just believe whatever you guys yeah, say. You, you, you're going to have to clip it. Yeah. We're going to have to see like true, yeah. proof. Mm -hmm. true, true proof. True proof. True proof. All right. I'm going to bed. All right. All right. OMG, this is the first time I wake up and you guys oh are still God. going. Did you go to you sleep whenever to we sleep? started? And you're waking up and you checked the stream? This is the fourth person that woke up to check the stream. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. People are going to sleep and waking That's up to crazy, check the stream. That's crazy, dude. All right. Can I take my rifle throne? Yeah, I'm going to bed. Bye. Right, bye, Sophia. Everybody put Z's in the chat for Sophia going to sleep. Z's, 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 Z's. Z's. Z's in the chat. Hey. Yo. Oh my gosh, don't break the studio. Please. Yeah. Also, guys, I'm just getting some bites in. The Your bones can heal, but the studio can't. That's Good true. night. Sleep well. Ooh, who's this strapping young man? Oh, he's so chill and nonchalant. Wait, wait, watch this. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. That's pretty good, bro. I just name Sam. I just, my, fuck! I can't even say it. I'm soaking in my seat right now. You can't say that. You can't say that, John. Can't say anything. The thing is, these are <laughs> polarized, so I can only I can only see the screen when my head's turned at an angle. Mm. Otherwise, if it's this way, I can't oh, see it. Oh, because yeah, like. Because the polarization. Why does polarization do that? Let us know. Um, I can, let us know. I can, hey. I, I can see it fine this way. Can't see it all this way. Make fine another way. Uh, uh, wheel spin goal so we can, so I can start saying jokes. All right. Uh, let's do. How about shot? How about shot? Yeah. What, what What are we at? On Seventy. Shot? We're at seventy four hundred. We're almost seventy four hundred. Seventy four hundred. What about no tatas? Can't say that. <laughs> Can't say anything. Stop that. No. I'm going to feed you caffeine. I'm, if you keep I'm that awake up. with no caffeine right now. Good for you. But this guy, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> this that guy's was, almost out. That was such a perfect, like, <laughs> cut, scene cut. <laughs> he was just freaking chilling with the glasses and the cowboy hat. Somebody yeah. please clip that. That's iconic. That is iconic. <laughs> Guys, I got spicy guy. broccoli in this. And All right. Should shit. I read a story? Yes. Let's read a story. We read, just please. S2. Because Anna says they're losing it. Yes, we are. Oh, oh yeah. Tia Ravetti.
care in the stream. No. Oh, wait. I already read that. One more Do we hour. already read all these other ones? How do you want another hour? All right, now the, the chat just restarted. They always want another hour, right? Sam on. looks like the bad guy from Roger Rabbit. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Bell Conkling, Sam, I'd make you a meal. Uh-oh. What was that Wait. supposed to mean? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm like, a, I'm like a cowboy that is worn and tired and needs a meal. My tummy's tarnished. Sam curses more when he's sloshed. I think that's true. Yeah. Um, speaking of wine, I want some. Um, <laughs> Get some. <laughs> more. Here you go, partner. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, I need some wine to help my sorry gullet. It's just been in the desert air too much. Yeah. This wine reminds me of my ex-wife. Drunk. <laughs> That's her name. And she was worn out. Uh -huh. Let's just say that much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my. Catching up. <laughs> Damn. What the? <laughs> Johnny Bahami. Johnny Meeting okay. and drinking on the stream. Mm. Mm. All right, what am I? What am I? Um, uh, S three one four oh one S three. Damn, John just down that four oh one S three. Yep. Okay. All right. I also, John, you're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to read the donations because I can't see anything with these. I freaking classes. got you, bro. Thanks. I'm on it. Feel like, free to interrupt. Vomit. I'm hopping on this Reddit horse. Yeehaw! Uh, yeehaw! So. Am I the a-hole for wearing gold, a gold dress to a wedding? And this comes from Vivid Promise 8476. And they say, I will link the dress. I put gold, quote unquote, in quotation marks, because I think it's more of a bronze slash orange, but maybe I'm splitting hairs and am the a-hole. Give me so, a second. I'll pull it up. Should I pull it up? Pull up the dress. Right, let me go. Up the dress. Let me go Eva says you're the a-hole. Tell him, Eva. Let him know. Stella Davis, don't you dare crash on us. Don't do it. Stella Eva says no context. You. Yes, the a-hole. I can't. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let me take off my glasses. Oh, Here, I can show you guys the link. Is that her? No, no, no. This is oh. off of a website. Okay. This That's is a, dress. That is the gold dress. Yeah. Okay. Gold slash another color. All right, I'm going back in. Yeah. Whimsical Worm is leaving us to five bucks. Sadly, I must go too. I work at 4 a.m. Love you guys. Love the Worm Army. Maybe you'll still be here when you wake up. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully not. Probably. Okay. So. Some context. My 30 female best friend, Dan, 30 male, got married to Lauren, 27 female, yesterday. Me and Dan have been best friends since high school, and despite always being platonic with no romantic interest on either side, his now wife, Lauren, has always disliked me. Do I see jealousy in the chat? Do I see jealousy? Do we see it, chat? Do we see it? Maybe, uh, maybe we put some ICUs in there? I see you. If you see, you see what's coming, animation. you see those worms. You know what to do. Put an ICU in the freaking chat. <laughs> yeah, Ali P says orange, not gold. Anyway, so in the three years of dating, I have not been allowed to see Dan alone because she feels that it's suspicious that I want to hang out with him. Honestly, I just miss my friend. Despite me being happily married, she's always kept me at her arm's length. I always figure this was because she's from a very conservative family. Dan has spoken to her multiple times, and after, she'll back off for a bit before reverting to complaining about him being friends with a girl again. It's not ideal, but she makes Dan happy, so I made peace with it. Anyway, that brings us to the wedding. Originally, I was going to be in the groom's party, but Lauren ended up crying, saying, A wedding is not a place to swap gender roles. Dan was fighting her on this, but I told her I'll just attend as a guest and not choose this hill to die on. She's probably just jealous. That's what Jem says. Big yeah, jelly. she's just jealous. Cassandra says insecure, jealous woman. Yeah, agreed. Correct. 
And Shanzi Max says, Lauren needs to chill. Amen. So that brings us to the wedding. Anyway, choose not to die on. The dress code was warm tone garden party. And we were encouraged to wear earthy warm colors. I picked out a bronze slash orange dress. And I thought it fit this perfectly. And the style even matched some of the examples they gave. In short, I thought I nailed it. OP erroneously thought she nailed it. It's a great dress. Great dress. It's a super, super solid dress. The wedding went great. However, at the reception, Lauren dragged me aside and said, I cannot believe you wore gold to my wedding. You're not the first prize. You just are <laughs> effing trashy. I was so shocked. In the moment, I just stared at her. She practically screamed at me to leave. Leave! And she was drawing attention, so I grabbed my husband, said goodbye to Dan, and left. Without a sound, like a fart in the wind disappeared without a trace. Dan reached out after and told me he was upset I left his wedding so soon. Lauren's mom has texted me saying, I ruined the wedding for her daughter and I'm stupid for wearing a gold dress. She's saying it's as bad as wearing white. Do you agree, chat? Is wearing yeah. gold... Talk to as me. bad as wearing white. I haven't heard literally near anything about gold at a wedding. I've never heard that about. ever. Literally never in my life. Let us let us let us know if wearing gold at a wedding is trashy. I think, I, I have never heard that. I don't think anything of that. I think they're pulling they're they're reaching into their butt cheeks and pulling some BS out. Yeah, they're That's pulling some BS out. Let let us know what you think. So put it in the chat. Yep. But I will continue reading this story. So. Lauren's mom texted wearing gold, blah, blah, as bad as wearing white. I was genuinely not aware this was a thing. I want to reach out to Dan and explain, but I don't know if I'm in the wrong here. Am I the a-hole? And there are some relevant comments and an update, but really quickly before we do that, John, let us know. What does the chat say? Dude, the chat is saying that the dress is clearly copper. Um, but Ballroom, even if it was gold, is that a bad thing? That's what I'm saying. Ballroom Blitz on is gold a thing? Not that I know of. Ballroom Blitz says... Gabby B says it's definitely jealousy. Flash ICU of something else going on. Titiana, uh, no, gold is fine. White is bad. Red is usually bad. Black is bad unless they have specifically said black was okay. So according to that, white, red, and black are the three colors, which I think from other stories we've read, lines up. White, red, and black are the ones to generally avoid unless they've been like okayed significantly. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like it's fine. Yes. But let's get in to the relevant comments. Oh, yeah, wait, what's the vote say? Uh, right now we have five. Yes, gold is okay. Gold is okay. Gold is okay. Oh, we have one person that said, nah, gold is bad. Interesting. Gold is bad? Asian persuasion. Why are you saying gold is bad? Let, Let us know. Yeah, know. Put, put, the, put the reasons below. Put the We're reasons below. Anyway, let's get in to the update. Do relevant it. comments first. Relevant comments first, then update. So, any chance you or Dan have a crush on each other? OP response. I am happily married to me and Dan would rather eat glass than have anything romantic happen between us. We are just not each other's type and see each other as siblings. I genuinely don't think Dan has ever secret like, secretly liked me either. And then, uh, uh, in a response to a deleted comment, most likely comparing Lauren and OP, that's a hard to answer. We are totally too different people i think we are both attractive in our own way i am your barbie stereotype 511 blonde hair with a six pack okay damn she's a petite brunette nice. bombshell with a beautiful tan and a full figure i'm also a good two inches taller than dan hence he's not my type i'm not his so it's comparing apples and oranges but i do get your point is she uncomfortable with just you no just not just me but any women she doesn't believe in platonic friendships with opposite sex. And then why does Lauren's mom have your number? Can't you just forward that message to Dan? My guess is the group chat is from the hen's party. Lauren didn't have bridesmaids and her mom organizes 
the heads night with a group chat text. Honestly, my husband told me that they were acting crazy. I just needed an outside opinion before I called Dan. So hubby said I should post here. And then finally, relevant comment for the updates. How were you going to be part of the groom's party if she didn't have any bridesmaids? She technically had her mom as a maid of honor figure, I guess. She stood up there with her and organized the hen's party, but they were just going with unequal numbers. And in the end, he just had his brother there with him. So basically, he just had his brother there at the bachelor party? So I'm going to I'm gonna throw up a possibly controversial red flag. on the For plane. who? For the uh for the bride okay she has no women for a bridal party is that a red flag because she has literally no women in her life that are like yes or that she can tap on or like whatever else that she's like yes i will let you be in my bridal party literally zero women and think about how she's treating op is that a red flag that is my that is my question the shot and wait yeah. where do we, where do we, where did i say that or where, where, i don't remember that happened i thought i thought she said uh she didn't have it because op is friends with the groom right she technically had her mom as the maid of honor figure i guess she stood up there with her and organized the hens party but they were just going to go with unequal numbers and in the end he just had his brother there with him I feel like it might have been before that. Maybe maybe I misheard, but it sounded like she didn't oh, have anyone in a bridal party. My yeah. guess in the group from the hen's party, Lauren didn't have bridesmaid. Yes, didn't have bridesmaids. Didn't yes. have any bridesmaids. And didn't her mom organized the hen's night with a group chat. Honestly, my husband told me they were acting crazy. Oh, doesn't have any bridesmaids. So if she literally has no, no women whatsoever. That's I mean, a good point. Maybe she chose to have no bridesmaids, but like kind of it's odd. It's oh. odd. Yeah. Again, maybe it's... someone someone commented like, "Oh, is there a cultural difference with like the dress color?" Maybe, but I don't. I don't think this. Is, we have no indicators right now. Yeah, that we have no indicators. Culturally different than like a typical like American Western wedding or whatever. Yeah. Um. You I think I, I I think I agree with that red flag. Could be. I think I agree with that. Let red us know flag. in the shot. What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, so. everybody's saying yes according to the poll. So Reddit voted OP, not the a hole, but we do have an update. Wow, guys, I genuinely. Didn't know what to expect posting to strangers on this, but I'm so thankful to my husband for suggesting this. I needed a non-biased view on this wearing gold to a wedding issue, and now it's clear that that was never the issue. I mean, we kind of, we knew that already, but I feel like now we know it even more. In Asian Persuasion, thanks for the five bucks. Hot take, I think gold might stand out too much depending on the dress. I do not think OP is the a-hole, though. I, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. And Serenity with uh, dollar eleven. Thank you for that tip. We is that even? It. Does that make it even? Uh, is that even, gang? It's not even, gang. I, but it is it's dollar technically 11. even right now. Yeah. Is it even? It could be even, gang. Oh, no, no. Even, gang is without any dollars. Is that even, It's gang? not even, gang. That's not even, gang always goes for zero, zero in the sense. Yeah. I, yeah. Even right. gang is zero, zero. Yep. Yeah. Don't anyway, so um, many of you asked if the dress I wore stood out. And honestly, I know I'm biased saying this, but I genuinely don't think so. Another girl was wearing the exact same dress, but in a dark red, which we had a laugh about. Slip dresses are pretty common. Uh, are pretty uh, Slip dresses are pretty co- Where is it? Fuck. Slip dresses are pretty common wedding guest dress is where I am. And it was the type of dress that was recommended by the bride. I think many of you were right in saying that it was never about the dress, but how I looked wearing it. Cause I guess OP looked freaking banging. Yeah. OP was like, I'm just like a blonde bombshell with a six pack and look at five eleven, freaking like supermodel. Yeah. 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 There, <laughs> OP was like, yeah. I looked, I look great. I look phenomenal. I do want to start this update by saying my husband who suggested I post here and has been having a ball reading your comments since posting and even posting a photo of us this morning with a caption along the lines of my gold prize of a wife. I am winning in life. Thanks to you. Can we pull up that photo? Um, I don't think she linked it. Oh, dang. Turns out Dan found out pretty quickly what happened and it called me last night. Apparently. Lauren's mom had told him it was 
I was really drunk and told Lauren her dress wasn't it. So, oh my God. So I was requested to leave. The wedding? Because they lied and said that OP said, oh yeah, your dress isn't it, Lauren. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. Wow. And Mick Chicken with the 728 sponsoring even gang. Yeah. Let's fucking go. It's even. Yeah. OP's Mick like, chicken. oh, sorry. I'm just some sexy ass damn near six foot muscle mommy. No big deal. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Mega my worm. Also, Mega My Own changed to Mega My Worm. Love it. And I love that. Always the best comments from Mega, Mega My Worm now. Mega always My the- Worm. Yeah. Mega My Own has, a, has some. Also, I feel like there was like a couple streams ago. Mega My Own, now Mega My Worm, yep. uh, was like dropping fucking bombshells. Heaters. Like heaters of Absolute advice. Absolute heaters. Like fucking mm. some of the best advice that we had gotten from the chat. Shout out to Mega My Worm. Shout out Big to Mega shout My out. Worm. Yeah. Long time fam. Um, Gabby B says hot take she was a boyfriend stealer hence why she had no friends to the be bridesmaids and is probably afraid someone will do it to her that's why I was wondering I'm like if you literally have nobody that's down to be in your bridal party are you just like stabbing every back you see yeah facts dude maybe I mean it's like it's like the whole idea of like you kind of uh, get what you put out there like where it's like like uh, how you get them is how you lose them. Yes, kind of yes, yes. Every yeah. time we read a cheating story, I see people in the chat be like, "I get how you, them, yeah, they lose them, yeah." Facts. So, uh, Dan had his suspicions that it was bullshit, but it wasn't until his mom called him that it confirmed that. Turns out. She was nearby when Lauren pulled me aside and ironically was actually wearing a yellow gold dress and tore him a new one about letting Lauren treat me like that. Dan didn't have a solution when he called. I could tell he was emotionally exhausted and pretty defeated. He said he wished I had taken it out on the open bar rather than leaving. That's funny. But he understood why I left. He thanked me for taking the high road and that it hasn't gone unnoticed. He apologized for what happened. Apparently, this is an ongoing fight between him and Lauren. For all of those who said Lauren just hates me, it turns out it's 100% true. Apparently, she's been trying to convince Dan to cut me off because that's what a good husband does. He said he thought she had gotten over it now that they're married. Uh, no. I told him he needs to focus on his happiness and that I will always be here to support him and that I will take a step back if that's what he needs. They were supposed to leave for their honeymoon yesterday, but when Dan called, they were still at home. So who knows? Hmm. I blocked Lauren and her mom and forwarded the messages to Dan as recommended. Thanks again for your judgment. We already showed the dress pic, but thanks to all the users who commented and DM'd for finding this. I want to see a picture of OP and her husband. The one that they... Uh, see what I can do. Yeah, see what you can do, Producer Riley. And chat. Yo, chat, if you ever like want to get on your investigative skills, which oh, yeah. uh, we know that you do have some investigative yeah, skills, chat, feel free to use Yeah, chat, can you find the them. picture that the husband posted? Let us know. Drop it in the, in the shot, and we'll look Drop at it. Drop it in the chat. Everybody. Drop it in the chat. Oh, what do we think here? Uh, I mean, OP is not the a-hole for sure. I agree. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not at all. Uh, Lauren, totally the a-hole. Yes. Uh, I feel like, I feel like it's just like insecurity and probably insecurity made worse by the fact that OP is a total bombshell. 5'11 with a six pack. So. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate, dude. It sucks though. Cause it's like, I feel like OP has been nothing but kind. And also it's just like a really good, he's a really good friend, you know? It's true. But you know, when you're like blonde and like really, really beautiful, people are just going to hate on you. They're just going to hate when you have have like long hair, maybe some cute glasses. Dude, like you're around 5'11", 6 foot. Yeah. Like people just come out of the woodwork just to throw dirt on your name. Throw dirt on your name. So unacceptable, but they just move on, you know? Yeah. They keep it pushing. Yeah, dude. It's a a hard life for John. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Mega My Worm says, do not solicit internet help to track someone down. (laughs) You'll want a picture of her and the internet will get you her address, social, phone number, and birthday. That's true. We do not want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no good. We just, we, we, we just, all we want 
all we want is a picture that the OP's uh, husband said he posted. True. Send it to us. Eva <laughs> says, Sam, are you crossed? I. That's a good question. And it's a good question that will be answered after this next story. Where are we at, Riley? Talk uh, to me. 401S4. There we go. I will try my best not to touch, the, touch and adjust the mic, Riley. I've been... Dude, dude what are you apologizing for? I need to figure out... Shout out to it. Saturn Motionless for the five bucks. Been a fan since I saw you guys on the TikTok for you page. That is ancient history. Yeah. Let's, Dude, no one finds us through TikTok anymore. That's true. It's all YouTube. I did. You know what? Um, super quick story. I had my uh, hip-hop dance instructor who I've been going to for a while said that she saw the new hip-hop show that we do OK Raps. No way. Oh, that, shit. Was, that was super dope. Oh, my Bro, gosh. Dude. And she was like, she made a point to like, like, she was like, I need to talk to you. I was like, you need to talk to me. I was like, I was like, damn, my move's getting rusty. What's going on? <laughs> and then she's like, I saw, I saw the clips and like, I didn't know like how much you cared and how much passion and knowledge you had around hip hop. So I just wanted to say like, that's super awesome. And that's it. So, da, so. Dude, that's good. Fuck yeah, yeah dude. You remember her, right, Riley? I do. That one? Yeah. She was saucy. Dude, she's great. She's amazing. She's fucking awesome. That's dope. Shout um, out to her. Speaking of mommies um i had a, i had an okay story time about mommies oh you did yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so, true that's true wait let me re let re finish reading saturn motionless really quick i always listen to you guys on the bus ride to work big fan of sam oh <laughs> that's that's shout out to you saturn big we, shout out we are big shout fans of sam saturn. he's a good one um okay so i was watching scooby-doo 2 i think sophia? like with sophia the other night and bro you guys are f you're feeding the discord every chance you get I'm sorry that we live together and hang out. I can't. Yeah, I guess we are. You, you know. Anywho, um, it's not helping too that your dad's doing the pushing it on us too. Uh, what is funny? Don't blame crazy. your dad's son. Like, true, true. <laughs> son. Yeah. He's my dad now, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm your papa. Anyways, I was watching Scooby Doo too, and there's this scene where Velma's like dressing up in this leather outfit to impress a guy. Wait, is Scooby-Doo 2 the one that's super raunchy? No, 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 no. Wait, no. Which, which one am I the, thinking about? The, that's the first one. Is it animated or it's real? It's oh. the real one. Okay. I heard that is either in Scooby-Doo 1 or Scooby-Doo 2, they had to digitally reduce the breasts to make yeah, it PG-13. It yeah, <sighs> it was rated R the first time to do it, and James Gunn was like, we can't do that. Then it was PG-13, and then he had to, like, get rid of a lot of other stuff. Nuts. Yeah, there was like a, a, a lesbian scene with Velma in the original edition. Yeah. Release the original. Goated cut. movie. It's already goaded as it is, but anyways. I haven't seen it. Right? Okay. I haven't seen it, I anyways, Velma's at the top of the stairs, like gonna like impress this guy. And you know what she says? She has the most like, she was way ahead of her time. She's up there and she looks down with it on and she says, who's your mommy and i'm like oh my gosh if she said that in today's world and time dude every guy would just fall at her feet bro that's what they did dude someone in the chat said velma was my sexual awakening mm. damn straight dude dude talk, talk about i it. did not talk download the wrong scooby-doo movie <laughs> Like Scoob, <laughs> what you doing down there, Scoob? He <laughs> <laughs> Scooby wants a snack. Scooby oh, wants a also, okay, who would be Shaggy, Fred, and Scooby Doo out out of the three of us? Because we all have different answers. Oh, wait, wait, okay, wait, yeah. Take the take the four of us, yeah. and assign a Scooby Doo character to each of us, and let us know why. Put it in the chat because we want to dress up, yeah, and we want to know what each of us would be, and we're That's not right. we're not sure. We're not sure. Yeah, because I, I feel pretty sure, but I I yeah. feel like my decision's pretty pretty fair too. But I don't know. J John is Fred. Interesting. Sophia went to bed. That's not a care. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's that says Sam is Shaggy for sure. John is Shaggy. Yeah, John is shaggy. I think Kimberly fine. Sam is Scooby Doo. John is Fred. Wow. I wouldn't say I'm Fred. I think. Should I say it? 
Should we say our opinions? Wait, wait, no. Let, let, yeah, yeah, right. let's, yeah, you're right, you're right. Let's not influence. John is Fred, people. Sam is Scooby-Doo, Riley is Scoob, Sam Shaggy, John Fred, Riley. How about Sophia? What? Yeah, what, who is Sophia? Yeah, let's yeah, talk, let's Sophia. talk about that. That's actually a very important Sam, thing. Sam, Shaggy, to... John, Fred, Riley, Scooby. Interesting. Interesting. We're getting a lot of John is Fred. So, I, could, I could totally see John is Fred, too. John is Shaggy. I, could, I agree yeah. with that one. I feel, I'm getting yeah. shaggy vibes at him. Riley, Scooby, John, Riley, is Scooby, Sam is Fred. Sophia Riley's is Velma. Velma. I love that. Riley's Velma. So <laughs> I, good. Fuck. Riley got that dog. I mean, Riley got that <laughs> dog in him. <laughs> <laughs> also, Mega My Worm. <laughs> what? It's pretty is, good. Is that you? Is that what you agree with? I. I think I might align with that. Okay, Mega My Own. I could. I yeah. I agree with that one. So John is Shaggy. Sam is Fred. Riley got that dog in him, yep. and Sophia is Velma. Yeah. Who's Daphne? We don't Sophia have is people. Daphne with the style. We don't have enough Daphne. We don't have enough I think, Daphne. Yeah. We don't, have enough, we don't have a Daphne. Should we, should we tell them the controversy? It's Christian da the... Christian's Daphne. Christian's, Christian's Daphne. Daphne. He is, dude. Oh, That's wow. Funny. I Riley's feel like Christian, Christian, Christian is sexy enough to be Daphne. True. If he was uh, a girl, I would pursue. I would daph that knee. Yeah, no. that, that, <laughs> Riley is scrappy. Sophia is her own character, Worm Queen. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Sophia Sophia is shaggy. Mm. Now that is an interesting take, wow. Froggy 79. Riley Fred. <laughs> that is an interesting take. I don't take. get Fred vibes in this group. Good night, Sam. Good night, Adeline. Also, Gutierrez. good night. Yeah. You rock. Good night, Thanks, Adeline, Adeline Gutierrez. And Philly Girl, thanks for the 420 tip. I love you all. Would you guys <laughs> ever have a live show with an audience tour with a meet and greet? We are yeah. planning on doing a live show in two weeks in Santa Monica slash Venice. Yes. And it yes. will be free. So you can just show up to where we are. No one is a dog. The dog is so fun though. Okay. What, did, what was your thought, John, who, of who's who? Okay. So I thought I would be Shaggy. Riley would be Scooby. Um, and then I thought Sam would be Fred. And then Sophia could be Velma or Daphne. However, Sophia was a Fred in, in a group costume. She killed it. She killed it. Listen, listen. Did she absolutely kill it? And did she? No, killed it. She so killed it. However, we're talking in this group. And I, and I am. I, look, like Sophia absolutely can be a Fred. But I, I do get strong Fred vibes from Sam as well. Yeah. And we could do like, like Sophia, uh, Sophia works as, as Fred or Daphne or Velma, but I don't know if, I mean, as much as it was fun, I would love to put Sam in a wig <laughs> and just absolute, just bust. Dude, he'd be such a fucking hot Daphne if yeah. he was. Aww. We could do a Thanks, Daphne. Guys. I mean, we could totally do that. We could totally yeah. do that. But Aww. yeah, that, 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 those are my thoughts. Okay. Those were my thoughts there. What do you think, Sam? Uh, I like. I think Christian's Daphne, Sophia's Velma, uh, uh, John is Shaggy, Riley Scooby, and I'm Fred. Yeah, I get that. I get that. You also give Scooby vibes. I on, but also I feel like like John could also be Fred. Too. Yeah, like as 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 easily, and I and I think. I feel like John is more consistently a Fred than I'm a Fred. Wow. Huh. I could do a Fred, but I've also been called Shaggy out of context. Lovingly. <laughs> yeah. Lovingly. Yeah. yeah. I could, I see could that. also, yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, put John on the dance floor and he's a Shaggy. We're shagging, baby. Bags. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool, Scooby. I, I do got that dog in me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bow wow, am I right, chat? Bow, bow wow. wow, am I right, chat? Wow, am I freaking right? With that much like protein, that duty, dude. Exactly. Hell yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. so wait, 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 baby Godzilla just tipped. What, what do we got? Baby, baby G say. Uh, Sam is the masked monster, <laughs> and he would have gotten away with it if we're freaking meddling, Kenzie. Oh, baby that's G. So funny. That's a great comment. Baby G. That's a great comment. Baby um, G. Well, thanks for helping us settle that, guys. Uh, we could do like a full poll later or something, but that yeah. was that was some interesting <laughs> kind of mixed. Kind of mixed. Yeah. Chat is Daphne constantly Chat. after Fred's attention. Oh fuck, dude. Chad was it Daphne, Daphne that was ever Fred's attention? I thought we saw it was the reverse. 
Was think, Daphne no. after Fred? It was Daph- always a weird love thing. It was, yeah, yeah it was kind of like a back and yeah. forth, yeah. I think, Daphne's, I think Daphne was after Fred a little bit. Yeah, and Fred was For all sure. about solving the mystery. Yeah, he's yeah, like, dude. babe, I'm committed to this work. Yeah, dude. I'm out here putting this work I'm in trying to. I'm trying to put my career first, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right, well, that, that was a pretty good uh, Scooby-Doo yeah. segue right there. <laughs> do we want to... What do we want to segue back into? <laughs> we got another story on the docket. Did we literally talk about which, which characters we all were for like 10 minutes. I'm going to be honest, guys. If we literally just started like reading the back of like... like uh, uh, like a Ritz crackers label, would you guys still be here? Like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like we could literally read anything. We could just get like some Pepto Bismol and just start reading the drug yeah. facts. And you guys would be like, whoa, that's crazy. Like, I didn't know that much Y'all Bismatine was in there. Ride or dies right now. <laughs> yeah. It's been fucking, it's 11 o'clock. And they've been still, going for eight hours. We going, yeah. There's still 911 of you. That is absolutely but preposterous. We've, we've never had this many people this consistently ever literally never. yeah, yeah. Literally never. it's been over 900 the whole time and over that never happens. 9, yeah. uh, well i mean we got more stories oh yeah we got yeah. more i found more do we have, yeah do we have any more we got a lot of okps do we, did you, uh we should we do another call we can do another what? call, do yeah, call. yeah i got yeah. another call and i got another call. Call. fuck around and make let's, some calls yeah make um, sure it's not so loud so people like yeah call. sorry about that it's like once they start speaking i get a good gauge of how loud they are all right bear with if it's loud and I, bobo, I, bobo. Oh. Thanks oh, for the five go. bucks hey guys my first live bobo welcome i listened to you on my headset Every time I go out to smoke a joint, I smoke a lot and have listened to you guys for years. Let's freaking go, Bobo. It's crazy that it's been years at this point. Yeah. It's been what, like two years, three years now? Our three-year universe anniversary is September 19th, September. 2024. Three years, dude. Three We're years almost graduating. Now. We got to do something special It's for our it. junior year. Especially really? with the... We got to do a stream on that day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll we got to do a stream for the people. Oh, yeah. 100%. Stream for the people. Okay. So, um, this is... My half brother. I read the same account. Wait, what'd you say? Fred over here dictating the volume. It's really fine. <laughs> oh, hey, can't really find. Um. Okay, my half brother was raised as my second cousin. Paul, if you want the full story, half yep. brother cousin, brother cousin, brother, brother cousin. cousin. We got uh, a brother cousin in the building. Uh, brother cousins over here. Yeah, let's let's fucking rip it, dude. Let's fucking rip it, bro. Let's do. Yo, make my work. bro. Let's rip it. Started putting Pepto Bismol in the comments. <laughs> what other sip? Diarrhea upset stomach. <laughs> what other sip? <laughs> What's the next sip? <laughs> Comment below. Vote in the poll, guys. <laughs> guys, this episode brought to you by Pepto Bismol, <laughs> dude. That's how great you guys are. We could literally do that. I feel like you'd be like, hell Hi, yeah. You- Asian Persuasion just gifted one membership. Oh, let's go, Asian Persuasion. Let's Appreciate go. that. Guys, I'm going to have to pee pee soon, but not go, yet. Go, Tinkle Winkle. Go. Yeah. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. They didn't, they didn't answer. <laughs> not yet, not yet. I'm going to do it after we get one call in. Okay. <laughs> Sam um, knows. We can talk about my bladder do it maybe eventually. During the call in. <laughs> yeah. He's going to let it loose. Um, let's get 1,500 people on this stream. Frederick. I don't know how we could eat. Uh, we've never got, we've got it. What the most we've ever gotten is 1100. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Like maybe 11, 12, something like that. I think we've never gotten, I would think over 1200. I see you, Deidre. Um, what does Deidre I don't know say? If, okay. Drink sorry. Water. I don't know if anyone's up right now. Yeah, dude. Uh, we have just, a lot of text, but like keep calling them until they answer. Uh, fucking okay. call keep calling them. New, new people. Call new people. them. Call them. Call them. I'm gonna find it right. Someone and then if we if we so. uh, don't get any guys, maybe if you could um if we don't get any now, we'll ask you guys. Hey, text Riley for anyone of you literally in the chat right now that is like around and available to chat, and then we yeah. could we could come back to you. Yeah. Um, let's 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 try another another. I hit up bit. hit up another hit up another one. Um, I won't. Sorry, sorry. Just reading. Oh, here's a uh, one from Reeves. Riba. Uh, Riba. Crazy roommate gives me anxiety, but when she moves out, it gets worse. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Why does it get worse? Riba. Oh my God. Bernie Heart Dragon. Wait, Frederick should be Fred. That's pretty classic. <laughs> classic Frederick. Riba. 
Reba. Classic Frederick, yeah. Classic King Frederick. We're calling Reba. Oh, my goodness. It is us. We're here. It's John, Sam, and Riley. Reba. Who are we talking to? Is that you? Hello, hello. It's me. How are you guys doing? We are good Existing. with a bunch of O's. <laughs> yeah, we're so good. So, Reba, oh you were God. talking about your roommate who's giving you anxiety, oh. but when she moves out, it will be worse. What is she oh, freaking yes. doing? So, I commented a while ago that this was my crazy college roommate story. Okay. It's mm. very long, um, but <laughs> since you called me. Yeah. Um, basically, Give us I was the in breakdown. college. Yeah, I was in college. I had a group of friends, and there was a new friend um, that wanted to like move out and live with us for the next uh, semester. We were all going to be seniors, and um, basically, she just started. I don't know, losing her mind. <laughs> How did she lose her so, mind? What did she do? Where did it go? So, um, so I'm vegan, and when we all moved yeah. in, I was the only one, and I, I don't care. Um, but she got upset with me because she thought that I would be upset if she made eggs and bacon in the morning. So she stopped making food for herself in the morning and then started blaming me for it and like, getting so she upset. She was like but... starving and hangry, and she's like, it's those damn vegans not letting me eat my and, eggs. And you're like, go <laughs> ahead, I don't care. Yeah, dude. I was like, I literally don't care because yeah. honestly, eggs and bacon smells great. I just don't eat it. So it's yeah. fine. Um, she got upset. Let's see. There was this big thing about an insurance claim for a storage unit we had during COVID time and it got broken into and everything was stolen. Oh my God. And I didn't care. I was just filing the claim, like whatever. I lost maybe 200 bucks worth of stuff. Okay. But she was losing her mind. She was like, I lost thousands of dollars of things. And we finally did like a full itemized list after she bugged me for like a month about it. And the claim we submitted was like maybe 1800 bucks total. And we got 1500 back and she I mean, got so mad. Oh, you got 1500 back. <laughs> 15 or 1600. We got 1500 back. 1500. But she okay. was putting in stuff like she Please. was on speaker with her mom while we were doing the list. And her mom was like, don't forget the $4 Walmart towels. And I was like, oh, my God. They Damn. aren't going to care about the Walmart towels. But hey, um, like, you know what? Props to y'all for getting all that money back. But, I mean, I, I it, it seems yeah. like like you're the chill roommate and she's the not chill roommate. I, I tried. I will say, like, I wasn't perfect. There's a lot of stuff I did in the story because I had undiagnosed ADHD at the time. And mm. the anxiety was just making it worse. So I had memory issues and some other stuff going on. And I'm in college and working at the same time. So I just had no brain space for this. But um, So anyway, how did it get more like stressful living with this? Yeah. How did yeah. it get worse? Tell us. She tell started us more. doing this thing. I will tell you so much more, Sam. I'm <laughs> drinking a screwdriver with your wine. So oh, we're hey going oh, crazy. Yeah. Wait, All right. <laughs> um, basically, she started doing this thing. Um, I just call it Amish shunning. Where, like, mm -hmm. if somebody, like, leaves the Amish community, they, like, don't talk to that person ever. They won't even acknowledge they right. exist. Mm -hmm. So she started doing that to me, where she just would straight up, like, walk past me. I would say hi, and she'd just walk past me, pretend I wasn't even there. It was obnoxious. It was driving me crazy. I had and a roommate that, we find out, do that to me. It sucked, dude. Not and fun. I hate when they do that, because it's just so dramatic. And I, I find know. out later just, like, that, like, just say hi, he had... <laughs> I found out later she had pretended to be interested in the stuff I was interested in order to be my friend. So like she would turn up at five in the morning to go to the gym with me before classes and stuff, but she was faking the whole time. So was, at some point there was a fight and she was like, I don't even care about any of that stuff. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. And I was like, whatever, but kept wait, going. Wait, eventually, you would get up at four forty-five in the morning to go to the gym. Not anymore. I'm a night person now, but at the time I was like, get to the gym by five at the latest, get food at six, Damn. and then start classes and stuff. Not anymore. I can't do that. That's I stay up. Shit. The Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that's so early. It was Dedication well. to your friend being fake, though, for like, like oh, I mean, I mean, like, it's I a fake ass thing to do, but it. to get up at four forty-five, <laughs> that's her, like that's some You're determination. You're fake and dedicated. You're at fake that and point. dedicated. Yeah, and honestly, that there's a little bit. <laughs> I'm impressed Wild. about by that. Yeah, there was some more fighting that happened. Eventually, we had to talk to like 
the um, resident directors and stuff, and they Mm -hmm. helped her decide that she needed to move out. Um, There's a bunch of stuff that happened, but basically when she moved out, I thought it was really funny because I was watching her clean, and we, the two of us shared one of the bathrooms, and then the other bathroom, the other two roommates shared, and I saw her cleaning, like, exactly half of the counter or only the section in the shower where her stuff was, and she wasn't, like, just cleaning everything to be chill. Um, yeah, and I thought it was funny. So I just left, and I came back, and she was gone. And I took a shower the next morning and discovered there was bleach all over my towel, like soaking wet bleach. Oh. Um, I didn't know, and I was, like, you know, fresh out of the shower, so I had no. It was awkward. Um, <sighs> and I saw dried bleach spray all over my side of the bathroom, and I was like, great. So she's being stupid, but whatever. I'll just deal with it after my stuff for the day. It wasn't intentional, home. you don't think, right? Oh, I, hang on. It gets worse. Okay. Oh, no. um, I came home and my little coffee maker was gone. Um, she had destroyed the previous one, but denied it. And I got a new one during Christmas break, but that one was gone. My conspiracy theory is she threw it out and took the trash out when she left. And so I didn't notice till the next day. Um, And I went to go get a glass of water instead. And there was bleach inside the fridge and the freezer, like sprayed dry on bleach. Wait, like in the water dispenser? So like it would dispense bleach water or bleach? Um, So it was just a regular fridge. It didn't have a water dispenser because this is like college stuff. Right. But, um, But there was an ice bin with no lid and it was in the ice. Um, I made a note of how stupid I was, but I purposefully like put some ice cubes in a glass of water to check by taste and it sucked because I had a stomach ache and it was awful. Don't do that. Yeah. But, um, but it was all in the ice. Like she had sprayed like a bleach Clorox spray or something all over everything in the fridge and freezer and it got in the ice and some other stuff that was open. So we had to throw all that out, clean out the fridge. Um, and then jail. Fuck. That's crazy. The, the finale, which is the one that drives everybody crazy when I tell them this story. Yeah. Um, one of my friends like was like, hey, did you like, when did you last use your collectible Starbucks cups? Because I collect those things. And um, I was like, why? That's very strange. I haven't used them in a while because I've been working so much. And they were like, well, I drank some water out of it. And they're like, it tasted weird. And I have a stomach ache. I'm going to go home. And I was like, it's not bleach, is it? And they were like, no, it wasn't bleach. I was like, that's strange. And later on, they went to get another cup of water. And they're like, no, it smells again. I'm not drinking this. Like, help. And I went and I smelled it. And as, like, a background, I have cats. And so I know what certain things smell like in relation to what cats can do to your apartment, if you're not careful. Um, And there was urine in my Starbucks cups. And um, I did some more investigating through the kitchen and she, my theory, I don't, she obviously denied everything. So we have no idea, but my theory is she took some of my Starbucks cups, peed in them and then poured them over the silverware because there was this like weird yellow brown residue all over the silverware. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, We made a police report and all that stuff, but she, (laughs) Ew. He denied everything, so it never went anywhere. Um, but specifically, I was the only person that like cooked in the dorm apartment and the only person that ate out of the fridge because most everybody else used takeout. So it was super obviously her trying to get at me specifically. I just don't think she was planning for my poor mutual friend to pour herself a glass of water in one of my cups. Oh. So what the my fuck? mutual friend drank tea water <laughs> and so that was fun um the rest is just some drama with the insurance but we eventually got the 1500 back and i did a bunch of math and got it all distributed properly and it took forever okay but yeah so, so that's that's my crazy roommate was how it uh, that sucks and all of the like <laughs> like the bleach and the pee and everything was that like after you moved out that she went back or that was while she was living there so um, she was stressing me out so much with her slamming her door and glaring at me and she screamed at me a couple times and all that that like if she was in the apartment I would do anything to be locked in my room yeah. so I didn't have to look at her oh or be out God. of the apartment. So anytime wow. that she was out and about inside the apartment, I wasn't looking at her. 
So when she was actively moving out, that's when I saw her using the bleach. I just didn't see what she used it on. Right. Which is how I didn't know about, like, the fridge and everything. Right. And then the pee, we didn't catch up on until later. But with the college we went to, like, you had to turn in your keys when you were moving out. You couldn't, like keep copies or anything yeah and there's no way she would have like come back in because we're pretty good about that okay so she definitely did all that like the day she moved out and we just didn't notice for a couple days so yeah that was a good time that was late 2020 to early 2021 so with the middle of like covid stress and everything it was a nightmare Wow, that yeah. is a nightmare. Reba. Can't wait, wait uh, scroll up. Can't really <laughs> find said something that like if it is urine, which it sounds like it w- is was, it's fully illegal. Unwilling ingestion of bodily oh, yeah. fluids is a crime. Oh, probably a felony. Uh, honestly, so yeah. Reba, are we? It was are we gonna, thing. Can we mount <laughs> a legal case? Years yeah. Ago. Well, yeah. So um, how did it shake out? Is she fucking still peeing in cups, or what, what's she up to now? Yeah. I've had her blocked for a while. Let me, I can look her up on my professional Instagram account. She doesn't have that one blocked yet. One Uh second. Call not her. Uh-huh. Call her. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, no. I, not, yeah. I don't she want to. She sounds like her. a maniac. No, oh, yeah. You don't want to introduce uh-huh. that craziness in your life. Last I looked at her because she actually followed my cat's um, Instagram account that I made. Um, the irony. She has like somebody's initials and a ring emoji in her profile. So I think she's engaged. I don't know how. Oh, someone else's she was problem now. A little bit yeah. of a help, but um, oh, yeah, man. I can't find her right this second. But oh um, my god! Well, I mean, that's kind of good. Continue. Like basically, you've been separated. Yeah. You've been living your and life. You don't safe have to her. worry about her. She's someone else's problem now. Honestly, I yeah. feel like that is the best case scenario. This is good. Honestly, I hope she either sees the story or sees this video because I have a feeling she had a lot more mental issues and abuse from her family that she was willing to admit. Yeah. So I hope she got out of that. But at the well, same time, I don't want to talk hurt to people. Her again. So I feel like, I mean, you have to, you have yeah. to have gone through like some crazy shit to do yeah. some crazy shit. Reba out here taking the yeah. high road. We love yeah. to see it. Well, we Reba, <laughs> thank you so much for calling of in. And course. thank you for being so active in the stream today. Uh, it's been You're awesome. Welcome. I have out to with save you. my money now because I'm engaged in my own Save right, it up. So hey, save save it up, Reba. Wedding. Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. Save it up. And thanks for calling in yeah but i'll be in the chat i'm actually i'm kickstart in the in the chat so if you see that floating kickstart? around that's me i just won't okay. donate anymore so. heck yeah Perfect. all right well we'll see you in the chat reba mm-hmm. or slash kickstart and thanks again for calling in thank you i will hopefully post more stories and keep texting in so there we go we thank you, you. later you rock see ya Bye. good stuff Dude, reba good stuff Peeing cups. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Bleach. Be- oh. Ma'am, sir, Dude. what are we talking about? What are we talking I mean, about? I feel like if Get anything, that on use face. a Tide Pod like a fucking Gen Z kid, you know? At least be cool. At least be cool. You know what I mean? like, at, least yeah. it, at least it looks appetizing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Bleach doesn't look appetizing, bro. No. Bleach looks like bleach. No good. Absolutely Here we go. Here we go. A dash of Stardust says, just Google that. Unwilling ingestion of bodily fluids is a misdemeanor under assault and can lead to imprisonment up to 10 years, a fine of no more than $2,500 or both. Yikes. I would Yikes. pay 2500 or 10 years in prison. I'll take $2,500. Thank yeah, you very yeah, much. Yeah, That's my options. I think often it's, it's both, right? Is it both? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I don't know. How, I don't know. Either. I don't know. I've always wondered law. those. I don't know the law, but what I do know is bleach. Mega my own. Mega my worm says bleach kind of looks like water. So <laughs> no, <laughs> don't drink bleach. Don't do that. That is it's our bad. professional opinion. That's right. Don't drink bleach. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get more ice packs. More ice packs. We're gonna get on it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Um, I will eventually take a pee at some point, but uh, Sam, you you in the chat? What about me in the chat? You down to chat with the chat for th- two minutes while I piss? Yeah, I'm down to chat with the chat for two minutes while you piss. Ah. Hello, chat. All right, this is Q and A with Sam. The boys are gone. What do you want to know? 
What are you, what secrets do you want to know? I'll tell you any secrets. Deirdre Statham says, Wish I could stay until the end, but my old bones need to sleep. You know who else's old bones need to sleep? Jones. Don't tell my dad. It's a little secret. Just us. Can you even hear that? Oh my God. All right. Hey, Sam, how do we call in if we are international? Um, what you can do is you can go on the Discord and friend Discord, uh, friend Riley on Discord, and then it'll be good. Um, mixed emotions. Holy shit, you're still alive. Hope you get some good sleep. Sam, are you okay? I'm tired. And then Blondest Brunette, thanks for the 10 bucks. I just sent a story. Either I was with a married man for years or how I cut off my father. Both of those sound really good. What color are your eyes? My eyes are, uh, uh, what's it called? No, the, hazel. They are hazel. Um, LAMO, Sam's whole vibe. Tired or not? I am a little tired. Sleepless nights. Thanks for the five-buck tip. Made an OKOP OK place I'll send it to you guys later. Um, Thank you. you. Check your phone. Christian is freaking out. And he needs your help. I'll look at the chat. What's up, guys? I... We have been, this is the longest stream that we have ever done. We are currently at eight hours and 13 minutes. We're going for nine and lots of records broken today. I just want to thank you all. Um, yeah, you are at work. Talk dirty to us. Why? No, we're not. You dirty little sluts. Okay. What are you doing awake? Don't encourage him. <laughs> he will do it. Once it gets dark it, with John and Sam, it gets a little scary. You've been bad. Staying up so late past your bedtime. Hello, Riley. Who do you like more, John or Naughty Sam? I like girls and boys. more. Um, what kind of? Why would I answer that? Uh, Riley, I sent you messages. Are you having issues All with right, international I'm gonna go, calls? I'm going to go check in on Christian to yeah, make that. sure that he doesn't freak out. Yes. Um, if you are internationally calling me, um, I've seen your text, but I can't text you back. So join on Discord. And we will uh, figure that out. I'm going to figure out how to do it. Have you watched the Napoleon Dynamite? Yes, I love Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite is like one of my top like 10 favorite comedy films. Top three com comedy films. It is phenomenal. Riley, I text you with some stories to choose. Thank you. Bring Christian. He said he'd come on whenever we have. How many subscribers? 10 million subscribers. 10 million subscribers. Start. So guys, subscribe. <laughs> Do the work. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button for your Help boy. Help us out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Riley, look at my text. Okay. I'll go look at it. <laughs> Get a look. All right. I want Riley's numbers for stories. My number is uh, 440... Wait, what is it? Five five zero eight five zero eight four four. Wait, no. six four four zero five zero eight six five six seven. That is my, um, yeah. Riley, any new Legos? Um, I might have a new Lego date coming on a Saturday. Ooh, so. really? What what kind of Legos are we talking? Uh, whatever gets me bricked up. Whoa, whoa, Sam, I want to see that. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking about taking my girlfriend to the beach. She wants to go to the beach, so I'll probably go take her to Malibu, um, and. Maybe we can play with Legos after that. Are you going to get some uh, strawberry ice cream? <gasps> Shit, I can do that. Oh, John. Okay, one of my first bucket lists whenever I moved to LA was getting strawberry ice cream in Malibu while listening to Deja Vu by Olivia Rodrigo. And this man made that dream come true. I had to make it happen for him. Yeah. Dude, what, a, what an amazing time that was. That was literally January of 2023. Yes. That, whoa, dude. Holy cat! That was a year ago. You're in a little. That was like a year ago. That's when things got video. serious. Was, wow, dude. We was that, have your, come a was long that your first flight? That was my first flight to uh, California. Wow. Yeah. 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 There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That little Riley. Oh, I must be protein. Now he's a big boy. Now I'm a big. Now boy. he's a big protein. <laughs> now I'm, oh, big protein. Yep. Malibu yogurt. Wait, what is really good? Is that yes, that's the place that I got it from, Malibu Yogurt. That oh, place, wow. yeah, wow. I just forgot the name. Kind of crazy that you know that. Um, sweet, yeah. Sorry, I forgot the phone number. It's a lot of numbers are being shown. Right, guys, Riley is literally. We were talking with the guy Muhammad who we worked with, and he was like, "I don't know how Riley has been doing it with the lack of like the 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 equipment that we purchased," but he's like. <laughs> Riley's been going absolutely bananas, just like 
keeping up with the switches and the um the transitions like ICU and you know all of that stuff. So he's like, guys, he's just been going crazy. Oh, you that's what he said to me. Yeah, he's like, he's like, Riley's just been having to keep up with all this stuff. Like, it's so much. What the like, heck? It's absolute insanity that Riley is keeping up with all of this. Dude, I freaking love you, Muhammad. Oh my gosh. Dude. Muhammad's a man. Muhammad is my Yoda. With OBS and this whole live streaming, Muhammad is Yoda and I am Luke Skywalker. He's, he, he's really helped us out. He, he really has. Uh, no, I think he might be sleeping. Damn, like, shout out, Mel. Oh, multi-tool. Has anybody seen a multi-tool in the stream? Multi-tool. No. Mm. Oh, thanks, Sleepless Nights. Oh, you're doing... Oh, guys, stop. How'd you guys know I love words of affirmation? I might have one of my own. He needs one? Uh, I see. Um, ooh, uh, Riley, I was with a married man for years and didn't know. We have a son. Sent it a few minutes ago. Whoa. What? And then we have another one. Pixel Punk it just sent in a text uh, for the story about how my mother-in-law invited 20 people to my wedding the day of it without me knowing. Would want to hear it in the next call-in. Also, Sam is straight fading. Yes, he is. I don't I don't know where he went. Um, and then Kirby Lava Girl, let's do an OK OP Pets Day. Ooh, bring our pets in for the day. We well, can't bring yours. That would be super easy. It would be, yeah. Because we have no... Uh, actually, we have. I have a cat. He has a cat, but Sophia's allergic. He's, he's allergic. So I'm kind of allergic too, but only if I put my eye on it. Yeah, like if you get. I'm like that way with dogs. If they're like really, if they haven't like bathed in a long time, then True. I'll go crazy. But um, we'll see what picks. Do you want to do um pixel punkets? The yeah, twenty call in. twenty people. Yeah, let's do that. All Let's right. Try him. Let me go. Let me go grab it. What was the other? There was another one where someone was like a. Uh, I, you were with a married man for years? Yeah. That one? We can do that one after that. Let's check it out. All right. Let's All right, do the... Um, oh, gosh. Where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Okay. This one's the... Uh, uh, my mother-in-law invited 23 people on the day of our wedding and got <laughs> shit-faced. Here we go. Nice. I'm sorry, Limpy Witch. I'm hungry. Hello. Hello, is this Pinksel Puckin' 82? Because this is John and Riley from OKOP Show. Oh, yes, yes, it is. Hello, hello. hello. Um, so we heard that your mom or mother-in-law... Oh, geez. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, King <laughs> Frederick just did something drastic, but we're going to chat with you first real quick. Uh, what did your mother or mother-in-law do at your wedding? Please, please tell us what happened. So it's kind of like a long-ish story where she, so my parents and like my husband's parents like helped a lot-ish, I say ish because my mother-in-law didn't help at all yeah. with like planning the wedding and um, sorry, I'm like out of breath because I wasn't expecting you guys to call already, but um, <laughs> no worries. Uh, she was to ha supposed to help with like a bunch of stuff, like help pay for the photographer. She didn't end up doing that. So I had to like front like. $400 extra on top of like the $800 that we had to pay for that. Oof. She uh, completely didn't get like our flowers and told us like three weeks before the wedding that she didn't have the flowers. So we had to like rush to find them. And mind you, uh, our wedding was like in California and we we're in Alabama at the time. So it was very difficult to find a florist to give us flowers in the colors we wanted that quickly. And this entire time we we're like, hey, make sure you send us address of like everyone on like your family for the guest list so we could send them invitations. Right. And she, um, she never did. We kept like pestering her uh, as well as like asking her like, hey, did you get the flowers? Hey, did, are you gonna pay for the photographer like or help pay for the photographer? Right. And like, radio silence she's like oh i'll get to that blah 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 yeah. uh one week before the wedding we're like okay so we can't send in the invitations anymore but can you like tell us their numbers so we could text them because we couldn't get them through like facebook or instagram because right we didn't have them still nothing so 
we're like, okay, forget it. We won't have them at the wedding. And we already had like 86, 87 people come. <laughs> and it was kind of really important that we had their information because we got married on like an army base. And you got to be needed- able to contact them. Like, yeah. period. Yeah, it- yeah. Yeah, because we needed their IDs and their car numbers mm-hmm. to get on base. Right. Because it was like, it, it was like a big mess and it was a nightmare. Totally, totally. Um, so the day before the wedding, she was saying like, oh, why isn't like X here or X there? And we're like, well, you didn't send us their address or like their phone number. So mm-hmm. how are we supposed to text them? And she's like, oh, okay. So we get the venue all set up and I <laughs> go like to our hotel and everything wake up the next day, get ready for my wedding and everything. Um, When we get to the venue, um, we had to postpone a little bit because we found out that someone left the the ring at the hotel. Okay, wow. And (laughs) normally it's like a 15-minute drive, but it was rush hour, so it was like a 30-minute drive one way. Mm -hmm. So I was sitting in the car for like an hour breaking down because we drove all the way from Alabama to california set up this whole wedding i was like already tired yeah um had like an hour's sleep and we already had to postpone the wedding like an hour or two for this and um then i hear oh your mother-in-law also (laughs) snuck in alcohol which Mm. is fine if it was beer or wine but she snuck in hard liquor and we were like in the military base (laughs) yeah that sounds like super illegal it, yeah yeah okay <laughs> wow. like, all right she like she had it in a flask and everything like we we're explicitly told like hey don't bring any hard alcohol because we yeah. don't have the, the liquor license yeah and we're like okay that's fine so i'm hearing this i'm already like breaking down and like someone else comes to me like i'm still in the car too saying like hey um i'm not sat with like my partner um at our table like i know yesterday you did the seating arrangements and i know for a fact that we're sitting next to each other and i'm like wait what what do you mean you're not like you were supposed to be (laughs) sitting next to them and i get one of my bridesmaids to look at the the guest list and she has a very distinct handwriting and she's like yeah someone brie wrote like three of the tables and added like four more tables (laughs) <laughs> did you yeah, consider she, like, just like kicking her out of the wedding like right then and there like, like get out I would, you brought I would, 23 people in I like was considering but I was also like straight hyperventilating at that point because yeah. I was like I'm already like dead tired because I barely had any sleep this entire time of course because we, we just came back from like or we just drove in like two or three days ago so yeah. I haven't necessarily had any time to rest since then and like hearing this all, I'm like, what the fuck's happening? How did they even get in? And apparently, uh, because there was so many people already coming in, the 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 gate officers were just letting them in because they're like, oh, you're here for the wedding, go ahead, might as well, uh, without checking the list. So that's how they got all in. Wow. And like, and what what makes it like quote unquote even better is she like came to the car because she knew i was like sitting outside to like comfort me but she was like drunk straight sloshed right. like i'm like what the fuck i don't want to talk to you and she's like you look beautiful like everything will be fine I'm like it won't be fine you just invited like 23 people to the wedding without me knowing and i was like i mean it was a beautiful wedding it was great i loved yeah. it afterwards <laughs> but like i was not having it and they like my my friends and bridesmaids were like trying to usher her like away as quickly as possible after she said her piece. And I was just like, I fucking hate everything. Like this sucks. I don't want to go through like the wedding anymore. I just need oh. want to go back to the hotel. But it was, it was a nightmare. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, did you it, end up it, like getting yeah. married? Like the whole, the whole thing actually ended up going through despite yeah. all of the curveballs that were thrown at you. Oh yeah. No, I mean, okay. we're, we're still together. Um, beautiful so we've been we're, we've been together for 10 years married i think like well technically married for six years seven years i say technically because we forgot to sign the marriage certificate at our wedding okay so, wow so we, didn't, <laughs> so we didn't actually get officially married until he, he joined the military two years ago because i had to 
<laughs> right. Oh my gosh. And and where where's the relationship stand now? Like I I think it's very good. We've had like a lot of ups and downs, especially like the so, first year. So, so sorry, not your marriage, but with the um and I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. Was it the, the was it your mother or the mother in law? Um mother in law. The mother in law. Where does your relationship stand with the mother in law now? So it's it's kind of lowish contact. He doesn't talk a lot with his family, but mm. he kinda keeps like his mom like at arm's length right now just because she, like a lot a lot a lot more crazy stuff happened yeah. after oh. the like wedding so oh, it's more of yeah like it's it's a whole story like he has uh three younger siblings mm -hmm. and the two oldest don't even talk to him or talk to her anymore like they're in no contact right now yeah. and the only reason Sounds why the like youngest kind of talk to them yeah, yeah. The only reason why the youngest kind of talks to her is because she's uh, still in high school, so they kind of share custody, like his his dad and his mom. But even then, she's kind of stays more with her dad. So it's mm -hmm. just like everyone's kind of like stepping away yeah. from her right now, which is a little bit like a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm picks upon it. I'm glad that you had your wedding still go through. This relationship is still good. And I'm glad that you're very low contact with her. You do not need that in your life. You deserve the best and the not the worst best. like that. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Um, thank well, you. Pixel Punkin, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, look forward to maybe some more stories about this crazy mother-in-law. And thanks again. And hope you have a good restful evening, unlike us over here at OKOP HQ. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. Probably won't. I'm like an insomnia, which is why I'm still watching. So there we go. Well, Pixel, <laughs> we will see you in the chat. Thank you again for calling in. You rock. Rest up, Buttercup. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye, bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the king is back. The king is back. Oh my god. The king and others. The king. Five hundred dollar. Tip link donation from Frederick the King Locknicked. Frederick the King Locknicked. Crowns, crowns in the chat. Crowns in the chat. Crowns in the chat. That means we're going another hour. There's one more hour, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Um, that means I'm, an hour and 33 minutes and 14, 13, 12. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you guys clocked or, or clipped earlier when Sam <laughs> leaned his head back and snapped back so hard that his hat flew off of his head. That was an iconic that was moment. So funny. Um, wow. But yeah, That's King Frederick. Crazy. I mean, King absolutely. Frederick. Sydney, uh, Sydney without the kidney. Yeah, F R sleep. A hundred percent. That is a hundred percent where we're at right now. Insomniacs unite. A dash of stardust. Um, Totally, totally. That's where we're at. That's where we're at right now. That's where we're at. Uh, but also, big shout out, of course, to uh, who was the next one? Was it Cur Cur uh, Curvy Girl of Flame after King Frederick? Oh, we already did da that one. Daddy Jesse, after that, with the five yep. bucks. We appreciate you, Daddy Jesse, hour. as always. A7X Angel, thanks for the 301 tip Kiwi on Kiwi Fox donations. 3, thanks to the 211. What if Riley started mewing? He would be even sexier. That's oh, my right. God. I'm always Look. mewing. What is He's mewing? All, yeah. What? You see it? Yeah, Ooh, it's, that's kind of it. So basically, mewing is like yeah. you, you, it's like you put your tongue at the top of your mouth and then you kind of suck in right here and then you're like, it's like the Zoolander, like blue steel face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like with, when you're not mewing, you have a little bit of, and when you are. Wow, dude, that is some expert. That was some expert mew mewing yeah. right there. Ladies thank and you, gentlemen, dude, thank, you. thank you for that. You mew so hard, you might have two of them. You gotta call yourself a Pokemon. That's right. Mewtwo. And then uh, ten dollars for a first time dono. Good. Wow, creepy league. Thanks for using the tip link. Wow. Let's creepy go. Rats. And the creepy creepy league is is on it on the first donation. All right, well, ladies wow. and gentlemen, as you can see by the progress bar right there, we have uh, one more hour. Uh, we are still going. And, and we love it. And we love, we love it. it. Kickstart film says Sam's needs a coffee. Probably. Probably. Um, Bro needs something. But if I have a coffee, then I really won't be able to sleep. That is that is what need you true. awake for the people. I want to sleep true. in an hour and thirty three min thirty minutes and fifty eight seconds. Uh, so do I. 
Can I, if I can be honest. Wow. Well, if um, I can be honest. <laughs> Well, Can you? Be... Uh, you guys want to read this next story? I let's story let's get into it. Let's you, get into it. Do you it. need to read? You, are, how are your guys' voices? Uh, I feeling? can I can hit a story. Okay, I hit can hit a story. That story. Let's hit that story, baby. Four hundred one S. Four hundred one S four. And Silver Clover, we've seen you in the chat before. When sending our call-in stories, do we need the full story or just the TLDR? Well, it depends. If you want to go on our subreddit, r slash OKOP show, we prefer the whole story. But if you want to text us at our call-in number at 440-508-6567, then uh, if you do that, then you just we'll just read the little TLDR, and then we'll call you, and then you'll, you'll tell us your story. And we'll be like, wow, that's kind of cool. That's right. Or maybe we'll say, oh, that is not cool if it's not cool. But you're cool for calling in. We love you. Cassandra said, uh, my husband looked over and was like, OMG, one more hour. Yes, Cassandra's husband, there is one more hour still. Yep. There's an hour and a half still, actually. Hour Mr. And a half. If we're being, That's a yeah. whole movie. We just It's like watching all of the Lord of the Rings back to back. Back to back, back to back. Oh, back. the whole stream. The whole stream. Yeah. yeah. Extended yeah. edition. We could have just watched all of the Lord of the Rings with you guys. We could have watched. True. Guys, can you suggest... That crazy legal? things that we could do and you would still watch like reading Pepto-Bismol bottles <laughs> please let us know Dude, you I know want what? your most creative thing this is uh, it's like I made another 10 hour video remember the first that one 10 hour video you guys made that's me do? true we did another one that's we did another crazy. one crazy oh look at that ladies and gentlemen well I'm gonna get a call for being a mistress ooh we got some crazy call ones okay yeah we, we could got some stuff coming another call in. there we go mistress yeah. All right. You're oh, play Let's Monopoly. get into it. All right. Which one? The the story of Colin. Let's do a story and then call in. Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, also shout out Pink uh Pixel Pocket real quick uh with a six dollar tip. Um, I mean, if you can move any excess of time for the next stream, because y'all's voices need to rest, lol. Um, also, you, my voice is so shaky. Pixel Punket, your voice was amazing, is amazing, and you're amazing. Period. Point blank. That's it. Period. Right. Point blank. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. My <laughs> boyfriend, 35 male, thinks my writing, 28 female, is dangerous. Ooh. Dangerous. Dangerous ideas. You dangerous know? ideas they being said written. They said the beatnik poets in the 1960s had too many dangerous ideas. That's why the FBI was trying to crack down on them and so look at like, where we're at now look at where we're at where you got we're <laughs> here we're all just a bunch of beatniks just we're reading just, stories on reddit yeah we're just a bunch of beat beatniks exactly so um i'll try to keep this as short as possible but first i have to explain explain my, my boyfriend of two years was the most gentle man i had ever met i had left an abusive relationship and he was really understanding he held me when i'd cry he took uh he took me on lots of lovely dinner dates we took loving photos together. He was the perfect package. Like WTF, finally. Looking back, I stupidly didn't see the signs. Put an ICU in the comments if you see what's about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Riley. In the very beginning, he asked me for my financial information because he was worried, quote unquote, that I was financially irresponsible. Hmm. That is worrisome that he'd asked for that. I guess over time, I tried to prove myself to him, and it was never enough. Last week, I shared with him that I signed up for a writing workshop. We were at home, and I casually asked him to help with dinner. He completely blew his lid and started screaming at me. Among hurtful things, he said, I was pissing money away and that my course could be dangerous. Um, I've left, and we've barely spoken. <clears throat> I need advice. This isn't about writing, right? Um, he used to be super supportive, and now he's not. Lately, I've been asking more of him to help with the dog, help with the groceries, help with cooking, etc. So, ladies and gentlemen, quick TLDR before we get into these relevant comments. Uh, Obi's boyfriend used to be super sweet. Now she wants to do writing, and he's like, oh, that's super dangerous. You're pissing away money. It's an absolute waste of your time and life and or Harder in cash. So it's dangerous because it's financially dangerous? Is that that's, what he's saying? That's the weirdness. It's like, why 
is this boyfriend acting this way, Sam? <laughs> Sam, why is this boyfriend reacting this way? Uh, what do you think here, buddy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is your take? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna need a TLDR. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do is revisit the TLDR just game. Yeah. So, so, For so. Everyone needs to see. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone new to the stream, right, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. For, yeah, for me, I was listening the whole time. Okay, of course, of course. Okay, so the new TLDR for everyone new in the stream and not for Sam yeah. is that uh, OP's boyfriend was super supportive and now OP wants to take a writing class and he's like, that's pissing away money and wasting your life. Oh, yeah. Me Why becoming the, the next Stephen Hawk, Stephen, uh, the guy that wrote it, not Stephen not Hawking. Spielberg. No, Stephen. Oh my God, what is his name? Stephen is a Stephen, right? It's King. Stephen King. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me trying to become the next Stephen King is pissing away money. All right, Sam, do some push-ups or jumping jacks. You gotta, you gotta get out. We need you back. I'm here. No, you're not. No, you're not. We need you to do some jumping I'm jacks. Chat saying jumping jacks and push ups. I said Stephen King. I got it right. No, you didn't. You, I said Stephen King. <laughs> do push ups. I said it second. <laughs> no, he said it second. You said it last. We can roll back the tape. Oh but God. I still got a medal. <laughs> I got bronze. Dude, dude. Are you going to poop on everyone who got bronze in the Olympics? They worked hard for that, right? We, yeah, but you just copied what we said. You didn't. Well, okay. The person, the we person that got third in the 100 meter race, you're just going to say, oh, he just copied the guy that got second and he just copied the guy that got first. No, he worked hard. To finish that race. Comment push-ups if we need Sam back in the chat. Yeah. Okay. You know what? B put a poll. Should have said put a poll. Put, put a poll. Push ups or nah. Okay. Yeah. If I if 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 we um push up <laughs> PH. What's PH? Push up? That's... No, that's not quite. <laughs> P U is push up, I guess. Poo. <laughs> That is poo. <laughs> um, Let Sam sleep on stream. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we. I mean, I think. Oh I yeah. Think yeah. Put put push I got, ups. I put sleep. I put yeah. push ups. Yes. Nah. Sleep. All right. All right. So uh, OP wants to write, and the husband is like, "Fuck that." Yes. Okay. That's where we're at. We got to figure out what's going on here. So, um, onto some relevant comments. As Caribbean Redditor says, why would he say that he doesn't have feelings for you? Oh, did he say that? Wait. Uh, he that? completely blew up and started screaming at me. Among the hurtful things he said, I was pissing away money and that my course could be dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Don't educate yourself for writing. That's dangerous. Oh dangerous my God. ideas. That's what you guys were talking about. I left and we barely spoke. Okay, so that's where it's at. What exactly is his issue with the writing workshop? That's all of our questions. What would you say is the thought behind why you call crying when he doesn't respond? OP says, where responds with, I have no idea. Fuck. I used to become quite upset. <laughs> Looks like people want you to do push-ups, dude. I... The, people are, the people are speaking. How many do I do? Uh, wait, give it a little bit of time. Get to the update yeah. and then we'll... we'll yeah, there we go. There we go. Um... He doesn't like the workshop because he wants to be at home to cook more. Uh oh, that's Ooh. why the argument. Oh, started. Uh -oh. I said stinky man. We sense a stinky, stinky little man. Little misogynistic. Yeah, little misogynist. Uh, hmm. It used to bother me when I couldn't get a hold of him. He had so many rules, such as I had to test, text, and ask permission before calling. I was frustrated. I think I was really lonely. Not so much anymore. Smiley face. Unseen, unseen stream says he wants you to cook more. OP says yes, but he has more and more rules. He wants me to cook when he wants me to, not because I invited him over. I can't cook past seven thirty p.m. Yeah, we're getting into like manipulative and just like 
our power dynamics. Uh, power dynamic behavior. Yeah, here. dude, this is kind of whack. I feel like. <laughs> I yeah I I feel like this is like I feel like he's just being controlling. That's true. At this point, I think I agree. Also, I'm like randomly having an allergy attack right now for everyone watching. So just enjoy enjoy that. Do you have allergies, John? Dude, yesterday, <laughs> I walked into my apartment and uh, I started dying of allergies. Yeah. You have a Zoloft. Zoloft. Yeah. Oh, is that like actually? Yeah. Do is we that, have any? That's allergy things. Right? Allergy medication here. <laughs> I took a Benadryl last night. Knocked, knocked out. <laughs> Guys, this is what happens when you keep making a stream. Like, it actually has reached a dangerous point. Like it's... her riding. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a really sharp joke to make at this level of sleep. With this that was a super, super sharp and clever joke. Wait, is that sarcasm? I can't. No, no, no. I'm being honest. Okay, like that cool, was actually cool. like, like I would never have thought of that in my current state of mind right now. Really. I did, I did mean Zertek. Also, someone said oh, Zertek. Lisana Lakeith. What? He's a chosen one. As it was written. As it was written. As it was written. What is yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start getting some thoughts, some thoughts about you. All right, get to the update so we can make right. good push-ups. That's right. So, <laughs> um, bup, 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 bup. here we go. Uh, he does not cook because he had a maid growing up. Spoiled. Um, he sees grocery shopping as beneath him. Stupid. He swings wildly between "I need money" and "Let's splurge," and it's actual insanity now that I've typed it all out. I totally agree, Op. That is complete insanity. Bless you. Absolute complete insanity. What's more insane is that Sam is about to stand up uh, and do some push-ups because we are at the update. We are at the update <laughs> as we speak. We've already reached it. All yeah. right. I'm doing my push-ups. 20. 20. There he goes. He's going to be spry as a whistle. Here, do it. Do it behind John because there's a mirror behind him. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, because we zoomed back in because Sophia's not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Getting serious. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 Riley, Riley, Riley. My bad, my bad. Right there. That's perfect. Right there. Get down. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we can see you in the mirror. Yeah, there we go. There we yeah, go. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that's great. Look. Wait. Oh, shit. There he goes. <laughs> Cause Agni, what have y'all done to Sam? Squats will work better. One done millennial for activating. Ooh, yeah. Let's get some squats in there too, Sam. Wake up, brush your hair, and do a little push up. That poor That's crazy. <laughs> I, I legit have respect right now. All right. Get some squats in there. There we go. Get like, get like 10 in. Oh, yeah. Damn. Hey, drop that thing. Dude, bro, drop that thing. Wait, we had a great oh, view no, earlier. This is dangerous. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Hide it behind the chat. There we go. Oh, damn, he got low on that one. Oh, one leg. Oh my god. Yeah, pistol squats. Going crazy. Cold water in the face. Good God, Kickstarter films. This is in a torture chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, it is a torture chamber, but not that crazy. Oh my oh. God. So much cake, Carol. Yeah, basically. I did my push-ups this morning. Bro, it's midnight. Hey. 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 It's exactly midnight. It is exactly Look midnight. Good job, Sam. How All you right. feeling? How you feeling now? There yes. we go. Yes. He's back. Let's go. Cake. They said. Yeah, they're saying cake. Cake for your cakes. Cakes for your cakes. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into this update. Let's freaking do it! Look All right, him. he's back. I'm he's back. back. Yeah. There we go. So, five months ago, I posted about my boyfriend here. It's pretty hard to return and read some of the comments that I had been making. It was such a dark time, and I normalized all the shitty things that he was doing. To give an update, shortly after I posted about my boyfriend. My dog and I were in a small accident, and I was really worried about her. That is not good. I hope your dog is okay. 
um, I reached out to my boyfriend who said, we all have to die someday and that my dog had lived a good life. WTF. <laughs> Riley, <laughs> let me ask you something. If your girlfriend's dog died today, would you say, we all have to die someday? He lived a good life. I mean, to comfort her, to get her to stop crying, perhaps. What would you actually say? Okay, I'd be like, damn, that sucks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's what I would that say. That sucks, bro. That sucks. <laughs> That's what, the, every oh, yeah. time someone dies, dude, this, okay, every time death happens, this is what Sam does. He goes, damn, that sucks. Waits for a little bit, and it takes everything in me not to laugh. He, you have done this multiple times recently. You'll just be like, oh, oh and the grandma story. died. Damn, that sucks. And then it'll just keep going. Um, but yeah, no, that's what I would say. I would does be like, it not suck? It does, but the way, <laughs> but the way that Sounds you say like it. Sounds like you're vying for it to not suck. No, no, but the way that you say it, you're just like, damn, that sucks. And then you just keep going. I'm sorry. Not everyone can celebrate a grandma dying like you. <laughs> <laughs> not everyone's a grandma killer yeah, like yeah, Riley Wilson. Wilson. Cheering the streets <laughs> saying, oh, hey, at least I'll give. What? Lisan, I'll guide you. You have to get that reference, John. You, you Is that from Dune? You watched we the, watched movie. the movie together. But I, the, the exact phrase, they speak whatever Ooh. freaking. This I, I, doesn't I, get movie lingo. They speak sand. I don't understand <laughs> they them. They speak sand. They speak in fucking sand, bro. How am yeah. I supposed to keep up with space sand? No, nah. space sand. Bro, I don't know that shit at all. But on a real note, I would try to console her. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't put a silver lining on it. Yeah. Yeah. They just want you to listen. That's true. true. I don't need to solve problems. Zip your zip your lips. That's all you need. Zip lips. Zip it. Zip lips. I think that that was a wake up call that I was dealing with someone who did not have any empathy or sympathy. Mm. I just couldn't do it anymore. Normally I would have cried or sobbed or begged for attention, but I think that was my breaking point. Luckily I had been strategic about asking for my keys for a few weeks prior to that. So I was able to slowly fade away. It was very calm and non-dramatic. He still shows up at the gym and places I frequent, but I've been laying low and spending more time with friends. The good news is that I've joined another writing workshop. Let's go. Hopefully it's not as dangerous. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> and my work has been doing well, as well as my friendships and, I've, uh, friendships, and I've lost a little weight. I am much less stressed and much happier. That is awesome. For someone who continually tore me down, it's hilarious that my ex was let go from his job. He has been unemployed and living with his mom like a loser. That's dangerous. Hell yeah. That, bro, that's super dangerous. <laughs> what, living with your mom? Dude, he's in danger of being an eternal hobo. Living with your mom? Yeah, bro. What if you like your mom? Bro, your mom kicks you out and then you're a hobo and you're like, dude, I can't, no, you kick I can't out join mom. any dangerous writing classes to sharpen my skills for that's writing resumes. Mm, yeah. You're done. You're freaking toast. You're on the streets. Exactly. Not doing good. My dog and I are doing great. I'm casually seeing someone else, a oh. writer, if you can imagine, and focusing on myself. Thanks again, Reddit. That's great. Was that the end of the story? No. Hell no. Oh. There's absolutely more updates for your face holes. Mm. Yeah. So get ready for it. Give it to me. So. I've been seeing for someone pretty casually for about three to four months. I'll call him Ben. 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 Ben knows that I've just left a bad relationship, and he's been super patient for the most part. I'm, ho I'm hoping Ben, Ben, the last guy sounded patient initially. So I don't know. Um, maybe some red flags for Ben. I might hate Ben off rip right now. Hate him. I hate him. I hate him. There, I said it. There you go. I said it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm proud, baby. Yes. But he didn't do anything yet. But I hate him. But we hate him, Riley. And we don't need an explanation. We don't, All feelings, no facts? Yeah, we don't need to justify ourselves. Exactly. Okay. Watch him, like, you know, donate to orphans soon. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the orphans even need money? Yeah, 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 yeah. If they wouldn't be Bruce Wayne. If they wouldn't be Batman, they need money. That's true. Dude, all right. I be a lame orphan like Superman? Come here we on. go. Here we go. Here we go. Charity. Batman's for orphans. Batman's for orphans. We turn Explain. orphans who have gone through traumatic experiences into mask marading vigilantes. vigilantes. And give them a billion dollars. 
each. Yeah. The I'm, program, if they're able the to program. do all the like physical things, they get a billion dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I'm have to go through like survivor level challenges. Survivor, and, the, and then the mental like. And the you, orphan that wins. Are you? <laughs> are you willing to dig down a into the darkness? Dollars. We get a hundred of them and put them on an island. <laughs> oh, and they vote each other off. Dangerous territory. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Beast from Orphans, Samuel Donner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh man uh, green eggs and hannah thanks for the 252 donation when i started watching the stream this morning i told myself i'd shower once the stream is done i haven't showered yet <laughs> take us in the shower with you come on yeah Just wait what's the, keep the stream playing what's the yeah. incel thing to do uh i'm going uh i'm going i'm taking a shower without me oh <laughs> that's what i'm saying where my hug at what? Where my hug at? That's what incels say. Oh, incels are say where my. They're hug like, yeah, at? where's my hug at? Like, where are you going? Like, you haven't hugged me yet. They say that. I guess so. They need to touch because they're dorks uh, who get no women. Dang, dude, that sucks. Dude, just be better. That's all I got to say to incels. Damn. Anyways, for real. Back Damn, to the story. Um, they just be wanting human connection. They just don't know the right way to get it. That's true. They need to just lay it down on the line. Make it happen. Just need to be get after it. Need to be their authentic selves, That's you true. know, and work on themselves. I agree. You know, but let's get back <laughs> to Ben the incel. All right, <laughs> Ben is a huge writer, and we really bonded over our love of writing. He encouraged me to keep writing, and at first, I felt really supported. I sent him over some of my older pieces that weren't too emotional. With time, I started writing about things that were happening in my life. I recently wrote a piece about another man. I told Ben that that man was bothering me and low-key harassing me. The piece mostly talks about uh, how the man kept calling me, giving me weird pet names, and about how I couldn't escape it because of the situation. There was absolutely no attraction to this man at all. So Ben read it, and instead of his usually encouraging words, he said, it sounds like I'm attracted to the guy. He said, because I spoke about the man's body, that I must be attracted to him. Guys, did I not say I hate Ben and that he's an incel? I literally called. I literally called it. You did call it. I literally he does called feel that. it. With, with each sentence, he is feeling more and more incelly. I literally, with no context whatsoever, completely called this. Dude, I feel like you're psychic. I feel like I am. You're clairvoyant for Reddit stories. That's that's literally a man can read one sentence of a Reddit story. He can tell you who the asshole is. <laughs> yes, dude. He has <laughs> gotten that good. Am I know. Bam, done. You don't need. I know I, everything I need to know. Yes, I can see it on your face. Done. Done. Car Carol, all my homies hate Ben. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Also, okay. shout out to blondest brunette for the ten dollar tip. <sighs> Tell Riley to call me. Uh, Riley. Oh yeah, yeah. The, I got you. I got, got you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um. Do 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 do. So, uh, he said you have an attachment to him, even if it's a bad thing. He said the piece sounds like I'm talking about a crush. I am so confused. We agree to disagree, I guess, for now. I know that I have to be more private about my writing. Was I wrong about that? Was OP wrong for sharing this piece of writing with her? Let me triple check. What? This is the guy in his, her writing class? Ben, who she was seeing casually, you know. They were maybe doing some. Oh, so they were they were touching butts. They were touch. They were spicy sleeping oh. and bumping booties, bumping booties, and she spicy showed sleeping. him the 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 writing. Should she have mm. mixed writing class and with pleasure? booty bumping? Um, I feel like honestly, like sometimes the people that you bump booties with can like peer into your soul a little bit more and critique your writing to a deeper degree. That is true. So I don't think like just because you bump booties with someone means like they can't offer relevant and helpful criticism mm. to your work. Um, but I think how he is giving criticism is an indicator that he is somewhat self-conscious and uh, 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 what is the word when you're, and insecure about the relationship probably wants to be more exclusive at least yeah he wants to be more exclusive and he's and sending is, coded messages with sending coded yeah he's like mm -hmm. he's like 
oh, like he he feels threatened that this piece is potentially about another guy, and he's like, damn, I wish I was that guy. Ben, I hate you. I hope you fucking die. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and we're getting into this next update. Damn, bro. And I will not take back my previous Damn, statement. all right. Get so, fucked, Ben. here we go. Fuck Ben. That's but not by on. OP, hey, yo. Guys, wait, no. That probably would potentially flag this. F Ben. Put F Ben in the comments. Oh, think, if everyone says fun. if it was yeah. the full word, maybe they'd be like, "What is going on in this live stream?" Yeah, F Ben, F Ben in the chat. F Literally the letter F. F Ben, F Ben, F Ben, Ben. F ben. I want to see ben. it. F Anyways, ben. all right. So, final update. I was in an abusive relationship and was in a really bad place. I turned to Reddit, and you all validated and helped me. And you can see my uh, old posts. Eight months ago, <clears throat> I left my ex, who was becoming controlling over my poetry. Yes. My poetry. Uh, at the time, I had just started to write, and he would literally stand behind me and watch everything that I was submitting. Absolute insanity. Ooh, gross. Uh, I believe that was the first guy, by the way, not Ben. Um, I jumped out of the relationships and started dating a writer. That was Ben. Mm -hmm. Because what could be better than that? Except the person I was dating, dating also had issues with my poetry. He accused me about writing about past lovers in my poem. Which I feel like that's a very good thing to do if you do that. Is it, I feel like that's therapy. I feel like that's like almost damn near mandatory yeah, as, a, as a poet to like talk about your ex-lovers. Yeah, dude. I did it as a songwriter and she wrote a bunch of, I mean, she wrote, she wrote songs about me and about ex-boyfriends and it was all mixed really? into one. I won't ask it now. Huh? I'll ask it later. What to hear the album? Maybe it's pretty good. Yeah, I haven't showed you the album. No, dude, I don't even I'm... like seventy-five percent of the songs are related to our relationship. Any any name drops? Uh, no name drops. No name drops. If you ain't no 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 sneak dissing on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Asian persuasion with the two dollar donation. The memes are popping off in the same channel. I would. Can we after the story look at all? Yeah, those? yeah. We'll, we'll look at the memes of the Discord, oh and also God. if you haven't Thank joined you, the Discord, percent. go check it out. Go I, check I'm, it out. I'm very excited to check it out. I'm so excited. Um, but about but back to finishing the story. He accused me about writing about past lovers in my poems, which wasn't true at all. As with many folks leaving an abusive relationship, I found myself in another one. Anyways, the good news is I finally left the toxic relationship. I've thrown myself into writing over the last five months and wrote more than I ever have. I have never worked so hard in my life. Reddit, you won't believe it. I have managed to publish my poetry, take part in an art show, hosted two workshops with other poets, and I also use my writing as a service for business owners, and now I have clients. Wow. We're talking about bad Wait. W's. Wait. Ah. Uh, what? You're right. You're Is right. I see you. This sneaky. Advertising. Damn it! Damn Trying it! To be a ghost Rider. Is this sneaky advertising? Oh, we made it wow. so far. We'll see if there's any any mention of anything. I'll I'll let you know with a warning if there's an uh, in, impending marketing. Sneaky marketing. <laughs> impending marketing. I sniff marketing. We'll see. So there were so many wonderful gifts, talents, and layers to myself that I'm discovering. I have made so many wonderful friends over the past eight months. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. Because I need a sip of water. Because I will attend an event or class or whatever and meet a new sister. I've become uh, my happy, beautiful, bubbly self. When I was in my relationship, I couldn't write because I was constantly trying to make my boyfriend happy. Whack! First, I wasn't making enough money. Then I wasn't educated enough. Then I wasn't cooking the right meals and on and on and on. For two years, uh, I, I catered to that man. Talk about it. Oh, I said, that'll do it. That'll do it. I thought you said he's ugly. I'm like, yeah, he is fucking ugly. Damn. I'll slap oh him in his gosh. ugly face. Yeah, get Bro's right. heated, <laughs> Yeah, dude. John's like, why do I have to be up talking about Ben this whole time? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fucker. For two years, I catered to that man. It was never enough for him. So I want to say thank you. And for everyone else who's struggling in a relationship and not feeling good enough, I hope you know there is a much happier world on the other side. Is this a happy update? Question mark. Smiley face. Thanks, Reddit. And is that a wrap? 
That's a freaking rapadoodle do. Well, I'm glad that OP has a great business and is writing and it seems like taking care of herself. Yes. And not these trash men that it's she is surrounding herself mans. with. Dude, these stinky men. Thinking up big time. Thinking up big time. And no marketing. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. I mean, I feel like it could have been in a comment where it's like, what's your business? It so could have like, been. Blah, 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 blah. But I want to see some comments of people in the disc. Actually, oh, yeah. could Riley screen yeah, share? Riley, can you screen share the Discord? Um, uh, one sec. Let me make it. We got you. Uh, I literally cannot wait to see this. I am so excited. Wait, my Discord's not working. Oh, what? Uh oh. Like it, it randomly does not work on the computer for some reason. Did you quit it and open it again? Uh, yes. Is there is there also a website for it? Discord. Let me, of the oh yeah, let me try the Discord. Like doing it on yeah, like a like a browser. Yeah, I think you could just do it on a browser. I might take a it, it, sneak peek. I, I, I don't like this. Comp We're getting, yeah. getting rid of it. We're getting rid of it. We're getting a new one. Oh, now it opens. There we That's go. Hey. Um, let me up. Also, for everyone who's in the chat that isn't part of the Discord, the fuck? Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Literally freaking join the gang. The gang is literally all hanging out there. And Adeline Gutierrez, thanks for the two bucks. Oh my, they have you guys doing an all-nighter. Blame if I says, correct. wish you could get us to one more hour. Why? Sh no. Stop. How Sam's struggling? I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I've been struggling for a while. Right, NetNavi, I'm joining the Discord now. Good. All right, wait. Let's go. Show, show this. Show this to I can't see that. Wait, give me a second. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey. You want me to blow it up for you, John? No, it's okay. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> All right. Good enough. What do we got here? Here we go. So what's this baguette thing? Oh, yeah. Can we? <laughs> yeah. Can you explain? What's the baguette? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Seeing Sam is a little bitch, I dodged a bullet canceling the wedding. Oh, because when I was a little bitch about the period pain stuff when he shocked me. Oh. We need to be baguetted. <laughs> what does baguetted mean? Can, you, can they tell us what baguetted means? What does that mean? I can't see um... the chat. If they're saying yes. Emo Sam is a vibe. Uh, I, I, <laughs> these, these are just screenshots of Emo <laughs> Sam. <laughs> this one says, I'm going to drink. Uh, one more hour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's really good. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the, uh, that was the love, love, yeah. love gram. Tornadoes. Y'all don't have tornadoes? No. This is all you and you're good. We have Florida, <laughs> man. <laughs> that's pretty good. I love these window pane memes. It's so funny. <laughs> Me and the bros after successfully doing a thing. <laughs> nice. A good meme. Indiana uh, Jones and the curse of the never ending <laughs> Oh my God. Dude, you get such a good like dick pic yeah. right there. Wow. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. Oh my god. Don't give them yeah, ideas. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <coughs> oh, that's good. Yo. <laughs> that's fucking fire. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my oh god. dude. This is so good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude you guys are so quick wow <laughs> oh well I'm just, I'm just a baby I'm just a baby oh cat Jones. oh my god <laughs> Florida man that's Play it Riley <laughs> oh, wait a second what the fuck <laughs> Who the fuck? Oh, because I'm Scooby. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think there was another one earlier. Oh. I tried my. to keep an eye on mine. Mm. Uh. <laughs> it, says, it says period. <laughs> we have to do the period soon. That's there. good. This drink is for all of you. <laughs> Being thick, <laughs> Riley. You're old. 
Here's give me money. <laughs> I love these memes. And then what the so fuck good. is this? That's, That's you, bro. That's you. <laughs> it's your, <laughs> your scoop portrait. Get that fucking dog Scoob. in me. Dude, that is fucking Scoob. terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, he looks gosh. like you, bro. That is terrifying. <laughs> Riley do. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Riley do. Yeah, these are all the pictures. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Oh my god. Yep. That's, uh, uh, I love our Discord. Discord. That's awesome. Dude, the Discord's amazing. The Discord fucking goes. Discord slaps. What what yeah, else? we're what doing else? a lot Wait, of can changes. Can we show everyone the, the, um, the, uh, uh, the OKOP tattoo? For everyone who hasn't seen it. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, in, yeah. Um, it's in Piercings and piercings Tattoos. Piercings yeah. and Tattoos. Okay, cool. cool. Boom. Uh, we'll use... Here we go. Let's see. Um, Loading. Is it up? Scroll down or... Is it up or Maybe oh, no. it's down? Where is it? Where is it? A big protein. Ah, ah Jaden. Guys, that's oh, that is crazy. so crazy. So crazy. Could you imagine crazy. whatever two and a half years ago when we were recording our first episode that someone would tattoo, tattoo the name OKOP? And you know what you know what else is so crazy? It could have been Internet Boys that was tattooed. <laughs> But thank God, <laughs> thank God it was okay, OP. <laughs> thank the Lord. Wow. Maybe more people would have got internet voice tattooed on. That's true. <laughs> wow. That's true. Maybe we'd have, we would have we would have had a di di different demographic. Uh, wow. Yeah. This is fun. You guys need to join the Discord. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. Literally we, hang out with us in there. We just we just hit what a thousand members in the Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got three go. eighty-seven. Go. Let's fucking go. That's what it is. So, I'm trying to scroll down. Oh, it doesn't do off on members. Oh, okay. It's because uh, I think you have to be in the like uh, announcements. Gotcha. Gotcha. You're going gotcha. to announcements. Announcements. Okay. Should we order like a chair or something? For who? Sophia. Oh, her? Oh, oh her? <laughs> yeah, we <Egg>. can. Egg? Egg? <laughs> yeah, we could do nope. that. She might need that. Egg soap fill? Egg soap fill. We got some, uh, well, we can do it later. I mean, they want us to read stories. They want us to look at chairs. Yeah. yeah. That's true. We yeah. got to, we got to give the people what they want. We got to give the people what they want. Cause we have a ton of time. 53 minutes. 1500 likes. Oh yeah. Let's spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Oh. Yeah. We're at 1500 likes. Okay. That's good. We are spinning the wheel. Spin the wheel. Bonbon says call blondest brunette. Oh, yeah, we will. Yes. She is next in the queue. Tell her to call me. I think the only thing on the will, two, there's only two things we can do on the will. All right, here we go. We gotta spin the wheel. Uh, ooh, yeah, Sam, butt. Show us your butt. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like my bare ass? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like, just Can't like be. do a 360. Go. I feel it. I feel like I'm being. You are so violating. now. Do it. Here, I'll do. I'll do a squat on the chair. How about that? Ugh. Yeah, turn around. <laughs> Use both legs though. Turn around. All right. All right. Good gravy. <laughs> yeah. This is not good. There he goes. Hell yeah, dude! He dropped that thing low. Work it. Uh oh. <laughs> now that was that was that more than they bargained yeah, yeah, yeah. for. Wow. That obvious like bare ass. <laughs> Bare ass. Wouldn't they like to know? Mm -hmm. There's, I think there is a picture of Sam's bare ass somewhere around the internet. Is is there? Yeah. Seriously? You showed me one. You showed me a, a picture of you swimming bare butt naked. You don't remember that? Wait, what? What about all the nudist colonies you visited? Oh, no, one's taking oh yeah, a picture no, of you? no, no, I don't think so. I do have a picture of me here. I, I can I can show. A safe for work picture of the nudist colony. Here we go. Safe for work. I, I, just, I don't know if I've shown this on the stream before. But you had one of like you in, you were like swimming somewhere. You're like, look at this. And it's just like you and a friend just like. Oh. Yeah. I guess there are nudes of me out there, but no one can see that. No one knows that that's me. Yeah. So, but yeah, there's, there's like a big, so like it actually got tossed around to like a bunch of places. It got picked up. So picked up. Yeah. So there's. Oh my god. There, Who's there, picking you? Up? There are like <laughs> booty pics of like me like <laughs> naked with this other dude swimming in the 
in the uh in in Tahoe. Let's freaking go. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. think you know you I know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 you know the one I'm talking about. All right, here let me see, let's see. So this is in Los Gatos. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, here we go. Damn, I think you activated the thirst. Asian persuasion, water in the chat. Here we go. All right, so right. this this is you you can't see anything because I'm cropping it out. But this is uh, I was doing an interview at some nudist camps, um, and this is this is the. Beach. That's all they get. That's I'm not. Get. I'm not zooming in or anything. That's all they get. That's all you get. But that's that's me interviewing at the nudist camp. You see, I see, I'll show you there this one. There he is. Yeah, I'll show you this one. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Where are the butt pics? They're asking. The butt pics. I think it's still up. I think it's still. I don't even. Have, I don't have Instagram on my phone anymore. Um, but should we read another story? Yeah, I think. Or, uh, or oh yeah, yeah, we gotta do the Colin. We gotta do the Colin. Oh yeah, Colin. Yes, 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 yes. Let me get to that. Um, find it. Ah, which one is it? Where is it? Where to go? Here, you guys read the chat. Wait, were you in the chat? Yeah. OMG, I want to sleep when the stream started. Went to sleep when the stream started. Now I'm back to work and you guys are still going. You have a good <laughs> job. Yeah. We've been getting a lot of those comments. Yeah, we are We are here. We are here. We are here. Let's do it, set not Navi. Bum bon, hell yeah. Let's go. Boy. Let's go, boy. Yeah, we're going. Um, Philippa, are we going to get the title story? Yes, Riley is pulling it up as we... As we Tell speak. Bernie she's pretty and should go to sleep. Bernie, you're pretty and should go to sleep. 100%. It's 3.30 a.m. for a dash of stardust. That's crazy. That's crazy. What's that? That's West Coast. Or West Coast, I'm sorry. East Coast. We're on the West Coast. Yeah. Ugh. Um, Marcia Von Wormer. Emphasis on the worm. Hopefully no one had a date night tonight. No. You did not. I didn't. No. Oh, by the did. Some other people did. Did you actually? No, because you you never plan on Tuesdays. You never plan on Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I I called her. Yeah, you did. Well, oh, you, that's when you went out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Get those. Dude, where is this story? I'm Baby so Godzilla, sorry. Baby Godzilla, thanks for the five buck tip. I want to tell my favorite dad joke. Sometimes I have sex with my dad in an elevator. <laughs> And it's wrong on so many levels. Bro, baby oh Godzilla, gosh. you always pull up with a humor we least expect but need the most in that moment. Truly. Oh my god. Um, where Truly. is it? Um Bell uh I'm so sorry. Um Blondest, Brunette, please 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 just text me again real quick. That text would make my life so much easier. Four four zero five zero eight six five six seven. Text Riley. Let us know. Poor Riley misses is... date. No, I'm gonna see her tomorrow. We're, I'm gonna go I'm gonna drive and go see her. It's all good. All good. Heck yeah. Make Heck yeah. Time for the ones you like. <laughs> Make times for the ones you love. Right. I feel like we should sing a song. Songs we got. We're always trying to bust down in a song. Yeah. True. And bring the ukulele up. Oh. Um, uke time. How about last five minutes? We can do a uke time. Yeah, last, last five minutes sounds very good. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to focus. All right. How it. about good. I read another story? Wait, that? Do it. Wait, but Bella Conk is so close. I've been asking. Like, D- well, then freaking. Let me look. Then freaking do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm bringing Her it up. Blondest. I'm bringing it up. Uh, what? Uh, what episode number? Parents. Four twelve. Uh, uh. Yeah. Did we do four nine? Did we do four nine? We just finished four nine. I think we just finished. Just finished four nine. I sent it. Did you just send it again? Okay, I'm going to read. Blonda said, yeah. What? I'm going to read 412. Again. Blonda, yeah, Blonda's brunette says, I just sent it. What? I'm trying to look. I'm so sorry. Okay, as Riley's finding it, I'm going to read 412 S1. Parents took and sold my car and won't tell me who to. What's the best step to take from now? Oh, dear. So. First, some background. I no longer get along with either of my parents. I won't go more into it other than it's not reconcilable because it's serious abuse. I bought a car when I was 16 and still living with them, and they believe that makes it theirs. 
title and everything was originally in my mother's name, but was transferred into my name for three years now. It is mine and my only car. When the family split, my parents tried to call in what they called debts of a minor, which they tried to convince me was a legal term saying if I took my support away from them, then they had the right to recall all money involved in raising me. That I do not think is true. Yeah, sounds like fake. Yeah, it says, wait, so it goes, uh, if I took my support away from them, so basically like if I stopped helping them, if I stopped helping them with like chores around the house, then they could like say, no, you have to pay us money. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Excuse me. I went I'm away for two weeks in September and left my car with my brother, who I still get on well with. He is still in contact with my parents. They visited him a couple of times while I was away. And on the last visit, they stole the keys to the car from him and drove off with it. My brother told me immediately and said, I deal with it. And I said, I deal with it when I got back. It happened a few days before I was about to get back. Well, I went to my parents to get my car and they said they sold it for $8,000. And it was going to go towards the debts of a minor. And they informed me I now have only about $180,000 to go before I've paid them all. $180,000? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, that is whack. For a high schooler? That like is whack. 18 year old? Yeah. Crazy. I called the police immediately to report it stolen, and they seemed to prefer to listen to my parents who said the title was in their name. I have the title in my name, however. Advice from the police was to work it out between ourselves. Useless. So, where I'm stuck now is, I have no car. I have no keys to it. <coughs> Ow. Oh, I have no. no cars. I have no keys to it. Um... It's out there somewhere, and my parents refuse to tell me where it is. It's my car, and I can prove it. Who do I prove it to in order to have it retrieved? Are the police right in that I have to beg the people who took my car, my parents, to give it back? Is this a job for a lawyer or court or escalating with the police? I've never had to deal with the legal system before. And updates. I went to the station in person and got a lot further with different officers who asked what happened before with the other officer and rolled their eyes when I said his name. I have my brother fully on side and we both made statements. I've contacted my insurance. So basically for everyone new to the stream. Um, Welcome. TLDR. <laughs> TLDR is basically uh, OP's parents stole his car and sold it and then said, actually, you owe us $180,000 because that's what it costs to raise you. We have had uh, entitled parents that build their children for like 700 grand for yeah. like the cost of their raising or whatever. That is Invoice entirely them. dumb. Crazy. But some relevant comments. So this is how internet says debts of a minor you realize you have no obligation if you're older than 18 to financially pay them back right they can kick you out cut off any monetary support they have for you but you don't have to pay your parents back for quote unquote raising you also if they sold the car in your name and the title was in your name go to the police station with that and refile that it's been stolen bring the proof also if you do not have the title and it's in your name, you can obtain a duplicate via this website and let's send a link to the DMV. And then OP responded, when I first left home, I realized very quickly that debts of a minor isn't a thing. I owe them nothing. Title is definitely in my name. I'll try again at the police with documentation at the station. And then a deleted commenter said, don't call the police station again. Go down there with the title and registration showing the car belongs to you and report it stolen. I'm not entirely sure. You have to mention that your parents stole it and sold it. The person who bought it without a title will without a title will be S O L. Shit out of luck. Oh really? Yeah. Shit out of luck. That's a cool term. And need to recoup their costs from your parents. After this all comes to light, there's a chance your parents will be charged with like a felony. So mm. could be serious. 
Well, flipping the script. OP responds, except for the buyer, that would be the best possible outcome. Thank you for your comment. Is there any possibility of any fallout on my end from the buyer? Say if it was proven I was careless with the keys and that led to the whole problem. Hope it's not a stupid question. I'm not afraid to admit I'm really ignorant to the law and also paranoid about my parents and, and their actions. And there is an update. Oh, good Lord. But any advice to OP on dealing with parents and dealing with the police? So basically... <coughs> guys, we're, uh, we're struggling over here. Okay. So basically... Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, we're good. What? 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 Oh, I, didn't know, I didn't know if we like spilled anything. Oh, oh we're yeah, yeah, dry yeah. as a cucumber. Um, so basically, uh, Opie's parents gave them a car, like put it, put it the title in their name. Then they turn 18 and then they're like, yo, not only are we going to sell the car and get that money back, but you also owe us 800, eight grand. And then OP was like, wait, actually you basically stole the car because the title is in my name. So we could get the police involved. Yeah. Sick them on your ass. Stick them on there. Maybe get money back from you for the stolen car yeah basically yeah um i say let's call the police throw the parents in jail and let them rot until they die no <laughs> i say let's go full nuclear i say hang them by their feet <laughs> cut their ankles oh wow peel their skin oh d d delicious roast the skin Ooh. salt in the wound salt on their bare flesh Lemon juice. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, no. No, no. Take it back. Take it back. Put a barrel of lemon juice. Okay. Dunk them in the barrel. Okay. Super, super citrusy. Super citrusy, but they don't have a skin, so it hurts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn, I thought I was going crazy. Salt tonight. the wound. Yeah. Salt the wound, basically. Yeah, and then that is how we lost 20 people off the stream. Poor Blitz, damn, Sam, I know you're tired, but dang! <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> this no, Douglas medi 12100 medieval on your ass is going medieval. Some water? No, it's fine. I've got some water. Okay. I have some. It's Darren fine. Um, also, has anyone seen um, Shogun? Shogun. The show? What is that? It is a great show. Uh, do you show? Oh, you watch it with me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really good. It's really good. Sam. Oh yeah, I did. So Sam Hyatt. Uh, Sam read a lot about medieval torture, bro. Let me tell you about medieval torture. No, please stop. Right. I don't like it when he talks about torture. He always goes too far. Change the subject. I took. I took a. I took a um, history of violence class when oh I was studying in Australia. History of violence. Yeah, it was. How would they make dope. that a class, dude? Because we we're it's talking Australia. about Australia. Yeah, dude. They have like all the most dangerous things in the They're, world. There. It's a country of criminals. Is Australia the Florida of continents? Australia is the Florida of of the UK. If like uh, if they, they fucked off to another continent, right? Yeah, fair. Fucking fair. Anyway, imagine a cone. Oh God, Vaseline up. Oh no, I know what this is. No. <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, is there an update on this one? I'm reading it. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, there is. Tim asked himself, Let's get into hey! the update. So, all I need was a more. All I needed was a more with a police officer. I went in person with all the documentation proving that my car is my vehicle and with my brother, and stated clearly that my car had been stolen and sold. And we know who did it. The officer I dealt with this time treated everything seriously and listened to us both. I had my car back within two days. Whoa. Quick turnaround. Impressive. Quick turnaround. My parents had taken it and sold it like they claimed, but were renting it to someone they knew. The car was retrieved from the rentee's house. I hadn't yet made a claim on it, so I returned so it returned to me the day after retrieval. My mother has been charged and I've also been questioned about my parents' drug use. I'm over the moon oh. that they were trying to rip me. Oh, I'm over the moon. 
Now, what they did trying to rip me off has shown a light on more of their behavior. I'm still trying to gain clarity with my insurer about possible internal damage to the engine or transmission and having that thoroughly checked out, but that's beside the point. As a bonus, this was the last straw for my brother. He'd been still living under our parents' thumb, and this gave him enough reason to also cut them off and commit to acting against them. I have my car back and my brother back more than I ever did before. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Lesson of the day, call the police on your parents. Yeah. Yeah. Call your... Call call the police. Call the police. Nine one one. Shut it down. <laughs> throw them, throw them away and lock the key. Do you ever call the police? Have I ever called the police? Yeah. Um. What was the time I called the police? Call, yeah, did I we call the police, police because of a fire recently? Was that with Riley? No, I didn't. I wasn't there. Okay. Oh yeah, I did call. I did call nine. My infamous uh twenty twenty New Year's Eve story. Call the police then. Call nine one one. Remember the guy who was we went to New Year's Eve party? Oh, yeah. right. And he got super drunk. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Classic um, okay story time. Is it four four it's four four zero five zero eight six five six seven. Uh Blonde is Brunette, if you are Australian, I don't think we can help you with that. It's it's four four zero four four zero is the area code. Yeah, just text me there. It's That's one, why I haven't got it. it. It's plus one four four zero plus one four four zero five zero eight six five six seven. And if you're Australian, just join us on Discord. I, I wait. Why? Why doesn't Blondis Production just go on Discord? I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. Get on late. Discord, dog. Um, we do have someone on the Discord that we can tr test try. Oh yeah, we, we've never done a call through Discord. Let's do it. All right, you're sweet. So this is a uh, Cora Soa. Um, and it is, uh, would I be the a-hole if I tell my brother's girlfriend he cheated on her with a family friend? It's eating me alive. So she's needing like some straight up help real quick. Whoa. Right Wait, on. so my real brother's quick. girlfriend cheated on him with a family friend? Yes. Oh, you're American? Dude, I'm sorry. Yeah, just text it and we'll get to you next. I'm so sorry. Technology and me don't work well at, at late at night. But yes, so I'll read it again. Would I be the a-hole if I tell my brother's girlfriend he cheated on me, cheated on her with a family friend? It's eating me alive. Okay. All right, here we go. My brother's girlfriend cheated on him with my friend. We'll figure it out. Yeah, this is interesting. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hi. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Hi. Wait. If it's on. Can you hear me? Hi. Oh, is it just me? Wait a second. I think, I think the chat can hear it, but we can't hear it. Oh, oh one second. One sec. We We're got to reroute. There, we got to oh, reroute no. you. I think every one of the stream can hear you, but we can't hear you. Oh, my goodness. All righty, huh. then. This is why you don't test. We're doing it live. We're doing it. No, I mean, the oh, if the there ever was a stream to test. Yeah. Thank you. Mom. Okay, oh. so everyone can hear her. We can't hear you yet, but we will be able yeah. to. Oh, you shortly. So clear. I'm not Susan. Oh, it's oh, so Caro or Cass. Oh, that's great. Oh, I mean, that makes go. sense. Very like... loud. I'm oh, I'm seeing chat. That. That's why I'm replying. Oh, that I... was very loud. Hello, hello. Okay, hello. One second, one can second. you hear us? All right. I don't... Wait, turn turn it down. Yeah, I'm not trying to be loud. I'm actually very far from the phone. It's okay. One sec, it's one it's, it's our totally fault. Good. Technology. You're totally good. Oh, you, you are can hear you are me perfect. Now. You are doing was, nothing wrong. I was I was just I was just reading chat. That's that's why Cassandra said hi, and I was just saying hi. Uh, hi. Hello. It's nice to talk to you guys again. How are you? What what time is it where you are? It's two forty five. But I can't sleep. Don't worry. Oh my goodness! Wow, that is that's late. that's later than us. The late gang going that, strong. That is late. Also, who are we talking? Sleepless about? gang. Oh, my name is Caro. You, uh, before I have introduced myself as Cass. Okay. But uh, there is a lot of Cassandas, Cass, Cassandra, okay. Cassies. <laughs> so I was just like, my name is Carolina. So therefore, I'm gonna use the nickname. I hate it, but. Uh, the Discord made me love my name again. So anyway, okay. back there to the point. Go. Hell uh, yeah. The Discord coming your out. Name's Would awesome. I be the asshole? Would I be the asshole if I tell my brother's girlfriend uh, he kissed someone at a wedding 
a uh, family friend when they were dating. And this wedding happened back in August. Okay. So but how, I found yeah. out back Tell in October. Tell me about the wedding. Tell me in about November. The wedding. I found out in November. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand you. Oh, tell me about the wedding. How did it unfold? Okay, so we were at this wedding that it, it was a, an American wedding. It was here in Ecuador. And uh, we had a lot of American people coming in from all over the place because two, two people from the States were getting married, but one is partially Ecuadorian. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh my siblings, my parents, everyone got invited because this was a close family friend. And there was a lot of alcohol in the, in the, during the wedding. And my brothers tend not to control themselves with alcohol. My eldest brother, he does because he was the one driving. But my second eldest didn't. And I found out uh, on November, sadly, my dad passed away. Oh, and wow, I hear that. Um, yeah, and uh, I found out that uh, these friends of mine, uh, childhood friends, told me, uh, like, I told them, like, hey, I don't ever want to see you again at the funeral home because I kept meeting them there for different funerals uh, from se September to November. So I was like, I don't plan to see you ever again on the funeral home. So let's meet up somewhere else. So we went to a mm -hmm. coffee shop and we were hanging out and she told me, uh, we met up with some of my brother's friends and she was acting weird. Like what brother is coming? Which, which one of your brothers is coming? And I was like, yeah, my, my brother, let's call him Bob. Bob's coming. Mm. And she was in, let's call her Samuela. <laughs> no, no, sorry. 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 That's, that's my dog's name. Uh, <laughs> actually. Uh, let's call her. Marie. Marie was saying like, no, uh, is it Bob? And I was like, yeah, it's Bob. These, these are Bob's friends. And she was like, I need to tell you something. And I don't know how you will take it. And she was like, well, while we were at the wedding, um, your brother, we were dancing. You had already left because I sprained my ankle at the wedding. Mm. And we were dancing and he was drinking and he started flirting with me. Oh, no. And I asked him, hey, do you have a girlfriend? And he said, no, I don't. My brother was drunk as fuck. Oh, and he was like, no. And, uh, and he started and he started like flirting with him and being like flirtatious and all that stuff. And my brother is like really, really tall. He's like, I don't know the height in feet, but it's one meter, 91 centimeters. Which is like and he's very tall. Six, That's six, like three? six three, six, six four. four. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's similar to your height, Sam. So I am not uh, six three, six four. I'm I'm like <laughs> I'm like six foot. Oh I, I am six foot two. Oh my god. Six foot as well. Hell yeah. No way. <laughs> so, <Wow. as> well. <laughs> so so anyway, my brother my brother kissed her and I was like, okay. So it was just a kiss. And she said, like, I stopped him. If I hadn't stopped him, we would have done much worse. And it like was more than kissing. They probably would have hooked up all the way. More than kissing. She was like, and I was like, and I was like, I'm sure he wouldn't have, but he's been in a committed relationship for the last uh, year and a half. He broke off a five year relationship then uh, after that, he started dating this girl and he was head over heels for her, listening to like sad music when she wasn't paying attention to him what, back when they were dating. Um, it was it, it is weird to me that he would cheat on her and I don't want to blame alcohol, but my brother tends to be like very, very uh, irresponsible when he drinks yeah. and does stuff like not this kind of stuff. What has he done but in the past? When I found Well, uh, my family has alcohol allergy. Uh, we can't really drink because we do stupid shit and because it's <laughs> bad for our health. That's why I don't drink. Yeah. Uh, but my brothers, for example, um, back when Omegle was a thing, they would hang out with their friends and drink and do Omegle and stuff like that. Uh, or streak. Uh, we we used to have a pool. They used oh, to swim shit. naked because their friends dare them to do that. 
so God. I was thinking about like his past with alcohol, but this girl literally uprooted her life to be with my brother in my city. She was from um, a city, a coastal city, and she moved. It's nine hours by car. Mm. She moved her whole world, including her two cats, um, up here uh, to my city. And so I don't know if I should talk to her. So it's like it's like if if you say something, you are potentially yeah. throwing a wrench in a relationship that she moved across country for and would upset that balance. But on the other hand, like that balance is maybe constructed on uh, hiding certain critical details about what your brother's mm -hmm. been up to. Yeah. And I don't know what the relationship, like what constitutes us cheating in their relationship, because I know when they were dating, uh, my brother was upset because she was seeing other men, but they were together still. Like they weren't dating, dating, but they were in the seeing phase. And usually at right. that point, people here uh, go exclusive. Yeah. And my brother was fine with that. They're still like together. He was just a little upset that he wasn't with her because she was a, a, at another country, like uh, vacationing. But I talked to my sister and I told her, hey, I don't know if I can live with this. And my sister said, yeah, we already talked with him about it. And I don't know if I'm just bringing up old things and if he's already talked with her because I have no business getting into his business. You know, I know that I'm his sister and I know that I really really l like love the girlfriend but i don't know why my childhood friend told me those things mm. um i don't know uh what she gained by telling me because we were like very close when we were kids but nowadays we don't talk that much and i don't know what she would gain from telling me these things and being like oh yeah my father told me that i got duped Mm. Um, by him because he told he told my brother told her dad about his girlfriend, but she did, he didn't tell her. Yeah, mm. so, yeah. I mean, like so complicated like, emotions. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, it definitely is super complicated. So I, uh, I guess, like first thing that I feel like would make sense would would just be to have a conversation with your brother about what you know, right? Like, because you, you, you uh, were, were you saying that you were talking to your, uh, you, like, you haven't talked to your brother a lot, like, since you were kids? Oh, yeah. Um, your relationship, for example, your relationship with Sophia reminds me a lot of my brother. Really? Um, he doesn't live in the same house. Yeah. Equally annoying. The whole, <laughs> I, the whole PTSD thing when I remember when you, um, Sophia was sitting on the chair and you were like, nope, I'm sitting and you started like a whole squabble over it. And it was like, <laughs> ah, that's such sibling behavior. That's so funny. It's cute. Uh, I really love my siblings. I am, um, we are four. Uh, I'm the fourth sibling. Uh, and I really do love my elder, my, my, my oldest siblings. And I really I really want him to continue to thrive. He's been thriving in this relationship. Um, he, he's been taking care of his body, taking care of the way he's eating, uh, spending more responsibly. I know that women aren't, um, how do I call this, uh, recovery centers for broken men, but she's really, yeah. really helping him become a, a person that, he probably like likes more. Yeah. I, I really want him to, to like, I don't know what their relationship, uh, what constitutes us cheating in their relationship. So that yeah. I don't well, want can you, to, can you, can you talk like, to him and ask, like, yeah. say like, like, just like say, Hey, like this is what I saw. I just kind of want to contextualize what I saw. Cause I think that before doing anything, more I, I think it's like and, I, I, and i'm trying to put myself if like th if i saw my sister you know like doing something like 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 you saw your brother if i saw my sister doing something i would definitely and i didn't have like a independent relationship with that other person 
And it was just like, just like my, mainly my sister and I's relationship. And then she had a relationship with someone else and I didn't really have connection with that person. I think I would talk to my sister first yeah, and I would be like, Hey, like, this is what I saw. Can I have some more context on it? Because it, I, if, if what I saw is true and not okay within the context of a relationship, like I think you should really help. You should, you should really, you should really like talk to your partner about what you, you did because like it hurts me to be like, to, to carry the, what, what feels like a secret. So I feel like yeah. that's the first step, right? What do you think, John? No, a hundred percent. And I think too, you could be like, Hey, like, here's what I saw. I don't know, you know, how you guys work in your relationship, but you know what, you know, how you work in your relationship. And like me telling this to you, I would hope that if this is something that is like, you know, outside of the bounds of, you know, what you two have agreed upon, that you would now go and be honest with her and try and reconcile that. And like, again, you could be like, Hey, I, I don't know what the agreement is you've made in your relationship, but you do. So now that kind of like put, puts it back in his corner and is going to kind of have to make him reflect without you being the person to like go and like tattletale, you know, yeah. and tell the girlfriend. Yeah. Cause I'm, th- I'm f- like, and you know, my sister, I, 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 it's really hard to imagine like my sister doing something like this. So I'm, and I'm yeah. really trying to like picture it, but like, yeah, I, I, I find it hard my brother to do something like that. Say again. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think my brother would do something like that, but yeah. I truly believe this person when she told me all this stuff. And because my sister told me they confronted him afterwards. Yeah. I, I think I think talking to him is the best move, but like if yeah. he ends up saying like, Yeah, I did it, she doesn't know, don't tell her like if if that is what happens next, yeah. which maybe could happen. Like someone in the, the chat was like, Oh, like like maybe say like I don't feel comfortable keeping this secret. Yeah. Um, it's gonna make it really yeah. hard for me to be it's gonna make it really hard for me to be around her and have my, like my relationship with her if i'm keeping this secret because this is like if i want to have it a relationship has with her, made, I wanna, yeah it has made uh the situation harder mm. in that sense because um we've been going out having family trips and stuff like that that involve the partner oh man and yeah, they've all been muddled because in the back of my mind is oh he he was not faithful to you yeah oh I think, yeah. I think you just this need to is, this happiness is not going to last and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is like, as you build up your own relationship with her, there might be a point where the friendship becomes like, like at a certain de- Cause I, I, there's like a nuanced opinion that I have of this. I think where it's like, I think everyone deserves to know the truth, but I don't think necessarily the truth coming from someone who is uh, uh, emotionally uninvolved is necessarily always helpful. Um, and ideally it comes from the person like perpetrating it. So it's like almost like, it's almost like as you develop this relationship, it's going to be harder for you to have this secret. And there might be, there might like be a natural point that comes up where like you tell her, in a moment of vulnerability between you two. But um because it's it's also like like you, you you don't I think if you get in the middle of this, it could have, have negative implications for you on both like what if you completely misread the relationship and you're just kind of like like making it awkward for her. It's like, oh, it's like we actually have an open relationship and it's actually yeah. fine. It's like the yeah, thing is I don't you, I don't want to know if my brother is in an, in an open relationship. Yeah. I just want to know that he didn't cheat. Yeah. Yeah. And because and I think that's mean, that just means just like, I think talking to your brother is just yeah. I, I, that that's where it that's starts. Yeah. There's so there's the, there are a million things that could make this uh, better and like make it like, okay. And it's like, Oh, nothing, nothing actually, no integrity was lost here. And there's a million things that could make it worse or like what, what you think it is. So, um, I feel like the thing, the, the best thing to do now is just talk to your brother and say what you saw and, and, and just like see what he has to say. 
Um, and then I think there's probably harder decisions that stem from that um, after it. But the first, the easy one is just talk to your brother. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him tomorrow. Awesome. Um, we are that. sorting through my, uh, we're sorting through my dad's stuff. So I think tomorrow is a good day, even though it's emotionally charged. Yeah. Um, well, I, I feel think like it's a, it, it's a good, yeah, this is not a conversation to be had over the phone. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, like, I think if deal. you can do it in person, good. And also like, like definitely just like, and also deal. because I don't want the rumor getting to her, uh, from other people, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. it would kill me. Hopefully. I mean, it was back in August and I am pretty sure my brother wouldn't like in his right mind, he would not do this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't know how, because to be fair, the friend kept fueling the fire when I was like having an anxiety attack, mm. uh, and being like, Oh my God, uh, maybe he was just drunk. And she was like, no, he pre seemed pretty sober, but I was also very drunk. Mm. It was like, can you not? Uh, yeah, why are you telling me this? You're also like, you're bearing the weight of this, you know, quote unquote secret. And that can cause your anxiety to like, yeah. flare up and kind of kind of spiral whereas like if you're having the conversation and now it's like the yeah. actual reality of it the the like oftentimes we get overly anxious and then when we reach the actual thing it's actually you know also wait this a, actually oh wait can you scroll up in the the chat this is actually a great uh a little bit okay cool okay cool um ta uh tanja Sk skizny has a really interesting point. She should just ask the brother if he is aware that the kiss is being talked about behind the scenes and see what he says. Because mm. if you, all right, so it's like, if you you say, you know, which is, is important to say, but if you also say, not only do I know, but like I heard it from someone else and there are other people talking about what they saw at the wedding, I'm worried that this is eventually going to get to her. And so it's like, you Eventually. only have a limited amount of time for you to tell her and make sure you're on the right side of things because it's, it's going to be probably if like, let's say like this is the, the worst case scenario where she does not know. And this is like a level of cheating. Um, the best case scenario is him telling her and it coming from him rather than the rest of the family. Um, yeah, because it would, if, uh, for what I understand, it would be an entirely family secret, uh, like a held family secret where everybody knows except her. Like and I that, know, my brother knows, the, my sister chances, knows, my the mom knows. Of that keeping a my secret dad knew. So the yeah. chances of keeping that a secret, it'll get out. Like it, it, it will get get out. And I think if you tell your brother, like everyone who knows, there's 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 no way that yeah that that's kept for that long and then he'll he'll be like okay i gotta do what i gotta do yeah. and you haven't like yeah. snuck and told around or like tried to force his hand you are simply like telling him what is already yeah true yeah in a very and plain, i feel manner. i feel like that is like the best i think i i that feel that feels really strong like i i feel like that gets across everything you need mm -hmm. putting a little bit of an implication for him to do the right thing so like I think I'm very curious to hear how this conversation goes tomorrow. You should we're gonna be live streaming on I will Thursday. I will I will I will text Riley and tell yeah, him yeah, like, yeah. if something give us an update. important happens. Yeah. I will give you an update after I've had this conversation because it, it is really important to me that my brother isn't like harming someone her, he loves. Yeah, sure. He truly loves her. Yeah. I really do see them getting married. But a marriage cannot be built on cheating. Agreed. I've, totally. Like it is like uh, countless of countless stories that I've heard you guys tell. There was one recently where uh, he found out that, that his wife of twenty years cheated on in college, mm. and that was a deal breaker. So it was just. I know it's just a kiss, but a key like it is important. It is. Uh, an intimate thing it is something that it is considered cheating and i don't know if my brother has done it with other people now this has me questioning a lot of things like hopefully he yeah. doesn't do it again mm -hmm. 
but it is scary because it's someone like I look up to. He's my big brother. Mm. Uh, I have like he's um, like you know you and Sophia share a similar face. It is the same situation with me and this brother. He's the one that looks the most like me. Mm. Uh, I'm essentially the female version of him, <laughs> and I don't. Uh, and people like we have a really close relationship and I really do love my brother and I don't want him to be in the wrong path yeah. in a relationship with the person that he truly truly loves like this person was his crush for a really long time um, yeah, and you care a lot. I don't understand why you would harm someone like that yeah, yeah. you care a lot it like, shows and like also kudos to you for like caring so deeply about this and like wanting to like tackle it in the most like thoughtful and empathetic and, and every way. And we wish you the best of luck tomorrow. I think you, I think you got this. <clears throat> I think it'll be less uh, intense than your, your anxiety might be building it up to be. And yeah. I think that um, I ultimately it's probably think it's, nothing. It, yeah. I'm yeah. hoping it's nothing. And it's better, like, I, yeah, I think, me and my ultimately. girlfriend. Then you think, yeah, I hope it is better. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry for interrupting. All good. Hey, All thank good. you so much for calling in. We really, we, we desperately want to hear an update yes. once you have the conversation. And also, I don't know if it's just the Discord, but there were a bunch of comments, and I agree. Your voice is very soothing. Uh, thank you. I am, I am a voice actress. No way. Okay. Well, then it that, tracks. That tracks. Yeah. Uh, also, I've talked brilliant. to you guys before. I've talked to you guys before. Uh, on, on a remember call the German not, twin? Not, not through Discord, right? On a call. On a call. On a yeah. call. And on the Discord, but on a call. Uh, remember that there was that guy that wanted to have a threesome with me yes! and his yep. sister? Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, the guy did come to Ecuador and he started calling me. I don't know where how he got my number. I did not give my number to him. And he was like, oh my God, are you in Ecuador? And I was like, oh my God, God, I was in Mexico. I was like, no, oh sorry. God. You were one of our first call-ins yeah, like, ever. Truly. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was awesome. And also I'm like, I feel like on the phone, it's much crunchier. So it's nice to actually like really hear your voice. Yeah, it's like a full quality Discord. over Discord. Yeah, yeah. Do you have like a crazy mic or something? No, I'm just on my phone. No wow. way. That's amazing. Dude, it we're sounds gonna, like studio quality. We should we should one hundred percent. We're gonna make the move. We should yeah. we're, we're, we should completely move to Discord only on calls. Yeah. It's wow. Yeah. Well, Voice sounds incredible. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night and I hope you get to sleep. <laughs> Us we will uh, too. Sleep. soon enough. Knowing soon chat, enough too. knowing chat, I hope that nobody uh donates an insane amount of money that don't, keeps you guys I will talk to you Bye, soon. Guys. Thanks so much for calling in and maybe we'll talk to you on Thursday. Okay. See you on Thank Thursday, you hopefully. Nighty night. Boom. Oh my goodness. We well, got one more. One more call in. One more call in? Yep, yes. yep, yep, yep. Cool. Um, this is this is uh uh we'll read these real quick. Oh, okay. Yep. Brooke aka Cosmic Kisses to the committed OKOP gang gang. Endless stream. Love, 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 love. Thanks for the twenty-five dollar tip. Hey, appreciate it. And then Nocturnal Slytherin, thanks for the two ninety nine. Been with you guys all night. You helped me get through most of my shifts, so thanks for that. Closing in on four AM here in KY. What's that? Kentucky? Yep. Right. Kentucky. But yeah. it's still not the end of the day. I hope you guys get some good sleep tonight. Us too. Um and then Bindu, thanks for the five dollar tip. Morning all. I'm confused. I went to bed at midnight listening to you. It's now 9 a.m. And you're still on? Please rest, all of you. You've triggered the mummy mode in me. Let us sleep. <laughs> well, yeah. Let, yeah us sleep. let us sleep. I feel you. Yep. Yeah. Um, you. All right. Can we Last do another one. Discord call? Um, Can they go to Discord? I don't. They were having a. I'm sorry. I'm gonna dox you. They were having a hard time texting us, so I don't know if they can make it to Discord. <laughs> no. Okay, um. Fine. But we're gonna we're gonna do a call in. Uh. This is, um, something crazy, dude. I don't even know. 
what it is, was. Is there a? They wanted to call and they wanted to tell us what it was. Well, let me let me connect it real quick. Yeah. Um. Oh, I also, after this call, I'll get my ukulele. Very nice. Hello? Hello. Hey. This is John and Sam Riley from OKOP. Who are we talking with? This is the blondest brunette, a.k.a. Susan. Let's hey, go. Blondest up, brunette, Susan? Susan. Talk a little closer to your microphone. Uh, hold on. I can also oh, so, yeah. turn this. We'll turn the. It's it's up all the way. I'm still on YouTube watching you guys. Let's oh go. Double watching. Double, double talking. Double watching and talking. Uh, so yeah, what what is this crazy story? Give us like the one sentence descriptor, and then we can dive in. Okay, so I had two that I sent to Riley in the same message. One was, I was in a relationship with a married man for years without knowing that he was married. Oh, yeah, do that and one. And the one. other one, do that one? Yeah, let's do that yeah, one. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. How, how did you first meet down, this Susan. man? Okay, so I started working at a deli. First off, I'm in upstate New York, middle of nowhere. There's literally nothing around. Pretty much you have to drive like 30, 40 minutes to get a job. This new deli opened up about five minutes away from where I, I lived. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to, you know, get a job there. And the owner of the deli kind of hit on me a lot. And I was like, oh, okay. So we kind of got into a relationship. And it huh. wasn't until we were in a relationship Wait, how for, did he get into a relationship? So he was like, oh, like, I want extra meat with my sandwich. And then you're like. And then, oh, my God, Sam. What? <laughs> how, did, how did it move out of the deli? Okay, so I was 19 at the time and he was like 43, I want to oh, wow. say. Okay. And I don't know. It just, it kind of came to the point where, like, I had a two-year-old child at the time, and I kind of needed to support my child, yeah. and I just really needed this job, and let me tell you, I live in the middle of the sticks at the same exact time. I was actually cutting lawns for a job i was doing construction work wait, and i was throwing is, hay is Hustling. this is this a person that wait i th was it, i thought this was a customer this was a no her employer her so, employer no, you go, and let me, was, you go in and then he's like flirting with thought. you and then you get the job that way i thought i thought it was a customer coming in it was a little meat cute oh this changes it completely yeah. this is not oh no, this, this was my boss yeah he oh. started hitting on me and I had no idea at the time that he was married. And oh. we started a relationship because I was single. And we were oh, in a relationship so for a couple of years. And then I got pregnant with oh his goodness. child. Oh my goodness. And then I found out that he was married. And his wife tried to bribe me with $20,000 to take my son away from me. It it was, I'm not kidding. Like, we are not together to this day. Um, long story short, because him and his wife have money that actually ended up taking my son away from me. Oh my God. I do have, I have three children that I raise. I've been with my partner for eight years now. Uh, we've had our ups and downs. He did actually cheat on me. We've kind of sort of worked past it. But my second out of my four children pretty much was taken away from me because my ex, who I did not know, was married and has money, took my son away from me. And it's a whole effed up situation. Wow. Oh, my God. Have you seen they are in since? Texas. Um, so they used to live in New York 
up until my son was about five. Um, they used the pandemic to kind of uh, sell their house, buy an RV, and kind of like tour the world. My son has been out of the country multiple times. I never have. Um, but they come home between the months of like May and August. And I get to see my son throughout those times. But do you want to know the big juicy details? Yeah. What, what's, yeah, please. So my son's father has never stopped pursuing me ever since we stopped being together. Oh, my God. God. Fucking get a grip, dude. He tells me continuously that we are sexually compatible and that he has never touched his wife since the day we got together and that he wants to be with me no matter what. Is that, do you believe him? I mean, yes, it was good. When we were together, I can honestly say that I may or may not have, after we split up and I got with my current partner, we did do a couple of things within the first year. But then when I started having kids with my current partner, I decided to cut all contact, cut all ties other than my son. Which is good. But which is good. You should be faithful. Yes. But he is expecting to come back in a month and has already been asking me for stuff. Like what? Like extra sandwiches? Oh, definitely extra sandwiches. Oh, no. With the sauce on the side. You should, you should not, you should, you should, that, that feels messy. Yeah. That feels messy. Stay away from the mess. Oh, it's, it's definitely messy. Kiwi um, Fox says don't take the bait. I've donated to you guys in the past. Yes, my name is Blonde is Brunette right now, but I donated to you guys in the past under Susan Winkler, which is my actual name. My current partner and I have a three-year-old and an almost six-year-old. Actually, she turned six today. Yay. Congrats. But um, they're both, they are both autistic. He cheated on me a year and a half ago for about six months. And I commented and donated a couple of months back saying that we are still living together, but we are actually not together. Oh, there was like a dog involved. Is that, am I remembering that correct? A dachshund? Macrame. Do you remember the macrame? Your sister, Sam, kept having to tell you how to pronounce it. Macrame, yeah. Oh my. Okay, I, so I think I believe this. So, I, so basically, because you're kind of just you're so you're you're just living together. You're not in a relationship, so you're like maybe you do take the sandwich because the sandwich tasted really good last time, and like at uh, least on your end, there's no reason ethically that you wouldn't eat a sandwich right now. The problem is we bought our house together five years ago. And and get this, living in upstate New York, and I live about an hour away from Albany, we bought a five-bedroom house. It's 2,556 square foot. We have five bedrooms with wow. three full-size bathrooms, right? We got it for $105,000. We oh pay less than God. $800. Less than eight hundred dollars a month for our mortgage. That's preposterously insane of a deal. That oh I'm my not God. kidding you. That is incredible. I'm not kidding you. And we have about an acre of land, but we bought this house together, and it's like because we have 
so many bedrooms. I actually have my own bedroom in the house. I don't sleep in the same room as he does. Right. So. Because you're effectively separated right now. Pretty much. But, I mean, we still have a lot of spicy time together. Yeah. Right. Right. I, okay. If I was to give one sweeping piece of advice is do not eat the sandwich. Yeah. Just, it's. There's there's so much messiness and and until like it feels like there are still unresolved things to, between you and your partner that like you need to talk about a little bit more and like hey if if you like like you could eat maybe other sandwiches if you actually work things out and like everything else with your partner oh, is good. I have I I have no desire to be with anybody else honestly. Then you know what I, I, for the I don't know if I would. I think I would stay away from yeah, the, that yeah. whole situation because <clears throat> like uh, someone in the comments was like, I mean, that guy basically allowed his wife to take your son away. So like, fuck him. And also who knows oh, I know. what this wife, the, his wife will do his yeah. wife. I mean, like, I, I feel like that whole situation is, um, yeah, I, is, is radioactive and stay far away. You deserve better. Um, but I believe this is now the end of the street. Yes. <laughs> Finally, we need to go to bed. Well, that is perfectly fine because I started watching you guys at 6, 17 p.m. here in New York, and I am still listening, and it's after 4 a.m. Oh, my wow. goodness. I have been on the entire time. Susan. And I have donated. Well, Susan. I have donated Many times because I really wanted to hear Frederick's story. I can tell <laughs> yes. you. Well, you thank you for back, supporting us. Thank you for supporting King Frederick. Most of all, King Frederick's in the chat. Um, oh, and the, Susan, thank you so much for calling in and sharing games. your story. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Susan. We'll Rest talk to well. you soon. Rest Be well good. and sleep. Eat the right sandwiches. Ooh. And that is the end of the live. That's it. That's it. I, we need to just we need to end right now yeah, before dude. anything it, crazy happens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you love us, make sure to fucking subscribe. We love you. It's 